Chapter 81 The Birth of Ling Bao After Chen Feng sucked and ate the spiritual veins from the Beast King's cave, as soon as he returned to the hive, his subordinates came to report that there was violence and chaos in the forbidden area. Chen Feng was startled and jumped down from the throne. He pulled his front legs and counted the time. Unexpectedly, he had already stayed in the Beast King's cave for 14 days. Chin Feng took a big sip of royal jelly to replenish his energy. Come on! Follow me to the forbidden area according to my previous arrangements. The other bees will wait to guard the hive and wait for response. Yes! The glorious worker bees who were always ready took care of themselves in an instant at Chin Feng's order. Set off! One buzzing! A dark army of bees marched towards the forbidden area, seeming to have blocked the sun. For a moment, there was only a constant buzzing sound between the sky and the earth. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to the entrance of the Forbidden Land at the fastest marching speed. At this time, at the entrance of the Forbidden Land, the corpses of monster beasts had piled up into a hill, and many monster beasts were still surrounded, as they continued to scramble to enter the entrance to the Forbidden Area. It seems that the attraction of the Forbidden Area is much stronger than imagined. Chin Feng looked at the monster beasts fighting for each other, and kept waving flags and beating drums to cheer them on. Fight! Hit hard! The harder you hit, the better it will be for me. Suddenly, a roar made all the monsters surrounding the entrance to the forbidden area tremble and stop their attacks. The Beast King held his head high and took elegant square steps, leading his soldiers and generals to the entrance of the forbidden area. There was a cold light in his eyes as he glanced around. Whenever the Beast King's eyes rest on any monster, the monster will tremble. At this time, Chin Fong led a large army and hid in the leaves of the blood birch tree. He stuck out his little head and looked at the Beast King and his men. Chin Feng suddenly felt that this time, the core Beast King seemed to have brought most of his men with him. Chin Feng looked at the Beast King with cold eyes and felt something bad. And his head was thinking quickly. Not long after, I made a decision in my mind. Come on, B. Go ahead and tell all the low-level worker bees to stay here. When I lead the high-level worker bees into the forbidden area, they will loot the Beast King's lair and evacuate his lair for me. Yes. The wait was long. All the monsters were waiting at the entrance of the Forbidden Land for a whole day. At this time, a large number of monsters came to the entrance of the Forbidden Area. Chin Feng looked at these monsters carefully and found that they looked familiar. After thinking about it carefully, he thought about it. And then he remembered that some of these monsters were the monsters painted on the leaves. And they were the mortal enemies of the Beast King. Chin Feng observed in the dark that when the Beast King saw their car approaching, his eyes became dangerous for a moment, and then returned to normal. Chin Feng secretly thought that it was lucky that his old enemy, the Golden Clawed Eagle, didn't come. Otherwise, there would have been some trouble. At this time, the clouds in the sky gradually gathered over the forbidden area, becoming more and more dense, like a whirlpool, trying to swallow up the forbidden area. The clouds accumulated thicker and thicker, as if they were about to collapse above the forbidden area. The white clouds gradually turned to gray and then black as they continued to accumulate. In the thick clouds, there were faint thunder and lightning flashes. In the forbidden area, the spiritual energy became more and more intense, and there was a faint mist with spiritual energy overflowing. Finally, the spiritual energy was so rich that it flew towards the black clouds in the sky, like a pillar of spiritual energy, breaking through the clouds and flying straight into the sky. The dark clouds slowly dissipated under the impact of spiritual energy leaving behind a thin cloud stained with rays of light, hanging beautifully in the sky. The monster beasts surrounding the forbidden area saw this scene and knew that a large number of spiritual treasures had been born. They were no longer afraid of the threat of the Beast King and rushed to the entrance of the forbidden area regardless. The white tiger with a hanging forehead surrounding the entrance of the forbidden area was constantly being attacked by the monsters. Their attacks. Seeing that the time was ripe, Chin Feng winked at his men, and with a sigh of relief, he led the high-level radiant worker bees and flew into the entrance of the forbidden area. When the other monsters saw that Chin Feng had entered the forbidden area, they attacked the defenders even more crazily. The white tiger with a hanging forehead at the entrance of the cave was flying through the group of monsters one by one. And monsters kept falling down. When the beast king saw Chin Feng entering the forbidden area, he sneered and led his tiger soldiers and generals into the forbidden area through the entrance. Chin Feng was dizzy and came to the inside of the forbidden area. Chin Feng glanced at his men. Take it all. Take it all. Take it away. If you get it, it's yours. If you think it's special, 
Donate it to your king. Yes. One buzzing. All the glorious worker bees took action and flew into the distance. At this time, the bees king entered the forbidden area and looked coldly at Chin Fong flying in the air. Chin Fong raised his eyebrows at the bees king and flew into the distance. The bees king looked at Chin Feng's retreating bee shadow, his eyes becoming more and more cold and terrifying. He signaled to his men with his eyes. The men understood and quickly went to pick the elixir. The beast king watched his men leave, heading in the direction of Chin Fong. The crazy attacks of the monsters at the entrance to the forbidden area finally broke through the defense line of the hanging forehead white tiger. One after another, the monsters broke into the forbidden area. They only paused at the entrance of the forbidden area and then quickly ran into the forest, fearing that all the elixirs would be picked. Chapter 82 Chin Fong entered the forbidden area and continued to search for the elixir according to the root in his memory. Ding! Yellow grade high grade elixir. Purple leaf magic flower. 100% maturity. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong saw several purple leaf magic flowers hiding behind the tree mature. The purple leaves became more and more enchanting, emitting a purple halo. And the black purple flowers exuded an alluring fragrance in the breeze. Chin Fong was not in the mood to appreciate its enchantment at this time. His aura sank and he swooped down. He used six bee legs at the same time. He picked one off in a few seconds and threw it into the water droplet space without thinking. The bee shadow flashed, came to another one, picked it with the same movements and methods, and picked them all in a few seconds. After Chin Feng picked the purple leaf magic flower, he headed towards the Tianai Sanchikeo. The three tentacles of the Tianai Sanchikeo were swaying in the breeze, as if waving to Chin Feng. Chin Feng felt like his eyes were filled with countless little stars. Rushing into the T and I Sanchikeo. Happiness overflowed in his chest. Slowly swelling and swelling. As if it was about to overflow. Ding! There is an enemy attack 1,000 meters behind. Please pay attention to the host. When Chin Fong heard the prompt from the system, he instantly became vigilant. After pulling out the last three leaf three leaf grass, he flew high and hid in the leaves. At this time, he had to sigh again about the advantages of being small. Ding! There is an enemy attack 500 meters behind. Host, please pay attention. At this time, the demonic beast had revealed its head. When Chin Fong took a look, the joy and excitement on Bee's face disappeared in an instant, leaving only dissatisfaction and gloom. Ma, duh, you won't let me pick the elixir properly. It turned out that the Beast King followed Chin Feng's flight direction and came here. Along the way, not a single elixir was left behind. The Beast King was determined and Chin Fong decided to come here. Chin Fong quietly left the leaves and flew towards the waterfall. He wanted to finish picking the Shuanya Ziajintan and the Golden Snake Bodhi before the Beast King found this place. Chin Fong gritted his teeth and made up his mind not to leave a single piece of spiritual grass to the Beast King. As soon as Chin Fong finished picking the elixir and flew away, the Beast King arrived. I don't know whether it was the Beast King's good luck or Chin Fong's fault. At this time, the thousand petal lotus in the clear spring has matured. A white tiger with a hanging forehead squatted beside the clear spring, looking at the thousand petal lotus, spinning around anxiously. Finally, the white tiger with a hanging forehead suddenly had a flash of inspiration and fixed his eyes on the thousand petal lotus, as if he was determined to die. He closed his eyes and only heard a plop, and the white tiger with a hanging forehead jumped into the water. The white tiger with a hanging forehead didn't know how to drink water. After drinking a few sips of water, he kept slapping the water in panic. When Chin Fong came here, he saw such a situation and his jaw dropped in shock. If Chin Fong had royal jelly in his hand at this time, he would definitely be watching the fun with his legs crossed. Chen Fong smirked, swooped down, and hovered above the hanging forehead white tiger. Wang buzzing! The white tiger with a hanging forehead heard the sound and thought that reinforcements had arrived. The desire to survive burst out in his eyes. The tiger's groggy head became slightly awake and he splashed hard on the water. As a result, he saw the little black bee that his king was looking for day and night, dangling in front of his eyes and constantly looking at him with mocking eyes. He couldn't help but feel angry. Just when he wanted to scold the little black bee, he took a few more sips of water. At this time, the diaphretted white tiger felt that his abdomen was getting more and more distended and his body was getting heavier. Chin Fong stepped on the head of the white tiger with all his might. The tiger sank, and the tiger's feet kept kicking, as if it was struggling to get out of the water. Chin Fong felt that he had almost finished playing and had enough to vent his feelings. Come on! Let me give you a ride and save you the pain! Then, the highly toxic tail needle was revealed. 
and one of the tail needles was mercilessly pierced into the head of the hanging fronted white tiger. The white tiger with a hanging forehead, who was already dizzy, became even more dizzy under the influence of toxins. Gradually, he stopped thrashing at the water surface and sank to the bottom of the spring. Chin Fong estimated the time, quickly flapped his wings, flew towards the thousand petal lotus, and circled the thousand petal lotus as quickly as possible. Then, he flew to other places. When the beast king came to Qingchuan, he looked at the tiger footprints left on the ground. With danger in his eyes, he simply stopped looking for Chin Fong and returned to the entrance of the forbidden area, waiting for his men and the arrival of Chin Fong. At this time, Chin Fong didn't know that the beast king had returned to the entrance of the forbidden area, just waiting for him to come out and snatch everything. Chin Fong flew to the north of Ling Quan. Ding! I found the hive upgrade item! Seven leaf flower! Chin Fong was overjoyed. Following the system prompts, he saw several flowers with seven leaves growing in the distance. The blue flowers echoed each other, lighting up a small area of darkness in the forest. Chin Fong happily hummed a tune and quickly picked the horse chestnut flowers. In this way, Chin Fong relied on the system's prompts and continued to plunder the elixirs in the forbidden area. Three days later, Chin Fong frantically plundered most of the elixirs in the forbidden area and returned home with a full load. At the entrance to the forbidden area, all the glorious worker bees were hiding on the leaves of the forest, waiting for Chin Feng's return. And the Beast King's men also returned to the Beast King, looking eagerly into the distance. One buzzing! Chin Fong flew back to the entrance of the forbidden area and looked at the Beast King and his men blocking the entrance. His bee eyes turning continuously. Come on, bee! All the worker bees who have not picked the elixir, follow me to lure away the enemy. The other worker bees who have obtained the elixir will take it back to the hive. Yes! Chin Feng's transparent wings shone with a crystal clear luster under the sunlight. Attack! Then, it swooped down first, and the other glorious worker bees were not to be outdone. The Beast King looked at the sudden appearance of the enemy army and roared. All the white tigers with hanging foreheads tremblingly blocked Chin Feng's path. Shameless little bee! How dare you come back? The white tiger with a hanging forehead looked at the rows of tail needles swooping down and shining with cold light, and immediately dodged. Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees and failed to hit the target. So they turned around and ran away. The Beast King looked at Chin Fong who was escaping, swung his tiger's feet, and led a large army in pursuit. The other glory worker bees saw the right moment and flew out of the entrance to the forbidden area. Chin Fong counted the time and felt that the glorious worker bees had flown out of the forbidden area. He turned back and looked down at the beast king. Then, with a wave of their bee feet, the glory worker bees rushed high into the sky, out of the reach of the beast king and his men, and then flew towards the entrance of the forbidden land. The beast king suddenly realized that he had fallen into a trap, and that things had gone far beyond his expectations. He roared angrily, led his tiger soldiers and generals back, and chased after Chin Fong. Chin Fong had already arrived at the entrance to the restricted area. Looking at the Beast King running towards him, he laughed and led his men to fly out. The Beast King's eyes were red with anger. When he led his men to chase them out, Chin Fong and his men had already fled, and not a single bee was left. At this time, a white tiger with a hanging forehead flew from the direction of the Beast King's cave. Prostrate on the ground, its body trembled, and its voice continued to tremble, and it could not even speak complete words. Report. The Beast King made a thump in his heart, groaning secretly, and then glanced over. The white tiger with a hanging forehead swallowed his saliva before speaking, but his voice was still trembling. Report. King! The treasure pavilion has been looted by the little black bees again! When the Beast King heard such bad news, his eyesight turned black. A mouthful of blood spurted on the ground and the tiger fell unconscious. Chapter 82 Escalating Laughter When the Beast King in the core area heard such bad news, he was so angry that he vomited blood and fell into coma. The white tiger with a hanging forehead fainted when he looked at his king, and immediately carried the Beast King back to the cave. Soon, the Beast King woke up leisurely and rushed to the treasure pavilion. Seeing that not a single weed was left in the treasure pavilion, the tiger's body was trembling continuously, and bursts of angry roars spread from the cave to all parts of the forest. In this battle, the Beast King lost all his money. Come on, tiger! Turn over the blood forest for me and find the whereabouts of the little black bee's nest. It's a pity that the Beast King has suffered from Chin Fong so many times, and he can't do anything to Chin Fong. He can only use this to vent his anger. At this time, Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees back to the hive, 
sat on the throne, and drank royal jelly. In this battle, Chin Fong made a lot of money. After calming down his excitement for a while, he entered the water drop space. In the water drop space, he saw a small mountain of elixirs that Chin Fong had picked frantically in the forbidden area. System. Classify these elixirs. Ding! The elixir was successfully classified. 50% of the honey was consumed. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong looked at the stingy system speechlessly and rolled his eyes. He also knew that bargaining with the system was equivalent to playing tricks on the cow. And the system would not give up anything to him. At this time, the glorious worker be knelt on one knee under the throne. Report. King! This is the elixir picked by my subordinates from the Forbidden Land. I think it will be beneficial to the king. So I came here to offer it to the king. Chin Fong looked at the glorious worker bees in surprise. Looking at the expectant eyes of the glorious worker bees, Chin Fong couldn't bear to refuse. Okay. I accept it. Go down. Yes. Guangyu worker bee always had an expressionless face. But when he saw Chin Fong accepting the elixir, his tone was actually a little excited. Chin Fong couldn't wait to take out the horse chestnuts picked from the forbidden area. Looking at the five azure flowers exuding a coquettish fragrance in front of him. Chin Fong held them like a treasure and carefully took out one. System. Use this horse chestnut. Ding. The host successfully used the god level low grade seven leaf flower. And the hive's attack power plus one. Ding. Check that the integrity of the hive is 100%. Is the host upgraded now? Upgrade. Speed up the upgrade of the hive. The system took two seconds to determine and then sounded again. Ding. The hive has been successfully upgraded and 50% of the host's honey has been deducted. The estimated upgrade time is one day. Chin Fong was lying on the throne. With his legs crossed, drinking royal jelly and watching the hive upgrade progress increasing little by little. Report. King. The beast king has sent a large number of tiger soldiers and generals to search the area. A glorious worker be knelt down on one knee in a well-trained manner and reported to Chin Fong. Chin Fong moved his front foot. Keep a low profile these days. Don't pay attention to the beast king and his men. Then, the glory worker be retreated. Time flies by little by little. Ding! The hive has been successfully upgraded and is currently at level 15. Ding! The host has upgraded the hive to level 15 and gained new skills and plundering capabilities. Ding! Please check the rest of the properties automatically. Chin Fong didn't react when he heard the system's announcement. I couldn't wait to open the properties panel. Hive level, 15, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut. Number of worker bees, 502066, the transfer cooling time is one day. The subhive level is one tenth of the hive. Hive defense, 8 out of 10. Hive attack power, 7 out of 10. Hive invisibility, October 10th, invisibility time is limited by hive level. Hive toxicity, 9 twentieths. Hive plunder, 0 out of 10, Plunder the opponent's bloodline. Jin Fong stared at the new ability of plundering with wide eyes. He couldn't help but jump up from the throne. Looked up at the hive. Put his front feet on his waist. And laughed wildly. The system is about to go against the grain. Jin Fong muttered to himself and laughed wildly again. When the glorious worker bees heard the laughter coming from the hive. They couldn't help but flinch and looked at each other. Is this still our smart, wise, courageous and resourceful queen bee? The glorious worker be expressed deep suspicion that his king had been switched. He wanted to enter the hive and investigate. After encouraging and comforting himself for a long time, he did not have the courage. He simply pretended not to hear and continued to work on what he was doing. Work. Chin Fong laughed for a while and finally realized that as a king, it was inappropriate for him to laugh so wildly. He couldn't help coughing and sat upright. Come on, B. The glorious worker be knelt on the ground. Did you hear anything just now? Chin Fong narrowed his bee eyes with meaning and kept scanning the glorious worker bees with his cold eyes. A chill ran down the spine of the glorious worker bee, and she glanced at Chin Fong secretly. When she saw Chin Fang's slightly threatening gaze, she slightly shortened her thick bee neck, reporting to the king. There was no movement just now. When Chin Fong heard the satisfactory reply, he nodded his bee head slightly and raised his front legs, signaling the glory worker bee to retreat. The glorious worker bee's legs felt a little weak and he disappeared in a flash. Although I know that my king will not take action on me because of such a trivial matter, I always feel that there is something different about my king. The glorious worker be tilted its head and couldn't help but think. It seems that his momentum has become more powerful compared with his own king. The beast king is just a paper tiger. 
the glorious worker be walked proudly with his head held high. Somewhat like Chin Feng. And then he threw himself into his work. Chin Feng looked at the shining worker bees running so fast, and couldn't help but wonder. Was I that scary just now? Did I just scare them? Life is really boring. So I can only have fun on my own worker bees. Afterwards, Chin Feng calmed down and took out 40 Shuanya Ziajintan plants. Seeing how many Shuanya Ziajintan plants were left, he couldn't help but feel a pain in his body. Afterwards, Chin Feng swallowed them one by one, and the evolution points continued to increase until the system prompted that the evolution points were full. Ding! The host successfully took Shuanya Ziajintan to increase the evolution points to 2 million points, triggering the Divine Familiar Pavilion 12 of 100. The host will be rewarded with two body tempering pills. System, I want to upgrade. Ding! The host has been upgraded successfully. The spiritual energy of heaven and earth surged into Chin Feng's body in an instant. Chin Feng felt that the spiritual source was spinning faster and faster, and the six limbs of his body made a crackling sound. He only felt that his body became lighter and lighter, and his wings slowly stretched out. As transparent as water droplets, the ground exuded a sacred luster, which lasted for a minute, and everything became peaceful. Chin Feng stretched his waist comfortably, which was the enjoyment of improving his strength. Then, click on the properties panel. Host, Chun Feng, Xiantian Fivefold Mirror, 1 slash 5000000. Peeping, second level 0 to 1. Check for weaknesses within a certain range. Skill, Xiantian Wudao, fourth level, Xiantian Sword Shadow, has a 40% probability of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for 4 seconds. The earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 15, which is equal to the host's own level. Block, third level, pure defensive skill. Defense power is equal to 10% of own strength. Secret technique, Wu Wu Poison, fourth level, after using the venom. Honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. If you are hit, you will suffer varying degrees of damage depending on your own strength. I saw that other skills had improved and I was quite excited. Chin Feng jumped down from the throne, flapped his wings, and flew towards the Beast King's cave. At this time, two white tigers with hanging foreheads were discussing and blocked Chin Feng's movement into the gap of the spiritual veins. The Beast King is just the illegitimate son of the wife of the bloodthirsty hall. How could he be so arrogant? Shu, you are so loud. You are not afraid of death. Hurry up and carry out your mission. Chin Feng hit on the wall still a little surprised in his heart. This was a heavy bomb. Chapter 83 Tiger King's Support Chin Feng flew into the Beast King's cave and hit on the wall, just in time to hear the complaints from the Beast King's men. The Beast King is actually the illegitimate son of the wife of the bloodthirsty hall owner. He is so bloody. No wonder the Beast King dares to be so arrogant. I didn't expect him to have such a background. The bloodthirsty hall made Chin Feng's ears tingle when he heard it. But he had never seen it before so there was one right in front of him. This time I have offended the Beast King badly. The Bloodthirsty Hall will definitely follow the Beast King to deal with me. It seems that I need to be careful next. Chin Feng flapped his wings and flew into the gap in the spiritual veins, absorbing the spiritual energy. The little bee's head kept turning. The loosening of the bottleneck allowed Chin Feng to see the hope of improvement, and he frantically absorbed the spiritual veins. The pure spiritual veins penetrated into Chin Feng's body at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. The Beast King's mind was constantly being affected by Chin Feng's body. There are slight cracks in the nourishment of spiritual energy. Chin Feng speeded up again. Fortunately, the Beast King was not in the cave at this time. Otherwise, he would definitely feel the changes in his spiritual veins. The cracks in the bottleneck of the Beast King's mental technique were getting bigger and bigger, and they slowly cracked open. With a bang sound, Chin Feng felt that his whole body was burning like fire. And his bones, and flesh felt like they were being torn apart. He had already experienced pain several times. Chin Feng couldn't bear it. He fell out of the gap with his six limbs in the air, stiff and stiff, and occasionally twitched twice. After two minutes, the pain faded away like a tide, and after a few more minutes, Chin Feng barely recovered from the suffocating pain. Chin Feng fluttered his wings, clicked on the attribute panel, and saw that the Beast King's mental skills had been upgraded. Beast King's mental technique, Tian Cheng Xingju, 4th level 0 slash 1. Beast King's Deterrence, opens up the Dan Tian Chi Si, permanently increasing one's own attributes by 20%. After carefully experiencing it, I feel that the effect is still very satisfactory. Today's bodies are tougher, more flexible, 
and lighter than ever. In the chi sea of Chenfeng's Dantian, a bright white bead as big as a soybean was spinning quietly, constantly absorbing the surrounding spiritual energy. At this time, two white tigers with hanging foreheads patrolled past the Beast King's hull, but did not see Chen Feng who was hiding behind the Beast King's seat. Chen Feng shook his body, flew out of the Beast King's cave, and returned to the hive. He had just reclined on the throne and drank a few sips of royal jelly to make up for his pain. When a glory worker became to report, Report, King! That white tiger with a hanging forehead is coming to find you! Chin Feng thought in surprise. What's he doing here? Chin Feng flew out of the hive and came to the cliff. The white tiger with the hanging forehead was still sitting elegantly on the stone. You went to the beast king's cave! There was certainty in the tone of the Diao-fronted white tiger. Before Chin Feng could ask, the Diao-ford white tiger looked at Chin Feng and said, I've been waiting for you here for more than an hour. If you knew I was coming, you definitely wouldn't have taken so long to come out. Chin Feng neither denies nor admits it. After all, Diao Yubai who has already made a decision in his heart. Is this why you came here to ask? The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Feng, who still had not let down his guard. I'm here to help you, and I will support you unconditionally. This made Chin Feng extremely shocked. He stared at the hanging forehead white tiger in surprise for several seconds. Chin Feng never thought that he could get unconditional support from the Beast King's men. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Feng's dumbfounded expression and burst into laughter. Don't look at me with such disbelief. I'm telling the truth. Chin Feng looked at the sincere look in the white tiger's eyes and nodded involuntarily. I believe. The white tiger with a hanging forehead suddenly elongated his tiger face and looked at Chin Feng seriously. The Beast King will never give up. He is the illegitimate son of the wife of the bloodthirsty Hall. If you annoy him so much, he will definitely take revenge on you. You have to be careful. Chin Feng looked at the hanging forehead white tiger nonchalantly. We won't call you friends anyway. If you offend once, you will be offended. If you offend a few more times, you will be offended. If you don't offend to the end, let the storm come more violently. Chin Feng felt moved by his own words. And for a moment, his chest was filled with pride and ambition. The hanging forehead white tiger shook his head helplessly and knew that Chin Feng was always different from other monsters. Although his brain was small, it contained wonderful ideas that other monsters did not have. And even, he could not compare with himself. Chin Feng and the white tiger with a thick forehead chatted with each other until dusk. The white tiger with a thick forehead did not leave. The beast master had not been in the cave for several days. Not long ago, after the beast king woke up, he made some calculations in his mind. Now his men have suffered heavy losses and can only move reinforcements. So, he led several hanging forehead white tigers to the bloodthirsty hall. At this time, the wife of the bloodthirsty hall owner was sitting upright in the huge cave. The beast king crawled at the feet of the hall owner's wife and cried out about Chin Feng's heinous crimes. When the hall master's wife heard this, she became furious. What is the origin of this little black bee? How can he be so bold and dare to covet the things of the bloodthirsty hall? I am really tired of living. Then, looking at the crying beast king in front of him, he frowned. Don't cry. I know that you have suffered a lot of injustice at his hands. You immediately led the tiger soldiers and generals. I sent you to secretly go to the blood forest to snatch back the elixir and crush the little black bee. Thousands of corpses. Thank you. Mother. The beast king stopped crying when he heard this. With a look of strong resentment in his eyes. And he gnashed his teeth and muttered silently in his heart. This time I will avenge the insult and the treasure. This cunning and shameless little black bee will not be able to eat and carry around. The lady of the hall rubbed her painful brain with her front foot and looked at the beast king. Get down! Yes! The beast king retreated cautiously, and the hall master's wife looked at the beast king's retreating figure with unpredictable eyes. The beast king secretly led the men sent by the hall master's wife to the blood forest. This trip was delayed for many days. Therefore, he did not know that Chen Feng had eaten his own spiritual veins. Otherwise he would definitely vomit again. No blood. The beast king quietly placed these people among the tiger soldiers and generals he sent out so as not to scare the snake and make Chin Feng lose his trace again. Chin Feng didn't know that a conspiracy against him was quietly born. Chapter 84 Siege Chin Feng was lying leisurely on the throne. The straw he held in his front feet was constantly turning rhythmically, sometimes 180 degrees clockwise, sometimes 180 degrees counterclockwise. Recently, Chin Feng has been sending out his glorious worker bees to monitor the Beast King's every move, but found that except for the Beast King not being in the cave, 
for a few days. There was nothing unusual. Because of this, Chin Feng felt a little uneasy in his heart. According to the character of the Beast King, he would never give up. Chin Feng always felt that he had overlooked some important information. Chin Feng looked at the clear and attractive royal jelly and lost interest in drinking it. He jumped off the throne and walked around the hive with his two front legs on his back. Suddenly, a hint of inspiration flashed through his mind. Before Chin Feng could catch it, it disappeared completely. And Chin Feng scratched his head with his two front feet in distress. He simply flapped his wings and flew out of the hive, heading towards the Beast King's cave. At this time, the strength of the Beast King's cave has more than doubled. And its strength has also become stronger. Chin Feng looked at this situation strangely. Is it possible that the Beast King has secretly trained many tiger soldiers and tiger generals and suffered a loss this time? So he dispatched them here? Chin Feng carefully avoided the patrolling tiger soldiers and generals and was almost discovered several times. It seems that this time the white tiger with gil forehead is not only powerful but also super sharp in other aspects. Chin Feng made some investigations and found nothing unusual except for the increase in troops and the substantial increase in strength. Even the Beast King seemed to be generous and careless. He did not care about worldly affairs on the throne of the Beast King. There are still a large number of tiger soldiers and generals around, searching for traces of Chin Feng. Otherwise, Chin Feng will definitely believe that the Beast King is magnanimous and will not care about this little wasp. Chin Feng didn't find anything unusual, so he flew out of the Beast King's cave. Chin Feng didn't know that as soon as he left. The Beast King opened his eyes that were quenched with the poison of hatred. When Chin Feng returned to the hive, the more he thought about it, the more something was wrong. However, he couldn't figure out the reason, so he could only lie weakly on the throne and worry. In fact, with Chin Feng's character, this shouldn't be the case. However, this time is different. One wrong move, and the whole game may be lost. When Chin Feng flew to the top of the cliff, he always felt as if a pair of eyes were watching them. When Chin Feng turned around, the feeling disappeared again. Chin Feng was puzzled. If there are enemies, the system will definitely prompt you. I must be very nervous recently. So, Chin Feng flew back to the hive, laid down on the throne, let his mind wander, closed his eyes and rested. At this time, in the Beast King's cave, a white tiger with a hanging forehead quickly ran in. Report. King! The location of the little black bee has been detected. Where? The Beast King's eyes opened with a swish and two rays of cold light shot out. Beehives were found on a thick tree that stretched out from the gap in the cliff. And beehives were also found in other places. But the hive in the tree on the cliff was the largest. And it was probably the main hive. The Beast King stood up excitedly and squeezed his heart, which was beating so fast that it was about to fly out of his throat. Come on, tiger. Quietly instruct all the tigers and soldiers not to touch other hives at all. During the day, continue to explore and stay the same. At night, Move closer to the main hive on the cliff. Don't disturb the little black bees and the others. Yes, King. After the Diao-fronted white tigers received the order, all Diao-fronted white tigers continued to explore on their own during the day, occasionally dozing off. When night fell, the glorious worker bees gathered honey for the day and flew back to the hive, while the hanging-fronted white tigers were full of energy and kept moving closer to the cliff. At this time, the Beast King also took his tiger soldiers and tiger generals to take advantage of the night to come to the rear. The only way to the top of the cliff. And rest here. And Chi Lian Wang Snake and Ma. Who had been harmed by Chen Feng. When they received the order from the Beast King. They also took advantage of the night to quietly move out. They all hated Chen Feng deeply. And they just waited for Dawn to fight with him. The Beast Kings gathered together to avenge their compatriots and clansmen. The night was so long and so dark. Like a giant beast that could devour monsters. It stretched out its giant palm and held them in its palm, unable to move at all. During the anxious and long wait, the sky descended on the earth with neon colors. The monster beasts seemed to have a clear understanding of each other, and they all gathered towards the cliff. Ding. We found a large number of enemy attacks 10,000 meters ahead. Please pay attention to the host. Ding. We found a large number of enemy attacks 10,000 meters behind. Please pay attention to the host. The sound of the system rang in Chen Feng's ears. Chen Feng was so frightened that he rolled down from the throne. He was about to roar angrily to vent his unhappiness. But suddenly, the sound of the system kept echoing in his mind. Chen Feng frowned. He had experienced several life and death experiences. 
but he had never seen any big winds or waves. Then, he patted his butt and buttocks and sat on the throne. Come on, B. Gather all B soldiers and generals to protect the hive and resist foreign enemies. Yes. Ding. We found a large number of enemy attacks 2,000 meters ahead. Please pay attention to the host. Ding. We found a large number of enemy attacks 5 to 2,000 meters behind. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong did not panic at all and quietly waited for the soldiers and generals to gather. Report. King. All soldiers and generals have been assembled. Follow me to meet the enemy. Chin Fong waved his front foot and led the glorious worker bees to fly out of the hive. At this time, a large number of monsters had surrounded the cliff. Ma led a large army to seal and lock the sky. The third elder of the Red Snake King led his snake clan to seal and lock the cliff. And the Beast King led the tiger soldiers and generals that were twice as many as those in the forbidden area. Some of them sealed and locked up the help of Chi Lian Wang's snake under the cliff. While the other part lined up to surround the top of the cliff, Chin Fong led the large army and flew out from the hive covered by leaves. He looked around and saw so many monsters. The feeling of being watched emerged from the bottom of his heart again. He felt that there should be some masters among the monsters. Hiding in the dark. Observing their every move. The Beast King couldn't help but feel angry when he saw Chin Fong. Who had not panicked in the face of so many monsters. And ignored him so much. And looked at Chin Fong with cold and resentful eyes. Little Black Bee. You have caused public outrage. Let's see where you run away this time. A catastrophe was approaching. And all escape routes were blocked. This time, Chin Fong seemed to have no chance to escape. Chapter 85 Melee The Beast King discovered Chin Feng's hive and led all the monster beasts to besiege Chin Fong and his hive, blocking all his escape routes. Chin Fong looked at the sky in the distance, his eyes filled with calmness. The Beast King on the cliff looked at this moment and gritted his teeth. Little Black Bee, if you surrender, I will consider leaving your body intact. Chin Fong looked at the triumphant Beast King in front of him. Ah. We don't know who will win today. Stop talking nonsense. If you want to fight, fight quickly. If you don't fight, just leave here. The Beast King was immediately enraged and roared. Since you are like this and don't know how to praise me, don't blame me for being ruthless. On the battlefield of monster beasts, there is really not much talk. Chin Fong gave an order, and about 600,000 to 700,000 worker bees were spawned from the system, surrounding the hive. The Beast King couldn't help but feel frightened when he saw Chen Feng's power growing so fast. An unknown color flashed in his eyes, as he thought to himself. If I can't deal with the little black bee this time, and let him grow up again, I won't be able to compete with him. Maybe by then, I will die. The Beast King made up his mind. His eyes filled with murderous intent. Come on! Kill me! Come on! Give it to me! The Beast King and Chen Feng jointly ordered, and the monsters from both sides fought together. Chin Feng's crystal clear wings were illuminated by the sun, carrying wisps of cold light as he rushed towards the enemy's camp. Chin Feng knew that as long as Ma was solved, the sky would be their home court. Although Chin Feng did not make strategic arrangements for the glorious worker bees due to emergencies, they were still well trained in resisting the enemy, exuding murderous intent in their bones, and rushed towards the enemy, with the hive as the center. They formed a defensive circle to contain the hive. Once you enter a safe area, you won't be attacked for a short period of time. There was a small group of people who followed Chin Feng and participated in the battle with Ma. The king of the hemp is the six-layered mirror monster, and the other hemp is on par with the glorious worker bees who followed Chin Feng. The Ma men swooped down and faced the attacking Chin Feng with a fierce momentum. Chin Feng confronted them with a momentum that was not inferior to Ma. Ma Wang's sharp beak rushed towards the small Chin Feng with murderous intent. Chin Feng's light body dodged to the side to avoid Ma Wang's attack. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows flew towards Ma Wang who passed by him at extremely fast speeds. In the blink of an eye, they were in front of Ma Wang. The five-layered mirrored Ma Wang was not that easy to deal with. His huge body could only be seen. Drawing a strange arc. Dodged all attacks from Chin Feng's sword shadow. Wings of cold wind. Ma Wang's wings were all spread out. And every feather on the wings seemed to have been combed. Strong and straight. Like sharp blades. Carrying the cold wind. Attacking Chin Feng. Seeing that the situation was not in his favor. Chin Feng changed his attack. Turned somersault in the air. And dodged the first blow. What he didn't expect was that Ma Wang reacted so quickly. As soon as Chin Feng dodged. The second blow came. Even faster. The power became more powerful. 
and Chen Feng had to quickly retreat to the side to avoid the second blow, before Chen Feng could react. The third blow came with an afterimage. In this way, Chen Feng dodged more than a dozen blows without any chance to use his skills. This won't work. We have to find a way. Chen Feng was highly concentrated and constantly thinking about ways to solve the situation at hand. Ma Wang attacked Chen Feng one blow after another, without even touching his hair, and stole a glance at Chen Feng. The little black bee is indeed difficult to deal with. If this continues, it may not be good for me. I couldn't help but feel a little anxious, and stepped up my offensive. Chen Feng suddenly had an idea in his mind. At this time, King Ma struck again. Chen Feng's heart trembled as he saw the attack that was no less than the previous attack. Ma Wang looked at Chen Feng and showed no intention of hiding. This little black bee is definitely dumbfounded. Chen Feng ignored Ma Wang's eyes and saw that the attack was approaching. Block! I only heard a sound like two weapons clashing between the two monsters. Chen Feng's whole body felt numb, and he drew a long distance in the direction of Ma Wang's attack. The earth groans. When paddling out, Chen Feng used a skill on Ma Wang. At that time, Ma Wang was too close to Chen Feng, and his whole body was electrocuted and anesthetized, and he fell from the air. Chen Feng took a breath and watched the Beast King swooping down on the cliff as he continued to kill the glorious worker bees. The Beast King, who was always paying attention to Chen Feng's movements, saw Chen Feng swooping down and roared away all the glorious worker bees buzzing around him. Wind Blade! Dozens of small blades mixed with fierce wind attacked Chen Feng who was swooping down. Xian Tian has no way. Chen Feng looked at the countless small sword blades. His face darkened, and he directly released his own sword shadow. The two skills collided and sparked countless sparks. Sword of Swift Wind! The Beast King didn't pause at all, and used another skill. And four giant swords rushed directly towards Chen Feng. Although the giant sword is big, it is very fast. Chen Feng lost the initiative and was in a passive state, continuously dodging the remaining wind blades and giant swords. When the Beast King was getting ready to attack again, Chen Feng spotted the opening, his speed sword, and he flew in front of the Beast King. The earth groans. Inevitably, the Beast King was anesthetized. And at the same time, the white tiger with a hanging forehead a hundred meters away from the Beast King suffered a disaster. Chin Feng just wanted to stab the seams with needles and strike again. Unexpectedly, the Beast King was anesthetized for a moment before he reacted, roaring towards Chin Feng. The skill rushed towards Chin Feng, and Chin Feng could only retreat to avoid it. Just like that, Chin Feng and the Beast King were fighting fiercely. The more the Beast King fought, the more frightened he became. This was the first monster to be able to cross levels and compete with him. He couldn't help but speed up his attack, relying on the protection of his rear. The Beast King put aside all worries and attacked Chin Feng crazily. The melee between the Glory Worker Bees and the enemy was an almost devastating battle. The Glory Worker Bees were constantly being killed from the sky and fell under the cliff. The White Tiger with Gale Forehead, the Red King Snake, and Ma were also injured and died in the melee and fell off the cliff. I saw corpses of monsters falling continuously under the cliff, crushing numerous bones, and some piled up into a hill, like tombs in a mass grave. All the monsters up and down the cliff had their eyes turned red. Blood was constantly splashing and flowing into a river, dyeing the rocks and plants on the cliff red, and also dyeing half of the sky red. Gradually, the helpless Chen Feng fell into decline under the Beast King's desperate attack, and the glorious worker be suffered heavy losses. Chen Feng's heart skipped a beat. Is it possible that I'm going to die here? Chapter 86 Reversal Chen Feng was retreating steadily under the strong offensive of the Beast King. The melee between Chen Feng and the Beast King has entered a heated stage. After Ma Wang was hit by Chen Feng's earth meditation and fell down the cliff, he was attacked by the glory worker bees. When the anesthesia effect wore off and he reacted, he was heavily surrounded by glory worker bees. Ma Wang fought hard and broke through the heavy siege. When he flew back into the air, he already had moderate injuries on his body. Therefore, he gritted his teeth and held a grudge against Chen Feng. You cunning little black bee! You killed my people and humiliated me. You and I are at odds with each other. Today, either you die or I die. King Ma looked around the battlefield with a sinister look and saw Chen Feng fighting with the Beast King at a glance. Then, he swooped down and flanked Chen Feng with the Beast King, facing the attacks of two demonic beasts that were higher than his own. Chen Feng was a little tired of dealing with it. He dodged the Beast King's attack. And Ma King's attack came again. Before he could avoid Ma King's attack, Chen Feng's Beast King's attack came again. 
you can only continuously release skills and use offense as defense. At this time, after Chen Feng dodged the Beast King's attack, he didn't pay attention. The sharp claws of the King Ma cut open Chen Feng's back. Chen Feng only felt a burning pain in his back and fell from the air to the edge of the cliff. Ding! The host's health value is less than 10%. Consume 30% of the royal jelly, and the repair function is activated. Ding! The repair progress is 1%. Countless crows flew through Chen Feng's heart. But he didn't see that I was already on the verge of danger, still depriving and squeezing me. When the Beast King saw Chen Feng falling on the edge of the cliff, he sneered and stepped gracefully. Every step carried an aura of danger, as if stepping into Chen Feng's heart. The Beast King slowly walked up to Chen Feng and looked down at Chen Feng. If you don't go against me and you come to seek refuge, I will definitely make you my most capable subordinate. What a pity. What a pity. Then, the Beast King raised his front foot and slapped Chen Feng. Ding! The repair progress is 50%. Chen Feng's eyes became fierce, and it seemed that he could only take a gamble. The poison of innocence. Chen Feng felt as if his body was torn apart. The original pain in his back and the pain in his tail made his body somewhat numb. When the Beast King's front foot was patted down, Chen Feng immediately flew up regardless of the injury, stabbed the Beast King's front foot with a needle, and then used all his strength to stumble away from the Beast King's clutches. The Beast King only felt a pain in his front feet, and some numbness fell. On the edge of the cliff, small stones fell into the cliff under the Beast King's kick. The Beast King was stunned for a moment, looked at Chen Feng who had escaped from the blow, roared angrily, flew towards Chen Feng who was flying up, and attacked Chen Feng with crazy kicks. Chin Feng could only drag his injured body to avoid it. I didn't dodge the kick, and was photographed on a rock not far away. I felt like my small body was about to fall apart, and stars were popping up in front of my eyes. Ding! The system repair was interrupted. Repair it again, and the repair function is activated. System, can you fix it quickly? Ding! Consume 30% of royal jelly to speed up repair. At this time, the Beast King's other kick had already been taken. Chin Feng looked at the huge animal feet and closed his eyes. My life is at an end. At this critical moment, there was chaos behind the Beast King, and several wind blades hit the tiger's feet that attacked Chin Feng. The Beast King could only give up the idea of attacking Chin Feng and avoid the attack. Chin Feng closed his eyes. The expected pain did not come. He opened his eyes, and his little body trembled slightly. This was another time he wandered in front of the gate of H, L. After all, he had already walked through the palace of hell once. But it was particularly special. Cherish your life. Chen Feng, who was still a little dazed, looked at the incoming beast. But the size of the beast king completely blocked his sight. At this time, the beast king took a closer look, looking at the monster standing in front of him in amazement, and at his own men who were constantly being controlled by him behind him. What do you mean? It turns out that this monster brought reinforcements from the bloodthirsty hall. It's no fun! I just came to kill you. Then, regardless of the horrified look on the Beast King's face, he directly attacked the Beast King. Due to the huge difference in strength, and the fact that the Beast King was poisoned by Chen Feng's bee venom, he fell to the ground after just a few moves against the monsters from the bloodthirsty hall. He died on the rocks of the cliff. After the Beast King returned to the west, the Red Train King Snake and Ma saw that the situation was not good and fled in all directions. In a flash, only the gory worker bee and the Diao forehead white tiger were left. This scene couldn't help but surprise Chin Feng, who had already recovered under the system's repair. Chin Feng flew up from the stone and immediately saw this strange guy in the bloodthirsty hall. He was different from other white tigers with hanging foreheads. He was covered in black. The lines are like ancient and mysterious marks. And there is a dangerous smell all over the body. Chin Feng looked at this unique black tiger in the bloodthirsty hall. And his intuition told him, that things would never be as simple as he imagined. At this time, Black Tiger gracefully patted his front foot and walked towards Chin Feng. Chin Feng could not help but feel alarm bells ringing in his heart. However, he could not lose his momentum at all. So Chin Feng looked at him with his head held high. The Black Tiger slowly came to Chin Feng and headed straight towards Chin Feng with pressure. Chin Feng felt that his body sank and fell from the air. Chin Feng fell on the stone and felt some pain in his small body. Fortunately, he did not fly high. Otherwise, you will definitely suffer internal injuries from the fall. Chen Feng couldn't help but feel a little angry. However, he was so powerful that he was absolutely unable to fight against him for the time being. 
Chin Fong climbed up from the stone. But he was unprepared just now. He didn't expect that the black tiger in the bloodthirsty hall could make such a move. He patted the dust on the bee's body with his front foot. Perhaps it was due to the beast king's mentality. At this time, Chin Fong was no longer affected by his coercion. Black Tiger looked at Chin Fong in surprise, who was only affected at first, but not at all later. He couldn't help but increase the pressure. In the end, Chin Fong was still so calm and composed, and he couldn't help but be a little surprised, seeing that the pressure was of no use to Chin Fong. He simply stopped testing Chin Fong. Come to think of it, you also know that I am the monster in the bloodthirsty hall. Chin Fong rolled his eyes. He really didn't know that he was a monster from the bloodthirsty hall. Although he had some guesses in his heart. If he hadn't admitted it himself, Chen Fong would still be a little unsure. After that, Hei Hu said straight to the point. This time I successfully killed the beast king of the blood forest. I will report that it was you who killed him. Black Tiger paused, and Chen Fong was speechless. Why did he have to be so hypocritical? Black Tiger looked down at Chen Fong proudly. However, you must be willing to serve me. Otherwise, you will not escape death. There was every trace of threat in Black Tiger's eyes. Chapter 87 Trust Black Tiger threatened Chin Fong to work for him. Black Tiger's strength was unfathomable. So Chin Fong had no choice but to temporarily agree to work for Black Tiger. Black Tiger looked at the cunning Chin Fong. Although you promised to work for me, I can't believe you. If you escape, I will have to spend my energy chasing you, which is not cost effective. Black Tiger looked at the high block by leaves below the cliff, concentrated his energy, and left a mark on Chin Feng's hive. As soon as the brand was stamped on the honeycomb, it was good. Chin Fong could escape the monk, but not the temple. Ding! It is detected that the system is marked and cannot be cleared. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong felt a little angry inside. How can you be so overbearing and mark items that are not yours without the owner's consent? It's really too much. However, due to the disparity in strength, Chin Fong could only swallow his anger and hide the bitterness in his stomach. After Black Tiger finished this series of things, without even looking at Chin Fong, he turned around and left the cliff with his men and the already controlled White Tiger. Chin Fong looked at the cliff that was already in a mess with some helplessness. Dragging his tired body, he led the glorious worker bees back to the hive. Chin Fong lay on the throne, supporting his little bee head with one front foot, holding the straw with the other front foot, and drank the royal jelly in large gulps. Seeing that less than half of the royal jelly was left, he felt heartbroken. I kept complaining about the system in my mind. Ma. Duh. The system is too much. It doesn't deduct it from the honey. It deducts it directly from the royal jelly. And you know how to leave some for me. Otherwise, I will have to die because my physical strength is exhausted and I can't get replenishment. After complaining for a while, I felt a lot more comfortable inside. He kept thinking in his mind about how to escape from the black tiger's control and how to move the hive. Afterwards, Chin Fong remembered something and clicked on the properties panel. Hive level, 15, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut. Number of worker bees, 201066, the transfer cooling time is one day. The subhive level is one-tenth of the hive. Seeing the loss of more than half of the glorious worker bees, I felt heartbroken inside. After Chin Fong had eaten and drank enough, and rested his hands and feet, he fluttered his wings and flew out of the hive. He wandered around the blood forest and felt that the misty peak was more suitable for hiding the hive. System, set the coordinates here. Ding! The coordinates are set. Please pay attention to the host. Although the hive had been marked by the black tiger, Chin Fong still wanted to block it. Chin Fong flew back to the hive and summoned all the glorious worker bees to prepare for transfer. System, move the hive to the coordinate mark. Ding! The hive transfer is starting. 50% of the honey is consumed. Ding! The hive transfer was successful. The beehive shook and appeared on Miss Peak. Afterwards, Chin Fong flew out of the hive and looked at the huge hive in front of him and couldn't help but feel a little sad. System, do you know how to remove the imprint? The system made no sound. Probably because it was making a decision. After waiting for a long time, just when Chin Fong thought the system would not answer, a sentence almost made Chin Fong jump from his throne in anger. Ding! The current hive level is too low and the host level is too low. So it cannot be eliminated. After such a long time, you just said this to me. Chin Fong felt that his nose was going to be crooked with anger. He looked up at the hive and sighed. After the battle, the glorious worker bees were busy collecting honey 
and storing food one after another. The whole day was spent in peace, making Chen Feng think that he had escaped the Black Tiger's control. Unexpectedly, as soon as the rising sun rose from the forest plain, Black Tiger led his men to the door. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks have been spotted 10,000 meters ahead. Host, please pay attention. Chin Feng's heart thumped as he thought unwillingly. Sure enough, I found it. It seems that in this field, my hive cannot escape the control of the Black Tiger of the Bloodthirsty Hall. In the Blood Forest, he can find the location of the hive at any time. Black Tiger came to the cave in Misty Peak, and the cold and damp air made Black Tiger frown. Then, he looked at Chin Fong not far from the cave entrance with cold eyes. Little Black Bee, my patience has its limit. Don't try to challenge my bottom line. Since I can save you, I can kill you. I hope you will think clearly before making a decision. Chin Feng's expression changed, and he thought silently, a man must be able to bend and stretch. So this little thing doesn't matter. Sir, how dare I escape? It's just that the smell of blood and evil at the cliff was too strong. So I moved away from there and came here. Black Tiger snorted coldly. It's best this way. Remember? You can't escape my grasp. Chin Feng nodded and bowed. That's what my lord said. Black Tiger looked at Chin Feng's complimenting attitude with satisfaction. Snorted coldly and turned around to leave. Time flew by. And a few days passed in the blink of an eye. Black Tiger never came to supervise him since that time. On this day, Chin Feng had just drank enough royal jelly vibrated his wings, and had just flown to the entrance of the cave. Black Tiger led a large number of his men to Misty Peak, walked into the cave, looked at Chin Feng, and nodded with satisfaction. He probably thought that Chin Feng had come out to greet him, and then waved his front foot towards his subordinates. I saw a few hanging forehead white tigers holding a few elixirs and carefully approaching the black tigers. These elixirs are given to you to enhance your strength, to make you more capable of taking over the blood forest becoming the controller of the blood forest, and serving me better. Chin Feng looked at the foreleg of the white tiger with a hanging forehead, holding twenty small blackleaf golden clouds, ten thousand petal lotuses, and even ten seven-leaf flowers. Chin Feng was extremely surprised in his heart, but Feng's face didn't show it at all. Thank you. Sir, I will definitely live up to your trust. Black tiger might be in a good mood, so he nodded slightly and left with his men. After all, Misty Peak was too damp, damp and cold, and Black Tiger didn't like to stay here for a long time. Chin Feng looked at the Black Tiger going away. Thoughtfully, this is the weasel giving New Year greetings to the chicken uneasy and kind-hearted. It is impossible for Black Tiger to spend such a large amount of spiritual treasures to cultivate him for no reason. Maybe there is some conspiracy waiting for him. However, the elixir should not be wasted, and no one would despise the treasures in their hands. Chen Feng's face was dim and unclear in the fog with low visibility, hiding the true emotions in his heart. Chapter 88 Improved Strength Chen Feng put the elixir brought by Black Tiger into the water drop space. He knew that there was no free lunch in this world, and the large amounts of elixirs Black Tiger gave him must have some agenda. It's just that he still doesn't understand what Black Tiger's true intention is. It's definitely not the magic medicine or his power. After all, he is both. Chin Feng was lying comfortably on the throne with his legs crossed, although the situation in front of him was not ideal. Chin Feng was not worried about it at all and would never be defeated. There must be a way for a car to reach the mountainside and for a boat to reach the bridge. He believes that there will always be a way to solve the situation at hand. Chin Feng thought about it carefully. Since the hive was branded, it could not be moved. Once it was moved, it would be discovered. He was not yet strong enough to fight against it. Chin Feng suddenly thought that he was not branded and would not be discovered anywhere he went. So he decided to go and investigate. After having an idea, Chin Feng flapped his crystal wings, turned into a line, and flew out of the hive. In the blood forest after the war, everything was still the same as before, and the fragrance of flowers remained. Chin Feng looked at the flowers baptized by blood, and they bloomed more coquettishly. The monsters were busy working diligently, and they were not affected at all. Influence. Chin Feng passed through the blood birch forest that blocked the sky and entered the core area. Now that the Beast King is dead, the Black Tiger of the Bloodthirsty Hall will definitely occupy the Beast King's cave. After all, the Beast King's cave contains high-level spiritual veins. So, Chin Feng went straight to the Beast King's cave. The entrance to the Beast King's cave is guarded by two eightfold mirror tiger soldiers and generals brought by Black Tiger himself. The Beast King's original tiger soldiers 
and Tiger generals were all subdued by Black Tiger and sent to work for Black Tiger. Chen Feng took advantage of the distraction of the two hanging fronted white tigers guarding the entrance of the cave and rushed into the Beast King's cave with his transparent wings vibrating faster. Except for the Black Tigers. Everything in the Beast King's cave has been replaced by his own tiger soldiers and generals. The number of troops has changed from large to fine. But there are no other changes. Chin Feng quietly came to the Beast King's hall in order to avoid being discovered. Chin Feng slowly landed on the rock wall and climbed into the Beast King's hall with his six short legs against the rock wall. At this time, in the Beast King's palace, there was only a black tiger sitting on the throne and a white tiger with a hanging forehead whispering with its feet hanging next to the throne. Chin Feng climbed up the rock wall with light steps and slowly approached. Only the deep voice of Black Tiger was heard. Pay close attention to Little Black Bee's movements and be sure not to let him escape. Also, collect more treasures from heaven and earth to increase Little Black Bee's strength as soon as possible. Don't worry. Sir, the Little Black Bee can't escape. The last time he escaped, you found him immediately. When Chin Feng heard Hei Hu's words, he immediately knew that things were not that simple. There was silence in the cave. Just when Chin Feng thought that Black Tiger would not speak anymore and was about to leave, Black Tiger spoke in the lowest voice to the White Tiger with a hanging forehead next to him. How long until the ancient beast is awakened? There are still two months before I can return to your master. There is still plenty of time. This sacrifice will definitely satisfy the beast's appetite and obtain a more powerful bloodline. The Black Tiger smiled sadly. And the White Tiger with the hanging forehead also laughed with him. Go ahead. Every once in a while, send a batch of elixirs to Little Black Bee. In two months, I want to see his strength greatly improved. Yes, sir. The white tiger with a hanging forehead flatteredly accepted the order, and then went down to deliver the order. At this time, Chen Feng, who was clinging to the rock wall, heard such important news. He was so shocked that he couldn't control himself. He used his little wasp's feet to give Black Tiger a slap in the face, and then followed. What came next was a feeling of terror. Even the tiny hairs on the bee's body stood on end. And his heart was filled with angry fire. You bad old black tiger. You actually used me as a sacrifice to summon ancient ferocious beasts to strengthen your own bloodline. You are not a good person at first glance. Even I am ashamed. You actually schemed against me like this. I let you lose all your money. Chin Feng gritted his teeth. Now, he still doesn't know how strong this black tiger is. Peep. Ding. The host successfully used peeping. Target, Black Strike Tiger King. Lin Wu Ninth Mirror. Skills, Nether Blade. Roaring Fury. Rock Shock. Chin Feng saw that the Black Strike Tiger King was a whole level higher than him. He was the fifth level Xientian Mirror. And above the Xientian Mirror was the Lin Wu Mirror. Chin Feng secretly thought in his heart. No wonder he is so arrogant. It turns out he is strong. It seems that he needs to improve his strength quickly. Strength is king. Using all six limbs, Chin Feng quickly climbed out of the Beast King's palace along the rock wall. In the dim cave, his crystal clear wings flew out of the Beast King's cave with a little luster. After Chin Feng flew back to the hive, he took out the horse chestnut set by the Black Striped Tiger King and the horse chestnuts picked in the forbidden area before. A total of 14 horse chestnuts. Can the system be upgraded all at once? Ding! The host's requirements cannot be met. Then use these horse chestnuts. Ding! The host successfully used the god-level low-grade seven-leaf flower and the hive plunder plus one. Ding! Check that the hive integrity is 100%. Is the host upgraded now? Upgrade! Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The estimated time is one day. Please pay attention to the host. In the following time, Chin Feng concentrated on upgrading the hive. After the hive is successfully upgraded, pick up the horse chestnut and feed it to the hive, and the hive will be upgraded again. These days, Chen Feng's mind is filled with the sounds of a series of system upgrades. Hive level, 22, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut. Number of worker bees, 311066, the transfer cooling time is one day. The subhive level is one tenth of the hive. Hive plunder, 3 out of 10, plunder the opponent's bloodline. Chen Feng clicked on the attribute panel and nodded with satisfaction when he saw that the hive was upgraded to the ideal state. However, the next step was to upgrade it himself. Chin Feng's bee eyes kept turning. He couldn't increase his strength too fast. Otherwise, it would arouse the suspicion of the Black Striped Tiger King and make him be more vigilant. 
Chin Feng took out all the Xuanya Zaya Jintan, Purple Leaf Magic Flower, and Tianai Sanchikeo from the water drop space. He swallowed all the elixirs in one gulp, and his evolution points grew like crazy. System, I want to upgrade. Ding! The upgrade is successful. Please pay attention to the host. After two upgrades, he used up all the elixirs. Afterwards, Chin Feng took a big sip of royal jelly, lay on the throne, stretched, and enjoyed the pleasure brought by the improvement in strength. During the past few days when Chin Feng was undergoing seclusion and upgrading, the Black Striped Tiger King did not come to disturb him. Only the men he said came a few times and delivered a batch of elixirs for Chin Feng to improve his strength. Chapter 89 The Lion Speaks Chin Feng continued to improve his strength with the help of the Black Striped Tiger King. On this day, the Black Striped Tiger King led his men to explore how much Chin Feng's strength had improved. He was quite satisfied to see that Chin Feng had risen to two realms in just a few days. Then, he signaled to his subordinates with his eyes to leave the elixir he brought with Chin Feng. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Feng seriously. You have good qualifications. I hope you can improve your strength as soon as possible so that you can better serve me. You will be useful when the time comes. Chin Feng saw the Black Striped Tiger King being so shameless. And he rolled his eyes and took it into consideration. My lord is generous. But my little one's strength has reached a bottleneck recently and has been improving slowly. I hope that the lord can give me more advanced elixirs. The Black Striped Tiger King stared at Chin Feng's eyes for a long time. There was no impurity in his eyes. And he didn't look like he was lying. What do you need? I need Shant Eon Nine Lotus. Ganoderma Lucidum Fruit. Strange Antler Ginseng Magic Flower. Residual Snow Fairy Chrysanthemum. Purple Frost Heartbroken Red. The pupils of the Black Striped Tiger King tightened. These elixirs were all divide elixirs. You are really good at talking like a lion. You are not afraid that I will kill you. Chin Fong looked at the Black Striped Tiger King with a playful smile. If you wanted to kill me, you wouldn't spend a lot of elixirs to cultivate my strength. If you kill me now, all your previous efforts will be in vain. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Fong, who seemed to understand everything, and felt a little nervous. Maybe he knows how to summon a ferocious beast and sacrifice it. The Black Striped Tiger King shook his head and rejected the idea. If he knew about this, he would definitely run away. How could he sit here and wait for death? I don't want to give up the child and can't trap the wolf. If it's not just a few elixirs, I'll give it to you. The Black Striped Tiger King thought a lot in an instant. Chin Fong looked at the Black Striped Tiger King, who had been silent for a long time. Although he knew that the Black Striped Tiger King would not kill him for the time being, by asking for so many god-level elixirs, he would inevitably doubt that he already knew his secret. Conspiracy. There is no turning back when the bow is fired. Chin Fong can only bite the bullet and hold on. Just when Chin Fong was thinking about whether to change some elixirs, the Black Striped Tiger King said, Okay, in a few days, I will send someone to deliver the elixir you need. The premise is that I want to see the results of your improvement in strength. Chin Fong heard the words of the Black Striped Tiger King, but he didn't expect him to be so generous, with a hint of wanton success hidden in his eyes. The Black Striped Tiger King returned to the Beast King's cave in the core area from Chin Fong. Come on, Tiger. All the spiritual treasures of the original core Beast King have been found for me. Yes. The Diao-fronted White Tiger received the order and soon found the small treasure trove of the original core Beast King. Although Chin Fong had previously looted all the elixirs in the treasure pavilion, the Beast King still had a small treasure house in private. There are higher level elixirs stored inside. Later, the Black Striped Tiger King sent the elixir to Miss Peak, and Chin Fong swallowed it without any regrets. Ding. The host successfully consumed the god level top grade Ganoderma Lycidum fruit, which increased the evolution points by 1 million points and triggered the Divine Familiar Pavilion 14 of 100. The host was rewarded with two body tempering pills. Chin Fong swallowed other elixirs sent by the Black Striped Tiger King upgraded them two levels in a row, and then clicked on the attribute panel. Host, Chun Fong. Xian Tian 9 Mirrors, 200000 slash 15000000. Peeping, second level 0 to 1. Check for weaknesses within a certain range. Skill, Xian Tian Wudao, fourth level, Xian Tian Sword Shadow, has a 40% probability of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for 4 seconds. The Earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 17, which is equal to the host's own level. Block, fourth level, pure defensive skill. Defense power is equal to 20% of own strength. 
Secret Technique, Wu Wu Poison, 5th level, after using the Venom. It can absorb honey, and convert it into Venom. If you are hit, you will suffer varying degrees of damage depending on your own strength. Chin Feng drank big gulps of royal jelly, to make up for the hunger caused by the continuous upgrades. At this time, Chin Feng's little head, was spinning crazily. The hive was branded, and could not be transferred. Therefore, he could only re-establish the branch hive, and secretly transfer the worker bees to preserve his strength. Chin Feng took a big sip of royal jelly and flew out. The hive, flying through the thick forest of blood birches. I lingered for a long time. Suddenly, an idea flashed. And the most dangerous place was the safest place. Now, although the core area is controlled by the Black Striped Tiger King, the branch nest there has not been discovered at all. Therefore, Chin Feng asked the system to establish a secret hive in the core area of a cliff similar to Xiao Feng Tian. With everything ready, Chin Feng flapped his wings, which glowed with glaze under the sun, and flew back to the misty peak. On the way back to the hive, Chin Feng found a white tiger with a hanging forehead, running forward continuously. His back was very familiar, but for a moment, he couldn't remember it. As a result, Chin Feng's speed increased, and he secretly followed him only to find that the Diao-fronted white tiger had stopped in a cave not far from Misty Peak. The white tiger with a hanging forehead got into the cave without thinking. Chin Feng followed and entered the cave again. At this time, the Diao-fronted white tiger was a little tired and laid down on a stone in the cave. After a closer look, he realized that he was the subordinate of the previous Beast King. The white tiger, the subordinate of the Beast King, who once supported him unconditionally. Chen Feng originally wanted to go and say H, Lo. But after thinking about it, he was so close, and it would be the same if he came to visit another day. Business was more important. Then, he flew back to the hive, and sat upright on the throne. Come on, bee! All the worker bees obeyed the order, leaving a hundred low-level worker bees to collect honey, and the rest moved to the subhives in the core area. Yes! Since the glorious worker bees are all spawned by the system, the location chosen by Chin Feng can be known without him personally leading them. All the worker bees were ready to go, taking advantage of the dark night and high winds to move the main hive neatly and orderly. Chin Feng arranged for the glorious worker queen and walked through the blood birch forest to the beast king's cave in the core area, hoping to get some news that would be beneficial to him. In the beast king's cave, the black striped tiger king seemed to be looking at something. Because the light was too dim, Chin Feng could only use six limbs to climb to the top of the black striped tiger king and get a closer look. The black striped tiger king held an ancient sheepskin scroll in his hand. On the yellow black glossy sheepskin scroll, there was a map drawn. The black striped tiger king's front feet kept sliding from one place to another. It seems like he is planning a route. Chin Feng looked carefully. The forest pointed by the black striped tiger king seemed inexplicably familiar. He thought about it and shook his little behead. Isn't this the blood forest? Isn't that the other place? Chin Feng looked at another forest that was somewhat similar to the blood forest. Phantom Forest. Chapter 90 Control. The Phantom Forest is next to the Blood Forest. It is wider than the Blood Forest. However, the risk factor is also higher than the Blood Forest. Chin Feng watched the Black Striped Tiger King's front legs wandering in these two forests. Is it possible that the places where monsters are summoned, sacrifices are made, and bloodlines are taken from here? Looking at the Black Striped Tiger King, who lowered his head in thought. His eyes kept looking between the two forests. His eyes didn't stop anywhere else. In an instant, he was sure that his guess was correct. After Chin Feng got the information he needed, he turned around and glanced at the Black Striped Tiger King before flying back to the hive. Looking at the empty hive since the transfer of the glorious worker bees, I can't help but feel a little sad. The hive that is usually so lively has become so deserted due to the situation. How can the bees not feel the spring and regret the autumn? Chin Feng lay listlessly on the throne, his little wasp legs shaking one after another. He kept thinking about the map on the parchment roll in the hands of the Beast King, so that he knew it well. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks were found 10,000 meters ahead. Host, please pay attention. Chin Feng was smart and complained secretly. You won't let me take a rest even if I want to. I really don't give the bees a way to survive. Although he was thinking this in his heart, his steps never stopped, and he slowly walked out of the hive. Inside the cave, a crude stone awaits. Not long after, the Black Striped Tiger King came down with his men, bringing with him a large number of high-level spiritual treasures. The Black Striped Tiger King looked down at Chin Feng proudly. From today on, you are not allowed to leave Misty Peak even half a step. 
Do you have any objections? Chin Feng felt dissatisfied and couldn't help but draw circles in his heart and curse the Black Stripe Tiger King 180 times. You are obviously forcibly controlling my actions. If I say no, you will definitely take me down and tie me up and keep me in custody. I dare to say no. Although Chin Feng felt resentful in his heart, he did not dare to confront the Black Stripe Tiger King like this. My lord, I will only comment on your orders. The Black Stripe Tiger King nodded with satisfaction. Come on, Tiger. Surround Misty Peak tightly. And not even a fly can come in. Yes. After the arrangement of the Black Stripe Tiger King is completed. In order not to disturb your improvement in strength. I will arrange my people outside the Misty Peak to protect your safety. Chin Fong couldn't help but feel contempt in his heart when he saw the Black Stripe Tiger King speaking so grandly. Thank you for your sympathy. The Black Stripe Tiger King signaled to his men and sent the elixir to Chin Fong. Looking at the Xiantian Nine Lotus exuding a charming fragrance and other elixirs in front of me, my unhappy heart finally felt a little more relaxed. After the Black Stripe Tiger King gave the elixir to Chin Fong, he left the place, as if he didn't want to see the elixir he had lost anymore, and as if he didn't want to see Chin Fong, who was a little embarrassed at this time. After the Black Stripe Tiger King left, Chin Feng's front foot holding the Xiantian Nine Lotus trembled slightly. System, use this Xiantian Nine Lotus. Ding! The host successfully used the god-level high-grade Xiantian Nine Lotus. Hive plunder plus one. Ding! Check that the hive integrity is 100%. Is the host upgraded now? Upgrade! Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The estimated time is 20 hours. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng couldn't help but jump for joy when he heard the crisp prompt tone of the system. Time passed by minute by minute in the long wait. 20 hours. As if waiting for a century. Chin Feng was bored and lay on the throne and fell asleep. Until he heard the system prompt sound. Awake. Ding! The current level is level 23. And I will be rewarded with two Yuan returning pills. Ding! The host can check the rest of the properties by himself. The hive is no longer growing at this time. And seems to be continuously shrinking. But the space in the hive is getting larger and larger. As if it has formed a space. Every evolution and upgrade can expand the space. Ding! The system has detected an unknown imprint, which can be eliminated. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng couldn't help but feel excited. System, quickly, quickly, remove that mark. Ding! The brand has been successfully eliminated. The estimated elimination time is five days. Afterwards, Chin Feng calmed down. Now, Misty Peak was surrounded, and without the help of a large number of worker bees, it was impossible to escape from the opponent's control. Chin Feng was a little helpless, holding the straw with his front feet and drinking royal jelly. Occasionally, he would take out a piece of elixir and put it into his mouth and swallow it. At this time, he suddenly thought of the white tiger who supported him unconditionally. Although the white tiger with the dio forehead gave him a mysterious sense of crisis, he was still more trustworthy than the black striped tiger king. The current situation can only be blocked, taking advantage of the darkness. When all the men of the Black Stripe Tiger King who surrounded Misty Peak fell asleep, Chin Feng carefully flew out of the hive and came to the cave where the Diao Forehead White Tiger lived. At this time, the Hanging Forehead White Tiger had already fallen asleep. Chin Feng landed beside the Hanging Fronted White Tiger, shaking the huge body of the Hanging Fronted White Tiger with his front feet. Hey! Wake up! Wake up quickly! The Hanging Forehead White Tiger was originally a vigilant monster. Awakened by Chin Feng's shouts and shaking, Zhang suddenly ducked aside. Chin Feng looked at the white tiger, who suddenly woke up and flashed to the side. With a trace of smile in his eyes, the hanging forehead white tiger saw the incoming beast clearly, breathed a sigh of relief, and relaxed his vigilance. Oh, it's you! Chin Feng waited for the white tiger with hanging forehead to slow down, and said seriously, I'm here to ask you to help me drink. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at the serious Chin Feng, and also became serious. You say... You should also know my current situation. The Black Stripe Tiger King of the Bloodthirsty Hall wants to sacrifice me to the Ancient Monster Beast in one stroke to steal the bloodline of the Ancient Monster Beast. I can't let him succeed. So I want to the control of the glorious worker be will be temporarily handed over to you. So that I may have a chance to escape from his control. The Hanging Forehead White Tiger looked at Chin Feng in surprise. Aren't you afraid that I will lead your glorious worker bees to join the Bloodthirsty Hall? Chin Feng's eyes became firm for a while. Don't be afraid, because I believe in you. If you wanted to harm me, you would have done it in the first place. Why did you wait until now and make yourself in such a mess? 
the hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chen Feng's sincere eyes. He knew that Chen Feng had put down his guard against him and chose to believe him. Okay, since you chose to trust me and put your life and property in my hands, I naturally can't live up to your trust. The hanging forehead white tiger and Chen Feng looked at each other and smiled, reaching a certain tacit understanding. After Chen Feng settled a major incident, he quietly returned to Misty Peak before dawn. Chapter 91 Departure Chin Feng and the hanging fronted white tiger had a good discussion and flew back to Misty Peak while it was still dark. In front of the Misty Peak, the tiger soldiers and generals guarding here were snoring slightly. Chin Feng was rising and falling on their tiger heads, and they were unaware of it. Chin Feng sneered at them and swaggered back to the hive. Chen Feng, who had been planning all night, was currently lying on the throne that was stained with his own aura, with no trace of sleepiness in his expression. The worker bees that were spawned by the system every day quietly evacuated to the subhive at night, taking Chen Feng's orders with them. In the huge hive, there were only a few dozen low-level glorious worker bees left picking honey so that Chen Feng could drink enough royal jelly. Just when Chen Feng was thinking wildly, the black striped tiger king came to Misty Peak. Ding! An enemy attack has been spotted 1,000 meters ahead. Please pay attention to the host. With a systematic reminder, Chen Feng was not worried that the special characteristics of his hive would be exposed. Whenever the Black Striped Beast King came, Chen Feng would fly out of the hive in advance and sit on a throne prepared not far from the entrance of the cave. In fact, it is just a flat stone. Chen Feng flew from the hive to his humble throne, quietly waiting for the arrival of the Black Striped Tiger King. A distance of 1,000 meters is nothing to the monster. The Black Striped Tiger King is getting closer and closer to the cave entrance, and gradually, the outline can be seen in the mist. Before the strength can compete with him, it is not appropriate for the Black Strike Tiger King to discover the mark. When the Black Strike Tiger King comes this time, Chen Feng is drumming in his heart. Is it possible that the removal of the brand was discovered? The Black Strike Tiger King led a group of men into the cave and sat on Chen Feng's simple throne. Where are your worker bees? The eyes of the Black Strike Tiger King were like an ink-colored whirlpool, bottomless, making it impossible for the bees to see his true thoughts. Chin Feng couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, lowered his head slightly, and arched his front feet, replying to my lord. I sent them away. They have a better future with you, so I will let them find another job. The Black Stripe Tiger King was dubious about what Chin Feng said. This is a new batch of elixirs. Work hard to improve your strength. Don't let me down. Chin Feng despised the Black Stripe Tiger King in his heart. You are destined to be disappointed. But he said it in his mouth. I will not disappoint you. Sir, the Black Striped Tiger King nodded with satisfaction, led his men, and disappeared into the mist. Chin Feng looked at the retreating back of the Black Striped Tiger King. He straightened up and stood upright. He could not see the groveling look he had just shown. An energetic Chin Feng flew back to the hive and saw that the progress points had met the conditions for upgrading. System, I want to upgrade and strengthen it. There was a pause as the system was removing the imprint. I was multitasking, and I couldn't react properly. I judged for a few seconds before the beep sounded. Ding. The host has been upgraded successfully. Please pay attention to the host. Ding. The host has been strengthened successfully, and new skills have been activated. Please pay attention to the host. I saw Chen Feng's bee body trembling slightly and rolling down from the throne. The air in the hive and the air in the cave fluctuated. The strands of spiritual energy hidden between heaven and earth were evacuated and penetrated into Chen Feng's body. Due to entering the amount of spiritual energy in the body became more and more, and the bee's body became swollen. Chen Feng also changed from the initial comfort of the spiritual energy entering into the pain of the spiritual energy transforming in the bee's body. The bee curled up into a ball, every painful nerve screaming. It was as if he had been given a mute injection, unable to even cry out in pain. It lasted for a minute before the pain stopped. Host, Chen Feng, Lin Wu First Level Mirror 1 slash 2000000000 Skill Xientian Wudao, 4th level, Xientian Sword Shadow, has a 40% probability of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for 4 seconds. The earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 18, which is equal to the host's own level. Block, 5th level, pure defensive skill. Defense power is equal to 30% of own strength. Teleportation, first level, pure movement skill. Distance is anywhere within 50 meters of the host's body. Secret technique, poison of the void, first level, after using the venom. 
honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. The attack poison is enhanced by 10%, and the hit damage is reduced by 10%. After Chen Feng upgraded, he couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. Teleport? Still no cooldown time. Seeing the new skill, I couldn't help but jump up for joy. As a result, I used too much force, and the pain in my body didn't disappear. I cried out and fell to the ground. The glory worker B, who had just entered Misty Peak after collecting honey, heard the wail of the king and flew in at the fastest speed in his life. Seeing the king he admired paralyzed on the ground, as if he had lost his backbone, he immediately went to check. Chin Fong was lying on the ground, his body limp. He didn't have the strength to fly yet, and he couldn't return to his throne to drink royal jelly to replenish his strength. He could only close his eyes and resign himself to waiting for his strength to recover. Gradually, he felt sleepy. Feelings came to him, and he fell asleep. King! Are you awake? The glorious worker be shouted and slapped Chen Feng. The buzzing sound kept ringing in Chen Feng's bee ears. After that, Chen Feng felt some pain in the bee's head and opened his eyes weakly. At this time, a bee's foot was close in front of him. Chen Feng's somewhat groggy bee brain came to his senses. His eyes were focused, and he glared at the glorious worker bee on the side. The glorious worker bee felt the murderous intention from the king, and the bee's foot was raised in embarrassment, neither getting up nor letting go. Why don't you help me get up? Looking at the day's glorious worker be next to him, Chin Feng said angrily. Only then did the glorious worker be react and help Chin Feng onto the throne. Chin Feng also recovered part of his strength, held the straw, drank a lot of royal jelly, and went to meet Duke Shou while lying on the throne. The glorious worker be thought that his king might punish him. Unexpectedly, after waiting for a long time, he heard the king's even breathing. He had no choice but to exit the hive quietly so as not to disturb Chen Feng's rest. When Chen Feng woke up, he felt comfortable all over. He drank big gulps of royal jelly to fill his withered stomach, seeing that there were still two days left for the elimination of the brand. I simply used to make alchemy to pass my time. The Black Stripe Tiger King has not been here for a long time since then. But every once in a while, he will send his men to bring a batch of medicinal herbs. After the mark was removed, the Black Stripe Tiger King never came. Perhaps, he was overconfident and thought that no one but himself could remove his mark. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, 50 days have passed. In this period of time, the hive has been upgraded to level 27. Chen Feng clicked on the properties panel. Hive level, 27, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut, number of worker bees, 1,001,066, the transfer cooling time is one day. The subhive level is one-tenth of the hive. Hive plunder, 5 out of 10, plunder the opponent's bloodline. And he has also been promoted to the 5th level of Lin Wu Mirror. On this day, the Black Stripe Tiger King came to Misty Peak and sat on the simple throne. Your strength has almost improved. It's time to set off. Chapter 92 Preparation Chin Feng's growth has gradually approached the level required by the Black Stripe Tiger King. The Black Stripe Tiger King came and asked Chin Feng to go with him. Chin Feng looked at the Black Stripe Tiger King with excitement in his eyes. His head lowered slightly. His eyes slowly turned cold. And he raised his head again, pretending to be excited about believing that the Black Stripe Tiger King would lead him to open up a future. Where are you going this time? After spending such a large amount of spiritual treasures on cultivation and saving Chen Feng's life, the Black Stripe Tiger King had long since believed that Chen Feng had surrendered under his command. If this were an ordinary monster, it would definitely be carried away by the temptation of Ling Mao. But Chen Feng was different. Not to mention he knew the inside story. Take you to the phantom forest and help me deal with a vicious beast. Chin Feng still pretended to trust the Black Striped Tiger King. Vicious beast? When will we set off? The Black Striped Tiger King thought for a moment. Tomorrow. Chin Feng knew it was inevitable. So he agreed. After the Black Striped Tiger King left, Chin Feng called a worker bee and gave the plan to the White Tiger and then arranged the hive properly. The next day, the Black Striped Tiger King led his men and Chen Feng to the Phantom Forest. Their aura was too powerful. And not long after, they successfully left the Blood Forest and entered the Spiritual Forest. The Phantom Forest is different from the Blood Forest. There are jade trees all over the forest. The leaves of the jade trees are not as enchanting and strange as the Blood Birch Red. They are silver-gray leaves. At a glance from the forest, they look like a vast ocean of snow. They all entered the Phantom Forest and encountered attacks. As long as strange smells broke into the forest, they would be attacked by the monsters in the Phantom Forest. 
A group of storm wolves surrounded them desperately. The Gale Wolf King with the second Lin Wu mirror looked at them. I live in this forest and drive this road. If you want to pass through here, leave money to buy the road. The Black Striped Tiger King felt cold and signaled to his men to deal with them. So the Black Striped Tiger King and Chen Feng destroyed them without taking any action. It took more than 10 days to reach the destination after stopping and stopping along the way. I saw that it was a valley. The river water flowed out from the gaps in the mountains on both sides. On the mountains on both sides, dots of yellow flowers stretched out. It has become an embellishment of the mountain. Towering trees grow around the valley, and tall bushes grow between the trees. They are lush and full of vitality, making the monsters who come here forget their worries and indulge in it. Chin Fong looked at the place as beautiful as a painting, but there was a crisis hidden at every step. It was a pity for this place. Sure enough, the more beautiful the place, the more dangers there are. The Black Striped Tiger King gave the order to rest for the night. This night is destined to be a sleepless night. The Black Striped Tiger King was filled with excitement and worry. This was only one step away from success. If he failed, all his previous efforts would be in vain. And he would also lose many elixirs. As the sun rose, the Beast King led the monsters into action. When Chen Feng heard the noise, he only saw the monsters clearing an open space with a circular formation drawn in the middle of the open space. It is like a diagram of Bugwa. Qian is the sky. Kun is the earth. Earthquake is the thunder. Sun is the wind. Ken is the water. Jin is the mountain. Li is the fire. And Dui is the river. To imitate the emotions of all things, Chin Feng flew to the side of the Black Striped Tiger King and looked at the Black Striped Tiger King suspiciously. What is this going to do? Summon a ferocious beast? The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Feng's doubtful eyes. The only thought in his mind was to appease him. But he couldn't let the duck in his mouth fly away. It is indeed a summoning of ferocious beasts. But, before the Black Striped Tiger King could finish speaking, Chin Feng started to question. But what? You used a lot of elixirs to cultivate it like this. Could it be that you have some other agenda? Before the Black Striped Tiger King could answer, Chin Feng said again with a crackle. You used so many elixirs to cultivate me. Are you just waiting for this moment to sacrifice me to the beast? Then, Chin Feng took two steps back, vibrated his exquisite wings, and flew into the air, where the Black Striped Tiger King could not attack. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at the emotionally unstable Chin Feng. His eyes narrowed slightly with a hint of danger, and then saw Chin Feng flying into the air. In an instant, he gave up the idea in his mind. Don't get excited first, and listen to what I have to say first. It is indeed necessary to summon the ferocious beast. I am training you because you have qualifications and potential. Your strength has been greatly improved. So that you can work with me to deal with the ferocious beast. Your task is to use your consciousness to help me deal with the ferocious beast. The remaining will is nothing more than that. Chin Feng still looked at the Black Striped Tiger King with suspicion. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Feng. He tried his best to make his eyes sincere. However, hidden behind the sincerity was insidiousness, treachery and calculation. Chin Feng then put down his guard and agreed to cooperate with the Black Striped Tiger King's actions. As the men of the Black Striped Tiger King were constantly busy, the formation was slowly being perfected. At noon, the Black Striped Tiger King walked to the front of the formation with elegant steps, and the Tiger soldiers and generals behind him also came to the front of the formation. They stood in rows neatly, and together they passed their power to the Black Striped Tiger King. When the Tiger King received the spiritual energy from all the Tiger soldiers and generals, he muttered something. The yin and yang of heaven and earth. Evil gods. Evil spirits. Summon evil beasts back to obey my orders. As the Black Striped Tiger King was summoned, I saw wisps of evil aura emanating from the formation, and the sinister winds were blowing. The surrounding temperature dropped instantly, and the originally bright sunshine was attracted by the evil aura and turned into dark clouds. Everything was blocked, and there was darkness between heaven and earth, with no light from the sun or the moon. This is from the formation. A pair of sharp and sharp horns are exposed from the ground. And then, there are blood-red eyes. At first glance, it looks like falling into a pool of blood. And then, there is a bloody mouth full of fangs. Like a mouth that can swallow, the whirlpool of all the monsters exuded the stench of rotting corpses. When Chen Feng smelled this smell, he immediately thought of the Jigo King and almost spit out all the royal jelly he drank the night before. Finally, there is a huge body and a blood-red tail that resembles a triangular sharp blade, with traces of blood smell exuding from the tail. When this ferocious beast appeared in the formation, ferocious energy spurted out, 
and the weaker Diao-fronted white tiger fainted instantly. Chin Fong was flying in the air, and the fierce aura hit him. He was knocked back for a distance before he stopped. The black-striped tiger king shouted at Chin Fong. Quick! Attack him together now! Chin Fong fluttered his wings and flew back. He saw that the black-striped tiger king had concentrated his mind on attacking the ferocious beast. Chin Fong also imitated the black-striped tiger king and concentrated his mind to attack it. At this time, the ferocious beast had just been summoned. And when his mind was weak, he was violently attacked. And his mind struggled in pain. And bursts of sharp beast roars resounded throughout the valley. Shaking the stones on the valley. It kept falling downwards. Under the joint attack of the thoughts of Chin Fong and the black-striped tiger king. The intensity of the beast's struggle slowly weakened. Just as the beast's consciousness gradually faded away. The black-striped tiger king took action against Chin Fong. Chapter 93 The Oriole is Behind Chin Fong and the Black Striped Tiger King used their consciousness to attack the ferocious beast together. The ferocious beast's consciousness continued to dissipate under the continuous attacks of the two people. At this time, the Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Fong, who was not far away from him, with gloomy eyes, and a hint of calculation came to his mind, and a strange smile appeared at the corner of the tiger's mouth. So, he quietly moved closer to Chin Feng's direction until Chin Fong entered the attack range of the Black Striped Tiger King. At this time, Chin Fong was still concentrating on dealing with the monster's consciousness. His wings were flying high and low in the air, completely ignoring the approaching danger. In fact, he just wants to know what will happen next. What happens? Roaring Fury! The Black Striped Tiger King saw the right moment and unleashed 100% of his skills. A roar turned into tangible sound waves, like a stone falling into the water rippling out circles and circles, mixed with a fierce wind and offensive, and rushed towards Chin Fong wave after wave. Chin Fong had already been prepared. He knew that the Black Striped Tiger King would definitely attack him from behind and sacrifice him as a sacrifice in order to avoid losing his blood. However, there is still a big disparity in strength. Although Chin Fong dodged aside very quickly, he was still affected. Block! In order to reduce the damage to his body, Chin Fong could only use his own defensive skills to block the ripple attack from the Black Striped Tiger King's roaring fury. The two skills collided, and Chin Fong was hit. He took a few steps back and distanced himself. Chin Fong pretended to be ignorant and angry as he was betrayed. Sir, what do you mean by this, and why did you attack me? The Black Striped Tiger King sneered twice, with a greedy look in his eyes. You have used so many of my elixirs. Shouldn't you contribute yourself? Chin Fong pretended to be innocent and ignorant. Didn't I help you deal with this ferocious beast? Didn't you make it clear before that as long as I use my consciousness to help you deal with the remaining will of the ferocious beast? That's fine. How could you go back on your word like this? Chin Fong put on a disappointed and sad look again. And the black striped tiger king sneered. Innocent. Don't think about it. If I only let you deal with the remaining consciousness of the beast. How could I spend so much elixir to cultivate you? You might become my enemy in the end. Why should I bother? You really regard me as a sacrifice and are going to sacrifice me to strengthen your own bloodline. Damn. Your face is really thicker than the city wall. You can use such tricks to harm others and benefit yourself. I will do it for you. Blush. The Black Striped Tiger King couldn't help but stare at Chin Fong closely when he heard Chin Feng's taunts. His face so gloomy that he could squeeze out water. Chin Fong looked at the Black Striped Tiger King who was staring closely at him and was speechless for a while. No longer conceding. You really won't give up until you achieve your goal. The Black Striped Tiger King sneered after hearing Chen Feng's words. That day, I saved your life from the original core beast king. Today, you should return the favor. Chen Feng really felt that he had seen such a shameless beast before. He looked at the Black Striped Tiger King with anger in his eyes. Did I say that I wanted you to save my life? You are so sentimental. But now you have the nerve to shamelessly ask others to return the favor of saving your life. Don't you think you are extremely shameless? If you want to take action, hurry up. Today, we still don't know who will win. So, don't draw this conclusion prematurely. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Fong in the sky proudly. You can't escape. Just be obedient and surrender. Chin Fong stopped talking nonsense with the Black Striped Tiger King. Teleport. Chin Fong suddenly disappeared from the sky and appeared next to the Black Striped Tiger King. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows with fierce wind sounds, drew a series of afterimages, slashing towards the Beast King. The Beast King suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. He didn't expect Chin Fong to act so quickly. 
he could turn his face faster than turning the page in a book. Then, he immediately dodged left and right, and sword shadows continued to pass by the vital points of his body, slicing off a few tiger hairs. Chin Fong took advantage of the opportunity and caught the Black Strike Tiger King off guard. So he unleashed another blow. The earth groans. Thunder and lightning spread around Chin Fong, numbing the enemy for three seconds before revealing his tail needle. Poison of the Void. A bright tail needle, flashing with cold light, quickly rushed towards the head of the Black Striped Tiger King. If it were pierced, the poison would definitely occur very quickly. The Black Striped Tiger King was furious, and the majestic monster of the ninth level of spiritual martial arts was forced to retreat by a small black bee of the fifth level of spiritual martial arts. If I tell anyone about this, how can I lose my face? How can I control all the monsters, and how can I intimidate them into surrendering to me? The Nether Blade. Several sword blades attacked Chin Feng who was swooping down. Chin Feng's poisonous needle could not resist his sword blade, so he could only change its direction and dodge. The Black Striped Tiger King thought to himself, This is not a problem. I have to think of a quick solution. Suddenly, he had a flash of inspiration and saw his own tiger soldiers and generals. So, he jumped out of the fighting circle. Hack me! Then, he looked at Chin Feng scornfully and raised his eyebrows provocatively. Now you are just a polished commander. Stop struggling pointlessly. This is in vain. Just let him go and be captured. Chin Fong looked at the confident eyes of the Black Striped Tiger King and smiled strangely. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at the smile on Chin Feng's face and had a bad feeling rising from the bottom of his heart. Chin Fong was seen waving his front foot toward the lush forest surrounding the valley. Come out. The Black Striped Tiger King was stubborn and tough-talking and wanted to mock Chin Fong a few words. However, just at this moment, a large number of glory worker bees poured in from behind the tree, making the area completely dark. One buzzing. It turned out that since receiving Chen Feng's plan, the white tiger with a hanging forehead summoned all the glorious worker bees and followed them all the way here. They had been hiding behind the bushes, waiting for Chen Feng's order to rush out and kill the black man who had imprisoned his king. The white tiger tore it into pieces. The black striped tiger king looked at the countless glorious worker bees in the sky with gloomy eyes. You fool me! Chin Fong raised his eyebrows. It can be understood this way. Could it be that you are only allowed to play tricks on me and scheme against me without any pretentious counterattacks? Could it be that I can only sit back and wait for death, letting you take advantage of me and not be able to resist? The black striped tiger king's face turned green and white in turns, like a dying plate. Then let's see who wins today. Come on! Come on! After hearing the order from the black striped tiger king, his men rushed towards the Shingi worker bee. However, it was difficult for the monster beast in its exhaustion stage to suppress Chin Fong. The energetic and numerous glory worker bees beat the men of the Black Striped Tiger King, who had been arrogant for a long time, to the ground and fled in all directions. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at Chin Fong and secretly gritted his teeth. This time he really lost his wife and his troops. I thought I was a mantis catching a cicada, but I didn't expect that the Oriole was already waiting for me just waiting to kill me. Chapter 94 The Tiger King Dies Chin Feng led his glorious worker bees and rushed towards the camp of the Black Striped Tiger King. The men of the Black Striped Tiger King spent a lot of thought and strength fighting against the monsters. At this time, they were exhausted and faced the crazy attack of the glory worker bees and had already suffered more than half of their casualties. The Black Striped Tiger King looked at the falling figures of his men. His eyes were blood red and he stared at Chin Feng who was lying on the leaves and protected by many shining worker bees. This was really like hunting geese every year, but was pecked blind by geese. He roared angrily and charged into the killing circle of the glorious worker bees, staring at Chin Feng from the corner of his eyes from time to time. Chin Feng rested and took out his own ration, royal jelly, which was contained in a small jar from the space. He simply drank a few sips and smacked his lips with satisfaction. He was well aware of the principle of cutting weeds without eradicating the roots but spring breezes will blow them again. He originally wanted to drop the jar in a heroic manner, but suddenly thought that it was not easy to get the jar. So he gave up the idea and threw the jar into the water. Space. Chen Feng stretched, twisted his butt and butt, and his crystal clear wings swooped down with the sun. The black striped tiger king, who was always paying attention to Chen Feng, watched Chen Feng swoop in, roared, drove away the attacking glory worker bee, and faced Chen Feng. Chin Feng saw that the Black Striped Tiger King had cleared his space and understood that it was prepared for him. So he flew into the circle. 
thanks to the nourishment of your elixir for such a long time. I have this strength now. If you hadn't plotted against me and sacrificed me to this ferocious beast, maybe we would have become friends. Unfortunately, we are destined to be together. As an enemy, there is no way I would be joking with my life. The black striped tiger king refused to listen. When he heard what Chen Feng said, he felt a deep sense of irony. Cultivating one's enemies into a force to deal with oneself is the so-called raising a tiger to create trouble. From the beginning, I never wanted you to be my subordinate. You are a little black bee with such ambitions. How could I keep you? A time bomb? When you are at odds with the original core beast king of the blood forest? I noticed you. And at that time, you had already become the target of my sacrifice. I blame you for your bad luck. After I capture you alive, I will sacrifice you to the beast to gain blood. The bloodshot blood-red eyes of the black-striped tiger king were full of greed. Under such a disadvantage, he still did not give up his persistence in the bloodline. He was still dreaming of obtaining the bloodline of the ferocious beast and greatly increasing his strength. He raised his head to the sky and let out a long roar before attacking Chen Feng. Chen Feng looked at the crazy appearance of the black-striped tiger king at this moment, shook his head and sighed. The bee eyes slowly became sharp, and the murderous intention was looming in the bee eyes. The black-striped tiger king was extremely fast, and in the blink of an eye, he was close to Chen Feng. Since Chen Feng had wings and was flying in the air, the Black Strike Tiger King had no choice but to release his skills into the air. Roaring Fury. Chen Feng is well aware of the power of this skill. The ripples of sound waves attack layer by layer, with a superimposed effect. At this time, part of the Black Strike Tiger King's thoughts and power have been consumed. The power of this skill is only about half of what it was in its heyday. A monster that entered the Earth Martial Realm in one step. Teleport. Chen Feng's eyes were not busy, and his heart was not panicked. He released his skills calmly and instantly moved to the front of the Black Striped Tiger King. The Poison of the Void. The Black Striped Tiger King saw Chen Feng being so mean and attacking his own eyes, and immediately stepped back. Chen Feng's attack was too fast and sudden, and he still had no time to dodge. A blood mark was drawn on his eyelids, and the blood flowed out immediately, flowing down the corner of his eyes and his eyes were instantly covered with blood. The blood was smeared. The eyelids swelled up, and the toxins on the tail needles invaded the whole body along the eyelids. The Black Strike Tiger King was stimulated by the blood, and roared again and again. His eyes became brighter red, and the look he looked at Chen Feng became more ferocious and cruel. The Nether Blade. Although the Black Strike Tiger King was angry, he did not lose his mind. Seeing Chen Feng at low altitude and so close to him, he released his skills and attacked Chen Feng. Five giant blades that looked like sides were attacking head-on. Although the giant blades were huge, they did not lose speed and power. Exuding bursts of cold murderous aura, Chen Feng speed soared, dodging left and right, always grazing the edge of the giant blade, which made the beast frightened. Five giant blades flew past, and Chen Feng breathed a sigh of relief. He was about to release his skills, but unexpectedly, the cold wind behind him made Chen Feng shiver. It turned out that the five giant blades turned back and attacked Chen Feng. Chen Feng had no choice but to use teleportation skills to disappear in place. The giant blade lost its target and attacked with its original trajectory, which happened to be where the Black Striped Tiger King was. The Black Striped Tiger King watched his skills attack him, and then released five giant blades to attack those giant blades. The giant blades on both sides collided and the energy emitted raised dust on the ground. Before the dust had settled, Chen Feng's skills attacked the Black Striped Tiger King. Xian Tian has no way. Several sharp sword shadows swirled around, forming hurricanes that rushed towards the Black Striped Tiger King. Chen Feng was extremely excited when he saw the attack that was different from before. Although Xian Tian Wudao has not been upgraded, its power is much stronger than before, and its attack range has also been expanded. Chen Feng could feel that if the sword shadow failed to hurt the enemy, the fierce wind around the sword shadow could also drink the enemy. Sure enough, the black striped tiger king quickly dodged Chen Feng's sword shadow. As a result, a sword shadow passed by the tiger's fur. The sharp wind made cuts on the tiger's skin, and blood seeped out from the wounds. The tiger's fur was dyed red. Fortunately, the black striped tiger king's defense was very strong. Otherwise, he would have been seriously injured. The black striped tiger king was unwilling to give in. Rock shock. Chen Feng felt the world tremble. His body was twisting and turning in the sky, and it was difficult to control his balance. 
The black striped tiger king quickly used his tiger claw to fly away the unbalanced Jin Fong. Just as he was about to add another claw, he was struck by the radiant worker bees. Surround. At this time, the black striped tiger king felt that he was spinning around. His tiger body swayed back and forth, and he fell to the ground. Chin Fong patted his butt and butt from a distance, and sat up from the stone in the distance. After being thrown down, he felt a little dizzy, and his whole body ached. After a while, he finally flew up, seeing the black striped tiger king not far away from him. He fell to the ground, panting heavily, and then flew to the black striped tiger king's head. You are so powerful! You got up! You came to hit me! You don't have the strength now! After saying that, he kicked him twice with his little bee feet. The black striped tiger king was so angry that he could only lie on the ground and growl. After a while, he died, looking at the black striped tiger king's white eyes. Chin Fong wiped it, behead, thinking secretly in his heart. This guy won't be mad at me! Ding! The ho successfully killed the Lin Wu Nine Layer Mirror Monster and obtained evolution points 69,568.5. Chapter 95 Plundering the Bloodline The Black Striped Tiger King died, and the glorious worker bees were greatly encouraged. It didn't take long before all the Black Striped Tiger King's men were eliminated. At this time, the fierce beast in the formation was stimulated by such a strong smell of blood, and its fading consciousness showed signs of recovery. The white tiger with a hanging forehead that always helped and supported Chin Fong walked out from behind the tree. Sorry, I never came out. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Fong apologetically with sincere eyes. He knew that the Diao-fronted white tiger was a member of the tiger clan. It was already very difficult for the Diao-fronted white tiger to help him like this. So there was no reason to blame him. Chin Fong waved his front foot to show understanding, turned his head, and looked at Dio Ibai who unexpectedly discovered that his cultivation had reached the 8th level of Xintian Mirror. The white tiger with a hanging forehead wanted to say something, but was interrupted by a roar. The beast struggled in the formation, and Chin Fong had to use his mind to attack the beast. The hanging forehead white tiger standing next to Chin Fong also concentrated his thoughts and joined forces with Chin Fong to attack. Although this time, Chin Fong handed over the control of the glorious worker B to the Diao forehead white tiger. But this does not mean that Chin Fong will trust him. This time, the resistance was much weaker and the ferocious beast was at the end of its strength. Gradually, the ferocious beast roared angrily, and the black clouds gathered thicker and thicker. Thunder and lightning flashed faintly in the clouds. Chin Fong and the Diao Forehead White Tiger simultaneously stepped up their attacks with their thoughts. The ferocious beast staggered twice and fell in the formation. Chin Fong and the hanging-fronted White Tiger breathed a sigh of relief at the same time and collapsed on the ground. If this ferocious beast regains its will and breaks out of the magic circle, it will be a disaster for the Phantom Forest and the Blood Forest. And all the monsters brought by Chin Fong will die here. Ding! I found the bloodline of the ferocious beast and stimulated the ability to plunder. Do you want to plunder? Chin Fong held his breath slightly. Plunder! Ding! The plundering ability is activated. The estimated plundering time is two days. Please pay attention to the host. Ding! The looting progress is 1%. Chin Feng's eyes widened in surprise. He didn't expect that by coming here with the Black Striped Tiger King, he would get a big deal. Chin Feng's heart was pounding, and he was inexplicably looking forward to the abilities after plundering. He had a premonition that this time a more terrifying ability. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Feng inexplicably, which aroused his curiosity. What's wrong? Chin Feng returned to normal after hearing the question from the hanging forehead white tiger, and shook his head. It's nothing. The body regained its strength and jumped up from the ground. Come on, B. I ordered you to go down and rest here for two days. Prepare to set up camp and send some worker bees to guard this ferocious beast. If there is an enemy attack, kill it without mercy. Chin Fong glanced at the body lying in a pool of blood with disgust. Clean this place up by the way. Yes. The glorious worker bees received the order and got busy in an orderly manner. Chin Fong looked at the busy glorious worker bees, then turned back to look at the hanging forehead white tiger. Are you going back to the blood forest now? Or are you going back to the blood forest with us? The white tiger with a hanging forehead tilted its head and pondered for a long time. Although he was curious about why Chin Fong did that just now, he knew that every monster had its own secret. So he simply gave up the idea of staying here. I'll go back by myself. Chin Fong nodded expressionlessly. Okay, do you need me to send a few glory worker bees to take you back? The white tiger with a hanging forehead looked at Chin Fong with strange eyes. 
Chin Fong felt slightly unnatural when he saw the white tiger with a hanging forehead. No need. My strength has improved now. Ordinary monsters can't hurt me. Let's go. Leaving now? Chin Fong exhaled in surprise. The hanging forehead white tiger saw Chin Fong looking like this. Is it possible to stay here for the night? After saying that, he shook his body and jumped into the forest with his strong body, disappearing from Chin Feng's sight. Chin Feng looked at the retreating figure of the white tiger with its hanging forehead. Thoughtfully, this time, the Dio fronted white tiger helped him get out of control and saved him from fire and water. He was grateful in his heart. However, his identity was still uncertain, so Chin Feng could not put down his guard against him, nor could he completely trust him. At night, the moon hid in the clouds, a few stars hung in the sky, and the air was still filled with traces of the smell of blood. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks were found 10,000 meters ahead. Host, please pay attention. Chin Feng stood up and stood up from the newly built hive. Come on! Get ready to meet the enemy. With an order, all the worker bees flew out of the hive instantly. Chin Feng led some of the worker bees to surround the ferocious beast. Only green eyes with ferocious and greedy gazes appeared in the forest. It turned out to be the wind wolf that was always active in the dark. The leader of the storm wolves used the starlight to see Chin Feng, who was heavily surrounded by the glorious worker bees. He trembled and howled at his men. In an instant, all the gale wolves appeared in the forest and surrounded Chin Feng and the glorious worker bees, disappeared into the forest like a tide. Chin Feng couldn't help but be dumbfounded when he saw such a scene. He stood there quietly for a long time before he could react. You're leaving now? Where's the fierce battle you promised? I'm ready. But I'm leaving before we fight. Isn't that too cowardly? Chin Feng looked up to the sky and roared helplessly, then went back to sleep in the hive in dissatisfaction. Two days passed in a blink of an eye. Ding! The hive was plundered successfully. You got enhanced skills and got an upgrade opportunity. After hearing the system prompt, Chin Feng opened his mouth in surprise. Strengthened skills? Chin Feng clicked on the attribute panel and looked at the effect of this strengthening skill, only visible on the properties panel. Enhanced skills, within 100 meters of the hive. The attack of all worker bees increases by 10%. The speed increases by 15%. And the defense increases by 20%. Chin Feng looked at this skill with stars in his eyes. Suddenly, I thought of another opportunity to upgrade the hive. System, I want to upgrade. Ding! The host successfully used the upgrade opportunity. Please pay attention to the host. Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The estimated upgrade time is two days. Chin Feng backed out without even looking at the system's progress. Come on, B. Let all the worker bees get ready and return to the blood forest. Yes. All the worker bees started moving. And it didn't take long for them to pack up and set off like a forest of blood. Leaving only the corpse of a ferocious beast and dried dark red blood on the ground. Two days later, Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to fly out of the phantom forest. Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The current level is 28. The reward is a resurrection pill and a soul reviving pill. Ding! Please check the rest of the attributes automatically. After hearing the system prompts, Chin Feng couldn't wait to return to the hive. He led the glorious worker bees back to the blood forest as quickly as possible. And the black worker bees flew back to the misty peak. Chapter 96 someone from the bloodthirsty hall. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to fly back to the hive day and night without stopping. Chin Feng, who had not returned to the beehive for a long time, felt as if he had returned home. His nose was a little sour and his eyes were slightly moist. He walked forward, touched the long lost throne, and then sat on the throne. Go up, take a sip of royal jelly, and eagerly click on the properties panel. Hive level, 28, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut, number of worker bees, 1101066, the transfer cooling time is one day. The subhive level is one tenth of the hive, the queen bee can carry worker bees at the same time. It can directly communicate with the hive for worker bee transmission. And the transmission speed increases with the level of the hive. Chin Feng looked at such a beehive that was so unbelievable that he shook the bee wings excitedly, thinking secretly in his heart. This is very convenient. You can carry worker bees with you at any time. When encountering a large number of enemies, you can also directly teleport the worker bees to where you are. This is simply awesome. Awesome. At this time, a glorious worker bee knelt under Chen Feng's throne. Report. King. 
The white tiger with hanging forehead has come to ask for an audience. Jin Fong held the bee's head on his front foot. And his little head was thinking quickly. As soon as I came back, he knew about it. The information is so well informed. Who is he? What is his origin? Chin Feng stood up slowly and flew out of the hive with the glorious worker bees. I saw a big stone not far from the misty peak. The Jiao Forehead White Tiger sat on the stone and waited calmly. The sun shone on the Jiao Forehead White Tiger's body as if it had been coated with a layer of dreamy silver. Shining with crystal luster, the tiger exuded a lazy aura and the tiger's tail behind him swayed from time to time. How did you know I was back? Chin Feng sat carelessly next to the white tiger with a hanging forehead and looked at the white tiger with a curious forehead. The white tiger with a hanging forehead slowly raised his front legs to block the dazzling sunlight. It's just a coincidence. The hanging forehead white tiger paused and pondered for a while. I came here this time to tell you that you killed the Black Strike Tiger King of the Bloodthirsty Hall in the spiritual fantasy forest. And the Bloodthirsty Hall will probably take action against you. Soldiers will block them. Water will cover them and soil will cover them. Once they come, I will destroy them. There is nothing to worry about. Chin Fong looked at the serious white tiger with a hanging forehead and stretched his body indifferently. Is there anything else? I just came back and want to take a rest. Only after you have rested can you have the energy to fight the next tough battle. The hanging forehead white tiger shook his head helplessly. Chin Fong jumped down from the stone and walked away. You have been paying more attention to the Beast King's Cave in the core area recently. The Bloodthirsty Hall may send monsters to take over the former Beast King's job in the near future. The white tiger with a hanging forehead shouted at Chin Feng's back to remind Chin Feng. Chin Feng moved his front feet to show that he understood. Then vibrated his wings and flew towards the misty peak. Chin Feng rested in the beehive for a whole day, washing away the fatigue from his travels. On this day, when he heard the noisy movement, he flew out of the hive and saw all the monsters heading to the core area. Chin Feng was puzzled and casually grabbed a monster and asked about the situation. This demonic beast was suddenly grabbed. It originally wanted to lose its temper. But seeing Chin Feng's great strength, it cowered and answered Chin Feng's questions honestly. It turned out to be someone from the Bloodthirsty Hall, taking over the manpower left by the former Beast King. Chin Feng couldn't help but sigh. Strength is the last word. At this time, Chin Feng slapped his forehead fiercely and suddenly thought that his strength had reached the requirements of the Beast King. He had the strength and ability to control the blood forest. Thinking of this, Chin Feng fluttered his wings and followed the monsters to the Beast King's cave. There is a stone placed at the entrance of the Beast King's cave, and a black striped tiger with purple eyes, and a five-fold Xuanwu mirror is sitting on the stone. At noon, the black striped tiger with purple eyes stood up gracefully. The Bloodthirsty Hall accepts my order to take over the former Beast King's job. Do you have any objections? The coercion of the black striped tiger spread, and the monster beasts lying on the ground trembled and did not dare to speak. Chin Feng was lying on the leaves looking at the majestic Black Striped Tiger. I have objections. This sentence blocked the next words of Black Striped Tiger. Who? Come out! Chin Feng flew out unhurriedly, holding a slender piece of grass in his mouth. He looked carefree and looked like a road bee. Who are you? The Black Striped Tiger looked at Chin Feng with some annoyance. Of course I am a bee. The Blood Forest should respect me as the Beast King now. After all, I was the one who destroyed the original Beast King. The black striped tiger suppressed his anger and pointed at Chin Feng with his tiger foot. Oh, it's you. Have you heard of me? It turns out that I have become a famous bee among monsters. It's not easy. Is it possible that you are one of my fans? Seeing Chin Feng being so shameless. Haiwen who was so angry that he was shaking all over. Stop being narcissistic. How can such a shameless bee deserve to be with me? Chin Feng was not angry at all and spoke calmly. Is it possible that you are not a monster? You? The black striped tiger slapped its forefoot angrily, smashing the stone into pieces, then turned and returned to the Beast King's cave. Under the constraints of the law, they could not take action against Chin Feng, so they could only leave angrily. Chin Feng touched the bee's head with some boredom, looking at the monster beast still crawling at the entrance of the Beast King's cave. He shook his head helplessly. Let's break up! The monsters glanced at Chin Feng in fear and fled away. Chin Feng also flapped his wings and flew towards Misty Mountain. On the way, a white tiger with a hanging forehead blocked Chin Feng's way. Did you make a big fuss about the Beast King's takeover ceremony? You are really well informed. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Feng, who was not worried about him at all, and rolled his eyes speechlessly. 
This matter has spread throughout the blood forest. The hanging forehead white tiger paused and continued. Although the rules of the Demon King's palace cannot be broken by any monster, and it is impossible to do anything to you under the constraints of the law. But today, you have wiped his face in front of all the monsters, and there is no guarantee that they will come. Yes, it's easy to dodge open guns, but hard to guard against hidden arrows. They may not know how to deal with you. Chin Fong nodded in agreement and laughed. Don't worry, I will be more vigilant. Then he flew back to the hive, sat on the throne, held the straw, drank royal jelly, and thought carefully. Come on, bee. Command to go down. All worker bees will be on guard to prevent the enemy from sneak attack. Yes. The glorious worker bees are busy, surrounding the hive heavily and standing guard. At this time, in the Beast King's cave, the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger had already held a grudge against Chen Fong. All the laws were thrown behind his mind, and he was only thinking about how to get rid of Chen Fong as a hidden danger and gain control of the blood forest. Chapter 97 Assistance Chen Feng lay comfortably on his throne. His throne was covered with a piece of tiger skin. The tiger hairs on the tiger skin exuded a silver luster. Without even thinking about it, he knew that it was the tiger skin of the black striped tiger king. If the black striped tiger king knowing that his tiger skin was so badly damaged and tampered with by Chen Feng, he would definitely crawl out of H, L to settle the score with Chen Feng. This tiger skin was completely removed from the body of the black striped tiger king by the glorious worker, B, when he was disposing of his body. He was not allowed to provoke anyone. But he provoked Chen Feng and locked him up. Still feeling angry, he brought his body to the mouth of the storm wolf. The gale wolf in the phantom forest was searching for prey. At this time, a piece of meat fell from the sky. The gale wolf was frightened and jumped a long distance away. He hid behind a tree and watched secretly until after a long time. He was sure that it was not there. No monsters were lying in wait around before they dared to come forward to eat. When Chen Feng saw his subordinates offering this tiger skin, he was so surprised that he could have his subordinates just like any king. The worker bees of Guangya also carefully cleaned the blood on the tiger skin, soaked it in water of aromatic grass, and dried it in the sun. The whole tiger skin exuded a charming fragrance. Seeing his subordinate working so hard and looking at him expectantly, Chen Feng was embarrassed to refuse. So he decisively accepted it. Chen Feng touched the soft fur on the tiger skin and couldn't help but think. Is it true that the higher the realm of monsters, the softer and glossier their fur is? Even a bee like me who has no fur addiction can't help but want to experience the fur of higher realm monsters. Chin Feng's little body trembled, and he shook his bee head, shaking this thought out of his mind. If other monsters saw this, he would offend all the monsters. Although he is not afraid of trouble, it is better to do less than to do more. It is quite troublesome to solve. He looked at his men with slightly stern eyes. Pass my order. This kind of thing will never happen again. If it happens again, I will deal with it as soon as possible. The glorious worker bee shook its body and crawled under the throne, no longer daring to take advantage of the monster beast's fur. Yes! The glorious worker bee went down to convey Chen Feng's order. At this time, the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger was thinking about a way to deal with Chen Feng unknowingly. And in an instant, there was a calculation in his mind. Come on, tiger! Pass my order and send an invitation to Little Black Bee. Tomorrow we will host a banquet for him in Liarwa. Tell Little Black Bee that neither party will bring their men. I want to talk to him alone. At this time, the glorious worker bee knelt under the throne. Report. King. Purple-eyed and black-striped tiger invites you to Liarwa for a banquet. Don't lead your subordinates there. He wants to talk to you alone. The glorious worker bee told Chen Feng exactly what the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger had said. Chin Feng looked at the invitation made of a large leaf on his front foot. There was a map drawn on it. The map showed the specific location. Chin Feng pondered for a while, and then sent a worker bee to tell the purple-eyed black-striped tiger that he agreed to this visit. Banquet. Chin Feng knew that this was the Hongnan banquet. So the next day, he ordered a thousand high-level worker bees. System. I want to bring the worker bees. Ding. The ability of the host to carry worker bees is activated. Please pay attention to the host. After that, the worker bees disappeared from Chen Feng's sight. As long as they were summoned, the worker bees they carried could appear. Chen Feng went to the banquet calmly. At this time, the purple-eyed black-striped tiger had already ambushed a large number of tiger soldiers and generals near Liarwa, and was only waiting for Chen Feng to capture him as soon as he arrived. Liarwa is surrounded by mountains, with only one exit and a depression in the middle. 
there is an open space in the middle of the depression, surrounded by forests, especially suitable for ambushes. Chin Fong looked at the surrounding environment and knew what he was doing. The purple-eyed and black-striped tiger couldn't help but sneer secretly in his heart when he saw Chin Fong attending the banquet alone. Ignorant little bee, I will definitely make sure you come back today. Chin Fong didn't give up his seat to the tiger with purple eyes and black stripes and sat across from him carelessly. The purple-eyed and black-striped tiger's face darkened and he said straight to the point, I invite you here this time to discuss the position of Beast King of the Blood Forest. I feel that this throne is occupied by a capable person. If you do not have enough prestige here, you will not be able to manage the blood forest well. Chin Feng sneered. I think I am very suitable for this throne. And I ask you to move out of the Beast King's cave. The purple-eyed and black-striped tiger's face was as dark as water. It seems that if you don't eat the toast, you will be punished with a drink? Chin Feng looked at the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger mockingly. This is the first time I've seen such a monster that covets someone else's throne and speaks so high-soundingly. He really didn't say much. And his purple eyes and black stripes made him tremble with tiger anger. He stamped his legs and roared. The men of the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger who were hiding behind the tree came out in an instant. You have to give in even if you don't want to give in today. Chin Feng looked at the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger with disdain. Come out. I saw a thousand high-level radiant worker bees appearing in front of the purple-eyed black-striped tiger in an instant. The purple-eyed black-striped tiger was dumbfounded. Chin Feng looked at the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger's expression. Red with black. Black with white. White with purple. Colorful. And felt happy. You're still young when you play Hong and Banquet with me. Chin Feng fluttered his wings and got closer to the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger. Tell me, which one is quicker? Your men to save you or me to kill you? The aura of the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger disappeared in an instant, and the tiger's head was drooped. Speechless, Chin Feng snorted coldly and left with his glorious worker bee. Time flies. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, a few days passed by quietly. Since then, the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger never came to see Chin Feng again, either because he was frightened by Chin Feng or for some other reason. In this way, Chin Feng spent a few days in peace, constantly taking the remaining elixir. On this day, Chin Feng was lying on the throne to rest, and a glorious worker bee was kneeling under the throne. King! The demon beasts from the bloodthirsty hall are here! Please come to the Beast King's cave to gather together. Chin Feng was puzzled and pondered for a long time. Is it possible that the bloodthirsty hall has another conspiracy? Chin Feng jumped down from the throne. Come on, B. Order a group of B soldiers to follow me to the Beast King's cave. Yes. After a while, everything was ready. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to the Beast King's cave. The white tiger with a hanging forehead guarding the entrance of the Beast King's cave saw Chin Feng approaching and respectfully moved out of the way. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees and filed in. In the Beast King's hall, I saw a red and black striped red flame tiger sitting on a newly placed stone chair next to the Beast King's throne. When he saw Chin Feng coming, he immediately jumped off the chair and came forward. Come. Master Beast King is here. It's a sin to miss him from afar. Come on. Come on. Please take a seat. He stretched out his hand to avoid hitting the smiling man. With Qianhu's attitude, Chin Feng didn't have much to say. He put his feet up and sat on the throne unceremoniously. Lord Beast King, the purple-eyed and black-striped tiger has offended many people before. I am here to apologize to you. The bloodthirsty hall has recalled him and sent me to assist you in taking care of the blood forest to provide you with convenience and let you be able to become familiar with things in the blood forest as quickly as possible. Red Flame Tiger's face was full of smiles. He was really a long-sleeved monster that was good at dancing. Chapter 98 Killing the Red Flame Tiger the bloodthirsty hall sent a red flame tiger with a pretense that it would assist Chin Feng in managing the blood forest and provide Chin Feng with materials and other information. In fact, Chin Feng knew that the purpose of his visit this time was not simple. Chin Feng wanted to refuse, but after pondering for a moment, he thought that if he refused this time, other subordinates of the bloodthirsty hall would come. After thinking about it, it was better to agree. Chin Feng looked at the red flame tiger. You can stay in the blood forest. But I hope you won't break the rules. If you don't follow the rules, don't blame me for being ruthless. Seeing Chen Feng readily agreeing, Qi Yin who felt sarcastic in his heart, not taking Chen Feng's threat seriously. I agreed so easily. It seems that I don't have any scheming. How can I be so powerful? Chen Feng repeatedly knocked on the armrest of the throne. 
paused and said again. Lead all the hanging fronted white tigers out of the beast king's cave. I don't like to be disturbed. If you have anything to do, don't come to me. When Jianhe heard what Chen Feng said, he couldn't help but feel angry in his heart. But the smile on his face did not change. At this time, Jianhe thought again that when Chen Feng was dealt with, the beast king's cave would be within easy reach. The anger in his heart gradually dissipated, and his smile became brighter. Yes, Lord Beast King, I will obey you. Although the red flame tiger agreed, there was a calculation hidden in the lowered tiger's eyes. Lord Beast King, the ruins will be open soon. As the Beast King of the Blood Forest, I hope you will go. Remains? Chin Feng recited it twice in his mind and nodded, indicating that he understood. Lead them there. Qi Yan Hu also knew what Chin Feng was referring to. The communication between smart people did not require too much explanation. Yes. The red flame tiger turned around and left. The moment he left, the red flame tiger's face turned gloomy and his eyes flickered, as if he was hiding a shocking conspiracy. Then, with a wave of his hand, he led all the hanging forehead white tigers out of the beast king's cave. After the scarlet flame tiger left, Chin Feng summoned a large number of worker bees to stay in the beast king cave. Every hidden place was guarded by a group of glorious worker bees. It could be said that there were layers of security, and no water could penetrate. Although the Beast King's cave was nourished by advanced spiritual energy, Chin Feng always felt uneasy in the Beast King's cave. So he simply flew back to the hive with his crystal wings vibrating, and lay comfortably on his throne. Come on, bee. Send some worker bees to keep an eye on the Red Flame Tiger to see what his purpose is. Yes. After receiving the King's order, a group of glorious worker bees secretly went to monitor the movements of the Red Flame Tiger day and night. Sure enough, the Red Flame Tiger has been really dishonest in the past few days, constantly wandering at the entrance of the Beast King's cave, and sometimes even in front of the Misty Peak. A glorious worker be knelt on one knee under Chen Feng's throne, reporting on the Red Flame Tiger's every move. Report to the King. The Red Flame Tiger is always lingering in front of the Beast King's cave and the Mist Peak. It should be to inquire about our strength. Chen Feng rubbed the bee's head with a headache. The Red Flame Tiger was like a fly. It didn't bite but it responded to people. He just wandered in front of the Beast King's cave and the Mist Peak. Chin Feng couldn't say anything, and he couldn't catch him. There is no way to cure his sin. Ignore him and let him pry. But if he takes a step forward and takes a step inside, I will kick him out. Don't let him take a step inside the Beast King's cave and Mist Peak. Yes. Chin Feng looked at Guang Yi's retreating figure and pondered how to get rid of this nasty fly. Seeing that Chin Feng didn't restrain him, Qian Hu became more and more bold in his actions. On this day, Qian Hu walked slowly and squarely to the misty peak again, thinking about it in his mind. This should be the home of the little black bee. Now that the Beast King Cave has been explored, there are about tens of thousands of glory worker bees. There must be only a lot more worker bees here. It is foggy and the visibility is too low. It seems that we need to go in and investigate. The red flame tiger turned twice more, as if it had made up its mind. The tiger's body jumped lightly and entered the mist. The moment they entered the fog, the glory worker be noticed the red flame tiger and stared at him closely. At this time, the red flame tiger didn't know that he had been discovered. He seemed to be blind in the fog. He looked left and right for a long time without seeing anything clearly. Slowly, the red flame tiger moved forward cautiously in the fog. The shining worker bees are not vegetarians. Seeing the red flame tiger getting more and more aggressive and getting closer, and closer to the hive. The shining worker bees looked at each other and flew out together with a tacit understanding. The red flame tiger only heard a buzzing sound. And before he could react, he was thrown out by the glory worker bees. Glorious worker bee, no matter whether you are a monster sent by the bloodthirsty hall or not, you must follow Chen Feng's order and blast away the red flame tiger. This made the red flame tiger angry. The red flame tiger secretly gritted his teeth and looked at the misty peak with cold vicious eyes without any emotion. Little black bee, just wait and see. You will regret it if you don't give me face or the bloodthirsty hall. The red flame tiger jumped up from the ground vigorously, snorted coldly, and turned around to leave, returning to the cave where he was staying temporarily. He looked at the white tigers with hanging foreheads, and his eyes darkened. He roared and cleared his throat. The sound continued to echo in the cave. When the listless white tigers heard the roar, they jumped up from the ground. Do you want to wash away the humiliation? Do you want to take back your cave? White tiger with a hanging forehead. You look at me. I look at you. And we roar together. 
think. The red flame tiger looked at the incited white tigers with satisfaction. Then from today on, under the banner of the beast king, you will burn, kill and plunder in the blood forest, whether it is the inner, outer or core area, but the elixir must be snatched back. Although some gyal-fronted white tigers feel that doing so is immoral, they have nowhere to go now. If they don't obey the red flame tiger's orders, they will not be able to survive in the core area. They have no choice but to obey. Yes. From then on, wherever the white tiger passed by, it howled everywhere. The glorious worker bee quickly flew into the hive and knelt down under Chen Feng's throne. Report to the king. It's not good. The red flame tiger has sent a large number of men to burn. Kill and loot in the inner periphery and core areas. Many monsters have suffered. Please make a decision. Chin Feng stood up from the throne abruptly, his eyes cold. How dare he be so bold and do something that harms the interests of the blood forest? Come on, follow me and kill him. Afterwards, he quickly summoned the glorious worker bees and led them to stop the white tiger with an unlucky forehead. Chin Feng knew very well that to capture the thief first, capture the king. On the way, he met the white tiger with a hanging forehead who was snatching elixirs along the way. Chin Feng winked at his subordinates. And the glorious worker bees swarmed up, controlled them, and asked the red flame tiger clearly. At the location, he led some worker bees to go there, and then staged the scene of killing the red flame tiger. Chapter 99 The Ruins Are Opened Chin Feng led the Guangya worker bee to stop the red flame tiger. Based on the information provided by the Diao white tiger, he found the red flame tiger. At this time, the red flame tiger was lying on a big rock outside his cave, watching the hanging forehead white tigers burning killing and looting. He felt indescribable joy in his heart, and there was a flash of schadenfreude in his eyes. This time, let's see how you can quell this cholera. When Chen Feng saw the scene, only anger remained in his mind. His mind did not follow the action, and he released his skills without thinking. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows swirled, carrying fierce wind, whistling, and rushed towards the red flame tiger. The red flame tiger felt the attack, rolled over, and hid behind. All the sword shadows struck the stone with a loud bang, and the stone turned into powder. Looking at the broken stones, Qianhu felt a chill on his back and broke out in a cold sweat. Looking at the Beast King flying in the air, his eyes were slightly cold. Lord Beast King, what do you mean? Chin Feng only felt that the Red Flame Tiger was even thicker than himself. Red Flame Tiger, don't ask questions knowingly. What you did violated the principles and destroyed the interests of the Blood Forest. There was a hint of ridicule in Qianhu's eyes. Lord Beast King, this situation is so serious. Don't you think of a solution? Chin Feng glanced at the red flame tiger and thought to himself. It turned out that this was his idea. I never need others to criticize me for doing things. But I will admit whatever I do. If I didn't do it, I will never take the blame. Therefore, I can only use your animal head to calm the public's anger. The red flame tiger couldn't help but feel angry. He had never seen such a monster that acted out of common sense. He knew that Chen Feng would not let him go this time. So he slowly backed away, trying to escape. The glorious worker bees immediately surrounded him, and he could only fight bravely. Red flames are violent. Thick flames spurted out from the mouth of the red flame tiger. The red flame tiger relied on its own skills to turn around in a circle. A burning smell spread into the air, and several glorious worker bees that could not dodge were scorched from the air. Dropped, Three shots of these smelled bad. Chin Feng looked at the red flame tiger as if looking at a corpse and gave orders to the glory worker bees. Come on, beat him up. Chin Feng gave an order and all the glorious worker bees swooped down and continuously attacked the red flame tiger. Chin Feng also participated in the battle. Due to the excessive number of worker bees and their tyrannical strength, coupled with the addition of Chin Feng, the red flame tiger was soon in a hurry and found it difficult to resist. The poison of innocence. Chen Feng's bee tail felt a pain, and a slender and sharp tail needle, shining with dazzling cold light, stabbed into the head of the red flame tiger. In front of the red flame tiger's eyes were all the dazzling worker bees, and he was overwhelmed. He only felt a stinging pain in his head, feeling groggy and numb. All the worker bees saw the opportunity and swarmed up, showing off their tail needles one after another and piercing the red flame tiger's head. Until finally, the red flame tiger fell to the ground and couldn't see the original shape of its head. Looked like. Ding! The host successfully killed the Lin Wu double mirror monster and obtained 18,998.5 evolution points. 
Chin Fong looked at the already dead Qianhu. I made you arrogant and dared to be arrogant in front of me. It's your own fault this time. Later, the glory worker bees were sent out to find all the white tigers with an empty forehead. And after some education, they were placed in this cave. It didn't take long for the blood forest to return to peace. In order to kill the chicken to scare the monkeys and prevent similar things from happening, the head of the red flame tiger was hung in the forest for a whole day as a warning. However, this matter reached the ears of the bloodthirsty hall. And the bloodthirsty hall sent a monster to come. This monster came to the blood forest, gathered almost all the monsters in the inner, outer and core areas, and openly warned Shin Fong in front of him. Little Black Bee has hurt the monsters in the blood forest and broken the rules. Therefore, I will criticize and warn all monsters. If there is a next time, I will deal with him in accordance with the rules. Faced with the bloodthirsty hall's unreasonable and indiscriminate attitude, Chen Feng didn't even pay attention to it. It went in one ear and out the other, completely ignoring it. After a few peaceful days, Chen Feng's evolution points improved greatly, and the opening time of the ruins was getting closer and closer. Chen Feng was lying on the throne, holding the straw and drinking royal jelly. A glorious worker bee flew into the hive and knelt on one knee under the throne. Report. King! The bloodthirsty hall has sent monsters to inform you that the ruins are about to be opened. Please go there. This is the location of the ruins. Chin Fong shook his aching head. These days, the bloodthirsty hall has been sending monsters to notify Chin Fong. Asking Chin Fong, as the beast king of the blood forest, to quickly prepare to participate in the ruins. Looking at the map drawn on a fat, Green leaf presented by the glorious worker bee. The location of the ruins has been clearly marked. Chin Fong knew that he couldn't escape this time. So he simply planned to go and search for some elixirs to provide the evolution points needed for upgrading. Come on! Give me my order! When I am away, some of the glory worker bees will stay at Misty Peak to guard the hive. Some will stay at the Beast King's Cave. And some will follow me to the ruins. They will guard the Beast King's Cave and the hive for me. You must be vigilant during the day and night to prevent enemy attacks. Yes. After going through so many trials, the glorious worker bees are no longer what they used to be. They can deal with all emergencies and situations calmly. Not only that, but all the glorious worker bees can be dealt with in the shortest possible time. Following Chin Fong out, Chin Fong led a group of high-level worker bees to the location of the ruins. The journey was uneventful. On this day, Chen Feng came to a cave entrance at the junction of the Blood Forest and the Spirit Forest. At this time, the cave entrance was crowded with monsters who wanted to enter the ruins. They arrived at the location of the ruins. At this time, there were still two days before the ruins were opened. During these two days, Chen Feng washed away the dust and fatigue all over his body and constantly adjusted his condition to achieve the best condition. During this period, the Bloodthirsty Hall seriously emphasized that they were not allowed to bring their subordinates with them. However, Chin Fong had the ability to bring worker bees with him, and he was not worried at all that he would fight alone. The ruins were opened by the five demonic beasts from the Bloodthirsty Hall who worked together. The five demonic beasts gathered all their strength and poured it into the five corners of the cave. The sky was filled with light and rays of light, forming a film. Pieces of snow-white clouds gathered over the junction of the Blood Forest and the Phantom Forest. Only a gaba. Sound was heard. And the entrance to the ruins opened. All the monsters couldn't wait to file in. And Chin Fong was forced to enter the ruins. There was a moment of darkness. And Chin Fong fell into the ruins on all fours. Chin Feng's bee brain fainted. When he recovered, Chin Fong only felt that his body was heavy. Without any sense of lightness. And he always felt that something was missing. System? System. I want to upgrade. The system did not respond at all. At this time, Chin Feng, who did not have a hive, had no ability to resist. Many monsters gathered around him and knocked Chin Feng far away. They looked at Chin Feng's funny look and mocked him crazily. Chapter 100 Search Chin Feng entered the ruins and lost contact with the system. Chin Feng, who lost the hive, had no power to resist. One of the demonic beasts from the bloodthirsty hall slapped him far away with one claw, and he was photographed at the feet of another demonic beast in the distance and was kicked a long way away by another demonic beast. Chin Feng was swatted and kicked away like a ball in the air. He felt his head spinning and his body in agony. Chin Feng secretly comforted himself. He had survived all the storms. How could he be defeated by this small setback? Chin Feng turned sideways to calm his dizzy head, silently remembering the two monsters that slapped and kicked him. Then, 
look around calmly, take care of yourself as you come, and always be familiar with the surroundings. The ruins are a desert, with only a few trees whose leaves have withered and turned yellow. Exuding vitality, the corpses of monster beasts leak out a small section in the lust. I really don't know how many bones of monster beasts are buried in this ruins. The ancient spirit is everywhere. Desolation and traces of time. Chin Fong ignored the monster that was laughing at him. His head was no longer dizzy. And he stood up from the yellow sand. His small stature became even smaller in the yellow sand. It was almost negligible. If a demonic beast was flying towards him at this moment, he would definitely not be noticed. Chin Fong shook his wings, shook his small body, shook off the yellow sand on his body, and flew into the air. Ouch! It's not easy! I can still fly, but I'm still so weak! The sarcastic voice of one of the white tigers in the bloodthirsty hall appeared in Chin Feng's ears. Isn't that right? Beast kings are the best in strength. How can they be so weak? Another black striped tiger echoed. Chin Feng felt very speechless when he saw them still laughing at his ugly face. Instead of looking for the large number of spiritual treasures in the ruins, they used this time to laugh at him. They really had nothing to do but find something to do. Chin Feng was too lazy to talk to them. After a while, they felt a little boring and stopped talking. They headed in the same direction to explore the spiritual treasure together in a tacit understanding. Chin Feng flew in the air, trying his best to reduce his presence and keeping up with their pace. He tried calling the system from time to time. But unfortunately, there was no response. Chin Feng couldn't help but wonder whether the ruins could be isolated from the outside world. So, he tried again to contact the worker bees he carried. Unexpectedly, intermittent messages were transmitted into Chin Feng's mind. Although it was a little weak, it was not a problem to summon them. Chin Feng felt slightly at ease, feeling in his heart. The big stone suddenly dropped a lot. After all, there is an extra layer of hidden strength and an extra layer of protection. How can the system of trap be, be so unreliable? It eats my food, drinks my food, and always fails at critical moments. What use do I need from you? You are not as reliable as my glorious worker be. Chin Feng still couldn't help but blame the system in his heart. Chin Feng flew in the air for a long time before he couldn't help but notice that the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall had been moving in the same direction from the beginning. Chin Feng was a little puzzled, and question marks appeared in his mind. Is it possible that the bloodthirsty hall knows where the spiritual treasures in the ruins are this time? How could they move forward with such purpose? I wanted to go up and ask, but when I thought that the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall were not friendly at all, I instantly lost interest. They might even arouse a burst of ridicule. I sighed silently. There is strength. But the system I rely on is not strong enough. At this time, among the ruins, there was a lynx running very fast, stopping from time to time and sniffing the ground with its small nose. After sniffing, it stopped at one place and used its two sharp front feet, plowing through the yellow sand. The yellow sand continued to pile up on both sides, forming a pit. A small piece of bronze iron in the middle of the pit shone brightly in the sun. The lynx continued to dig downward, and it gradually revealed its true face from the yellow sand. The lynx pulled out a dagger with a gentle tug. After years of precipitation, this dagger exudes an ancient atmosphere. The edges and corners of the bronze dagger sheath have been worn in the yellow sand and are tattered. The lynx holds the dagger handle with its front feet and presses the spring, only to hear Gabum. With a sound, a small piece was pulled out, and cold light shot out in all directions instantly. The forest air invaded the lynx's face, but the inside was not damaged at all. The lynx nodded with satisfaction and put it into the small package he was carrying on his back. This lynx is named Qin Fei. After entering the ruins, then began to search for a large number of spiritual treasures. His nose is more sensitive than ordinary monsters, and he can smell the scent of spiritual treasures. The small package behind him is already filled with various spiritual treasures. These spiritual treasures are all preserved in the ruins. Each one is a magic weapon. If thrown into the forest where the monsters are, it will cause a bloody storm. Qin Fei picked up the package and ran forward again. At this time, Chun Feng, who was in the bloodthirsty hall team, was flying buzzingly. In the sky, he suddenly discovered that there were a row of monster beast footprints on the yellow sand. Although the monster beasts in the ruins had there were footprints all over the place, some even covered by the yellow sand. But this row of footprints was different. Bloodthirsty Hall tried its best to distinguish this row among the many footprints, and then moved forward in the direction of this row of monster beasts' footprints. Chen Feng was really curious. What is the Bloodthirsty Hall looking for? Why are you searching according to this row of footprints? 
At this time, the mouth of one of the white tigers with hanging foreheads in the bloodthirsty hall moved, as if he was whispering something to the black-striped tiger next to him. Jin Fong flapped his wings and quietly approached them. He cocked his bee ears and listened to their conversation. Tell me, when can we find Qin Fei? If this continues, when will it end? Otherwise, we won't get anything. The white tiger with a hanging forehead kicked listlessly at the fine sand at his feet. And the breeze blew up fine dust. It should be soon. Look at the footprints. They are only covered a little. They must have left not long ago. And we are not just looking for them by following the footprints. As for the method, only he knows. The black striped tiger paused, looked at the brown yellow ground rock tiger at the front, and signaled with his eyes. Don't be discouraged. Jean Fei's little lynx must have collected a lot of spiritual treasures. And we will share them when the time comes. After listening for a long time, Chin Fong understood the purpose of their trip. At this time, the hanging fronted white tiger heard a buzzing sound, raised his head, and saw Chin Fong flying not far away from them. Little black bee, go and stay where you can. Didn't you see that we are busy here? Your buzzing has disturbed us. The white tiger with a hanging forehead looked at Chin Fong flying in the air, with contempt in his eyes, feeling that it was not enough. He raised his front foot and slapped Chin Fong. Chin Fong only felt the fierce wind blowing beside him, and he hid to the side alertly. The white tiger with a hanging forehead was slightly annoyed when he saw Chin Fong dodge, feeling that he had lost face by not hitting the little black bee. Little black bee, do you still dare to hide? Chin Fong rolled his eyes helplessly in the air, complaining in his heart. I won't hide. I'll just wait here for you to slap me away. Then how stupid I am. Chapter 101 Cooperation the white tiger with a hanging forehead in the bloodthirsty hall struck at Chin Fong. But Chin Fong dodged it. He immediately felt that he had lost face and insisted on arguing with Chin Fong. Chin Fong felt helpless and speechless. He ignored the unreasonable and unreasonable white tiger and flew to a higher place in the air that the white tiger could not reach. Seeing this situation, the hanging forehead white tiger narrowed his eyes slightly and wanted to hold on to Chin Fong relentlessly. At this time, the black striped tiger next to him touched the white tiger with a front foot. And the white tiger with a flat forehead shifted its attention to the black striped tiger. Why are you arguing with him? Leave him alone and concentrate on your journey. The hanging forehead white tiger snorted coldly and glanced at Chin Fong sideways. Spare you once. Turning his head, he walked forward proudly. Chin Fong rolled his eyes speechlessly. At this time, Chin Fei in the distance was still quickly searching for treasures. The bulging packages behind him were more than twice as large as before. While searching for treasures, his keen nose smelled the scent of other monsters approaching. Qin Fei pricked up his ears vigilantly and saw Dian Hu approaching with the monsters of Bloodthirsty Hall. At this time, Dian Hu also saw Qin Fei in the distance, and his eyes darkened. Come on, tiger! Surround him for me! With an order, all the monster beasts were dispatched, and Dian Hu galloped towards Qin Fei at the fastest speed. Seeing that the situation was bad, Qin Fei turned around and ran away. The package behind him bounced like a ball, which was particularly funny. The monsters chasing him from the bloodthirsty hall were getting closer and closer, and Qin Fei was getting faster and faster. But unfortunately, he still couldn't distance himself. The art of instant movement. Qin Fei disappeared in an instant. The Dian Hu who was about to catch up with Qin Fei felt that the tiger's claws had touched his hair. As a result, he suddenly jumped into the air and stumbled forward, feeling a burst of anger. As for the other monsters, you looked at me and I looked at you, looking at each other in confusion, not knowing what to do. At this time, 1,000 meters ahead, the lynx was lying on the ground tiredly. After a long time, the lynx stood up and fell down. It took five or six attempts to recover. In fact, Qin Qin did not stop until it was absolutely necessary. Fong was unwilling to use this skill. The side effects of this skill were somewhat severe. The farther he moved, the more tired he became. Qin Feng didn't dare to delay, turned around and flew towards the other side. Dian He failed to catch the monster, and his face was livid with anger. Afterwards, Dian He closed his eyes as big as copper bells, sat on the yellow sand, and carefully felt the breath of heaven and earth. All the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall looked at the sensing Dian He with bated breath. After a long time, Dian He opened his tiger eyes, and a light flashed in his eyes. All the monsters looked at Dian Hu with expectant eyes. Dian Hu moved his tiger feet and led the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall to continue searching for Qin Fei's traces. As they were walking, they suddenly stopped moving forward 
and raised their brown-yellow front feet with patterns. The monster behind them stopped and closed its tiger eyes again for sensing. Turn around and continue the pursuit. Diane Hood turned around in front and went to the side. The bloodthirsty hall monster behind you looked at me. I looked at you and followed Di Yinhu. At this moment, Chen Feng followed the direction in which they were chasing Qin Fei and saw the sky in the distance, releasing a dazzling light. At the same time, all the clouds gathered towards that place. Gradually, the clouds continued to rise. There was a backlog in the sky, and there were faint thunder and lightning flashing through the thick clouds. The monsters in the bloodthirsty hall also saw this strange phenomenon. Speed ahead, Diana turned around and gave an order to the monster beasts, then ran forward at lightning speed. A burst of dust flew up, leading behind the afterimages of the monster beasts. Chin Feng looked at the vision in the distance with all his thoughts, and flew forward as fast as possible. When they arrived at the place where the vision occurred, many monsters had gathered here. Here is a volcanic crater, exuding a hot atmosphere that can steam up monsters. Near the crater, there is a fiery red plant, exuding a red brilliance, constantly absorbing the spewing atmosphere of magma, stretching its stems and leaves. The crimson flowers have not yet fully bloomed. The thunder and lightning in the black clouds rushed towards the plant with oppressive momentum in the sky. Monsters far away felt it. When the breath came from the sky, the flower did not move at all and was not affected at all. Chin Feng looked at the elixir in the distance in surprise. What kind of elixir is this? It's so unbelievable. Chin Feng's heart is ready to move. After robbing a large number of spiritual treasures and elixirs, Chin Feng has accumulated a lot of experience. He even has a hundred thousand ways to successfully snatch them. However, it is easy to snatch the spiritual treasures. But it is difficult to keep the spiritual treasures. Therefore, none of the hundreds of thousands of methods is as easy or as safe as this one. Chin Feng rolled his eyes and thought about it. Chin Feng took advantage of the fact that all the monster's attention was focused on that elixir and quietly vibrated his crystal wings and flew towards the earth rock tiger. Chin Feng flew in front of Di Yinhu. Di Yinhu immediately noticed the small bee in front of him, who was always being laughed at. He did not stop his men from laughing at Chin Feng, nor did he follow them to laugh at Chin Feng, because he, he was arrogant, and he didn't bother to laugh at the weak Chin Feng. At this time, Chin Feng flew in front of him, and he was extremely surprised. He didn't expect that the little black bee was so bold and came to him. Suddenly, he admired him a little. Sir, I want to discuss business with you. Di Yen who raised his eyebrows and looked at Chin Feng curiously. Oh, Chin Feng saw that Di Yen who did not stop him and was slightly curious. Maybe he was curious about what such a weak Chin Feng could use to negotiate terms with him. I can fly in the sky. As you can see, among all the monsters, I am the only one who can fly. After hearing what Chin Feng said, Di Yen who looked around and realized that what Chin Feng said was indeed true. A trace of uncertainty flashed in Di Yen eyes. Chin Feng saw that Di Yen who was listening to his thoughts carefully, and his expression did not change at all. I can use the advantage of flying to keep it for you. When you decide the winner, I only need some simple reward in exchange for it. And I can give it to you. Di Yen who looked at Chin Feng suspiciously. There was no free lunch in the world, but he only needed a simple reward for helping them like this. Could there be some fraud involved? Or could he be coveting this elixir? Chin Feng watched Di Yen who look at him with wary eyes, knowing that Di Yen who would not believe what he said. You see? I am so weak. How dare I try to get a magical elixir? And if I try to get him? You are far beyond my strength and can kill me in an instant. Di Yen felt that what Chin Feng said was reasonable. So he agreed to his request and ordered the other monsters to follow the arrangements and try their best to help Chin Feng obtain the spiritual treasure. Chapter 102 Treasure Hunt Di Yen who agreed to Chin Feng's request and ordered his men to fully cooperate with Chin Feng. At this time, the hanging forehead white tiger was a little unconvinced. Sir, he is so weak. How can he be worthy of such a big responsibility? Besides, if he plays some conspiracy and runs away with the spirit treasure, what should he do? Don't be afraid of 10,000. Just be afraid of the worst. The black striped tiger heard the words of the hanging forehead white tiger and secretly cried out. Sir, she didn't mean it. You don't remember the faults of villains. Please forgive her this time. There was dense cold sweat on black striped tiger's forehead. At this time, the hanging fronted white tiger didn't know that the danger had befallen her and ignored the black striped tiger who was constantly gesturing with her eyes and reminding her with her tiger feet. Sir, I don't accept it. The first time Diana saw a tiger disobeying his orders was in front of so many monsters. 
The tiger's eyes narrowed slightly, exuding a dangerous aura, and his own pressure spread from himself. Chin Fong saw the Dian Hu's expression, and knew that this white tiger with a hanging forehead was going to be in trouble. The white tiger with a hanging forehead saw the earth tiger releasing pressure on her. The tiger's legs were a little weak. However, she had no intention of giving in. She struggled to hold on. She also saw Chin Fong watching the show on the side. Appearance, not to mention speed. Sir, is it possible that you have doubts in your heart and you don't want to let who talk about it? Diane who originally wanted to give her a chance. But it turned out that she had no intention of repenting at all. The tiger's eyes were burning with angry flames and the energy in her body was fluctuating. With a fierce attack, a tiger claw attacked the white tiger with a sharp forehead. The hanging forehead white tiger had no chance to dodge. He was hit by a tiger claw. In an instant, he flew out and fell on the yellow sand, raising countless dust. The white tiger with a hanging forehead crawled out of the yellow sand with difficulty. There was a trace of blood on the corner of its mouth, and the tiger's body was trembling. Only then did she realize who she was talking to. Dian who walked towards the Diafu white tiger step by step, and every step seemed to step on her heart, making her heart beat continuously. You are not yet allowed to comment on the decision I made, and you don't need to teach me how to make it. Now I can clear up your doubts. The white tiger with hanging forehead trembled its body and prostrated on the ground. Sir, I understand. The black striped tiger saw that Dianho had murderous intentions towards the white tiger with a hanging forehead. So he quickly crawled forward a few times and knelt at Diana's feet. Sir, now is the time to use the tiger. I hope you will give her a chance to make up for her mistakes. Diana looked at the black striped tiger who kept begging for mercy, snorted coldly, turned and left. Chin Fong looked at this scene and shirked with regret. At this time, thunder exploded in the sky. Chin Fong felt bad in his heart and immediately stepped back. At the same time, the pupils of Diane Hu's tiger eyes tightened. Back off! After hearing the order, all the monsters did not dare to delay and immediately retreated. The other monsters also realized that something was wrong and backed away. In the sky, a bolt of lightning that was ready to strike struck the place where the monster was just now, followed by another bolt of lightning. Although many saw that the situation was not good and quickly retreated. There were still a few monsters at the front who had no time to retreat. The thunder that was chopped down was fried on the outside and tender on the inside. A wisp of burning smell followed the air and spread into the nostrils of the monsters. Some monsters couldn't bear it and retched on the side. The sky thunder continued to strike down. And it did not end until it struck nine times. And none of them struck the elixir. Chin Fong looked at the thunder striking the ground and was speechless for a while. Is it possible that this lay has become a spirit and has consciousness? Thunder struck the ground, creating deep pits one after another. The fine yellow sand in the pit turned into powder in the thunder, dissipated in the air. A burst of exclamations from the monster beasts interrupted Chin Feng's contemplation. Chin Feng looked around and saw greedy looks in the eyes of each monster beast. They all looked at the elixir together. The elixir was fully mature at this moment. With all its crimson petals blooming, the pink, tender flowers and stamens were like dancing thumbelina, which was particularly enchanting. The flowers and stamens are surrounded by layers of outer petals, and each petal has its own shape. Around the petals, circles of ruby white light flowed, being constantly absorbed by the flower and spit out again, as if breathing. This elixir exudes a charming fragrance that makes all monsters and beasts addicted to it. None of the monsters moved. They were all waiting for the opportunity. After all, whoever strikes first will surely die from the skills of the monsters. At this time, there was a demonic beast that couldn't stand the temptation of the aroma of the elixir and flew towards the elixir. The monsters discovered that one monster had taken the lead. And in an instant, all their skills were directed at that monster. The monster didn't even say a word and died under the influence of numerous skills. Once the monster set a precedent, the second and third ones would rush over. In the end, the monsters ran towards the elixir without any regard. The melee began, and Chin Feng liked the feeling of reaping the benefits the most and he was still cheering for them in his heart. Tian Hu also led his men to participate in the battle. Before the battle, he even signaled with his eyes to let Chin Feng be ready to snatch the elixir. Chin Feng pretended to be sincere and vowed to snatch the elixir back, and nodded slightly to Tian Hu, indicating that he was ready and waiting to take down the elixir with one blow. The skills of the monster beasts were flying all over the sky, forming brilliant colors. In this battle, the monster beasts' heads were bruised and bloody. The men led by Dian who were also slightly or seriously injured, and their whole bodies were stained with blood. 
I don't know if it's the enemy's blood or my own blood. At this time, Chen Feng, who was flying high, noticed that there was a lynx, which nimbly dodged all the monster attacks and rushed towards the elixir. Chen Feng's face darkened slightly. He knew that the lynx was Qin Fei. He was able to escape from the siege of the monsters. However, the package on his body was missing, and he didn't know where he put it. He was so light and fast. It was like lightning. Chin Feng shook his wings. He didn't want the duck and eggs to be snatched away by other monsters. So he swooped towards the elixir with vibrating wings. The Dian who watched Chin Feng take action. In an instant, roaring angrily, he directed all attacks towards himself. However, he still had the skills to attack Chin Feng from time to time. Chin Feng dodged left and right, avoiding all of them. Then, he glanced at the lynx and B who were also avoiding the attack and approaching the elixir. The wings vibrated faster and turned into an afterimage, rushing towards the elixir on the volcano. When Chin Feng approached, the heat suddenly rose. Chin Feng endured the pain of the energy erupted from the volcano burning the bee's body and moved forward. Slowly, the bee's legs touched the edge of the petal and then held the entire petal. The six bee legs pulled into the air. Gradually, the root of the elixir left the ground. Chin Feng took it and immediately lifted it into the air. Flying away, Qin Fei rushed into the air. Chapter 103 Obtaining the Ling Bao After Qin Feng got the Ling Bao, he flapped his wings and flew into the air, causing Qin Fei who came to snatch the Ling Bao to fly into the air. Qin Fei's face was ashen as he looked at Qin Feng who had already taken the Ling Bao and flew into the air. He had escaped many attacks, but the Ling Bao was right in front of him. Qin Fei felt that his lynx claws touched the petals of the Ling Bao. As a result, how could he not be angry when he missed Ling Bao just one step away? Qin Fei was jumping on his feet at the place where the elixir grew, screaming and yelling at Qin Feng. After cursing for a long time, Qin Fei stopped until his mouth was dry. Suddenly, Qin Fei rolled his eyes and thought about it. He stood on the volcano and shouted loudly to all the monsters fighting in the melee. Stop fighting! The spiritual treasure has been snatched away by that little black bee in the sky. The echo sounded in the crater. Qin Fei thought secretly. What I can't get, other monsters can't get. I'd rather destroy it than let you get it easily. Qin Fei's words stirred up a thousand waves. And instantly all the monsters looked towards the sky. I saw a little black bee flying, buzzing, in the sky. With six bee legs holding an elixir that was larger than myself. When I looked carefully at the elixir, I saw that it was the elixir I was fighting for. In an instant, roars and roars continued one after another. All the monsters stopped fighting with each other and looked at Chin Feng in unison. Qin Fei watched all the monsters turn towards Chin Feng, covering his mouth with his front foot and enjoying himself silently. Chen Feng, who was flying in the air, turned around and saw Qin Fei gloating in the crater, his eyes burning with angry flames. Ma! Duh! I recruited you! But I offended you! How could you be so mean? Then don't blame me for being rude! The monsters were staring at Chin Feng with eager eyes. His skills were ready to be used. Chin Feng's eyes were slightly focused. It seemed that now he could only outsmart them. Not fight head on. Don't get excited yet. Listen to me. If one of you catches Qin Fei first, that is the lynx in the crater. I will give the elixir to him. Upon hearing this, the monster beasts looked at each other in confusion and looked at Chin Feng suspiciously. The rock cracker turtle at the front was relatively calm and calm. How do we know if you will deceive us? What if we deal with Qin Fei here and you escape? Qin Feng looked at the cunning rock split turtle. Do you think you have an advantage when I am in the air? If I eat the elixir now and fly away, none of you will be able to get it by then. This is your only chance now. If you attack me, that elixir will the lynx will reap the benefits. After all, as long as he calmly approaches the elixir amid your attacks, you have to think clearly. The monsters and beasts thought about it and felt that what Qin Feng said made sense and some of the monsters were already ready to move. Seeing that the situation was not good for him, Qin Fei hurriedly defended himself. Don't believe him. He will definitely take the elixir secretly when you attack me. After hearing Qin Fei's words, the monsters looked at Qin Feng again, only to see Qin Feng shaking his little head leisurely in the air. He glanced unhurriedly at the monsters looking at him. What are you looking at me doing? The monsters and beasts couldn't help but raise their foreheads and were speechless for a while. At this time, Chin Feng seemed to suddenly remember something. Looking at the monsters and beasts looking up at him, he rubbed the elixir to his mouth, which made the monsters and beasts tremble in their hearts. If you don't believe me, I have nothing to say. However, 
My strength is obvious to all of you. Apart from having wings and being able to fly, I am the weakest among you. The monsters were right. After all, Qin Feng relied on having wings and being able to fly to get the elixir. But Qin Fei relied on his strength. If the weak Qin Feng deceived them, he would face all the monsters. If they attack, with his strength, he will definitely die under the attack of the monsters. And if Qin Feng comes to snatch it now and kills it, and eats the elixir, the gain will outweigh the loss. At this time, several monster beasts had begun to attack Qin Fei. Qin Fei couldn't help but feel annoyed when he saw that the monsters were bewitched by Qin Feng and put himself in jail. Under the pressure of so many monsters, Qin Fei panicked. So he ran away. He didn't want to be caught by the monsters in exchange for the elixir. There were still some monsters that didn't believe Qin Feng's words and stared closely at Qin Feng flying high in the sky. However, when they saw that Qin Feng had no intention of running away, their hearts were slowly shaken, and they saw that other monsters had already gone to catch him. Qin Fei was shocked, and his heart was even more shaken. He looked at Qin Feng and then at Qin Fei who was being hunted by the monsters. He stamped his animal foot and simply joined the battle group. Seeing that the time was almost up, Chen Feng immediately flew away into the distance, while the monsters of the Bloodthirsty Hall, who did not participate in the battle also quietly covered Chen Feng's departure. By the time the monsters and beasts reacted, Chen Feng and the monsters from the Bloodthirsty Hall had already fled, while Qin Fei was hunted down by the monsters and suffered numerous scars. All the monsters and beasts couldn't help but look up to the sky and howl, extremely angry. He vowed to find Chen Feng and cut him into pieces. At this time, Chen Feng, who was flying in the air, couldn't help but sneeze twice. He freed up one of his front legs and rubbed his nose. He wondered if there was a monster scolding me behind my back. Then, he thought that he had been tricked. The monsters and beasts in front of them felt happy in their hearts. And when they looked at the monsters and beasts from the bloodthirsty hall, who were following closely behind them, their eyes became extremely cold. After flying for a long time, until he felt that the distance was relatively safe, Diana called out to Chin Feng who was flying forward. After hearing his call, Chin Feng stopped flying. Dian Hu looked at Chin Feng with admiration in his eyes that he was not even aware of. I have obtained the elixir. Please give it to me. Chin Feng held the elixir in his arms and wanted to roll his eyes at Dian Hu. You're talking lightly. You want it. I risked my life and offended all the monsters to get this elixir. How could I give it to you after such hard work? Chin Feng thought so in his heart, but didn't say it with his mouth. I can't give it to you now. Chen Feng's six legs holding the elixir tightened. Dian Hu's eyes condensed, becoming gradually colder and more dangerous. You lied to me? You want to take the elixir to yourself? Chen Feng shrank his little body in feigned fear. Isn't that true? We have agreed that you will give me a simple reward and I will give you the elixir. However, there are so many monsters among you. Who should I give it to and who will give me the reward? Just give me a beast. Dian Hu looked at Chen Feng's useless look and knew that he would not deceive him. He just wanted his reward. But the other monsters didn't think so. They looked at each other and thought it was funny. Why should I leave it to you? The hanging forehead white tiger said angrily. This elixir does not belong to one of your own monsters. The other monsters also agreed unanimously, eagerly looking for an explanation. Chapter 104 Internal Strife The monsters in the bloodthirsty hall want the elixir that Shen Feng fought so hard for. And Chen Feng's few words aroused the desire of the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall to snatch it. After all, no monster can withstand the temptation in front of Ling Bao. This time, when they came to the ruins, Dian Hu was only temporarily appointed as the leading beast, leading them to find Qin Fei and snatch the spiritual treasure. Logically speaking, they were all on the same level, and there was no one who was older or younger. Moreover, everyone is the king of beasts so there is no reason for Dian Hu to be the boss among the kings of beasts. This means that this elixir should be obtained by those who have the ability, not just the Dian Hu beast, the injured Bai who had long been unhappy with Dian Hu, and her heart was still mixed with hatred, although she had been subdued in front of Dian Hu before. It was only temporary. Now that she thinks about it, why should she be afraid of Dian Hu? Where is the tiger? You are the king of beasts, and I am also the king of beasts. If we give you face, you are the boss. If we don't give you face, you are nothing. The hanging forehead white tiger thought unwillingly. Dian who made the dio fronted white tiger lose face again in front of all the monsters. She had long since transferred her hatred from Chin Feng to Dian Hu. The hanging forehead white tiger didn't care at all about Dian Hu's dangerous look and turned back to look at Chin Feng with an air of dignity. 
his little abacus rattling. You mean you will pay whoever must pays you? Right. Chin Fong nodded and shook his head. There are so many monsters among you. I can't decide the winner. Let me know who of you is more worthy of it, so that I can hand it over to him with more confidence. I risk my life to get this. Of course, I need to make the spiritual medicine effective. Worth the money. Dian who looked at Chin Fong dissatisfied. Are you trying to sow discord between us? Chin Feng's head shook like a rattle, and he took a few steps back in fear. My lord, I am wronged. How dare I sow discord between you? I am so weak. If I have that thought, you will break me into pieces if you use just a few skills. Dian who snorted coldly. I don't even dare to measure you. He turned back to look at the many dissatisfied monsters. As the leader of the monster beast appointed this time. Of course, I have to hand over the elixir to me. The Dio fronted white tiger sneered at Dian Hu's words. Then all the credit belongs to you. Well, just like what the little black bee said, the capable monsters can get it. Whoever is the most powerful among us can get the elixir. Chin Fong watched them bite the tiger. And then heard the words of the Diao for white tiger, the divine assist monster. And felt extremely happy. The other monsters felt that what the Diao fronted white tiger said was reasonable. And surrounded the dying tiger. They have long been dissatisfied with the usually domineering Dianhu. Thinking in their hearts that as long as they deal with Dianhu and decide the winner with other monsters, the elixir will be theirs. Dianhu looked at himself surrounded by other beast kings, his eyes becoming more and more dangerous. You are planning to avenge your personal vengeance and beat me up. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at the surrounded Dianhu with schadenfreude. You can forgive the evil you do by God, but you can't live if you do it yourself. Just look at them and you will know how many monsters you have offended. Don't always think that you are so great. We are also the kings of beasts. Why are you one head taller than us? We surrender to you. Now we regret it. The hanging forehead white tiger laughed wildly. Let's go together and defeat the Dianhu. Let's show off again. Chin Fong watched the conflicts in the blood thirsty hall intensify and get more and more intense. He couldn't help but applaud in his heart. This was a better result than he expected. If Chin Fong had royal jelly in his hand at this time, Chin Fong would definitely cross his legs, drink royal jelly, and watch the show. At this time, the Dio fronted white tiger and the other monster beasts rushed towards the earth rock tiger. Wind blade! The nether blade! The other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall rushed towards Dianhu. Dozens of sharp blades instantly attacked Dianhu. Faced with many attacks, Dianhu calmly released his skills. Rock of the earth! I saw wind and sand sweeping across, forming tall and hard rocks around Dianhu blocking all the blades. Dozens of blades collided with the stone as hard as iron, causing sparks to fly. Chin Fong was dumbfounded. He had to admire Dianhu for being able to deal with the attacks of so many monsters. Although there were also advantages and skills here, he could take down all the skills with just one blow. From it, we can see the degree and level of grasp of power. Even my systematic self can't do it, and I can't grasp the power exactly enough to deal with all attacks with such ease. Rock burst. At this time, Dian Hu, who had resisted the skills of the monster beasts, released his other skills. The rocks blocking Dian Hu exploded, and two or three monsters were approaching, was instantly shot far away. The tiger's mouth was bloodshot, and he fainted. The rocks after the explosion turned into fragments of meteorites, hitting other monster beasts that were indomitable and running wildly. One or two were unable to dodge and were knocked away, losing their combat effectiveness. Roaring fury. Sword of swift wind. The few hanging fronted white tigers, black striped tigers, and other monster beasts that were not attacked were constantly dodging the rapidly hitting stones while releasing their own skills. Several swords were blocked by the stones, while others the huge sword followed the original trajectory and stabbed Dianhu along the gap between the rocks. Dianhu looked at the huge sword that was flying towards him at an extremely fast speed. He couldn't dodge, so he could only avoid the vital points as much as possible. The giant sword broke through Dianhu's hard skin like tofu. Blood flowed down the tiger's legs and back, dyeing his hair red. Diane had roared angrily, and murderous intent appeared in the tiger's eyes. He did not expect that he would show mercy, but they went straight to the vital point with all their moves. Then don't blame him for being ruthless. Diane had gathered enough momentum and released his skills one after another. Gradually, his breathing became heavier, and the other monsters were not to be outdone, and all their skills were directed at Diane Hu. Chin Fong couldn't help but give a thumbs up secretly when he saw that such a powerful earth rock tiger had persisted for so long under the attack of so many monsters. However, under the attack of so many monsters, Dianhu was a little overwhelmed. 
the battle gradually became fierce. Most of the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall were slightly or seriously injured. The outcome was gradually decided. Diane who defeated most of the monsters. Although there was blood on his body. It had stained his whole body. But he still didn't fall down. Chen Feng's eyes darkened. This earth rock tiger was really difficult to deal with. It seems that it is a tough enemy. Gradually, the victory was decided. And Diane who became the master of the battle. The white tiger with a hanging forehead that mocked Diane who also fell to the ground. Diane who was injured. But his back did not yield at all. Meaning, step by step towards the Dio-fronted white tiger. Just like that time. It hit the Dio-fronted white tiger's heart. Chapter 105 Escape Diane who won the victory and walked towards the hanging forehead white tiger. His injured body walking without any sway. Slowly, he walked up to the white tiger with a hanging forehead and looked down at her. Give me the elixir. Do you have any objections now? The eyes of the hanging forehead white tiger were full of fear. No. No. Diane who raised his front feet. And the dio-fronted white tiger looked at the raised front feet. He closed his tiger eyes in fear. Diane who wiped the dio-fronted white tiger's hair with one foot and stepped on the dio-fronted white tiger. Next to the head. This is a warning to you. If you mess with me again next time, this kick will fall on your head. Do you understand? The white tiger with a hanging forehead felt that his eyes were darkening and his ears were buzzing. As if he had walked away from the gate of H, L. When his eyes focused again, he could only see the mouth of Diane who opening and closing. But could not hear any sound. He could only nod his tiger head blankly. Diane who looked at the stunned white tiger with a hanging forehead. Snorted coldly. Turn around and walked towards Chin Fong. Now you can hand over the spiritual treasure. Chin Fong chuckled. Okay. Okay. But it's my reward. Diane whose eyes darkened slightly. You instigated the relationship between us and caused us to be hurt so much. You want to pay us? Don't even think about it. Chin Feng's pupils tightened as he thought to himself. I thought you were different from the other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall. It turns out that you look like a tiger in the world. I overestimated you. You are all equally shameless. Although I provoked your relationship, there is still no internal relationship between you. The problem? It's better now. The responsibility is put on me. But he said it on his lips. Sir, are you planning not to give me any reward? Dian who looked at Chen Feng disdainfully. So what if it is? So what if it's not? Chen Feng sneered. Since you don't pay me, how can I let you take the spiritual treasure? Dian who didn't expect Chen Feng to say this. After all, his strength was there. How dare you threaten me? Don't even think about it. Do you have the strength? Whether you have strength or not is not up to you. Come out. Chin Feng took advantage of this opportunity when Dian Hu was unprepared and summoned all his worker bees. In an instant, darkness covered the sun in the sky. Without preparation? How could I possibly negotiate terms with you? Dian Hu couldn't help but look gloomy as he looked at the dark worker bees suddenly summoned by Chin Feng. And his chest filled with anger. At this time, the other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall calmed down and saw that they had been caught in a conspiracy. And their tiger eyes were filled with bright red bloodshot eyes. It is true that wild geese hunt wild geese every year but are blinded by wild geese. They were not reconciled at all. The injured monsters endured the pain and stood up. Staring at Chin Feng fiercely, Diane who roared angrily and released his skills into the air. Rock burst. The yellow sand quickly condensed into rocks and struck towards Chin Feng's glorious worker bees. Chin Feng didn't expect that Diane Hu, who was injured and had consumed a lot of strength, was still so strong and difficult to deal with. Although the skills he unleashed were much weaker than before, they were still enough to give Chin Feng a hard time. Moreover, Chin Feng did not expect that rock explosion could be used alone. When he was watching the battle, he always thought that Diane Hu's earth rock and rock explosion were skills released together on the ground. But he never thought that rock explosion could also be used in the air. Chin Feng kept dodging the attacks of the Earth Rock Tiger. He could not help but frown slightly as he watched his glory worker be being hit and dropped by rocks. In my heart, I am still complaining about the inadequacy of the system. When the other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall saw Dian who working so hard, a trace of guilt rose up in their hearts. In an instant, the tiger eyes became firm, and they stumbled and limped to Dian Hu's side. By his side, he fought together with the Rock Tigers from the same place. All the worker bees obey the order. If they can beat them, they will fight. If they cannot beat them, they will run away. Chin Feng led the worker bees to fight and retreat, while the glorious worker bees formed an encirclement circle with Chin Feng as the center. Surrounding Chin Feng, 
so that Chin Feng was not harmed at all. Chin Feng couldn't help but be moved. The glory worker bees kept falling. Some of the glory worker bees were determined to die and rushed into the team of the bloodthirsty hall monsters. Every time they charged. While they were falling. The white tigers with hanging foreheads were also falling down. Diane who watched the demonic beasts in the bloodthirsty hall continued to suffer casualties. His ears stood upright and his eyes widened with anger. Little black bee, if you dare to deceive me like this, I will definitely be at odds with you. Chin Fong was extremely amused when he heard Di Yanhu's words. He also felt that Di Yanhu was not angry enough. So he looked at Di Yanhu in a sullen manner. I already said that as long as you pay me a reward, I will give you the elixir. Unfortunately, you broke your promise. Then you can't blame me for not giving it to you and keeping it for myself. Thank you for your generosity. You gave me one. Such a precious elixir. When Di Yanhu heard this, he became even more angry. He almost lost his breath and took the breath away. Di Yanhu suppressed his anger and looked at Chin Fong. Little black bee, I will pay you now, and you give me the spiritual treasure. Chin Fong rolled his eyes. Of course he knew what Di Yanhu was planning. It was a good idea to stabilize him first and let him hand over the spirit treasure, and then eliminate him. You have already said that you and I are incompatible with each other. How can I hand it over? And you have lied to me before. And I am not stupid. How can I trust you again? Dian Huhu's face turned red, and he said through gritted teeth, I'm just joking with you. As long as you give me the elixir, I won't care. I'll also give you a reward. How about it? Chin Feng smiled cunningly. If you say you want to keep it, if you say you don't want to give it, you won't give it. If you say you want it, you will take it. If you say you don't want it, you won't want it. What do you think I am? That I'm so easy to bully. At this time, Chin Feng and the Guangyu worker bees had unknowingly retreated to the edge of a cliff. The surrounding area was bare. Not a single plant existed. And there was no yellow sand on the cliff. But only rocky cliffs. There was mist under the cliff. Making it difficult to see its height. Di Yen who looked at Chin Feng who had retreated to the edge of the cliff and sneered. Little black bee, where are you going to run away? If you hand over the elixir, I will spare your life. Chin Feng looked at the bottomless cliff and couldn't help but hold his forehead. He knew he wouldn't be so arrogant. But now, he is getting retribution. Simply, his heart skipped a beat. His eyes became firm. And he looked at Di Yanhu mockingly. I would rather die than let you get the spiritual treasure. All the worker bees obeyed the order and retreated to the bottom of the cliff. Yes. Chin Feng took all the glory worker bees and flew under the cliff. Diane had looked at Chin Feng who disappeared into the clouds and mist, roared angrily, and reluctantly released several skills. Looking at the monsters that had lost more than half, he fainted in anger. At this time, Chin Feng led the glory worker bee and rushed into the clouds and mist. Gradually, he felt the clouds and mist forming a vortex, exuding a suction force that grew larger and larger. And finally, he was sucked in. Chapter 106 Secret Realm Under the pursuit of the earth rock tiger, Chin Feng led the glory worker bees to swoop into the cliff and put the elixir into the water drop space. As a result, before he could react, the cloud formed a vortex and sucked Chin Feng and the glorious worker bees in together. When Chin Feng woke up, he found himself lying on his back on a comfortable golden beach, surrounded by glory worker bees. The warm sun cast a little light and heat on Chin Feng's body, making it feel warm. Not far from the beach where Chin Feng was lying, there was an endless sea. Pa pa pa. The seawater rolled up waves and hit the rocks on the shore. Chin Feng saw the scenery in front of him, and his heart was filled with excitement. It's quiet, facing the sea, and the flowers are blooming in spring. So that's it. Chin Feng lay on the golden beach for a while. When the glory worker bees next to him woke up, he climbed up from the ground, vibrated his crystal wings, and flew into the air with the glory worker bees. Looking at the endless sea level, Chen Feng murmured to himself, Where is this place? How to get out? Could it be that this is another space inside the ruins? At this time, I saw rough waves on the sea level, and the waves rolled in waves. Then, the sea water rose crazily, as if something was about to rush out of the sea. When Chen Feng saw that the sea level was so abnormal, his heart was pounding, and he had a bad premonition. Gradually, he saw a huge fish tail with scales emerging from the rolling waves, sank into the sea again, and after rolling several times, came to the shore. Only then did Chin Feng see its full picture. I saw that he had a sharp mouth. When the mouth was opened, the sharp teeth in his mouth shone coldly under the warm sun, like small sharp daggers. 
His fish-shaped body had a graceful shape. The arc was covered with sharp scales, and there were sharp fins on his back, like a sharp blade growing on his body. He used four short claws to climb to the shore. Its huge body does not affect its speed at all. This is a sea demon fish dragon. After years of tempering in the ruins, it exudes the aura of ancient times. At first glance, it is not a monster to be trifled with. Where did you come from? Little thing? This is no place for you to stay. It's been a long time since a strange breath came here. Just in time. Don't leave once you're here. Stay and fill the emptiness in my stomach. The sea demon fish dragon exuded its own pressure. If Chin Feng's system responded, he could still resist for a while. Without the system, Chin Feng would not be able to bear the pressure. The surrounding glorious worker bees kept falling under the pressure. At this time, Chin Feng felt that his bee body seemed to be falling apart. The bones in his body were crackling under the pressure. And gradually, towards the beach, up and down. At this time, Chin Feng could imagine how terrifying the battle in the ruins was. And it was not something that the current monsters could withstand. The sea demon fish dragon couldn't help but feel a little disappointed when he saw these frail little black bees. However, he didn't expect to let Chin Feng go. I want those glorious worker bees. At this time, a huge demonic beast blocked the warm sun in the sky. Chen Feng, who was shot down by the pressure of the sea demon dragon, woke up from his stupor and saw a scene that surprised him. I saw a monster beast as huge as the sea demon fish dragon flying in the sky. It had a pair of huge wings like a bat. It had no feathers, but was much larger than the wings of a bat. It howled one after another. Rows of teeth protruded from the sharp beak and two sharp claws were curled under the body. This was a skywing demonic dragon. The sea demon fish dragon saw the skywing demon dragon in the air. Its four claws slightly bent, lying on the beach, and the teeth in its mouth were exposed, as if to demonstrate to the skywing demon dragon. The skywing demonic dragon also saw the sea demonic fish dragon, with a low aura. It swooped down and landed on the opposite side of the sea demonic fish dragon, raising its proud head. A strange monster came here. Why didn't you say H, low to me? The sea demon fish dragon raised his head and looked at the sky winged demon dragon. Revenge? Why do I say H, low to you? What are you doing here? The sky winged demon dragon looked at the sea demon fish dragon with disdain. Why? You can come but I can't. This is not your territory. There was some anger in the eyes of the sea demon fish dragon. Is it possible that you want to take a share of the pie? The sky-winged demonic dragon did not take the anger of the sea demonic fish dragon seriously. How can you claim a share of the pie? Do they have your mark on them? The anger in the sea demon fish dragon's eyes grew stronger and stronger. It seems that we want to have a fight. Saying that, he rushed towards the sky-winged demonic dragon with fierce pressure. Your pressure doesn't work on me. You'd better put it away and don't be embarrassed here. The sea demon fish dragon became even more angry. And at the same time, the seawater became more turbulent and slapped on the shore. Chin Fong was a little dumbfounded when he looked at them. They were talking back and forth. But they didn't take Chin Fong and the other seriously at all. Chin Fong silently hoped in his heart that he could slip away when they fought. The waves of the angry sea! The sea demon fish dragon launched his own attack. Under the guidance of his skills, the seawater in the sea turned into a huge monster with a huge mouth and attacked the sky-winged demon dragon with a roar. The storm is rising! Not to be outdone, the skywing demonic dragon released its own skills, and the wind swept the clouds, turning into a huge whirlpool and crashing into the sea demonic fish dragon's attack. The skills on both sides collided, bursting out powerful energy. Chin Feng, who was just about to escape, was not flying to a long distance by this energy. Chin Feng could not withstand this energy, and his will gradually weakened. It seems that my peak life is over, and I am not willing to accept it. There was only this sentence in Chen Feng's day's mind. And his inner desire to survive could not resist his ever-drowsing will. Ding! The host's health value is below 20%. Honey resources cannot be detected. And the repair function cannot be activated. Ding! The host's health value is less than 10%. Coconut blue flowers and honey are detected 100 meters away. And the repair function is activated. Chen Feng felt a heavenly voice resounding in his mind. Calling upon Chen Feng's will. Chin Feng's anxious heart could not help but feel relieved. How did the system contact you? The system did not respond. If the repair progress was not displayed on the panel, Chin Feng would have thought that the system was missing. Gradually, Chin Feng's body was repairing and became lighter and lighter, and his whole body was filled with indescribable strength. Chin Feng enjoyed this feeling of strength 
and felt inexplicably at ease in his heart. Chin Feng looked around. The corpses of the glorious worker bees were scattered on the beach, filled with a desolate atmosphere. He no longer had the same feeling as when he first saw the scenery. The two monsters in the distance were still fighting madly. The two demonic beasts are equally powerful, no matter who is superior or inferior. It seems that Chin Feng can only rely on himself for the next step. Chapter 107 passed the test. When Chin Feng was depressed, he triggered the system, and the system started the repair function. After the system repaired Chin Feng's body, he fell silent for a while. Ding! To trigger the new talent, the condition is to resist the test of the secret realm. Is the host enabled? Chin Feng was ecstatic for a while, and then his head calmed down. Test? Chin Feng looked at the two monster beasts fighting fiercely in the distance. Their strength was the master in this secret realm, and no monster beast could resist them here. There was hesitation in Chin Feng's eyes, but in an instant, he became determined. After experiencing so many difficulties and setbacks, how could I give up so easily? Waiting here is also death. Resisting is also death. It's better to take a gamble. Chin Feng gritted his teeth. System, I choose to enable it. Ding! The new talent has been successfully activated. Please pay attention to the host. Chun Feng's eyes shone with excitement, and he couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. Host, Chun Feng. Lin Wu fifth layer mirror, one slash asterisk 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 asterisk. Talent skill, invisibility when invisible. Attack and defense are not affected. Invisibility ability is limited by level. Invisibility time is one minute. Invisible? Not long after, Chen Feng's brain gradually lost the ecstasy of triggering his new talent. And what followed was how to withstand the test of the secret realm. Chen Feng thought hard about what the test of the secret realm was. System, can you tell me what the test in the secret realm is? The system didn't respond at all. No way. It's such a trap. You have to think about the test in the secret realm yourself. Chen Feng vibrated his wings, flew high into the sky, and landed on the green leaves of the sea coconut. He watched the battle between the two monsters in the distance reach a fever pitch, and his bee eyes darkened slightly. You are not asking me to destroy these two monsters. Chin Feng looked up at the sky, feeling a little desperate. It would be too difficult for me, a weakling, to kill these two bosses. He saw that the system's property panel seemed to flash twice. Chin Feng immediately confirmed his idea, and then seemed to remember something again. The system didn't say how to pass this test. As long as I pour some oil on their relationship, it's done. I'm a veteran in this area. Chin Feng looked at the two monsters and smiled evilly with unknown meaning. At this time, the two monster beasts panted and stopped attacking, both with minor or serious injuries on their bodies. After so many years of fighting, there is still no winner. The sea demon fish dragon looked at the sky wing demon dragon opposite him unwillingly. Chin Feng heard the conversation between the two monsters and rolled his eyes. It's better to choose a different day than to hit it. I'll let you decide the winner today. Chin Feng flapped his crystal wings and looked at the sea demon fish dragon. It's just you. Invisibility. Chin Feng disappeared in an instant. And even the sound of flying disappeared. He saw the right moment and went straight into the eyes of the sea demon ichthyosaur when the sky winged demon dragon did not notice it. Xian Tian has no way. The sea demon fish dragon was completely unprepared. He only heard a puff. The shadow of the sword pierced into the eyeball. And blood spattered out. The sea demon fish dragon let out an ouch, causing him to roll on the ground in pain. He opened his other eyes. Only his uninjured eyes looked at the sky-winged demon dragon in the distance. You are so despicable. Taking advantage of the beast's danger. The sea demon fish dragon endured the pain in its eyeballs and used the power of its whole body to release its skills. At this time, Chin Feng had already hit far away, preparing to watch the show. The sky-winged demon dragon looked at the enraged sea demon fish dragon. He looked at his whole body and then around wondering. He didn't release his skills. How could it be like this? At this time, the sea devil fish dragon had already come closer with his skills, and the stunned sky winged devil dragon's body was scratched, since the sea devil fish dragon had only one eye left. Its aim was not accurate, and it only scratched the sky winged devil dragon. Wings. This angered the sky winged demonic dragon, and scratching his wings was equivalent to cutting off his escape route. If he couldn't fly, it would be difficult for him to survive. Just like that, the two monsters started fighting again. Although the sea demon fish dragon injured one of its eyes, its attack power was not weak at all. The more it hurt, the more ferociously it attacked. But its accuracy was a little inaccurate. Seeing that the sea demon fish dragon's eyes were injured, 
The Skywing Demon Dragon attacked his eyes specifically. The Sea Demon Fish Dragon's crazy attack was miraculously blocked. Chin Fong lay on the green coconut with his head resting on his two front feet, watching their back and forth battle with relish. The two exhausted monsters were now fighting together again. The injuries on their bodies gradually increased and became more and more serious. The Sea Demon Fish Dragon's eyes were originally injured, and because he lost his mind due to the pain, his crazy and unorganized attacks were already at a disadvantage. The attacks of the Skywing Demon Dragon were regular and methodical, and soon the Sea Demon Fish Dragon was in a hurry. I saw a skill that I couldn't dodge, and once again pierced the eyes of the Sea Demon Fish Dragon. The Sea Demon Fish Dragon roared and rolled crazily on the beach. Gradually, the rolling speed became slower and slower, until it stopped and stopped rolling. The Skywing Demon Dragon limped and cautiously approached the Sea Demon Fish Dragon and found that he had expired. The Skywing Demon Dragon was sitting on the ground, a little sad, and its head gradually became clear. Why is this mortal enemy of mine suddenly injured in the eye and suddenly attacking me like crazy? Although he was confused, he couldn't figure out the reason. He lay tiredly next to the Sea Demon Fish Dragon and gradually fell into a deep sleep. Chin Fong watched the Sea Demon Fish Dragon fall down and the Skywing Demon Dragon was also consumed too much. Tired, he fell asleep. His eyes rolled. This is a good opportunity. Immediately, it flew down from the green leaves of the sea coconut and circled around the body of the Skywing Demonic Dragon. Where is this monster most vulnerable? Slowly, Chin Feng's eyes focused on the slightly raised buttocks and hips of the Skywing Demonic Dragon, and his eyes flashed with an evil light. This is it. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows, like cutting tofu with fierce wind, penetrated the body of the Skywing Demonic Dragon from the hidden parts of the buttocks and hips. The sleeping Skywing Demonic Dragon opened his eyes wide with a cry, and saw Chin Fong had already flown in front of him. Oh, it's you! His head tilted, and he never woke up again. Chin Fong playfully kicked him twice. That's me! I'm weak in your eyes! At this time, the system also rang. Ding! If you pass the test... You will get three Shantian Nine Lotuses, two Soul Reviving Pills, the innate skill of invisibility, and a chance to upgrade the hive. Ding! The secret realm is about to collapse. Do you want to transfer? Chin Fong looked at the glorious worker bees around him. Only a few dozen of them were still alive. He woke up the dozens of glorious worker bees. At this time, the secret realm was already crumbling. System. Transfer. Transfer. Quick transfer. Ding! The transfer is starting. The transfer is successful. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong felt that his eyes turned white, and he couldn't see anything clearly. Afterwards, he led the glorious worker bees and disappeared into the secret realm. Chapter 108 Crazy Plunder Chin Fong knocked down two monsters in the secret realm and passed the test. The secret realm without the two monsters was about to collapse. Chin Fong led the remaining glory worker bees to transfer with the help of the system. At this time, if there is a monster on the cliff, it will definitely see the clouds and mist rolling under the cliff, and then disappear. Chin Fong fainted under the transfer of the system. When he woke up again, he saw nothing but yellow sand around him, and dozens of glorious worker bees surrounding him and protecting him. Chin Fong shook his little wings and flew up from the yellow sand. System, I want to use the opportunity to upgrade. I want to upgrade. The system took two seconds to determine and then sounded. Ding! The host uses the upgrade opportunity. The estimated upgrade time is one day. Please pay attention to the host. Two days? Chin Fong thought for a moment and looked at the few glorious worker bees left. Get ready and rest for a day. Recharge your batteries and be ready for battle. Yes. The day passed in the blink of an eye. Ding. The hive has been upgraded successfully. The current level is 29. The reward is one resurrection pill and two soul recovery pills. Ding. Please check the rest of the attributes automatically. Then, Chin Fong slowly opened the attribute panel. Beehive level, 28, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded, horse chestnut. Number of worker bees, 1101066, the transfer cooling time is 1 day. Hive defense, 8 out of 10. Hive attack power, 7 out of 10. Hive invisibility, October 10th, invisibility time is limited by hive level. Hive toxicity, 9 twentieths. Hive plunder, 5 out of 10, plunder the opponent's bloodline. Ability, carrying worker bees, can directly communicate with the hive for worker bee transmission. And the transmission speed increases with the level of the hive. 
teleportation, the ability to teleport spiritual treasures through the air. When Chen Feng saw the newly added abilities of Hive on the attribute panel, he not only looked up to the sky and laughed. Later, Chen Feng communicated with the Hive and delivered thousands of high-level worker bees. Looking at the crowd of worker bees, Follow me to plunder the spiritual treasure. The first stop is Qin Fei. Dig him out for me. Yes. The sound of response shook the sky, and most of the glorious worker bees went out to find Qin Fei's location. It didn't take long to find Qin Fei's location. Qin Feng heard the report from my men and led the glorious worker bees to Qin Fei's home. Qin Fei's treasures were all buried under the yellow sand next to a tree not far from the crater. Qin Feng looked at the glorious worker bee who had heard about Qin Fei's baby. The glorious worker bee nodded affirmatively. Qin Feng signaled to his glorious worker bees. Gradually, in the hole dug by Guang Yu's centimeter door, the baggage wrapped with Ling Bao emerged. Qin Feng nodded appreciatively to the Guangyu worker bee who found Qin Fei's treasure and randomly took out a piece from the package. The baby was thrown to him. The other glorious worker bees looked at him with envy. This move greatly inspired them to seize the spiritual treasure. Qin Feng took away all of Qin Fei's spiritual treasures and left nothing for him. After Qin Fei returned from searching for the spiritual treasures outside, he found that his spiritual treasures were missing. He was so angry that he fainted. After calming down, he found that his spiritual treasures were missing, buried his spiritual treasure elsewhere and tried to find it based on the smell, but found nothing. Qin Feng led the glorious worker bees to continuously plunder other people's spiritual treasures in the ruins. Some of the spiritual treasures were transferred to the hive through the air, and some of them could be used directly, and were used by Qin Feng to improve his own strength. Under the nourishment of the spiritual treasures in these ruins that were several levels higher than the outside world, Qin Feng's strength and speed had been qualitatively improved. Diane Hu fainted since Qin Feng flew off the cliff. When he woke up, he rectified the remaining monsters in the bloodthirsty hall. The losses were serious this time. During Chen Feng's absence, they continued to snatch spiritual treasures. The fact that spiritual treasures were constantly being robbed in the ruins instantly reached the ears of the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall. According to the monsters who were robbed of spiritual treasures, it was a group of small black bees that robbed the spiritual treasures. Di Yinhu then thought of Chen Feng. After searching carefully, he found that it was indeed the case. Chin Feng did not die, but came back. His strength and power had grown. So the murderous intention towards him became even more terrifying. Diane Hu rolled his eyes, and his plan came to his mind. Lai Hu, you can find traces of Chin Feng for me. I want to see him. Chin Feng heard the report from his men that Diane Hu was looking for his traces. Chin Feng pondered for a long time. I didn't look for you, but you came to the door. I'll have sex with you for a while. On this day, Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to the place where the monsters of the bloodthirsty hall gathered. Surrounded by a group of glory worker bees, they arrived in front of Dianhu, and then sat down on a relatively large stone not far from Dianhu. The glory worker bees stood vertically, always alert, protecting Chin Feng. Dianhu looked at Chin Feng who suddenly approached him and didn't know what to say for a moment. Chen Feng looked at Dianhu, who had been silent for a long time, and raised his eyebrows. I heard that you have been looking for me. And now that I have appeared in front of you, don't you want to say something? Di Yin who woke up from his blank mind. Little Black Bee, our feud started with that elixir. If you look closely, it's actually nothing. Chin Feng looked at Di Yin who in surprise. This is different from what I expected. Shouldn't he say, Little Black Bee, you are not dead. Please hand over the elixir quickly, and I will spare your life? Then I thought again. It's not like this cunning old guy has any conspiracy. Let's listen to what he says next, and then make a decision. Di Yin who ignored the surprise Chen Feng and paused. I think our grudges can be resolved. We don't want that elixir anymore. Let's just treat it as a meaning gift for you. Chen Feng looked at the sky and rolled his eyes, feeling very excited in his heart. You are too stingy and shameless with your greeting gift. Are you taking what I have worked so hard to get as my greeting gift? Chen Feng felt a flock of crows flying above his head and was speechless. Di Yin who saw that Chen Feng still didn't speak, and cleared his throat, interrupting Chin Feng's train of thought. How about we talk about cooperation next? Chin Feng looked up and down at Diane Hu, wondering, could this tiger have changed its gender? After a long time, when Dian Hu was looking at Chin Feng's Chiguagua eyes, and his heart was pounding, he heard Chin Feng's interested voice. Oh, what cooperation? How do you say it? Dian Hu finally waited for Chin Feng's answer, feeling slightly excited in his heart. 
the Bloodthirsty Hall plans to make you a key training target. The key training targets have many benefits. Our Bloodthirsty Hall has task contribution points. As long as you complete the task, you can get the contribution points. The contribution points can be exchanged for resources, such as high-grade spiritual veins. Chin Fong crossed his legs and sat on the stone, holding a bee's head on his front foot and thinking, Tell me, can I still believe you? Chapter 109 Acceptance When Chin Fong returned, the Bloodthirsty Hall claimed that he would be a key training target and would use his mission contributions to seduce Chin Fong. Tian who watched Chin Fong sitting on the stone and treating him with such contempt. And he felt secretly angry in his heart. How can you not believe it? We didn't understand each other before. It was all a misunderstanding. And we paid a heavy price. Besides, even if you don't believe me, you can't get along with the high-grade spiritual veins. You can think about it carefully. Chin Fong teased his little bee legs and rolled his eyes. The old guy is so cunning. He even used high-grade spiritual veins to seduce me. Will this old guy play any tricks? However, if you have high-grade spiritual veins, don't give them up for free. Even if he plays some tricks, I will tell him what to do. Chin Fong pondered for a while and felt that what Dian Hu said made some sense. Okay, I believe you again. If you lie to me, I will make you walk around without food. When Dian Hu saw Chin Fong agreeing, a dark light flashed in Hu's eyes, and he felt a little proud. As long as you agree, I will make it impossible for you to come back. I didn't deal with you before. But this time, I will definitely let you die without a burial place during the mission. Tian Hu glanced at Chin Fong again. Let me tell you how to earn mission contribution points. There are tasks that must be completed every week in the Bloodthirsty Hall. As long as you complete the weekly tasks, you will have contribution points. Chin Fong stretched and looked at Tian Hu lazily. When is this week's assignment? Tian Hu glanced at Chin Fong casually. The day after tomorrow. There will be a bloodthirsty hall not far from here. You can just take the mission there. Chin Fong said nonchalantly. Good. Afterwards, Chin Fong stood up from the stone and glanced at the surrounding bloodthirsty hall monsters who were wary of him. A trace of ridicule flashed in Feng's eyes. He moved his front foot and led the glorious worker bees away. Diane Ho looked at Chin Feng's retreating figure. His eyes darkened for a while. And then he also left with the monsters from the bloodthirsty hall. Chin Fong flew back to his temporary hive. If Diane Hu were here at this time, he would be screaming in anger. This is the cliff where Chin Fong escaped the pursuit of the Earth Rock Tiger. The fog under the cliff has dissipated, and a trace of green is exposed on the bare rock wall. There is a cave above the cliff. Chin Fong has set up a honeycomb where he temporarily lives. Here, this place is extremely well hidden, and ordinary monsters will never find it. Since Chin Fei lost his spiritual treasures, while searching for other spiritual treasures, he was also looking for his own lost spiritual treasures. Although most of the spiritual treasures were delivered to the hive by Chin Fong through the air, those left behind the leader who came down still exuded traces of aura, which was detected by Qin Fei's nose. In addition, in these days, many monster beasts' spiritual treasures were plundered in the ruins. Qin Fei had already guessed that his lost souls were the treasure was dug up by someone. Qin Fei gritted his teeth and screamed on the yellow sand. It must be you, the little black bee, who robbed the elixir on the volcano and diverted the trouble eastward to my head, making me so embarrassed. And that's not all. You even poached me, the spiritual treasure that I have worked so hard to find. Don't let me find you. If I find you, I will definitely tear you in half. No, I will tear you into pieces. Qin Fei was searching for traces of the Ling Bao. At this time, a familiar scent of the Ling Bao penetrated into his nostrils. He was a little unbelievable. He really got what he thought of. He spread his short legs and drew a graceful arc with his body, running towards the breath. Gradually, he found that the yellow sand was getting less and less and finally disappeared before his eyes, replaced by rocks, which were almost rising from the ground. It didn't take long to reach the end, and there was a cliff in front of him. Qin Fei looked at the cliff in confusion. Hey, why is there no way? The aura of Ling Bao is obviously getting stronger here. Is it under the cliff? Or on the cliff wall? Qin Fei stood on the edge of the cliff, stretched out his lynx head, and looked at the depth of the cliff, his lynx legs trembling slightly. At this time, he saw a glorious worker be flying out from the cliff. In an instant, Qin Fei was so angry that he forgot his fear, and his lynx legs stopped shaking. As expected, it was you who took away the spiritual treasure I had worked so hard to obtain. Qin Fei looked around, 
thinking about how to get to the cliff and how to regain his lost spiritual treasure. Qin Fei looked at the cliff below with firm eyes. Fight for my spiritual treasure. Then, he jumped onto a rock wall and then carefully stepped on another rock on the cliff. Just like this, slowly approaching the hive. Qin Fei looked at the beehive not far away. His climbing movements became smoother and smoother, and he became more and more excited. As a result, he jumped forward and stepped on a small stone. The small stone was stepped on by Qin Fei and became loose. Falling down, Qin Fei's feet were in the air, and his two hind legs were hanging in midair on the cliff. Qin Fei was terrified, breathing rapidly, and grabbed the rock in front of him with his two front feet. After a while, Qin Fei calmed down, and with the help of his two hind feet, he jumped to another place on the cliff, and then jumped to the front of the hive. Qin Fei walked forward and saw the beehive in front of him, and the countless glorious worker bees in front of him. He was dumbfounded for a moment. When the glorious worker bees saw an enemy coming here, one immediately went to report it to Qin Feng. When Qin Fei saw such a ferocious brilliant worker bee, he backed away little by little, and gradually retreated to the edge of the cave. Brother! Brother! Don't get excited! I'm just passing by! At this time, the glorious worker bee who went to report Chen Feng knelt under Chen Feng's throne. Chen Feng would make himself comfortable wherever he went. He lay on the throne and drank the only royal jelly. Report. King! There is an enemy attack. Right in front of the hive. I hope the king will make a decision. When Chen Feng heard this, he immediately sat up from the throne. How many people came from the other party? The glorious worker bee paused. Forehead. Chen Feng raised his eyebrows. Feeling a little strange. Oh! Just one person. Come with me to see who is so bold. Only one person dares to come and challenge me. Qin Feng flapped his wings and flew out of the hive. He saw Qin Fei at a glance. And in the blink of an eye, he was in front of Qin Fei. Oh, it's you! Qin Fei looked at Qin Feng who suddenly appeared and trembled with fear. Then, he saw Qin Feng in front of him again. And anger rushed into his mind. Give me back my spiritual treasure. Qin Feng glanced at Qin Fei and ignored his words. You are really brave. You dare to come alone and go deep into my honeycomb to find your spiritual treasure. I don't know whether to call you brainless or reckless. Qin Feng signaled with his eyes, and the glorious worker bees gathered around him. Qin Fei panicked for a second and stepped back. As a result, he forgot that there was a cliff behind his feet. With a scream, Qin Fei and Xing Fei looked at the scene in front of them with a smile, not knowing what to say. Chapter 110 Performing the Mission Qin Fei came to the cave on the cliff to look for his lost spiritual treasure. Unexpectedly, Qin Feng had such power and accidentally fell off the cliff. Qin Feng looked at Qin Fei, who had fallen under the cliff, and could not see his shadow. He shook his head helplessly, and then flew back to the hive. The system did not sound, nor did it say whether Qin Fei was killed. Qin Feng used, he held his little wasp head on his front legs, and thought silently in his heart. It seems that there are only two results. One is that Qin Fei fell and was not killed. And the other is that Qin Feng did not take action. Qin Fei was not killed by him. So he will not count the evolution points to himself. Why? Thinking about it, I feel that the first option is more likely. Qin Feng lay on the throne and shook his head, eating his own snacks, and simply stopped thinking about it. Time passed by in minutes and seconds, and the two days flew by in an instant. On this day, the time agreed with Dian who came. Qin Feng arranged for all the glorious worker bees to stay in the hive to prevent enemy sneak attacks. And he himself flapped his wings and flew towards the bloodthirsty hall's helm. When he arrived at the bloodthirsty hall, Di Yin who had been waiting for a long time, looking at Qin Feng who had not come yet, he felt a little drumming in his heart and had random thoughts. Is it possible that the little black bee discovered something? Isn't it coming? It wasn't until Qin Feng's figure appeared in his field of vision that he felt relieved, with a cunning look in his eyes. I thought you were scared and wouldn't come. Qin Feng heard Di Yanhu's words and rolled his eyes, thinking to himself, Old man, don't think that I don't know what you are planning. But he said haha in his mouth. Afraid? How could it be? The word fear does not exist in my dictionary. Then, he followed Di Yanhu into the hall of the branch helm. The branch of the bloodthirsty hall is actually a huge simple cave made of stones. I don't know where the stones were transported from. There are many monsters coming and going in and out of the cave. Diane Ho led Chen Feng into the innermost part of the cave. There was a stone similar to a high platform placed in the innermost part of the cave. Behind the high platform was a white tiger with a hanging forehead guarding here. 
Many monsters took on tasks on this high platform. Dian Hu brought Chen Feng to the high platform. Without Chen Feng paying attention, he winked at the hanging forehead white tiger inside. And the hanging forehead white tiger at the front desk understood instantly. He took out a yellow scroll from the innermost pile and handed it to Dian Hu. Dian Hu handed it to Chen Feng without even looking at it. Chen Feng flew out of the cave with a yellow leather scroll that was larger than himself. Dian Hu looked at Chen Feng's retreating figure, then turned back to look at the hanging forehead white tiger on the high platform. Where are the tasks assigned? The white tiger with a hanging forehead bowed his head respectfully. In the center of another area facing this area, there is an iron-blooded demon bull with the sixth level of earth martial realm. It is extremely fierce. The mission of the little black bee is to kill the iron-blooded demon bull and retrieve his pair of horns, and also need to get something from areas that are not subject to the control of the bloodthirsty hall. Before the hanging forehead white tiger finished speaking, Diana moved his front foot and nodded approvingly. Little black bee, let's see how you deal with it now. He turned around and left in the direction of Chen Feng, although the task was difficult to complete. For the sake of safety, Di Yinhu decided to follow him all the way. Chen Feng got the yellow scroll. After flying out of the cave, he flew some distance and came to a big rock. He sat down and opened the yellow scroll. I saw a map drawn on the yellow paper scroll, and all the tasks were marked at various locations on the map. Looking at the marked locations one by one, Chen Feng rubbed his head with a headache. This bloodthirsty hall is really good at squeezing the labor force. What did Chen Feng seem to have thought of? Slap the bee on the head. So many difficult level missions must have been calculated. It seems that after completing the mission, you need to make a good settlement with them. The mission locations of the bloodthirsty hall are basically areas that do not obey the control of the organization. Most of these monsters have some inheritance. They disdain the rule of the bloodthirsty hall. Along the way, Chin Feng suffered a lot and battled wits with them. Fight bravely. Occasionally, some extraordinary means were used. But in the end, the results were good, and almost all the tasks that should be completed were completed. Except for the last one. Di Yin who silently followed Chin Feng all the way, watching Chin Feng show off his skills. He did not take action to stop Chin Feng. In his heart, he had another plan. At this time, Chin Feng came to another area near Huan Sha. There is not a trace of yellow sand in this area, but a vast forest. A bit like the blood forest. But the trees in the forest here are more lush. Not as bloody and dim as the blood birch leaves in the blood forest. Chin Feng entered the forest and followed the prompts on the map to go to the place where the monster beasts gathered, which was the center of the monster beasts. After all, Chin Feng himself was too weak to fight against the monster beasts in the earth martial realm. And he was still an earth martial realm. Ninefold mirror. He needs to form a team to kill this monster. Chin Feng arrived at the center of the monster beasts. It was at the edge of the forest in this area. There were only caves next to each other. Monster beasts entered and monster beasts came out of the caves. Everywhere at the entrance of the cave, there are some monster beasts that have formed a team. And outside the entrance of the cave closest to the inside, which is larger than the others, stands a tall stone. The middle of the stone is lower and the sides are higher. There is a long groove from top to bottom on both sides. It is difficult to find without looking carefully. The size of the noisy one is exactly the size of the petiole of a leaf. And the grooves are filled with leaves. All monsters who have not formed a team can insert leaves and choose to recruit monsters. Chin Feng rolled his eyes, flew high into the air, picked off a large leaf at random, drew his own message, took the leaf's petiole, and inserted it inside. After Chin Feng finished, he left and decided to investigate the surrounding situation. What Chin Feng didn't know was that after he left, Di Yin who stepped forward and looked at the message written by Chin Feng on the leaves. The look in the tiger's eyes kept changing. In an instant, he had an idea, and a sinister look appeared on the corner of the tiger's mouth. Smile. When Chin Feng came back, he suddenly heard that a group of monsters was forming to go to the center of the forest to hunt the iron-blooded demon bull. There happened to be only one monster missing. Chin Feng hesitated for a moment, then saw that the time to complete the task was getting closer and closer. So he stepped forward. I saw that this was a group of monster beasts who were all in the earth martial realm. The lion headed by them was a monster beast in the third level of earth martial realm. Are you going to the central area to hunt the iron-blooded demon bull? One of the bear-like monsters looked at Chin Feng contemptuously. Yes. Why do you want to join us and go to kill the iron-blooded demon cow? Chin Feng nodded. The other monsters looked at each other. Okay. Then we'll leave tomorrow. Chapter 111 Chase in Dangerous Situations
Chen Feng went to the central area of the only forest in the ruins to hunt the iron-blooded demon bull. In order to hunt this monster beast, Chen Feng needed to form a team. At the monster center, Chen Feng formed a team with a team from the Earth Martial Realm. However, what Chen Feng didn't know was that his teammates had been bribed by the earthly tigers from the bloodthirsty hall. This time, they wanted to send Chen Feng away. Go to H. L. Before Chen Feng set off, he went to the entrance of the huge cave in the innermost part of the monster center, took down the leaves on the rocks, and found a place to rest. The rising sun had just risen, and all the monster beasts gathered at the agreed place and began to prepare to set off. The other five monster beasts had all arrived. Only Chen Feng had not arrived yet. Just when they thought that Chen Feng would not come, he the belated arrival made the monsters and the team quite annoyed. They all looked down on Chen Feng, the lonely and weak Queen Bee, but they all held back their anger in their hearts, with calculating looks flashing from time to time in their eyes. Chen Feng didn't care about their attitude. He just wanted to complete the task as quickly as possible and get the resources he needed. However, what Chen Feng didn't know was that what they wanted this time was Chen Feng's death. In this team, including Chen Feng, there are a total of six monsters, in addition to the crazy flame lion, which is the third level mirror of earth martial arts. The earth bear is the second level mirror of earth martial arts. The cold scale crocodile is the first level mirror of earth martial arts. The gale wolf and the red lian wang snake is the ninth level mirror of lin wu. Chen Feng, I didn't expect to meet the gale wolf and the red train king snake here. However, they don't seem to know Chen Feng. Among them, only Chen Feng is the weakest one. They were all in the Earth Martial Realm, but they allowed the weak Chen Feng to join their team. This aroused Chen Feng's suspicion, and he always had a bad feeling in his heart. In order to prevent unexpected events, Chen Feng deliberately walked at the back. Without all the monsters in the team paying attention, he began to teleport the worker bees through the system and carried them with him. Along the way, they advanced slowly, and the monsters kept looking at Chen Feng, who was walking at the back. With contempt, as they walked, a strange floral fragrance came into their noses. They took a deep breath and instantly felt comfortable all over. They looked at each other and changed directions. Chin Feng watched them turn around and couldn't help but advise. Where are you going? That's not the way to hunt the iron-blooded demon bull. The earth bear glanced sideways at Chin Feng. You can also reach the iron-blooded demonic cow's lair here. Besides, on the way to hunt the iron-blooded demonic cow, it won't delay us from picking up the elixir. Chen Feng couldn't help but feel slightly angry. You can't tell by smell that these elixirs are at best yellow grade. They have the property of attracting monsters. If you go this time, you will definitely be attacked by monsters. If you continue to move forward according to the original plan, this road will. There will definitely be a better elixir than this. And based on this calculation, it is not cost effective to take a detour. The earth bear glanced at Chen Feng disdainfully. What do you? A weak black bee? No. What do you mean by a high-grade elixir of the yellow order? You don't know that elixirs are very rare in this ruins. And the elixirs that appear everywhere are not ordinary ones. How can you are you so timid? So hesitant? You don't even dare to pick a small elixir. The earth bear paused. Maybe because he said too many words at once. His mouth was a little dry. Cold scale crocodile echoed the earth bear. Little black bee? Don't even think about it. You? A weak black bee? Don't have the right to speak here. The Gale Wolf and the Scarlet Train King Snake kept nodding. But the Wild Flame Lion did not speak and always looked at Chen Feng with arrogant eyes. As if those monsters were its spokesmen. Chen Feng rolled his eyes silently, thinking in his heart. If it is a high-level elixir, the system has been reminding you like crazy for a long time. How could there be no movement until now? There is only one possibility. This elixir is not very high-grade. But it has the function of luring monsters. No. Listen to what the old man said. You will suffer losses soon. Sooner or later. You will suffer some losses. And you will definitely feel the pain when the time comes. However, Chen Feng would not say this. They didn't obey Chen Feng's arrangement. So Chen Feng had no choice but to follow them in. After all, he couldn't defeat the iron-blooded demonic cow by himself. Therefore, we can only watch them continue to search for the elixir with a strange fragrance in the forest. Not long after, I found it in a mountain stream. There was a stream in the mountain stream. There were a few scattered small yellow flowers beside the stream. The peculiar fragrance was emanating from this small yellow flower. Looking at the scenery around him, the earth bear turned back to look at Chen Feng. Coward, how can there be danger here? 
although the grade of these elixirs is indeed not high. You can still pick them back and keep them for appreciation. The crazy flame lion still didn't speak, but his actions were all in support of the earth bear, and the other monster beasts also followed suit without any objection. Chen Feng couldn't help but be speechless for a while, thinking helplessly, how did such mindless earth bear and other monsters survive in this ruins? Doesn't he feel that the silence around him is a little unusual? Chen Feng, you know that the earth bears and others can't listen to his words, so they simply don't say anything. Ding. A large number of enemy attacks were found 1,000 meters ahead. Host, please pay attention. The system's beep just sounded. At this moment, there was a burst of dust flying on the ground as if there was an earthquake. A large number of terrifying monsters came flying from a distance. Chin Fong couldn't help but wonder in his heart, how come the system's range for detecting enemy situations is shrinking now? Is it possible that it's because of the ruins? It limits the performance of the system. It was previously disconnected from the system. Could it be also caused by the ruins? Chen Feng shook his head and dealt with the situation in front of him first. The monsters from far and near saw Chen Feng and other monsters standing by the stream, picking small yellow flowers. Their eyes instantly turned blood red, as if Chen Feng and other monsters had robbed them of their belongings. At this time, the earth bear was dumbfounded. Unexpectedly, it attracted a large number of monsters. The monster beasts were extremely fast and came to them in an instant. At this time, they had no time to escape and could only fight and retreat. Chen Li used his small size and fast speed to dodge left and right in the gap between the monsters. The crazy flame lion saw the opportunity, and the cold weather drove them back a short distance, leading the earth bear and the others to flee crazily. The scarlet train king snake and the gale wolf were walking at the back and were chased by the terrifying monsters behind them. They were unable to escape. They were constantly hit by the skills of the passing monsters and trampled by them. They died violently, and their bodies were all over. It has become a paste. Chen Feng, who had escaped, couldn't help but feel a chill when he saw the scene. He immediately vibrated his crystal wings and increased his speed to the extreme with all his strength. Chapter 112 Borrowing Beasts to Kill Bees 1. Chen Feng and his teammates, who had already formed a team arrived in a mountain stream. Unexpectedly, they were chased by a terrifying monster. Chen Feng used his flying and small body advantages to escape the pursuit. However, the slower speed, the relatively low-level Red Train King Snake and Storm Wolf were not so lucky. Faced with the crazy pursuit of the monsters, the Red Train King Snake and the Gale Wolf were unable to dodge and did not even react. They were hit by the charging monsters and their skills. Blood splattered on their bodies, and the monsters went crazy. As they ran forward, the monster beast's feet stepped on the bodies of the Red Train King Snake and the Gale Wolf, and then stepped on their heads. Their brains burst out like tofu and scattered all over the ground. When Chen Feng saw the scene, his little body flying in the air swayed twice, trying not to spit out the overnight meal. So, he used all his strength to speed up his flying speed. He didn't want to be attacked. Otherwise, he would be dead and not even left behind. At the same time, the remaining Monster Beast members in the team also sped up their escape. They had been running for a long time. And when they saw that the situation was not good, they hid behind a tree together with a tacit understanding. And then, they escaped the monsters that were chasing them crazily. They were panting. Their legs were slightly weak. Their bodies couldn't support themselves. And they collapsed on the ground. After they had calmed down for a while, their bodies and breaths had calmed down, looking not far away. They were lying on the petals with limp wings for bee legs were hanging down from the petals. Chen Feng, who was panting and panting, burst into laughter, leaning forward and backward with laughter. Chen Feng heard their laughter, turned around and found that they were all laughing at him. Some were speechless and forgot about the sky and didn't bother to pay attention to them. Turn around and continue to rest. What a bunch of mindless and boring monsters. You can still laugh like this. So why don't you laugh to death? The remaining monsters have had enough rest and laughter. He slowly came closer to Chen Feng, who was still enjoying the rest of his life with his eyes closed. Chen Feng felt their approach, but he had no intention of paying attention to them. Continue to breathe fresh air with your eyes closed. At this time, the earth bear looked dissatisfied and despised Chen Feng. Little black bee, you are really cowardly and incompetent. You will only hold us back. It's all your fault. Otherwise, we wouldn't have lost two monster beasts with the nine-layer spiritual martial mirror in our team. Chen Feng's eyes narrowed to a slit, and he looked helplessly at them, 
who were making trouble unreasonably through the slit. What does this have to do with me? If you hadn't disobeyed the command, you wouldn't have been frantically pursued by so many monsters. And you wouldn't have lost two members of your team. Besides, those two monsters are stronger than me. It's so high. But I escaped and they haven't escaped yet. What does that mean? Chin Fong opened his eyes, raised his eyebrows, and gave the earth bear opposite him an indescribable look. The earth bear was choked by Chin Feng's words and didn't know what to say. The cold scale crocodile looked at the earth bear being beaten and was speechless and wanted to help him win the battle. This shows that you are lucky and have a great destiny. It all depends on luck. You won't be so lucky next time. Chin Fong looked at the cold scale crocodile and was still quibbling. Don't you know? Luck is also a part of strength. Why don't those two monsters have such luck? This can only mean that those two monsters are not strong enough and are so unlucky that they suffer this disaster. The cold scale crocodile saw that Chin Fong was so talkative and didn't know how to fight back. You and I. Chin Fong glanced at the speechless cold scale crocodile. What are you? What am I? The crazy flame lion looked at the two monsters that were defeated by Chin Fong, rolled his eyes at them, and finally opened his precious mouth. Stop arguing. Save time. Find a cave and rest for the night. Get ready to set off tomorrow. The two monster beasts could only droop their ears and followed listlessly behind the crazy flame lion. Walking forward, preparing to find the cave, Chin Fong watched them walk away, stretched, and moved his sore six-limbed wasp legs and transparent wings. He changed his wings to vibrate and followed the monster beasts that had gone away. It didn't take long for them to find an empty cave without monsters. After entering the cave, the earth bear saw Chin Fong following behind them, and the contempt in his eyes became more and more obvious. Chin Fong lay down on the leaves of a tree not far from their cave, and soon fell into sleep. They looked at Chin Fong, who was already asleep. Their eyes met each other, and the earth bear communicated in a low voice. Although we lost two monster beasts in today's battle, it was not without gains. It seems that his strength is not as terrifying as Dian who said. Cold scale crocodile also nodded in agreement. It seems that a weak ordinary monster can defeat him. Why don't we give him a try tomorrow to see if we can kill him? Even if we can't defeat him, we can also try the depth of his strength. Do I know better in my heart? The crazy flame lion felt that what the cold scale crocodile said made sense and nodded approvingly. Be careful with your movements. If you can't deal with him, don't arouse his wariness. This will prevent you from alerting the enemy and allow him to be prepared in advance and escape. The earth bear and the cold scale crocodile looked at each other and nodded. Then, he fell into sleep. What they didn't know was that at the moment when the noise of their discussion disappeared, Chin Fong opened his eyes in the dark night and looked at the sky with only a few stars hanging in the distance. With a dark and unclear look in his eyes, after a night of silence, the sun just shed its light on the earth, and a ray of sunshine also came into the dark cave. Chin Fong yawned. There were still traces of exhaustion from running too much on his body. He stretched and flew up from the leaves. The warm sunlight shone on his body, emitting circles of halo, which made him feel extraordinarily beautiful. Charming. At this time, the earth bears and the others also walked out of the cave and glanced sideways at Chin Fong. Let's go. Then he set off with a crazy flame lion. Along the way, their eyes were always looking around. At this time, they came to the territory of a shadow-chasing leopard. They exchanged glances and stepped into their territory. When the shadow-chasing leopard saw that a monster had invaded their territory, it pricked up its ears, prepared to attack, and stared at them with bared teeth. Chin Fong was speechless as he looked at the group of pig teammates who were constantly causing trouble and kept wailing in his heart. The shadow-chasing leopard saw that their intimidation did not scare away the intruders. So it attacked them. Quan Fong originally planned to watch the battle from the sidelines. However, groups of shadow-chasing leopards came up one after another. Chin Fong had nowhere to retreat and could only fight bravely. Chapter 113 Borrowing Beasts to Kill Bees 2 Chin Fong and the others stepped into the territory of the shadow-chasing leopards and were attacked by them. Chin Fong was also affected and had no choice but to join them in resisting the shadow-chasing leopard's attack. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows swirled and rushed into the group of shadow-chasing leopards with fierce winds. The shadow-chasing leopards in front avoided it, while the ones behind them were inevitably scratched. Shadow clone? The shadow-chasing leopard was angered by Chin Fong being so arrogant, and unleashed his skills. He saw countless leopards surrounding Chin Fong, some real and some clones, so mixed together that it was impossible to tell who was real 
and who was fake. Chin Fong looked at so many shadow-chasing leopards around him, surrounding himself in the middle. They kept moving quickly, and were a little dumbfounded for a moment. However, it didn't take long for them to react, and a sinister smile came from Chin Feng's mouth. The earth groans. Chin Fong then released another skill of his. The thunder attack instantly anesthetized the surrounding monsters, and the clones chasing the shadow leopard disappeared one by one in front of Chin Feng's eyes. The poison of the void. Chen Feng took this opportunity, and the poisonous needle on his tail shone with a dazzling cold light, and pierced the heads of the shadow-chasing leopards in front of him, constantly harvesting their lives. At this time, the system, which had not been silent for a long time, started to ring. Chen Feng couldn't help but feel nostalgic when he heard this long-lost sound. Ding! The host successfully killed the Lin Wu triple mirror monster, and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Ding! Chin Fong rushed into the group of chasing shadow leopards, paying attention to his teammates every move from time to time. A rain of ice arrows. There was a cold light in the eyes of the cold scale crocodile, and several ice arrows exuding cold air were fired from its mouth, flashing with the cold air, and they were fired towards the group of leopards. Some of the arrows had a few blood marks, and they were inserted according to their original trajectories. It entered the tree trunk, melted, and disappeared without a trace. Roar of furious flames. The crazy flame lion roared. And scorching flames rushed into the group of leopards. Several shadow chasing leopards were stained with flames. In an instant, it burned. And screams rang out from the flames. The cracks in the earth. The earth bear was not to be outdone. He slapped the ground with his paw. And cracks appeared from the ground. Several shadow chasing leopards on the cracks hurried to the side to avoid. As a result, there were also shadow chasing leopards next to them. Hit hit into the crack. Although his teammates continued to release their skills, Chin Feng could see that they did not use all their strength. They just kept the shadow-chasing leopards around them from getting close. Slowly, fighting and retreating, Chin Feng rolled his eyes. And instantly, Chin Feng knew what they were planning. Chin Feng is not stupid. Nor is he a monster who only knows how to fight and cannot think. When the earth bearers and the others were not paying attention, Chin Feng was seen dodging left and right, looking for the gap and using his advantage of flying, he secretly flew away from the encirclement of the shadow chaser leopard. By the time the earth bear and the others reacted, Chin Feng had disappeared. While the earth bear was in a state of confusion, the shadow chaser leopard's attack was approaching. He could not dodge it, so he could only avoid the vital points as much as possible. And a gash was open on his body. Blood spattered, and a scream spread throughout the forest, startling countless birds. The earth bear was secretly resentful and trembling with anger. He looked around with his peripheral vision and found Chin Feng standing on a tree not far away, with his legs crossed and a jar filled with royal jelly in his hand, drinking it slowly. From time to time, he would glance over here and watch them fight. The earth bear saw that Chin Feng was so leisurely and didn't care about them at all. He could only stare at Chin Feng. Without paying attention, he was hit again in the leg and upper body. The earth bear was itching his teeth with anger, but there was nothing he could do. The shadow chasing leopards, who had lost Chin Feng as their target, all pounced on them. Their pressure suddenly increased, and they lost their best opportunity to retreat. They could only use all their strength and fight with their last breath. By the time they broke away from the pack of leopards chasing shadow leopards, Chin Feng had already finished a can of royal jelly and was burping and falling asleep. The earth bear's angry eyes were red. If it weren't for the look in the mad flame lion's eyes, the earth bear would have rushed forward to settle the score with him. He suppressed the anger that was constantly burning in his chest. He limped towards Chen Feng, slapped his chest with two bare paws, and let out an angry roar. Chen Feng, who was feeling sleepy and tilted his head slightly to one side, was so frightened that he sat up. Little black bee, how can you be so immoral? We are fighting there, but you are resting here. Chen Feng looked at the earth bear in front of him, who disturbed his sleep and roared at him. He was speechless and forgot about the leaves in front of him, complaining in his heart. If I don't leave the battle and wait to be slaughtered to death, I won't even be considered a scum. I'm not stupid. It's not like I don't know what your plans are. I really don't know what you think. You have the nerve to say it. But I don't think so. Are you blushing? Chin Feng rolled his eyes. Now is not the time to alert others. Then, he glanced sideways at the earth bear. The earth bear's heart skipped a beat when he saw his all-seeing eyes and he took a step back, thinking to himself, Is it possible that he has discovered our conspiracy? 
Then, he realized that he actually took a step back under the eyes of the little black bee. How could he, a monster in the earth martial realm, show weakness? He straightened his chest and chest and took two steps forward. Chin Fong looked at the movements of the earth bear and shook his head with a dumb smile. You should be responsible for whatever you cause. I have no obligation to wipe your butts and butts. The earth bear thought that Chin Fong knew about their plan. But he never thought that Chin Fong would say this. Angrily, he slapped the tree where Chin Fong was, causing Chin Fong to shake on the leaves. So, Chin Fong grabbed the leaves on the tree tightly. Yes, there was no tendency to be shaken. Chin Fong secretly made love to the bear of the earth without fear of death. Made a face. Seeing the earth bear losing its mind, the wild flame lion shook his head. How stupid! The crazy flame lion signaled with his eyes, letting the cold scale crocodile pull him away. Let's take a rest and bandage the wound. We'll set off later. We can't waste any more time. Hearing what the crazy flame lion said, the hero of the earth could only lower his head, endure the anger in his chest, and followed listlessly. Chin Fong looked at their leading figures with mockery in his eyes. He was not an ordinary monster, and he was not easily plotted. They rested under a tree for a long time, and the earth bear's leg injury was almost bandaged. And then they set off. This time, there was no delay on the road, and we headed directly to the central area through the forest. It didn't take long for them to reach their destination, and the earth bear's wounds were almost healed. I saw that the bloodthirsty demonic cow's men in the central area were constantly plundering the elixirs in the area. As long as the three monsters were unable to compete with them, they could only disperse the power of the bloodthirsty demonic cow's men first, and then defeat them one by one. Chapter 114 Counterattack Chin Fong and the Earth Bears arrived at the central area. Because the mission monster was too dangerous, and there were many men, they discussed attacking the small group of bloodthirsty demon bulls men first, in order to disintegrate their power. They hid in the grass and discussed countermeasures. The Earth Bear glanced at Chin Fong. We should attack the weakest squad first, then the other squads, until we turn the bloodthirsty demon bull into a polished commander. The crazy flame lion nodded when he heard what the earth bear said was reasonable, regardless of whether Chin Fong agreed or not. Just do it like this. Chin Fong didn't know what to say. These three brainless monsters seemed to be planning to charge directly at the weakest team, so he couldn't help but sigh silently. The crazy flame lion looked at Chin Fong. This time we fight together, and we can no longer run away from the battlefield. Chin Fong rolled his eyes, feeling contemptuous in his heart. If you hadn't plotted against me, would I have run away? But he said it on his lips. Okay, no one should violate it. Chin Fong looked at the three monsters in front of him who were discussing countermeasures. His eyes kept flickering, and then they merged together. Chin Fong immediately understood what they were planning, and the cunning look flashed from his eyes. Chin Fong and other beasts secretly hid in the grass. The small group of blood-devouring demon bulls men slowly walked towards the grass where they were hiding. They did not expect that a monster would be so bold and attack them. Chin Fong watched them look at each other and nodded. The small group of men of the bloodthirsty demonic bull were getting closer and closer, like hunters lurking in the grass to kill their prey. Seeing that the time was almost up, Chin Fong rushed out with them. Roaring flames! The crazy flame lion spurted out streaks of hot flames as big as a palm from its bloody mouth and rushed towards the bloodthirsty cow. As long as the bloodthirsty cow was stained with flames, its whole body would be on fire, and it would not be able to pounce, no matter how hard it pounced. Extinguished. Screams and roars filled with pain sounded from the flames. The ground cracks. Seeing the boss working so hard, the earth bear unleashed his skills without reservation. Two huge bear paws slapped the ground, and cracks were seen following the direction of the two bear paws, rushing towards the bloodthirsty bull. Go. Very fast. The bloodthirsty cow on the crack looked at such a terrifying power and stood in a daze. Before releasing the skill, it fell into the crack with a squeal. And then, the crack quickly closed. A rain of ice arrows! The cold-scale crocodile also fully unleashed his skills. He gathered enough momentum and fired dozens of ice arrows exuding cold air from his fang mouth. The arrows rushed toward the bloodthirsty cattle. As fast as lightning, each arrow carried a trace of blood and was inserted into the ground and trees according to its original trajectory. Some even inserted into the body of the bloodthirsty cow, and gradually melted and transformed. It is a puddle of water that disappears when the sun shines on it. The small group of men didn't react for a while. They were beaten badly, and several of the bloodthirsty cows had minor or serious injuries. They are all monsters living their lives licking blood on the tip of a knife. In an instant, 
he reacted. If there is an enemy attack, fight back. The bloodthirsty bull looked at the blood on his companions, and instantly his eyes turned red, and he rushed towards the heroes of the earth and the others. Chin Feng saw that his teammates did not conserve their strength as before, and joined the fighting team not to be outdone. The earth bears and the others saw that Chin Feng did not run away from the battle, and were relieved for a moment. In their eyes, Chin Feng was struggling to deal with these bloodthirsty cattle, and it could be said that he was losing ground. Chin Feng looked at their expressions from the corner of his eye and nodded with satisfaction. Xian Tian has no way. The skill he unleashed was deliberately deflected, only making a few small cuts on the bloodthirsty cow. The earth bear couldn't help but look down upon Chin Feng. The earth groans. Chin Feng rushed into the herd of bloodthirsty cows. In an instant, the bloodthirsty cows were anesthetized by the thunder attack. The difference in realm and Chin Feng's deliberate release of water made him react in an instant. The bloodthirsty cow barked and slapped Chin Feng with one foot. At this time, Chin Feng was unable to dodge and was photographed far away. He hit a tree and passed out. The bloodthirsty cow that attacked Chin Feng looked at the little black bee in front of him. He was so weak that he did not take advantage of the victory to pursue it. Then, the bloodthirsty cow pounced on the earth bear and the others. When the earth bear saw Chin Feng being knocked unconscious, he didn't know whether his heart was full of ecstasy or sadness. Looking at the bloodthirsty cow in front of him, he still felt a little bit embarrassed. With Chin Feng. Trash! How can you be so unbeatable? It didn't take long for you to be knocked unconscious. Most of the monsters in front of you are the 8th level mirror of Lin Wu, the 9th level mirror of Lin Wu, and at most the 1st level mirror of Earth Martial Arts. It's really not enough to succeed, but more than enough to fail. However, it's okay to knock him out. This will save us time, and we don't have to hunt the bloodthirsty demon cow. They looked at each other, as if to say, Step up the attack before Chin Feng wakes up. Quickly finish these bloodthirsty cows. Under their attack, the number of bloodthirsty cattle is also decreasing. However, they also suffered from the crazy attack of the bloodthirsty cow. Chin Feng, who fell under the tree, secretly opened his bee eyes and looked at the scene of losing both sides in front of him. He felt secretly happy in his heart. However, he did not forget about his business. He secretly summoned his glorious worker bees to ambush around the grass. Gradually, the number of bloodthirsty cows continued to decrease, and a few of them fled away when they saw that the situation was not good, covered in blood. They were finally able to take a break and catch their breath. They were covered in blood, and they didn't know whether it was their own blood or the blood of a bloodthirsty cow. At this time, Chin Feng woke up leisurely and looked at them innocently. What happened? What happened to me? At this moment, Chin Feng wanted to laugh but couldn't, and he almost felt hurt inside. The earth bear glared at him fiercely, slowly approached Chin Feng with a crazy flame lion and cold scale crocodile, and surrounded Chin Feng under the tree. You were really lucky along the way. You avoided many attacks. It seems that we also underestimated you. A cold light flashed in Chin Feng's eyes. They had been targeting him along the way. He thought that he was too weak, and they looked down on him. Although he had suspected that they were bribed by the bloodthirsty hull, he felt that he was only in who. A monster shouldn't be able to bribe a monster in the Earth Martial Realm. But he didn't expect his suspicion to be true. You were sent by Diana from Bloodthirsty Hall to kill me. Right. The crazy flame lion sneered, he. For the sake of you being so pitiful, I will make you understand who made you offend the huge force of the Bloodthirsty Hall. This cannot be blamed on us. If you turn into a ghost, you will also seek revenge from the Bloodthirsty Hall. Chin Feng didn't expect them to reveal his identity so frankly. And he had some suspicions about how terrifying the Bloodthirsty Hall's power was. Chapter 115 Counterattack Again The Mad Flame Lions and others lurked in the grass and killed a group of bloodthirsty cattle. Chin Feng looked at their expressions and knew that they were hiding a conspiracy against him. In this battle, he used their tricks and pretended to be knocked unconscious. Kuang Yin Lion and the others really fell into the trap and readily revealed their identities. Chin Feng was not surprised when he heard the Wild Flame Lion announce his identity. It had not been a day or two since he had offended the Bloodthirsty Hall. However, it was still a little surprising that the Earth Rock Tiger of the Bloodthirsty Hall could buy such a high-level monster. Unexpectedly, I noticed how terrifying the Bloodthirsty Hall was. Seeing Chin Feng's suddenly enlightened look, the crazy flame lion nodded with satisfaction. Now that you know it, you need to know it. Next, it's time to send you to where you should go. Chin Feng pretended to be a little scared and backed away tremblingly. But there was no trace of fear or fear in his eyes. Only amusement. 
Would you let me go if I didn't want to know? The crazy flame lion looked at Chen Feng mockingly. Do you think that's possible? Chen Feng sighed. Hey, it's impossible. The crazy flame lion looked at Chen Feng with a hint of cruelty in his eyes. It's time to send you to H. L. Don't worry. I will leave you with a complete body. I hope you have a good pregnancy in your next life and don't offend the bloodthirsty hall again. As he spoke, he raised the soles of his feet, worked hard, and was about to fall down. Etc. The foot that was falling came to a sudden stop. The crazy flame lion looked at Chin Feng impatiently. What happened again? Chin Feng playfully blinked at the crazy flame lion and flew up from the ground. The crazy flame lion was a little puzzled when he saw him move like this. Immediately, he seemed to have guessed three points. Is it possible that you want to resist? Chin Feng raised his front foot and shook it. No. 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 How dare I resist? I just want to give you a surprise before I go to H. L. The crazy flame lion raised his ears, sat on the ground, tilted his head, and looked at Chin Feng curiously. What surprise? Chin Feng moved his front foot. Come out! After hearing these three words, the crazy flame lion immediately stood up and looked around vigilantly, only to see a dense mass of radiant worker bees turning out from behind the tree. Chin Feng looked at the wild flame lion with a smile. Whether this gift is a surprise or not, I can tell you now that I don't want to resist. I just want to send you to H.L. The mad flame lion gritted his teeth and looked at Chin Feng who was lying flat. So you are waiting for me here? Okay. Great. As he spoke, he looked at the earth bear and cold scale crocodile. To capture the thief. Capture the king first. Kill the little black bee first. And then deal with the other worker bees. Fight with them. Their lives were threatened and they unleashed their skills without any reservation. The crazy flame lion opened its smelly mouth and sprayed dozens of palm-sized, murderous, hot flames towards Chin Feng. Roaring flames! Chin Feng knew how powerful this flame was. As long as there is a little bit of flame on the body, the whole body will burn, and it will not be extinguished no matter how hard it is. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to hide to both sides. The bear of the earth had long hated Chin Feng. What's more, at this moment, he realized that his life was threatened. He used all his strength to slap the ground with two huge bear paws. And a series of holes opened from the ground. From the cracks, pieces of hard stone as big as fists flew out, forming two huge rock blocks, flying towards Chin Feng. Wrath of the Rock Chin Feng led the glory worker bees and had just escaped from the flames of the wild flame lion when the earth bear's attack came again. Chin Feng could only continue to dodge without any chance of getting close to them. A rain of ice arrows! The cold scale crocodile also gathered enough momentum and unleashed his skills on Chin Feng. He fired out several huge rains of ice arrows exuding cold air from his bloody mouth. Although the ice arrows were big, they were not fast at all. Slowly, he rushed towards Chin Feng as fast as lightning. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to escape the earth bear's attack when the cold scale crocodile attacked again. Chin Feng shook his crystal wings and dodged away. Chin Feng was avoiding their attacks. His eyes were spinning and he was thinking to himself, this can't go on like this. When he got an opportunity, he quickly signaled with his eyes to the glory worker bees, asking them to outflank and attack them from behind. After receiving the order, some of the glorious worker bees quietly retreated and flew behind them from behind the trees. The mad flame lions were attacking Chen Feng vigorously. Only a buzzing sound was heard suddenly from behind. They quickly changed their offensive and turned back to deal with the glory worker bees that sneaked up on them from behind. Chin Feng saw that they had no time to care about him. So he led the glorious worker bees in front and rushed towards them. He used all his strength to attack. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows attacked the Kuang Yin lion and the others who were dodging the attack from Guang Yin centimeter behind them. The Kuang Yin lion and the others quickly dodged left and right to avoid. But they were still scratched by the wind passed by the sword shadow. And blood flowed from their skin. Seep out. Little black bee. You are really insidious. It turns out that you have been hiding your strength. We really underestimated you. If we had known, we should have dealt with you in advance and saved today's trouble. Chen Feng smiled. He. If I had known what would happen today, why would I do it in the first place? Chen Feng didn't care about the regrets at all. Before those sword shadows passed, he swooped down and used all his strength to release his skills. The earth groans. The thunder attack centered on Chen Feng and spread out in all directions. The blazing lion and the others were numbed by the numbness. And within a few seconds, they were scratched by the attack. 
The poison of the void. Chin Feng took a look at the earth bear and stabbed him with a poisonous needle on its tail. The earth bear was unable to dodge and was hit by a needle on his head. He felt dizzy but did not fall down. After that, he returned to normal. The earth bear laughed at Chin Feng. Little black bee, try harder. The needles on your tail are like tickling me. Without any offensive power. Chin Feng ignored him with a hint of ridicule in his eyes, attacking them nonstop. They were able to cope with it at first, but over time, they became a little confused. Gradually, the cold scale crocodile was also hit by a needle in Chen Feng's tail. At this moment, the earth bear gasped and collapsed. Chen Feng flew close to him, the needle on his tail flashing with cold light. Aren't you arrogant? Didn't you say that the needles on my tail are like tickling? Why aren't they more powerful now? Get up! The earth bear heard Chen Feng's taunt, and tried hard to stand up. But couldn't. He could only look at Chin Feng fiercely. Come on! Come on! Take another shot from me! Chin Feng plunged directly into his head regardless of whether he wanted it or not. And the earth bear died without saying a word. Ding! The host successfully killed the second level mirror monster of Diwu, and gained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Chin Feng heard the sound of the system, and looked at the cold scale crocodile, that had been hit by his poisonous needle with a smile. Seeing this, the crazy flame lion knew that the situation was over, staggered out of the encirclement, and disappeared into the forest. Chapter 116 Counterattack The mad flame lions and others originally wanted to take Chen Feng's life, but they never thought that Chen Feng had a backup plan, and Chen Feng successfully counterattacked. This is really a waste of money. The earth bear was hit by Chen Feng's poisonous needle and fell into the underworld not long after. At this time, the cold scale crocodile, who was hit by the poisonous needle, was still fighting hard. Under Chen Feng's careful arrangements, there was still a monster. The beast escaped from here. Seeing that the situation was not good for him, the crazy flame lion rolled his eyes and released his skills. The glory worker bees dodged to the left and right, which allowed the crazy flame lion to take advantage of the opportunity. Jump and run towards the forest in the distance. Chen Feng watched the figure of the mad flame lion disappearing into the forest and stop the glory worker, B who originally wanted to catch up. After all, he was a demon beast with the fourth level of earth and martial arts. It was difficult to catch up with him due to the gap in strength. And it was also difficult to catch up without him. With the loss of one soldier, Chin Feng easily killed the crazy flame lion. What's more? Now, in order to counterattack the earth bear and cold scale crocodile, Chin Feng has lost many glory worker bees. Next, the task still needs to be completed and the strength must be preserved. Chin Feng turned back and looked at the cold scale crocodile who was still holding on and ordered his glorious worker bees to surround him heavily. They only surrounded him but did not attack. Give up your resistance, cold scale crocodile. This will make your death look better. The cold scale crocodile lost its mind in anger and attacked the surroundings without any plan. At this time, Chin Feng was sitting on a big rock not far away with his legs crossed, looking at the cold-scale crocodile surrounded by many people, just like a cat teasing the mouse under his control, just like their previous the constant taunts hit Chin Feng. But at this time, in turn, Chin Feng only shattered the previous taunts bit by bit. The cold-scale crocodile saw Chin Feng teasing him like this, and immediately felt that he was insulted. His face was burning. His eyes were filled with bright red bloodshot eyes, and his eyes were wide open, as if they were about to be snatched out of their sockets. The cold scale crocodile roared angrily, with a hint of sinister look in his eyes. His speed soared, and he rushed towards Chin Feng crazily, thinking to himself, I will hold you on my back even when I go to H, L. It's good to have a monster as my companion on the road to H, L. The cold scale crocodile did not care about the glorious worker bees attacking him at all. Under the attacks of the glorious worker bees, scars appeared on his body. The cold scale crocodile was after all a demon beast of the first level of earth martial arts under his crazy attack, which really made him break out of the encirclement and attack where Chen Feng was. Although Chen Feng was sitting on the stone, he did not relax his vigilance about his surroundings at all. Seeing the cold-scaled crocodile rushing over crazily, he calmly flapped his wings and flew high into the sky. The cold-scaled crocodile's attack was in vain, and it could no longer stop the brakes. It rushed forward. There was a tree behind the stone where Chen Feng was sitting. He only heard a bang sound, and the cold-scaled crocodile was solid hit a tree. I saw the tree trunk, clicking and swaying to one side. 
The four short legs of the cold scale crocodile in front of the big tree swayed twice to the left and twice to the right. Unable to stand, with a plop, he fell down. After falling down, he no longer had the strength to stand up. He was just like a bear on the earth, constantly panting and breathing on the ground. Chin Fong flew to the top of cold scale crocodile and watched him look at Chin Fong unwillingly. Chun Fong stretched himself, twisted his butt and butt, and said coquettishly, Tell me, why are you doing this? If you didn't attack me, would you have lived for a minute or two longer? Isn't that good? Hey, don't worry. I will live for you. The cold scale crocodile opened his mouth and wanted to say something. But with his strength, he was unable to say anything. Instead, his eyes kept widening and he stared at Chin Fong fiercely. His breathing became faster and faster. After a while, the cold scale crocodile gradually lost its breath and its body became stiff. At the moment before his death, cold scale crocodile might have regretted deeply in his heart. He regretted accepting the task of killing Chin Fong. Instead, he lost his life. However, there is no regret medicine in the world. Even if he regrets, he can't go back to his original self. At that moment, if you make one wrong move, your chance of survival will be lost forever. At this time, the system voice rang in Chin Feng's mind. Ding. The host successfully killed the Diwu first level mirror monster and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Chin Feng witnessed the entire process from injury to death of cold scale crocodile and sighed silently. We have different paths and we don't conspire against each other. If the injured monster was me, you would definitely not let me go. This is the cycle of cause and effect. I have nothing to regret. He took another look at his eyes which were as big as copper bells, and shook his head. Life is so fragile. So cherish it. Chin Feng looked up at the sky, cheered up, and thought about his next plan. Chin Feng led the glorious worker be to a secret place, clicked on the system panel, and saw that the evolution points were full. System. I want to upgrade. The system responded quickly. Ding. The host has successfully upgraded. Please pay attention to the host. Chen Feng felt pain like tearing all over his body. Chen Feng, who had experienced countless pains, felt this small pain was nothing to mention. After the upgrade was successful, Chen Feng clicked on the properties panel. Host, Chen Feng, Lin Wu 6 layer mirror, 1 slash asterisk 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 asterisk. Skill, Xian Tian Wu Dao, 4th level, Xian Tian Sword Shadow has a 40% probability of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for 4 seconds. The earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 24, which is equal to the host's own level. Block, 5th level, pure defensive skill. Defense power is equal to 30% of own strength. Teleportation, 1st level, anywhere within 100 meters of the host's body. Invisibility, limited by level. Time limit is 2 minutes. Secret technique, poison of the void, 2nd level, after using the venom. Honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. The attack poison is enhanced by 15%, and the attack damage is reduced by 15%. The joy of improved strength filled Chen Feng's chest. But in an instant, it was extinguished by a basin of cold water. He knew that this level of strength was simply not enough in front of the bloodthirsty demonic cow. The teammates in the team he formed were dying and escaping. Now he is the only monster left, and Chen Feng can only rely on himself for the way forward. In order to complete the task, Chin Feng had to go to the cave of the bloodthirsty demon cow alone. Chin Feng carried the worker bees and flew towards the cave where the bloodthirsty demon cow was with vibrating wings. As soon as he got close, Chin Feng felt a coercive and dangerous aura emanating from the cave. Chin Feng was forced back by this aura. And finally, his body was not exposed. If he hadn't been trained in the secret realm, he would have been discovered by the bloodthirsty demon cow at this moment. Chin Feng thought silently in his heart. It turns out that this is the difference in strength. There are many more terrifying monsters in this ruins than in the outside world. Then, Chen Feng slowly approached the cave of the bloodthirsty demon cow. Chapter 117 Investigation Chen Feng went alone to explore the cave of the bloodthirsty demonic cow. When he arrived at the entrance of the bloodthirsty demonic cow's cave, he felt an unusual aura. In an instant, this aura disappeared completely. Chen Feng thought to himself in confusion looking at the dejected bloodthirsty cow that came out of the cave. Hey, it's all because of those monster beasts that we lost a small team and made the king angry. One bloodthirsty cow complained softly to the other. Shuh, 
Keep your voice down. Do you want your life? Go and clean up their tracks. Only then did Chen Fong realize that the aura just now was caused by the anger of the bloodthirsty demonic cow. Invisibility. Chen Fong used his invisibility technique and planned to investigate. He slowly flew into the cave. Inside the cave, there were layers of bloodthirsty cows guarding them. The ones at the lowest level were also in the first level of Diwu. Chen Fong was even more cautious. Although in the secret realm, when Chen Fong flew over, the two monster beasts did not notice it. This was because the two monster beasts consumed too much during the battle and had no time to take care of them. Moreover, the two monster beasts thought that they were in the secret realm. Only they, therefore, let their guard down. It's different here. The bloodthirsty cow knows that danger can appear around him at any time. And he is always vigilant to prevent enemy sneak attacks. Chin Feng flew and came to the palace of the bloodthirsty demon cow. He saw a cow that was taller and more powerful than other bloodthirsty cows. Lying on the throne. There were dark lines on his body. And he was full of power. Breath. Chin Feng held his breath and lay on the rock wall above the cave. Observing the bloodthirsty demon cow. At this moment, the bloodthirsty demon cow opened his dark eyes. And a light flashed in his eyes. Who? Who's there? Chin Feng was frightened and shrank his neck. No way. My invisibility has been discovered? Chin Feng didn't dare to move. And held his breath even more carefully. The bloodthirsty demonic cow looked around with sharp eyes. But found no trace of any monster. At this time, the bloodthirsty demon cow's men heard the shouts. And immediately ran in and knelt on the ground with one knee. King! What's wrong? The bloodthirsty demon cow looked around again strangely, with some doubts in his heart. I clearly felt a strange aura just now. Why is it gone now? The bloodthirsty demon cow looked at his subordinate kneeling on the ground, and waved his hand. It's okay. We have strengthened our defenses in the past two days, and cannot let down our guard. In two days, my mortal enemy the wind-chasing demon horse will come to attack our territory. At this time, there is no guarantee that they will come to investigate. As long as they as soon as you come, you will be beheaded by me. Yes. Chin Feng looked at the attribute panel and felt that time was almost up. So he quietly climbed out with the bloodthirsty cow who was about to leave. The bloodthirsty demon cow looked at the retreating figures of his men. Thoughtfully, Chin Feng followed the bloodthirsty demon cow's men out of the bloodthirsty demon cow's palace. After walking a few steps, Chin Feng's figure appeared. Chin Feng's body trembled and he quickly flew to the rock wall to hide. At this time, there happened to be someone. The team of bloodthirsty cows passed by, and Chin Feng patted Peng Peng's beating heart. Hold your breath, and wait for this patrol of bloodthirsty cattle to pass by. After they all left, Chin Feng quickly flapped his wings, and flew towards the cave entrance. Along the way, he dodged left and right, flew up and down, and finally got out of the cave entrance. Chin Feng kept flying forward without stopping. This investigation scared Chin Feng so much that he lost three of his seven souls. Fortunately, bees don't have sweat glands. Otherwise Chin Feng would definitely be wet and drenched in sweat at this time. Chen Feng flew far away, then turned back and stopped on a leaf not far from the cave of the bloodthirsty demon cow. Chin Feng saw how terrifying the bloodthirsty demonic cow was, and the two villains in his heart, giving up and persevering, were constantly arguing. He thought to himself, If we retreat at this time, we will not be able to complete the mission, and then we will lose a lot of resources. Chin Feng thought about it, and he always felt that it was very inappropriate to give up at this time. He had been working hard for so long, and all other tasks had been completed, except for this last task. He gave up this task and all the previous efforts, all efforts will be in vain. All efforts will be wasted. Chin Feng gritted his teeth and thought to himself, I have never experienced any big storms. No matter how difficult or dangerous the situation is, I have survived it. How could I give up at this critical moment? I have worked hard. As long as I survive, there will be countless resources. After Chin Feng figured it out, his body relaxed. The next step was to wait for the bloodthirsty demonic cow's mortal enemy, the wind-chasing demonic horse, to come and fight against the bloodthirsty demonic cow until they both suffered losses and reaped the benefits. Chin Feng thought clearly about his next plan and no longer guarded the cave of the bloodthirsty demonic cow. It flew up from the leaves and circled around the forest. At this time, the silent system rang. Ding! I found the middle grade elixir of heaven. The demon flower, which is expected to mature in two days. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng felt happy in his heart. Although he had plundered a lot of heaven level elixirs from monsters, 
and many of them were obtained through his own efforts. No one would dislike having too many elixirs. Chen Feng slowly flew forward and saw among a thorn bush a black flower growing on a dark green rhizome. The black on the petals was as strong as ink, as if it was about to drip from it. The petals wrap around the pink flower and stamens in the center layer by layer, as if protecting their closest children. The black of the petals forms a sharp contrast with the pink of the flowers and stamens. It's like a black monster sticking out its tongue and hair. When the breeze blows gently, the rhizome drives the petals to sway, exuding an alluring fragrance that is neither sweet nor greasy. Chen Feng's small figure walked through the thorn bushes and lingered on the flowers. He took a deep breath. The fragrance of the flowers lingered in Chen Feng's mouth, making his body feel comfortable. Chen Feng stayed on the petals. Two days? Chen Feng thought silently in his heart. Two days will pass in a blink of an eye. So we have to wait two days before coming to pick. However, the wind-chasing demon horse may attack the bloodthirsty demon cow on that day. If there is a conflict between the two, we will not be able to take care of everything at the same time. This is not good. After thinking about it, Chen Feng, who originally planned to come to pick the elixir in two days, changed his mind with a roll of his eyes. When will the mortal enemy of the bloodthirsty demonic cow, the wind-chasing demonic horse, come to attack? This elixir might become the flame that ignites the fuse. Why do I bring the two things together? Turn them into one thing. The demonic flower is used as bait to bring the bloodthirsty demonic cow and the wind-chasing demonic horse together to fight to the death, so that I can reap the benefits. Chen Feng smiled evilly in his heart. As long as the news spreads, a large number of monsters will come to fight for it. As long as you wait for the opportunity while they fight for it, it will not be a problem to kill the bloodthirsty demon cow. Chen Feng felt secretly happy in his heart. He felt that the front was wide open and victory was right in front of him. Therefore, Chen Feng left some glory worker bees to guard here and sent another part of glory worker bees to spread the news. Chapter 118 The Elixir Matures Chen Feng discovered a heavenly demon flower, a middle-grade elixir in the forest. He wanted to use these demonic flowers to ignite the battle between the bloodthirsty demonic cow and the wind-chasing demonic horse in advance. Use this to kill the terrifying bloodthirsty demonic cow and complete tasks or resources. Chen Feng sent some of his glory worker bees to guard the location of the heavenly demon flower to prevent it from being harvested by other monsters. He also sent a group of glory worker bees to spread the news. With the bloodthirsty demonic cow and the wind-chasing demonic horse being the key targets, no matter which monster's ears it reaches, don't forget to spread it to their ears. The glory worker bees were very efficient. It didn't take long for the news that there was a middle-grade elixir of heaven among the thorn bushes, the demonic flower, to spread to the ears of all the monsters in the forest. They were all ready to take a piece of it. Soup. When the bloodthirsty demon cow heard the report from his subordinates that there was an elixir in the thorn bush, he stood up excitedly. The middle-grade elixir of heaven was very rare at any time, and such one was enough to attract his attention. The subordinates inquired about the specific time of maturity and were always prepared. The bloodthirsty demonic cow then thought about it. Since he could know the news, his nemesis, the wind-chasing demonic horse, would definitely also know the news. It would definitely be a fierce battle. Therefore, he chose some monsters, waited for the elixir to mature, and then immediately went to the thorn bush to snatch the elixir. The same thing happened to the wind-chasing demon horse when he heard the news. At this time, Chin Feng was lying comfortably on the huge leaves of a big tree not far from the demon flower. One front bee still held fragrant and delicious royal jelly in its foot, and the other bee held the straw and drank it. This royal jelly was transferred from the hive. Chin Feng placed them in the water drop space. You can take it out as a snack when you are leisurely. Chin Feng sent a group of glory worker bees to the caves of the bloodthirsty demon bull and the wind-chasing demon horse to inquire about the news and see if they had taken any action. As expected, they had received the news. Their men were ready to go. As long as the elixir was mature, we'll come to fight for it. At this moment, a glory worker bee flew over in a hurry. Report to the king. There is a sneak attack by a monster in the thorn bush. Chin Feng stood up from the leaves with a chun sound. Which monster dares to be so bold? How dare you come to sneak attack? Come with me and check it out. Chin Feng followed the glory worker be peeked to the thorn bush. Not long after, he arrived at the thorn bush and landed on the leaves where many glory worker bees were guarding the elixir. Outside the thorn bushes, I could see the wind wolves looking at the elixir with eager eyes. It seemed that they wanted to pick it as soon as the elixir matured. Chin Feng watched them just guarding the elixir and not taking any action. So, relax. 
He glanced at the radiant worker bees guarding the elixir. When did this happen? The glorious worker bee at the front knelt down on one knee respectfully. Reporting to the king. This group of wind wolves just arrived not long ago. Chin Feng nodded. Did you expose your whereabouts and go to drive them away? The glorious worker bee lowered his head and continued talking. King of reports. I have reported them directly to you before taking any action. Do you need to go and drive them away now? Chin Feng moved his front foot. No. Let them stay here. This will provide more protection. If there is another enemy sneak attack, they will bear the brunt of the attack, which will also save us a lot of trouble. However, when the elixir is mature, they if we take action, you can stop the other monsters before they come, especially the bloodthirsty demonic cow. Yes. Chin Fong looked at the wind wolf surrounded by thorn bushes. The light in his eyes was sometimes bright and sometimes dim, and a smile with unknown meaning appeared at the corner of his mouth. Time flew by quietly in minutes and seconds, and in the blink of an eye, two days passed. During these two days, monsters came one after another to check. Some were frightened by the wind wolf, and some were sent back, still lingering outside the surrounding area of the storm wolf, observing every move of the storm wolf and the elixir. The men sent by the bloodthirsty demonic cow are constantly observing in the forest, transmitting every move here to the bloodthirsty demonic cow. The bloodthirsty demon cow heard the report from his subordinates and angrily slapped the handle on his throne. How dare the storm wolf covet my elixir so boldly? It seems that they don't want to live anymore. Don't scare the snake for the time being. It has alerted my mortal enemy. Just watch there and prevent the storm wolf from picking the elixir. When the elixir matures, it will be my time to take care of the storm wolf. The eyes of the bloodthirsty demon cow contained cold murderous intent, which was even more terrifying in the dark cave. During these two days, Chin Fong looked at the men sent by the bloodthirsty demon cow, covering the bee's mouth with their front feet and secretly smiling. He knew that if the storm wolf went to pick the elixir, the storm wolf would become the target of public criticism without him having to do anything. Monsters would come to deal with him. Chin Fong gave the order, telling the glorious worker bees to just watch. On the day when the elixir was about to mature, many monsters gathered outside the thorn bush. The bloodthirsty demon cow and the wind-chasing demon horse also led a large number of men to arrive. The wind wolves surrounding the thorn bush were surrounded by the bloodthirsty demon cow and the wind-chasing demon horse under the double eyes. He didn't dare to show off, crawled on the ground, howled in fear and screamed lowly, and retreated to the second line, outside the thorn bush. The eyes of countless monsters are waiting for the maturity of the devil flower. In the eyes of countless expectant eyes, the demonic transformation gradually bloomed. I saw its dark green leaves, like two slender little hands, stretching to both sides. Its petals bloomed to both sides, and the color of the petals changed little by little, slowly turning from black to purple. Its flower and stamens wrapped in heavy petals stretched out several tentacles, and the color of the flowers and stamens changed again. It transformed from pink to red, and the fragrance of flowers overflowed constantly drifting into the nostrils of the monsters. Seduced by the fragrance of the demonic flower, all the monsters' eyes suddenly turned red. They saw a shadow-chasing leopard with patterns all over its body. It squatted on the ground, kicked off its four legs, and rushed towards the thorn bush. All the important hands with quick eyes and quick hands. He unleashed his skills on him. This greedy shadow-chasing leopard was penetrated by all kinds of skills and covered with blood. It fell into the thorn bush and slid down, covered with small thorns. With the robbery of the shadow-chasing leopard, the war is about to start. All the monsters fight together, which also starts the battle between the bloodthirsty demon cow and the wind-chasing demon horse. The bloodthirsty demonic cow and the wind-chasing demonic horse were spinning in circles. It's time for a fight to the death. Whoever survives this battle can take the demonic flower. There were traces of fierce light in the eyes of the wind-chasing demon horse, and it stared at the bloodthirsty demon cow. Okay. It's decided. The two monster beasts moved forward and started fighting. Neither of the two monster beasts was willing to be outdone. Both wanted to survive, and both wanted to get the demonic flower. Chapter 119 Fierce Battle The elixir matured, attracting a large number of monsters to compete for the elixir. The bloodthirsty demon ox and the wind-chasing demon horse were also among the demon beasts competing for the elixir. They started a life-and-death contest in front of the thorn bush. The bloodthirsty demonic cow first set up its formation and attacked the wind-chasing demonic horse. A rain of bloodlust! The bloodthirsty demon cow roared, and its two hooves slapped the ground heavily. Dark clouds suddenly gathered in the originally clear sky. The bloodthirsty demon cow seemed to have drained the water droplets from the dark clouds. 
forming dozens of palms with a bloody smell. A water ball the size of a water ball, with strands of red in it, as if it was filled with spiritual blood. It continuously drew an arc-shaped trajectory, forming a rain, and flew towards the wind-chasing demon horse at lightning speed. Seeing the attack of the bloodthirsty demonic cow, the wind-chasing demonic horse took a step back leisurely and released his skills. The demonic blade of wind. I saw the single horn on the head of the wind-chasing demon horse flashing with blue light spots. It had accumulated enough power. In front of the wind-chasing demon horse, dozens of flying blades formed by terrifying hurricanes appeared. The wind-chasing demon horse's head with a flick. The dozens of wind blades with fierce attacks rushed towards the bloody water ball of the bloodthirsty demon bull. The two skills collided together, creating a powerful energy storm. Several wind blades passed through the gaps between the water and water balls. Your original trajectory was to attack the bloodthirsty demon cow. At the same time, the remaining ones were filled with bloody aura. The water ball also rushed towards the wind-chasing demon horse. The bloodthirsty demonic ox and the wind-chasing demonic horse dodged to both sides at the same time, avoiding each other's fierce attacks. Then, he quickly used his own skills to attack the opponent. Baptism of Blood The bloodthirsty demon cow had blood-red eyes and a fierce murderous aura. It raised its head and looked up at the sky where the dark clouds had dispersed. With a roar, a water ball larger than its own body gathered above the cow's head. It was full of water. The color is as bright as blood, as if it is filled with blood. Around this big water ball, there was a red light, like a baptism. In an instant, the bloodthirsty demon cow lowered its head and looked at the wind-chasing demon horse. The big water ball on the cow's head rushed towards the wind-chasing demon as if it was spiritual. Horse. Facing the attack of the bloodthirsty demonic cow, the wind-chasing demonic horse did not dare to show weakness and released its own skills. Hurricane Sweep The single horn on the head of the wind-chasing demon horse seemed to absorb all the wind around it, forming an extremely large tornado that was constantly spinning and spinning rapidly. It seems to be able to involve the surrounding trees, monsters, and all living things. The surrounding monsters felt the power of the hurricane and fled in all directions. Some monsters did not have time to escape and were caught in it and turned into dust. Chin Fong also felt that there was not a trace of wind flowing around him. And the huge hurricane seemed to be attractive, sucking his body into it. Chin Fong tightly grabbed the leaf where he was. Due to the attraction of the hurricane, his body the body is suspended in the air. After a long time, the hurricane stopped attracting people. Chin Fong chirped and fell on the leaf, falling on his butt. At this time, the hurricane and the big water ball collided with each other, separated from each other, and collided with each other again. This continued several times. Until the last time, the bloodthirsty demonic cow and the wind-chasing demonic horse used all their strength to strike. The big water ball and the hurricane collided, forming a huge energy fluctuation. Not only did Chen Feng fall off the leaves, but the bloodthirsty demon cow and wind-chasing demon horse inside them were each repelled, collapsed on the ground, and vomited a mouthful of blood. Chin Fong saw that the time was almost up. Invisibility. He used the invisibility technique and flew towards the bloodthirsty demonic cow. The bloodthirsty demon cow, which had exhausted all its strength and collapsed on the ground, did not even notice Chin Feng's arrival. The earth groans. To be on the safe side, Chin Fong still released the thunder attack. The bloodthirsty demon cow felt a numbness all over his body and lost the ability to resist. The poison of the void. Chin Fong only felt a pain in his tail, and he used the poisonous needle with a cold light on the tail to stab directly into the head of the bloodthirsty demonic cow. The bloodthirsty demonic cow only felt a pain in his head, feeling a little dizzy and swollen, and then returned to normal. The bloodthirsty demon cow roared angrily and wanted to stand up to resist, but there was no strength in his body. Chin Fong used his own invisibility to inject another needle into the bloodthirsty demon cow. The bloodthirsty demon cow shook its head and struggled for a while. Gradually, the bloodthirsty demon cow felt that its eyes turned white for a while, and its eyes opened and closed. In the meantime, I watched the wind-chasing demon horse on the opposite side, having multiple shadows. And then it became blurry and blurred until it finally died from the poison. The wind-chasing demon horse looked at the strange scene in front of him, and had questions in his heart. The horse head lying on the ground looked around vigilantly, and found that there were no monsters. Almost all the monsters fled away, so he was relieved. Come! He ignored the bloodthirsty demonic cow and lay on the ground panting exhaustedly. Chin Fong looked at the pair of huge horns of the bloodthirsty demon cow and felt a little worried. He rolled his eyes and thought about it. Xian Tian has no way. 
several sword shadows rush towards the bloodthirsty demonic bull accurately, peeling off its two horns like a watermelon. The wind-chasing demon horse heard the chirp and looked at the bloodthirsty demon cow. He saw that the bloodthirsty demon cow had lost its two horns, and the two horns were lying quietly on the ground. And then, in the blink of an eye, they disappeared again. The injured and exhausted wind-chasing demon horse did not expect this. He stood up insistently and showed a fierce look in the direction of the bloodthirsty demon cow. Who? Come out! Then, he released a skill. Chin Fong had just put away a pair of horns when he felt a cold wind behind him. Chin Fong shrunk his neck and quickly dodged left and right, dodging the wind blades. At this time, the time for invisibility was almost up, and Chin Fong appeared. The wind-chasing demon horse saw Chin Fong and stared at Chin Fong with his teeth bared. The bold monster actually came for a sneak attack. You really don't know what to say. You dare to use conspiracy and tricks under our noses. I think you are really tired of living. Since you are so unafraid of death. Just leave your life here. Chin Fong rolled his eyes. Ignored the wind-chasing demon horse. Flew directly to the thorn bush. Picked off the demon flower. And put it into his water drop space. Seeing Chin Fong ignoring him like this. Zhu Fong demon horse screamed angrily. Shameless little black bee. It turns out you are waiting here. We are fighting here. But you are reaping the benefits. And you even took a pair of horns from the bloodthirsty demon cow. It is really insidious. Constantly attacking Chin Fong in the thorn bush. While dodging, Chin Fong winked at the glory worker bees lurking behind the tree. The glory worker bees roared around the wind chasing demon horse and attacked him. With the help of the glorious worker bees, Chin Fong flapped his wings and immediately flew out of the thorn bush. Chin Fong who flew out of the thorn bush, was just about to order the glory worker bees to retreat with him. At this moment, a dangerous aura came from around him. Chapter 120 Terrorist Power When both the bloodthirsty demon cow and the wind-chasing demon horse were injured, Chin Fong successfully killed the bloodthirsty demon cow and got a pair of horns. The wind-chasing demon horse jumped up and cursed Chin Fong angrily. While Chin Fong was attracting the attention of the wind-chasing demon horse with the glowing worker bee, he picked up another heavenly demon flower and flew out of the thorn bush. Just when Chin Fong was about to retreat, a dangerous aura hit his face. At this time, Chin Fong saw groups of giant orangutans with patterns all over their bodies came out from behind the trees and surrounded him and the glory worker bees. At this time, the wind-chasing demon horse, which was heavily surrounded by the glorious worker bees, also stopped attacking and looked around blankly. Chin Feng's eyes narrowed slightly, and his heart pounded. What kind of monster is this? How can it be so powerful? Why is it here? The leader, a giant demon gorilla king, looked at Chin Fong with dangerous eyes. Little black bee, I have been observing you for a long time. You are really brave and resourceful. If you grow up in a few years, you will definitely become the overlord. But now, if you hand over the middle grade elixir Tian Ma Hua, I might consider letting you live. Chen Feng's demeanor suddenly changed and became ordinary trying hard to reduce his sense of presence. If I don't pay, will I stay here forever? The giant demon orangutan king looked at Chin Fong, who was so aware and nodded. Chin Fong rolled his eyes and continued. What you want is the middle grade elixir of heaven. Can you let my men leave? After all, they don't have elixir in their hands. And in your eyes, they are not worth mentioning at all. And they are not a threat to you. The giant demon gorilla king thought about it for a long time and felt that what Chin Fong said made sense. Chin Fong glanced sideways, not even looking at the glorious worker bee. Can. Chin Fong signaled with his eyes to tell the glorious worker bees to leave here quickly. The glorious worker bees looked at their king with emotion. You have no intention of leaving. Chin Fong looked at Guang Yu worker bee reluctantly, not wanting to leave, and his eyes became more and more fierce. Under the threat of Chin Fong's eyes, the glorious worker bees were defeated and could only leave listlessly, buzzing. Chin Fong knew very well that his brilliant worker bees could not fight against these giant monsters. So he let them leave just to preserve their strength, leaving him alone with a small target and maybe a chance to leave. When all the glorious worker bees disappeared from his sight and disappeared into the forest, Chin Fong slowly turned back. The giant demon gorilla king looked at Chin Fong who turned back, with arrogance in his eyes. I have released your men. Now you can call out the demon flower. Chin Fong nodded and shook his head. The giant demon gorilla king couldn't help but feel a little angry when he saw Chin Fong like this. His eyes were finally willing to look at Chin Fong, but they were filled with small flames of anger. What do you mean? Do you want to regret it and don't want to leave it to me? 
Chin Fong took a step back pretending to be scared. I don't want to give you the elixir, but before I give it to you, I want to ask you a question. Only then did the giant demon gorilla suppress his anger and signaled with his eyes for Chin Fong to ask questions. If you hand over the elixir, will you let me live? The giant demon orangutan king glanced at Chin Fong, despising Chin Fong in his heart for asking such an idiotic question. The facts were right in front of him. The giant demon orangutan king would never let Chin Fong go. He didn't want Chin Fong to grow up. Becoming one's own mortal enemy is equivalent to cultivating an enemy for oneself. So he would not be so stupid. As long as you hand it over, I will let you go. Chin Fong also knew that the giant demon orangutan king would not let him go. So he would never hand over the demon flower that he had worked so hard to obtain. The bee brain was spinning rapidly. Suddenly, he caught the magic flower that was passing by. Inspiration. Silently cheering myself up in my heart. Fight! Chin Fong raised his head, which was lowered to think. Okay, I'll leave it to you. I hope you won't break your promise then. Chin Fong flapped his wings and came to the thorn bush. Without the giant demon Orang King paying attention, he took out a column of elixir and threw it to the giant demon Orang King. The giant demon Gorilla King was overjoyed and hurried forward to pick up the elixir. As soon as he took the elixir in his hand, he ordered to surround Chin Fong and kill him. However, when the giant demon Gorilla King's eyes fell on the elixir in his palm, he couldn't help but roar to the sky angrily. I saw the elixir in the palm of the giant demon Gorilla King. Instead of the devil flower, it was clearly a yellow level low grade elixir. Come on! Surround that shameless little black bee and kill him! The surrounding giant demon apes looked at each other in confusion. The giant demon amp king looked at his subordinates around him, showing no intention of taking any action. He couldn't help but wonder. Normally, his subordinates would be as obedient as cats, asking them to go east. They didn't dare to go west. And they didn't dare to chase the chickens when they were allowed to beat the dogs. What happened today? So, he raised his head and looked at the thorn bush. At this time, there was no shadow of Chin Fong beside the thorn bush. Chin Fong took advantage of the fact that all the monster's attention was on the demonic flower just now, and took this opportunity to escape. The giant demon orangutan king saw that he had lost Chin Feng's target and the magical medicine of the demon flower. He was trembling with anger. Originally, he was hiding in the dark because he wanted to wait until Chin Feng picked the magical medicine from the thorn bushes. Medicine surrounded Chin Feng and asked him to hand it over. In this way, you can get the middle grade heaven level elixir you want, the demonic flower, without spending a single soldier. But you never thought that you thought you had plotted against others. But they were plotted against you. After all, it was just a mistake. Come on! Search for me. Turn over the forest and find that shameless little black bee. After finding him, I will cut him into pieces and I must make him hand over the demonic flower. Yes! After receiving the order, the men of the giant demon orangutan king immediately took action, searching for traces of Chin Fong in the forest. At this moment, Chin Fong used all his strength to increase his speed to the limit and flew away from this dangerous area. He was afraid that they would catch up and flew in different directions. After flying for a long time and seeing no pursuers chasing him, Chen Feng stopped on a leaf, breathing heavily. The power of the giant demon Gorilla King was too terrifying. Chen Feng knew that he had no power to resist in front of him. This was a risk to his death. He let the glory worker be leave his side. If he was in danger, there was no turning back. There is no leeway and no final guarantee, which is equivalent to cutting off one's own retreat. Fortunately, the giant demon Gorilla King didn't have enough brains and his reaction was slower. Otherwise, he would not have given himself a chance to escape. Chin Feng secretly smiled in his heart. This time, he could make a lot of money. Now that he has completed the task, got the resources, and got another heaven-level elixir. This time, the risk was really worth it. Chin Feng panted and breathed for a while, feeling that he was almost rested. He was afraid that the giant demon Gorilla King would react and catch up with him. So he rushed forward again. Chapter 121 Return with News Chin Feng picked the heavenly demon flower and was surrounded by the giant demon orangutan king. Chin Feng used conspiracy and tricks to deceive the giant demon orangutan king and break out of their encirclement. Chin Feng flew around without hesitation until he reunited with the glorious worker bees. Chin Feng knew that the giant demon ape king would not give up and would definitely send his men to search, constantly thinking about the next plan in his mind. But what Chin Feng doesn't know yet is that the Bloodthirsty Hall has launched an attack on him. 
since the mad flame lion was seriously injured and escaped from Chin Feng's encirclement. It staggered back to the monster center along the way. There, Diane Hu was anxiously waiting for their news. On this day, Diane Hu was wandering at the entrance of the monster bee center again, and saw an injured monster walking toward him in a daze. Taking a closer look, he saw that it was the crazy flame lion that he had not seen for a long time. At this time, his whole body was covered with blood, and there was no good spot. The skin and flesh of the wound were constantly turning outwards, covered with white, and there were the place has suppurated. Diana saw the crazy flame lion looking so pitiful and stepped forward to greet him. At this time, the crazy flame lion looked vaguely at the center of the monster not far ahead. There was a trace of light in his eyes, as if the light was coming. At the same time, he also saw a monster standing in front of the monster. At the central entrance, in a daze, I felt that the monster looked like a rock tiger. The crazy flame lion seemed to have met its own demonic beast. With a sad face, it limped faster and kept running forward. Suddenly, he stumbled and fell to the ground. I can't get up anymore. After watching Dian Hu running over in confusion, he fainted. Dian Hu looked at the fainted mad flame lion in front of him and couldn't help but frown. He called a few people who were familiar with him to help the mad flame lion into the cave where he temporarily lived. The crazy flame lion was exhausted and scarred from the battle with Chen Feng. In addition, running all the way back with his life in a hurry made the wounds worse. He was already too tired to hold on. So he only managed to get back to the monster center with his energy. Di Yin who stayed closely in front of Kuang Yanshi's bed, never leaving, waiting for Kuang Yanshi to wake up and tell him the news about Chen Feng, and that all the wounds on his body had been bandaged. The crazy flame lion lay in the cave for several days. Just when Diana thought that the crazy flame lion would sleep forever and gave up trying to wake up the crazy flame lion, the crazy flame lion moved and woke up from his sleep. This couldn't help but make Diane Hu ecstatic. The crazy flame lion looked at the Diane Hu in front of him, as if in a dream, and patted his lion's leg. Then he realized that he was not dreaming, but was really back. Diane Hu's eyes revealed joy as he looked at the crazy flame lion. How's it going? Have you dealt with a little black bee? Why are you back alone? Where are the other monsters? The crazy flame lion, who had just woken up, was overwhelmed by questions and was unable to react for a while. Initially, Kuang Yanshi thought that Diane Hu was happy that he had escaped death when he saw him waking up. But he never thought that he wanted to know whether the little black bee had been killed. He felt a little chilled for a moment. A little unhappy again. However, he thought about breaking two monsters in the mountain stream. Rolled his eyes. And had an idea. Reporting to your lord. We went to encircle and suppress the little black bee this time. The little black bee was too insidious and cunning. We fought desperately with it. But only I. The monster beast. Survived. All the other monsters were killed by the little black bee. I can only try my best to escape and report to you. I hope you will make a decision as soon as possible and come up with a way to deal with the little black bee. Otherwise, it will be difficult to deal with him when he grows up and gets stronger. Diane whose eyes were flashing. There was anger in his eyes. And there was a murderous aura all over his body. Looking at the crazy flame lion. His eyes were cold. He didn't expect that his passionate blood would be poured with cold water. In the end, nothing was gained. Then has his mission been completed? The crazy flame lion knew that he was not doing his job well this time. So he could only endure the grievance. Reporting to your lord, we originally wanted to strangle the little black bee before he could complete his mission. Unexpectedly, he had already seen through our plan and set up a trap for us to exploit. He ambushed a large number of glory worker bees around the forest. They came to encircle us, and those monsters fought to the death to send me out just to give you a message. The mad flame lion paused and took a peek at Dian Hu's emotions. Sir, don't worry. I believe he will not complete this mission. After all, the monster on this mission is a bloodthirsty demon bull with the sixth level of earth martial arts. How can he be a monster with the fifth level of spiritual martial arts? Leap across a huge realm and kill the bloodthirsty demonic cow. When Dian Hu heard the words of the Kuang Yan lion, he deceived himself and nodded. There was a sinister aura in his eyes, which made the Kuang Yan lion next to him shrink his neck. Diana said to himself looking into the distance, Little Black Bee, wait and see. I will never let you go. Sooner or later, you will die in my hands. At this time, Chun Feng, who was far away, sneezed, then rubbed his nose and continued busy with his own affairs. Diana turned back and looked at the injured Kuang Yan lion lying on the bed. This time, 
you led a large number of high-level monsters to encircle and suppress the little black bee, but failed to complete the mission and lost most of your troops. You should have been severely punished. Diane had looked at the expression of the crazy flame lion and changed his tone. However, when you were encircling and suppressing the little black bee, you suffered such serious injuries and came back to report the news. There is no credit but also hard work. So the merits and demerits are not held accountable. Next, take good care of your injuries. I will go back to my hometown. If you report this to the blood hall, I will definitely give you a lot of good words and not hold you responsible for this matter. Kwang Yenshur knew in his heart that this was a slap in the face to a sweet date. However, there is nothing that can be done. Thank you, sir, for not pursuing any further investigation. The crazy flame lion lowered its head with a hint of disdain in its eyes, thinking to itself, if it weren't for the existence of the bloodthirsty hall, you would be nothing among the monsters, not even a toe of mine. You really think of yourself as a big shot. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have suffered. With such a serious injury, I offended Chen Feng, a monster who is bound to retaliate and is not easy to mess with. As a result, I gained nothing in the end and lost several of my partners. I really lost a lot of money. Diane who didn't know what Kuang Yenshu was thinking. He was just thinking about how to go back and report. And what to say when he reported. Slowly, Dian who came up with an idea. Before leaving, he glanced at the pitiful wild flame lion, said nothing, and left without stopping. Dian who returned to the branch of Bloodthirsty Hall and used the power of the branch to spread the news to the elders and masters of Bloodthirsty Hall one by one. As soon as the news reached the Bloodthirsty Hall, it caused a huge sensation. Many elders and hall masters of the Bloodthirsty Hall realized the danger. So they sent monsters to snipe Chen Feng and issued bounty orders. Chapter 122 The Target of Public Criticism The Crazy Flame Lion was seriously injured by Chen Feng's previous counterattack and returned to the monster center with difficulty. Reported the news about Chen Feng to Dian Hu, who had been waiting for them for a long time. After Dian Hu received the news about Chen Feng, he immediately returned to the branch of the Bloodthirsty Hall without stopping and passed the news to the elders and master of the Bloodthirsty Hall. The elders and hall masters of the Bloodthirsty Hall also realized that Chen Feng was a threat which was very detrimental to the Bloodthirsty Hall. They immediately sent a large number of monsters to encircle and suppress Chen Feng. At the same time, after internal discussions within the Bloodthirsty Hall, an order was issued there as a reward. As long as you kill Chen Feng, you will get a heaven-level high-grade elixir. As soon as the bounty order was issued, the monsters rushed into the forest that was not ruled by the Bloodthirsty Hall. In order to get the reward in the bounty order, the monsters hunted Chen Feng without hesitation wherever they passed. Chickens and dogs were restless. At this moment, Chen Feng, who was constantly avoiding the pursuit of the giant demon Gorilla King, did not realize that the danger had come. A large number of monsters were rushing towards him, just to get his behead in exchange for the heaven-level high-grade elixir. Ever since Qin Fei wanted to get back his spiritual treasure and fell off a cliff, he did not fall to death, but survived by hanging on a tree. Enduring the pain of being scratched, he descended from the cliff and limped to the place where he hid the spiritual treasure. He took out many elixirs, put them in his mouth one by one, chewed them hard, and swallowed them into his stomach, as if those elixirs were Chin Feng. Hold them to discouragement. Then he found a cave to recuperate from his injuries. After he recovered from his injuries, he came out to settle accounts with Chin Feng. When he reached the cliff, he unexpectedly jumped into the air. Chin Fei screamed angrily. After asking around for a long time, I found out that Chen Feng accepted the task order from the Bloodthirsty Hall and went to the only forest in the ruins. Originally, Chen Fei planned to chase Chen Feng to that forest. However, he later heard that the Bloodthirsty Hall had ordered he issued a reward order and asked for Chen Feng's behead. Chen Fei was secretly happy for a while. Then he thought that he, a monster, could not pose a threat to Chen Feng. So, the plan was changed. He encouraged the monsters, who were deceived by Chen Feng, to go to the forest and fight against Chen Feng together. The monsters who originally didn't want to cause trouble and went to attack Chen Feng were instantly moved when they heard Qin Fei told them about the rewards included in the reward order issued by the Bloodthirsty Hall. In this way, most of the monsters in the ruins went to attack Chen Feng. Only a small number of monsters did not want to offend Chen Feng. So the plague god did not go. When Qin Fei saw such a scene, his eyes revealed insidiousness and cunning. He looked in the direction of the forest and thought to himself, You have offended so many people. It depends on where you run this time. 
I will definitely get back the spiritual treasure I worked so hard for. At this moment, Jin Feng didn't know that he had become the target of public criticism. After meeting up with Guangyo Gong Feng, he immediately left the place. Every time he flew over the trees in the forest, he was extremely cautious and clung to the leaves. In order to know himself and the enemy and win a hundred battles, Jin Feng sent a large number of glorious worker bees to inquire about the enemy's situation. As a result, something unusual was discovered. A large number of monsters poured into the forest. Jin Feng immediately heightened his vigilance. In order to know the purpose of their visit, Jin Feng decided to go and investigate. So he flapped his wings and flew out of his temporary hive. Jin Feng quietly came to a tree above the heads of a group of monster beasts, watching them searching for something. He felt a little puzzled. He then carefully looked at the monster beasts among the group of monster beasts and saw at a glance. When it came to the lynx Jin Fei who fell off the cliff but was not killed, Jin Feng suddenly had a lot of speculation in his heart. At this time, I only heard a monster whispering to the monster next to it. Tell me, why did the Bloodthirsty Hall issue a reward this time? We still want to kill the unknown little black bee. The other monster pondered for a while. Who knows? Maybe he offended the Bloodthirsty Hall. We have to be honest and not offend the Bloodthirsty Hall. Otherwise we won't know where we will die. I remember that there was a monster that offended the Bloodthirsty Hall. Dawn! In the end, not even the scum will be left in the dead body. After saying this, the monster shrank its neck and shuddered. The monster next to it heard what he said and trembled in fear. But the Bloodthirsty Hall is really powerful. And their resources are also very rich. Otherwise, they wouldn't have just taken out a heaven-level high-grade elixir to kill an unknown monster. Beast, that's right. Let's work harder to find the little black bee as soon as possible. Complete the reward order and get the elixir. Let's return to our original life. The other monster nodded in agreement. Their conversation followed the wind and reached Qin Fei's ears. Qin Fei curled his lips, looked at them with disdain, and thought to himself, how come it is your turn to kill Qin Feng and get the elixir? At the same time, their conversation also reached Qin Feng's ears. Qin Feng instantly knew their purpose and also knew that Bloodthirsty Hall was so insidious and vicious. In order to prevent him from completing his mission and obtaining resources, he even issued a reward order. Let the monsters attack him and end up killing him. This is equivalent to providing free labor to the Bloodthirsty Hall, solving many problems for them, and also eliminating their major problems. It really kills multiple birds with one stone. This Bloodthirsty Hall played a good game. Chen Feng's eyes were cold as he looked at the monsters who were still looking for him. He originally wanted to teach them a lesson and drive them away. After thinking about it, there may not be many monsters in the forest this time because of the reward order. In order to avoid disturbing the snakes and alerting them, Chen Feng gave up this idea. Although Chen Feng is not afraid of these monsters. After all, a good man cannot stand against many monsters. They will attack him in batches and will eventually kill him. Chen Feng fluttered his wings and flew back to the gathering place of glorious worker bees. At this time, Chen Feng had realized that there were many dangers around him and he needed to build his own hive in the forest. Just when he was about to issue an order to instruct the glory worker bees to build hives everywhere. At this moment, a glory worker bee ran up to Chen Feng. Report to the king that our whereabouts were exposed when we were picking honey. And we asked the king to punish us. Now there are a large number of monsters heading here. As if echoing the words of the glorious worker bee, the system that had been silent for a long time also started to buzz in. Ding. A large number of enemy attacks were found 5,000 meters ahead. Host. Please pay attention. Ding. A large number of enemy attacks were found 5,000 meters behind. Please pay attention to the host. Chen Feng heard the news and knew that it would happen sooner or later. So he did not punish Wang Ye Worker B. Come on. Get ready to meet the enemy. Not long after, after a burst of dust, the monsters came to where Chen Feng was. I saw Chen Feng lining up and waiting for their arrival. And a fierce battle began. Chapter 123 A Good Show the whereabouts of Chen Feng's glorious worker bees were exposed, attracting a large number of monsters to surround Chen Feng. The front and rear were occupied by monsters. He had nowhere to hide and had no choice but to fight bravely. The monsters came to Chen Feng's location and saw him. He didn't hide or run away and just waited for them here obediently. They looked at Chen Feng mockingly and sarcastically for a while. At this time, Link's Chen Fei said, Little Black Bee, these monsters were all deceived by you. Do you regret it very much at this moment? Chen Feng sneered. Regret? How is it possible? 
You were deceived by me. How did I deceive you? Please don't find such a bad excuse when you surround me. Okay. Jean Fei said angrily. Why didn't you trick us? Little Black Bee, have you forgotten what you did in the Flame Mountain? Do you want us to help you recall your memories? Chin Fong touched his chin and looked at him pretending to be thinking. Okay. I really forgot. Come on. Come on. Help me recall the memories. Chin Fei was shaking with anger. As if his emotions were easily provoked by Chin Fong. When we were in the Flame Mountain, you deceived us and gave us the elixir as long as the winner was determined. What was the result? When we were fighting, you escaped and you played with us like monkeys. It's interesting. When Chin Fong heard this, he felt like laughing. Of course, it's interesting. However, in order not to irritate them, Chin Fong still kept these words in his heart. Have you heard the saying that a soldier never tires of deceit? This is called strategy. And this elixir is obtained by those who have the ability. Who makes your skills inferior to others? You can't blame me. Qin Fei was speechless by Chin Fong and could only breathe heavily. After a while, he slowly returned to normal. Since we can't talk about it together, let's start fighting. Let's see how long you can keep your words. Rush. Qin Fei and Chin Fong shouted at the same time. And the two monsters fought together. The shouts of killing were loud. And Qin Fei looked at Chin Fong with blood red eyes. Passing through the monster beasts. He rushed towards Chin Feng's direction. Shameless little black bee. Give me the spiritual treasure back. Chin Feng looked at Qin Fei who was rushing towards him. And touched the bee's head helplessly. Ling Bao? Do you think I will return it to you if it has been stolen from me? Don't you even have this bit of common sense? Qin Fei angrily rushed towards Chin Feng at an even more ferocious speed. Slowly getting closer and closer to Chin Feng. Chin Feng watched Qin Fei come to him with so much effort. Rolled his eyes and smiled. Let me help you. Then, vibrating his wings, he quickly came to Qin Fei. This made Qin Fei look in front of him in a daze. Qin Feng bared his teeth and smiled at Qin Fei. I see you are trying so hard to come to me. Look how nice I am. I am here to provide you with convenience and come to you. Qin Fei was so angry that he spurted out a mouthful of old blood. Little black bee, take your life. Charging moon slash. I saw more than a dozen crescent-shaped blades spinning in circles. Under the sunlight, they seemed like moonlight emitting soft light to the surroundings. However, the momentum was extremely fierce, like giant beasts, rushing towards Qin Feng. Because Qin Feng was too close to Qin Fei, he didn't expect Qin Fei's attack to come so quickly. At the critical moment, he released his mobile skills. Teleport! Seeing that the fierce Yuzhan was only one millimeter away from him, it instantly moved to a place 110 meters away from Qin Fei. Chin Feng fearfully patted his small chest and chest, thinking to himself, Sure enough, I can't stimulate the monsters in them. They go crazy, which is really scary. Fortunately, I ran fast. Otherwise, my behead would not be saved. When Chin Feng thought about the scene where his behead fell off, he couldn't help but shrink his neck in fear, looking at Qin Fei in the distance. He opened his mouth and was about to say something to Qin Fei. After thinking about it, he closed his mouth again. He didn't want to stimulate Qin Fei again and make him go crazy. In the end, he was unlucky. It's still yourself. Qin Feng teleported away. Yu Zhan lost Qin Feng as his target and rushed into the team of glory worker bees. Before the glory worker bees could react, their lives were harvested. The corpses of the glorious worker bees fell from the sky one after another. The number of glorious worker bees was reduced a lot in an instant. And Qin Feng felt a pain in his body when he looked at it. Chin Feng put away his playful attitude and became serious. Xian Tian has no way. Several sword shadows flashed with cold light and rushed towards Qin Fei with a fierce momentum. The wind around the sword shadows scratched other monsters that were fighting with the Guangyu worker bees wherever they went. This made Guangyu worker bees. You have an opportunity. Although the monsters were scratched, the sword shadows momentum did not weaken at all. Instead, it strengthened slightly and continued to rush towards Qin Fei. Qin Fei looked at the sword shadow in the distance. And without dodging or dodging, he directly used Yu Zhan to carry it down. Yu Zhan and the sword shadow collided with each other. Sparks flying. Like a beautiful firework blooming in this cruel battle. Teleport. The earth groans. Qin Feng teleported behind Qin Fei and used the thunder attack. Qin Fei was unable to avoid it at such a close distance. His whole body was numbed by the thunder. The monsters around Qin Fei also suffered. And were struck by the thunder. After being drunk, the glorious worker bees harvested their lives. 
The poison of the void. While Qin Fei was troubled by the thunder attack, Chen Feng showed his tail needle and stabbed him in the head, seeing that he was about to succeed. At the critical moment, Qin Fei's head flexibly tilted to the side, causing Chen Feng to miss. When the attack failed, Chen Feng immediately teleported away. Looking around, there are fewer and fewer glorious worker bees. Chen Feng thought to himself, It's not an option to continue like this. The strength of my glorious worker bees is constantly decreasing. And the giant demon ape king is still looking for me. Such a big movement here will definitely alarm him. If he is found, he will be in big trouble. Chin Fong looked at the enemy soldiers in front and behind. And then at both sides. An idea flashed in his mind. Come on. Retreat to the flanks. After hearing Chen Feng's order, all the glorious worker bees reacted quickly, vibrating their wings and flew into the sky, where the monsters could not attack. Then, they retreated to the flanks like lightning. Ding. A large number of enemy attacks were found 5,000 meters ahead. Please pay attention to the host. Chen Feng felt a terrifying aura approaching, and immediately led the glory worker bees to retreat. The monster beast stared blankly at the sight of the target losing skills flying around. Someone at a loss. Chen Feng had not seen them yet. When he reacted, he led the glory worker bee to fly into the thick leaves of the forest. From the time when the glory worker bee flew back to the sky and then retreated, it only took a few seconds. By the time the monsters reacted, Chen Feng had long disappeared. After a burst of dust, as expected by Chen Feng, the giant demon Gorilla King led his men to capture Chen Feng. However, he arrived a step too late and missed. It was like a good show. Chen Feng was making them play around. But they would not let it go. Chapter 124 repeating the same trick. The demonic beasts were attracted by the bounty and came to surround Chen Feng. Chen Feng, who had been hiding, resurfaced and was found by the demonic beasts for a melee. During the fierce melee, in order to avoid attention of the giant demon Gorilla King, Chen Feng decided to make a strategic retreat. After all, he is not strong enough to have a head-on conflict with the giant demon Gorilla King. As soon as Chen Feng led the glorious worker, Bees, to leave the melee, the giant demon Ape King came here and jumped into the air. The giant demon Gorilla King looked around and saw that there was no figure of Chen Feng around him and couldn't help but feel angry. A roar rang out, resounding through the entire forest, startling countless birds, and the powerful pressure released also made the monsters nearby crawl to the ground. Those monster beasts lying on the ground felt countless crows flying through their hearts at this moment. How could we be so unlucky to encounter such a powerful monster? If we had known this, we would not have come here. If we are lucky enough to survive this time, we will definitely retreat and no longer go to encircle and suppress Chen Feng. God bless us. We did not do this what a bad thing. They took a sneak peek at the giant demon gorilla king and thought tremblingly in their hearts. It's probably that Chen Feng's behead belongs to him. And he can't get a share of the pie. And that little black bee probably offended this powerful monster. It's so courageous. We can't offend it. Since both sides we can't offend each other. So let's take advantage of the little black bee not noticing us and return to our own nest peacefully. They felt determined. Just waiting for the giant demon gorilla king to lead his men away and leave this place of right and wrong. Although they all wanted to get the reward on the bounty. They had to be alive to enjoy it. After this battle... Nine out of ten of the monsters that surrounded Chen Feng were gone. Chen Feng escaped from the melee and frantically led the glorious worker bees to fly away. After flying for a long time, he stopped panting and rested for a long time on the leaves of a tall tree. Chen Feng's little head kept spinning. At this time, Chen Feng had already felt that his crisis was coming. He knew that the giant demon orangutan king would not let him go. In order to solve this problem, he could only try his best to keep the giant demon orangutan king here. Chin Feng Feng sent a large number of glorious worker bees to establish branch nests in the forest. Always observe the movements of the giant demon ape king and be prepared for everything. It didn't take long for the hive to be completed. Chin Feng was lying on a simple throne in the newly established branch hive, holding a straw in his hand and drinking the fresh royal jelly that had just been produced. Bee now did not give up thinking and kept simulating life plans in his mind. Chin Feng sent a large number of glory worker bees to stay behind and divide the hives. Whenever the giant demon ape king makes any movement, come and report it. At this time, a glorious worker bee flew in and knelt down on one knee under Chin Feng's throne. Report. King! The giant demon gorilla king has sent groups of his men to search for you. Chin Feng raised his behead slightly and glanced at the glorious worker 
be under the throne. Oh! How many waves are there? How many monsters are there in each wave? The glorious worker bees were meticulous and showed no signs of slacking off. There are about five or six waves. In each wave, there are five or six monster beasts in each wave. And there are only three or four monster beasts in a few waves. Please make your decision. Your Majesty. Chin Fong sat up from the throne, holding his behead with one front foot and tapping the handle on the throne with the other front foot. The sound of dong dong resounded throughout the hive as if hitting the heart of the glorious worker bee, making him nervous. Chin Fong thought about it in his heart. Since he has dispersed his troops and came to search for me, why not just defeat him one by one just like I did with the bloodthirsty demonic cow before? Chen Feng's bee foot stopped knocking on the throne. With a heavy slap, the throne stood up. This made the glorious worker be kneeling underneath tremble with fear. Pass my order to gather the glory worker bees and follow me to fight. Yes. Chin Fong looked at the retreating figure of the glorious worker bee, with a hint of cunning flashing in his eyes. This time I will defeat you. Let you taste my power. And make you lose all your money. I will stay here forever. Not long after, all the glorious worker bees were assembled. Chin Fong arranged for some of the glorious worker bees to stay in the hive, and some to go with him to fight. Chin Fong asked the glorious worker bee who came to report to him to lead the way. And soon they arrived at a search team for the giant demon ape king. Chin Fong stayed on the leaves above them. The huge leaves blocked his body and that of the glorious worker bees. They did not realize that Chin Fong had already targeted them. Chin Fong lay quietly on the leaves. Looking down from a high place, he saw five giant orangutans gathered in one place. Maybe he was tired from looking and was sitting on the ground to rest. Chin Fong glanced at the glory worker bees behind him and signaled with his eyes that he asked the glory worker bees to go around to the back of the giant demon apes and surround them to prevent them from escaping. Everything was ready. Chin Fong gave an order, and all the glorious worker bees rushed out from the leaves, surrounding the giant monsters. As soon as he saw an enemy attack, the giant demon ape reacted instantly, jumped up from the ground, and wanted to go back to report the news. Unfortunately, it was too late, as it was surrounded by black radiant worker bees. They looked at Chin Fong, the leader in front, and couldn't help but feel angry. Little black bee, you surrounded us. Do you want to strangle us? Chin Fong rolled his eyes and thought to himself, Why did this giant monster ask such an idiotic question? If I didn't tell you to kill you, why would I surround you? What's more, you are looking for me. Don't you just want to kill me? Chin Fong didn't bother to talk nonsense to them. What do you think? The giant demon ape also knew that the question he asked was not valuable. In order to save his face, he looked at Chin Fong and asked, Aren't you afraid that our king will take your life? Chin Fong stroked his forehead, thinking that this giant gorilla was hopeless. If I were afraid, why would I come to kill you? Let alone when did your king let me go? Chin Fong repeated what he just said again. What do you think? The other giant monsters also felt it. And the questions he asked were all obvious. And they glared at him. They thought about losing. And nothing could lose their momentum. So they raised their heads and looked at him proudly. Chin Fong. Chin Fong looked at the giant demon gorilla in front of him and couldn't help but sigh, thinking to himself, What kind of king there is? There are what kind of subordinates? If the king is stupid, his subordinates will also be stupid. He even puts on airs before he dies. Chin Fong shook his head and gave orders to the glorious worker bees around him. Kill them for me, leaving no one behind. They also knew that their death was coming, and there might be a chance of survival in the desperate struggle. At this time, their eyes were blood red and bloodshot, and the two sides were fighting in one place. It can fly in the sky and form brilliant colors, as if mourning their death. Chapter 125 The Joy of Playing Monkey In order to disintegrate the power of the giant demon gorilla king, Chin Fong left the giant demon gorilla king in this forest forever. Chin Fong adopted the method he used to deal with a bloodthirsty demon ox's men to deal with the giant demon gorilla king. Although the few giant orangutans that were surrounded put up a tenacious resistance and fought to the death, but there is still no escape from fate. Chin Fong looked at the surrounded giant orangutans in front of him in order to end the battle as soon as possible. Teleport! Chin Fong vibrated his wings, used teleportation skills, disappeared from the spot, and teleported in front of the giant orangutans. The earth groans! Before they could react, Chin Fong released his skills and used his thunder attack to anesthetize them. The poison of the void! Then, Chin Fong felt pain in his tail, showed his tail needle, and stabbed their heads hard. Not to be outdone. 
the glorious worker bees looked for an opening and stabbed them with a needle. In this way, Chin Feng gained a fresh life as he entered and exited the camp. The system sound also sounded at this time. Ding! The host successfully killed the Diwu first level mirror monster and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Jin Li took advantage of their weak defense against Chin Feng and took the lives of two giant orangutans. However, after all, they were demon beasts of the Earth Martial Mirror, and they had experienced hundreds of battles. In an instant, they reacted, looked around vigilantly, used offense as defense, and continued to release skills. The surroundings were full of attacks. This left Chin Feng no longer able to take advantage of him. Chin Feng looked at them and thought to himself, Although the questions they asked are idiotic, they are indeed very smart. This way I really can't teleport in. If I enter, I will be torn apart by these skills. This is indeed a good idea. But it is not the wisest move. Fighting a war of attrition with us will be a big loss. At this time, an idea flashed in his mind. And Chin Feng had an idea. It would be better to end the battle in a hurry and wink at the glory worker bee on the side. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees in a war of attrition, releasing long-range skills around them, consuming their skills. Xian Tian has no way. Chin Feng released his sword shadow leisurely, without any awareness of the fact that he was fighting. Instead, he was extremely leisurely, sitting on a leaf with his legs crossed, as if he was traveling and observing the scenery. The giant monsters couldn't help but feel angry when they looked at Chin Feng, who seemed to be playing with them like monkeys. Little black bee, can't you be more serious when fighting? You should respect us anyway. Don't you think this is playing with our feelings? Chin Feng glanced at them and continued to display his skills leisurely. It would be nice to fight you, but you are so picky. The giant demon ape and the others only felt a crow flying above their heads, and all that was left in their minds was a string of ellipses, and then a wry smile appeared on their faces. We didn't let you fight with us. We are innocent. This is your selfish idea. We just fought back to prevent losing our lives. Jin Feng thought for a while and suddenly realized something. Yes. Hearing this, the giant demon gorilla fell over and couldn't help complaining in his heart. Brother, please be more careful. Jin Feng paused and looked at them lazily before they answered. Then let me give you another answer. You are not worthy. You are not worthy of me fighting you seriously. When the giant demon gorilla heard this, he was so angry that he vomited blood and thought to himself. I wouldn't have said it if I had known better. This answer is not as good as the last one. The glory worker be looked at the scene in front of him, stunned for a while, thinking in his heart. Is this still a battle? This is obviously a meeting between old friends and a chat. Chin Feng kept attacking them. Whenever they showed a tendency to relax, he would harass them with teleportation. As long as they were surrounded by impenetrable skills, he would use the long-range attack of Sword Shadow to consume them. Under the joint attacks of Chin Feng and the glorious worker bees, they retreated steadily. They tried to break out of the encirclement, but were unable to escape. In the end, they had to die at the hands of Chin Feng. At the last moment, they fell to the ground panting. Chin Feng flew above their heads and looked at the giant demon gorilla being trampled under his feet. I'm very happy to talk to you. I don't want to let you lose your life. But we are enemies. So I can only take your life. The giant demon gorilla looked at Chin Feng, who was so angry that he was dying in vain. He rolled his eyes and died. Chin Feng touched his nose and looked at them with his head tilted, wondering in his heart. Are they exhausted or angry? Either way, it means that I am getting better and better. Chin Feng snickered in his heart and boasted a lot. Then he cleared his throat and gave an order with a straight face, asking the glorious worker bees to clean up the corpse so as not to alert others. After a while of busy work, Chin Feng counted the bees and generals and only lost one or two glory worker bees. Chin Feng was secretly amused and thought to himself, This method is indeed very effective. It does not cause much loss and can kill the enemy. It is not tired of trying. However, the most important thing now is to maintain its strength. The glorious worker bees in front of us cannot face a large number of enemy attacks and fight back. It seems that only a part of the glory worker bees can be dispatched. Chin Feng made up his mind. System, I want to send 500,000 glorious worker bees. The system made a decision. Ding! The number of worker bees is too large and cannot meet the host's requirements. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng frowned. And in an instant, he thought of another way. The system can help me deliver a message to the glory worker bees, telling them to look for the diaphronted white tiger. Tell him that I am in trouble and hope he will come to help. If possible, 
I hope he can lead most of the glory worker bees to the ruins. A piece of forest. Help me. And let a small number of glorious worker bees stay in the hive. The system paused for two seconds and then rang again. Ding! The host's request is reasonable and the message was successfully delivered. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng felt relieved. And then, using the momentum of victory, he continued to advance and attack the next small group. In this way, they continued to harvest the lives of the giant gorilla using the same method. Occasionally, Chin Feng would tease them when he got interested. The strength of the giant demon orangutan king continued to decrease. And it could be said that he suffered heavy losses. The giant demon orangutan king couldn't help but get angry. His roar spread from the cave throughout the entire forest. And the echoes startled countless birds. As soon as Chin Feng heard these roars, he knew that the giant demon gorilla king was angry. His body lying on the throne was shaking for a while. And finally, he couldn't help it and laughed so loudly that he could wake up even from his dreams. In order to find Chin Feng's footprints, the giant demon orangutan king sent out a large number of men to encircle and suppress Chin Feng. Unfortunately, Chin Feng came and went without a trace and could not catch his traces. Instead, he was always attacked. Chapter 126, Complicity Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to hide in the dark, constantly attacking the men of the giant demon ape king, disintegrating his power. A large number of men sent by the giant demon gorilla king were all killed in Chin Feng's hands. The giant demon gorilla king could only scream in anger and kept pacing in the cave. At this moment, his men sent a message. Reporting to the king, there is a monster outside the cave entrance. It wants to see you. I hope you will grant me permission. The giant demon ape king thought for a moment in confusion. He stopped walking back and forth and returned to sit on the throne. Invite him in. Yes. After waiting for a while, I saw a lynx walking in obscenely and trivially. The giant demon gorilla king looked at this monster curiously, constantly sizing him up in his mind. It's so rare that there are so many monsters. There are actually monsters that are afraid of me and come to see me. The giant demon gorilla king released his pressure. Your Excellency? This lynx was Qin Fei, who did not follow other monsters to escape here. Under the pressure of the giant demon gorilla king, Qin Fei's body was shaking a little. And he felt that his legs were getting weaker and weaker. And his body was getting heavier. He almost fell to his knees. I'm reporting to the king that the young one is Qin Fei. He's here to help the king kill the little black bee. The giant demon gorilla king heard his words and slowly put away his pressure. Qin Fei felt his body light up and lost its heaviness. Only then did he feel that the hair on his back was soaked with sweat. If it weren't for the support of his thoughts, he would definitely have collapsed on the ground. The giant demon gorilla king was a little surprised to see that the monster in front of him was not intimidated by his own pressure. And he suddenly became interested in what he said. Okay, tell me, if you have any way to help me hunt down that little black bee, you can also help me kill him. Qin Fei moved forward flatteringly and cupped his hands. Your Majesty, can I talk to you alone? I'm afraid this news will be leaked and I won't be able to catch the little black bee. The giant demon gorilla king waved to his men on both sides, asking Qin Fei to step forward. Qin Fei Ching walked up to the giant demon gorilla king with his back hunched in fear. Your Majesty, you only need to do this. Qin Fei lowered his voice and spoke in the ear of the giant demon ape king. After hearing this, the giant demon orangutan king couldn't help but feel happy and looked at Qin Fei approvingly. Okay, I'll do as you say, but why are you helping me so much? Qin Fei bowed his waist and retreated under the throne. Report to your majesty. I have a treasure-grabbing grudge against little Black Bee. He robbed me of the spiritual treasure that I worked so hard to dig out and almost cost me my life. How can I not avenge this revenge? Little Black Bee, I would like to congratulate you on successfully catching the little black bee and cutting him into pieces. The giant demon ape king nodded. For the sake of your advice, I will avenge this for you. Qin Fei pretended to be grateful and crawled on the ground with tears in his nose. Thank you, your majesty. You don't know how badly I was hurt by this little black bee. This little black bee is insidious and cunning. He will never escape again this time. I guarantee that he will fall into the trap as soon as he takes action. Capture him and avenge your shame. The giant demon orangutan king signaled with his eyes to ask Qin Fei to get up. Come on. Tell me to go down and prepare like this. Be careful. If any information is leaked, I will ask you questions. At this moment, Qin Feng led the glorious worker bees to kill a large number of the giant demon ape king's men. And his evolutionary points were already full. 
Chin Fong also knows how powerful the giant demon ape king is. At present, the most urgent thing is to improve his strength. System, I want to upgrade. The system paused for a few seconds before ringing. Ding! The host has successfully upgraded. Please pay attention to the host. The spiritual energy in the honeycomb fluctuated and penetrated into Chin Feng's body continuously. Pain spread throughout his body. Chin Feng was wandering in this sea of pain, feeling the baptism of every pain. This was an improvement in strength. Joy! After the pain subsided, Chin Feng couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. He knew that sooner or later there would be a fierce battle between him and the giant demon ape king. If he improved a little more, he would have more chances of winning and his life would be more secure. Host, Chun Fong, Lin Wu's seventh mirror, one slash asterisk 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 asterisk. Skill, Xientian Wudao, fifth level, Xientian Sword Shadow, has a 50% chance of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for five seconds. The earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 25, which is equal to the host's own level. Defense skills, first level, pure defense skills. Defense power is equal to 50% of one's own strength. Teleportation, second level, anywhere within 500 meters of the host's body. Invisibility, limited by level. Time is 3 minutes. Secret technique, poison of the void, third level, after using the venom. Honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. The attack poison is enhanced by 20%. And the hit damage is reduced by 20%. Chen Feng finished reading the attribute panel and didn't miss a single detail. Seeing the improvement in strength and skills, the joy in my heart overcame the faint worry. At this time, the glorious worker became to report. Reporting to the king. There is a group of giant monsters hunting in the forest. I hope the king will make a decision. When Chen Feng heard this, he immediately stood up from the throne. Immediately summon all the glory worker bees and follow me to fight. Yes. The glorious worker bees were fully prepared and followed Chen Feng to the hunting teams. I saw five monsters sitting on the ground and resting. This scene reminded Chen Feng of the group of men who killed the giant demon gorilla king for the first time. And he felt a little sad and sighing for a moment. Still follow the same method as before to surround them. Chen Feng looked at the giant gorilla in front of him as if looking at corpses. At this moment, the system sound rang. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks have been detected 2,000 meters ahead. Host, please pay attention. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks have been detected 2,000 meters behind. Please pay attention to the host. Ding! A large number of enemy attacks have been detected 2,000 meters to the side. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng secretly complained in his heart. I fell into the trap and was surrounded. Originally, I was the only one who plotted against others. How could anyone plot against me? Even if they plotted against me, I could fight back. But this time I fell into the trap. I really underestimated the giant demon. King Ape. It's true that he hunts geese every year. But he is pecked and blinded by the geese. Chen Feng's heart was filled with complex emotions, including three parts guilt, three parts regret, three parts sigh, and one part sigh. After a burst of dust, the giant demon gorilla king led his men to surround Chen Feng. Chen Feng saw that it was Qin Fei who was standing behind the giant demon ape king, and he had some guesses in his heart. Qin Fei stepped forward and looked at Chen Feng sarcastically. Little black bee, you can't run away now. You didn't expect that you would also fall into the trap. The monsters you surrounded are just bait to lure you out. This is just greed and greed. Chin Feng looked at Qin Fei with cold eyes. It turns out it was you who came up with the idea. Otherwise, the giant demon ape king wouldn't have been able to come up with such an insidious plan. Facing many enemies in front of him. Will Chin Feng be lucky enough to break out of the siege? Chapter 127 Crisis Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to encircle and suppressed the men of the giant demon orangutan king. But he never expected to fall into a trap. He was surrounded by his men led by the giant demon gorilla king. Qin Fei, who was following the giant demon gorilla king, looked at Chin Feng who was surrounded heavily. There was a glint of schadenfreude in his eyes. Little black bee, are you still arrogant now? Aren't you talking about strategies? What do you think of this trick to lure the bees out of the nest? We only used a small team of giant monsters to lure you out. You are not as it powerful. If you have the ability, just run away. Chin Feng's eyes flashed coldly, and he ignored Qin Fei's shouting. Why are you talking so much nonsense? If you want to be beaten, hurry up. Qin Fei couldn't help but his face turned red with anger. He turned around and cupped his hands towards the giant demon orangutan king. 
Your Majesty, you see the little black bee's life is already in your hands. I hope you will make a decision. The giant demon gorilla king looked at Qin Fei with satisfaction. This is indeed a good idea. Please stay with me from now on. Qin Fei glanced at Qin Feng proudly. Yes, Your Majesty. Qin Feng looked at Qin Fei's proud face and couldn't help but feel contempt in his heart. Why are you so proud? Aren't you just turning from a free monster into a lackey of the giant demon gorilla king? What's so great about it? The giant demon gorilla king looked at Qin Feng, who was not afraid at all, and was not only a little surprised, but also thought to himself, What else does he have to rely on now? How come he doesn't look afraid at all? Could it be that he has some tricks up his sleeve? The giant demon orangutan king was tricked by Qin Feng once. He was once plotted by a bee. He was afraid of the well rope for ten years. He was always vaguely uneasy in his heart, worried about what conspiracy Chen Feng was playing. The giant demon gorilla king looked around and saw that there were no monsters, but he still looked around cautiously. Little black bee, now I see what tricks you can do. Why don't you surrender obediently and hand over the demonic flower? I can still spare your life. Chen Feng rolled his eyes. Do you think I will give you the elixir once it reaches my hand? Maybe it has entered my stomach now. The giant demon orangutan king became even more angry when he saw such arrogant Chin Fong. For a moment, he forgot about his worries, just now, and whether he had any other conspiracies. Come on! Kill him for me! Whoever can kill him will be rewarded heavily! After receiving the order, Qin Fei was the first to bear the brunt, and the men of the giant demon orangutan king also rushed towards Chin Fong. Charging moon slash. Dozens of crescent-shaped moon blades swirled towards Chin Fong with a sharp sound of wind. Chin Fong knew very well that Yu Zhan was very powerful so he hurriedly avoided it. Just as he dodged Qin Fei's attack, the giant demon ape king's attack also rushed towards Qin Feng. Eye of death! I saw the giant demon gorilla king's eyes shining with rays of light, shrouding Qin Feng. At this time, Qin Feng, who had dodged the attack, turned back and glanced at the giant demon ape king. The moment he saw the eyes of the giant demon gorilla king, Qin Feng felt that his head was exploding, and he screamed, ah, for a moment, crumbling in the sky. Fortunately, the two radiant worker bees that were close by vibrated their wings and approached Chin Feng, supported him. Otherwise, if Chin Feng fell to the ground at this time, he would definitely be broken into pieces by the men of the giant demon ape king. At the same time, the other glorious worker bees saw that their king was injured and slowly moved closer to Chin Feng, forming an encirclement with Chin Feng as the center. The two glorious worker bees supporting Morrowin shouted to the other worker bees around them. Hold on and protect our king to the death. Yes. Swear to protect our king to the death. Looking at such a scene, the giant demon gorilla king couldn't help but be a little shocked. There was a bit of envy and a bit of emotion in his eyes because Chin Feng had such a group of king's men who were determined to protect him to the death. Just then the system sound sounded. Ding! The host's health value is less than 20%. Consume 30% of the royal jelly and activate the repair function. Chin Feng heard the sound of the system and knew that he was not in danger for the time being. Chin Feng weakly leaned on the arms of the two glorious worker bees and looked around. Under the attack of the giant demon gorilla king's men, the radiant worker bees kept falling from the sky, and more than half of them were lost. The giant demon gorilla king looked at the weak Chin Feng who fell in the arms of the glorious worker bee, looked at him with contempt, and thought to himself, Originally I thought this little black bee was very powerful, but unexpectedly it couldn't withstand my blow. Therefore, he did not attack again and blocked Qin Fei's attack. Try to catch them alive. Maybe you can also torture them to find out the whereabouts of the spiritual treasures and elixirs. Qin Fei wanted to attack, but seeing the giant demon gorilla king's firm attitude, he knew that there was no room for redemption. But he still wanted to fight for it. Your Majesty, this opportunity cannot be missed. It will never come again. Such a good opportunity cannot be given up. Maybe like the little black bee said, he has used up all the spiritual treasures and elixirs? The giant demon orangutan king glanced at Qin Fei, then turned back and looked at Chen Feng. It's better to live than to die. Maybe there will be a trace of the Ling Bao. This matter has been decided. There is no need to discuss it further. Qin Fei shook his head in despair and could only retreat without saying a word. At this time, Chen Feng was looking into the distance, the light in his eyes disappearing little by little, as if hope was shattered. He thought to himself, this is truly an unprecedented crisis. My life is at stake. Is there any other way to solve the current situation? The two glorious worker bees supporting Chen Feng, 
whose wings were vibrating in the air. Couldn't help but feel a little sad when they looked at the weak Wong in their arms. King, we will protect you. Let's break out of the siege together. With you, there will be hope. As long as you are still there, there is hope. Chen Feng heard the words of his men, and the light in his eyes became focused again. After experiencing so many hardships, I will always escape from death. How can such a small setback stump me? I can't give up at this time. There must be other ways. All the glorious worker bees are still counting on it. Me? Relying on me? How could I give up if my men haven't given up yet? Ding! The repair is successful. Please pay attention to the host. Hearing the sound of the system again, Chin Feng felt that his whole body was full of strength and his spirit was lifted. He flew up from the body of the glorious worker, bee who was supporting him. All the glory worker bees obeyed the order and fought with him. If any glory worker bee flinches, kill them immediately. Then, he rushed towards the giant demon gorilla king. The giant demon gorilla king did not expect Chin Feng to recover so quickly. After being stunned for a few seconds, he released his skills again. Eye of death. At first, Chin Feng was unprepared. So he was hit. But this time it was different. Chin Feng already knew the power of his skills. So he was on guard. Light is everywhere. Even real light has a dark side. Not to mention that it is not real light. But targeted brilliance. Teleport. Chin Feng immediately thought of a countermeasure. Since it was targeted. As long as he used teleportation skills to make him lose the target. Everything would be done. Chapter 128 Reinforcements Arrive The giant demon Gorilla King sent powerful enemies to attack. This time Chin Feng could only enter a defensive state. The crisis always enveloped him, and he had no chance to escape. Facing an unprecedented crisis, Chin Feng lost hope, but gained hope again with the encouragement of his subordinates. He rushed towards the giant demon Gorilla King again. Facing the giant demon Gorilla King's attack, Chin Feng already had a solution. Use teleportation skills to avoid his death eye. The Eye of Death lost its target. Its light scattered. And it lost its attack power. The giant demon orangutan king looked at Chin Feng who disappeared in the skill. And was stunned for a moment. He looked around warily and thought to himself. Why did it suddenly disappear? Could it be that my attack was so powerful that it melted due to my attack? This is impossible. Chin Fei looked at Chin Feng who had disappeared before his eyes. And quickly spoke to the giant demon orangutan king. Be careful. The little black bee can teleport. I suffered a lot from this skill. After hearing Chin Fei's words, the giant demon ape king pricked up his ears and became more vigilant. Chin Feng teleported behind the giant demon ape king in an instant. Chin Fei next to him just turned around and saw Chin Feng behind the giant demon ape king and immediately reminded him, Be careful behind your back. At this time, Chin Fei's reminder was already too late. The earth groans. Before Chin Fei released his skill to block Chin Feng's attack, Chen Feng released another skill of his and used it in conjunction with teleportation. There was a blind spot behind him and the giant demon gorilla king couldn't turn around to attack Chen Feng. Therefore, Qin Fei and the giant demon orangutan king were hit at the same time and the anesthesia lasted only three seconds. Chen Feng made the choice without even thinking about it. The poison of the void. Since the giant demon gorilla king was relatively close to Chen Feng and had a relatively high level, he was still the king of this ragtag group of people. The poisonous needle from Chin Feng's tail directly pierced the back of the giant demon gorilla king's head. The giant demon gorilla king tried his best to dodge. But unfortunately it was too late. The poisonous needle scratched the back of his head. Leaving a trail of blood. Chin Feng failed to hit the target and used teleportation to return to the original place. The giant demon gorilla king only felt that his head was dizzy for a while. And his eyes turned a little white. He returned to normal. He looked at Chin Feng who had returned to the team of glorious worker bees with angry eyes. His eyes were blood red. And he roared one after another. Little black bee. I meant to let you go. But you offended Ji Chi. So don't blame me for turning my back on you. Chin Feng rolled his eyes. When did you let me go? You can hit me whenever you want. Why do you find so many excuses? Don't think that I don't know what you are thinking. Don't you just want to capture me alive and find the whereabouts of the spiritual treasure? Don't even think about it. The eyes of the giant demon orangutan king became even redder with anger. And blood kept rising. His head felt a little dizzy again. And there were stars in front of his eyes. After a while, he returned to normal. The giant demon orangutan king thought it was just because of I didn't think about the reason why I was so angry. Looking at Chen Feng in the distance, he rushed towards him. Come on! Charge me and kill them all! After hearing the order, 
The men of the giant demon ape king accelerated their charge. More and more glory worker bees were killed and injured. Gradually, there were more than a hundred monster beasts left alive among the glory worker bees around Chen Feng. Qin Fei looked at the giant demon gorilla king rushing towards Chen Feng, with sarcasm in his eyes, and complaining about him in his heart. When the little black bee was injured just now, I told you to attack him directly without giving him any room for buffering. Monsters like the little black bee must be killed with one strike. Otherwise, it will cause endless harm. Do you give him some buffer space? But I won't help you this time. Qin Fei slowly stepped back, exited the fighting circle, and watched the good show unfolding in front of him. The giant demon orangutan king was so angry that he did not see Qin Fei's sneaky tricks. With the fierce attack of the giant demon orangutan king's men, Qin Feng's men gradually only had a dozen glorious worker bees left. Looking at the glorious worker bees around him, who were desperately trying to protect themselves without the slightest thought of escaping. My heart was filled with complicated emotions. Although they are all spawned by the system, they are different from the past. They are not machines that execute orders. And they also have thoughts. But at the moment of life and death, they don't have a trace of fear. As their king, I still don't competent. Did not let them live. Chin Feng felt guilty and crazy in his heart. Even at the last moment, I will support you. Chin Feng increased his speed to the limit and swooped down, accompanied by teleportation skills from time to time. In the end, only two glorious worker bees were left beside Chin Feng. The giant demon ape king sneered darkly. Didn't you want to destroy my power? Now it's the other way around? You didn't expect it. You wanted to turn someone else into a level commander. But you ended up becoming a bear commander yourself. Chin Fong looked at the two glorious worker bees beside him. With a trace of despair in his eyes. At this critical moment, a burst of noise exploded from behind around the giant demon gorilla king's team. The giant demon gorilla king was stunned. Turned back and looked at his men behind him. Qin Fei immediately stood up and walked to the side of the giant demon ape king. I saw a dark mass of shining worker bees behind the giant demon gorilla king, headed by a white tiger with a hanging forehead. Chin Fong looked at the missing white tiger in the distance, leading a large number of glorious worker bees to come to help. His eyes burst out with a strong light of hope, and his chest filled with joy. This is really a disaster, but there will be blessings in the future. Chen Fong, who was surrounded by the giant demon gorilla king, looked mockingly at the giant demon gorilla king in front of him. How about surprise or surprise? How about this great gift? Now you are the one being surrounded. The giant demon gorilla king looked at the proud Chin Fong in front of him. Little black bee, I really underestimated you. I didn't expect you to have a backup plan. If I had known, I would have killed you directly when you were injured. Chin Fong curled his lips. If I had known this, why did I do it in the first place? There is no regret medicine in this world. When Chin Fei saw this, he knew that the giant demon ape king was gone so he secretly used his skills to leave this place of right and wrong. Behind a tree, he quietly watched the battlefield. No one on the battlefield cared about Qin Fei's whereabouts. So he escaped smoothly. The giant demon ape king also knew that it would be difficult for him to escape. Even if I can't escape, I will hold you on my back. Then, he rushed towards Qin Feng. Sea of Desire. I saw an invisible black energy rushing towards Qin Feng. The two glory worker bees behind Qin Feng looked at each other with firm eyes. The vibrating wings flew in front of Chin Feng. Under such rapid energy fluctuations, Chin Feng had no time to dodge. However, because the two glory worker bees behind them used their lives to buy time for Chin Feng, they used teleportation skills three times in a row and came to the side of the hanging forehead white tiger out of breath. Chin Feng left the encirclement and looked at the two glorious worker bees that fell from the sky. His eyes dimmed for a while and then returned to normal. Chapter 129 Unilateral Massacre Facing the encirclement and suppression by powerful enemies led by the giant demon Gorilla King. All the glorious worker bees protecting Chin Feng were killed and injured. And Chin Feng fell into crisis step by step. At this critical moment, the white tiger with hanging forehead came. And he led a large number of worker bees to rescue Chin Feng. Chin Feng watched the white tiger with hanging forehead lead the glory worker bees to heavily surround the giant demon ape king. And use teleportation skills to clash with the encirclement. He looked at the enemy in front his eyes full of terror, and gave orders to the glory worker bees behind him. Come on! All the glorious worker bees listened to the order. The outermost worker bees continue to surround me. The other glorious worker bees rush for me. Don't let any of them go to avenge the dead friends. All the glorious worker bees behind him rushed towards all the men of the giant demon ape king in the encirclement with a black, 
buzzing, sound. After the giant demon Gorilla King in the back used his skills to kill Chen Feng several times to no avail, he couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood. Stars flashed in front of his eyes, and his mind went blank. He swayed left and right a few times, then collapsed with a thud. On the ground, he kept breathing heavily. The men of the giant demon Gorilla King saw their king fall to the ground. For a moment, their morale was unstable, and they were in a panic. Faced with the pursuit of the glorious worker bees, most of the giant monsters only remembered to run away, completely forgetting to use their skills to fight back. In this way, the glorious worker bees are like chopping cabbage or tofu, constantly harvesting their lives at the right time. Suddenly, corpses piled up into mountains. Blood flowed into rivers. Blood dyed the forest red, and the air was moistened with blood. Qin Fei, who was hiding behind the tree, couldn't help but shrink his neck when he saw such a tragic and tragic scene. Fear flashed in his eyes. He took a few steps back and flew into the distance. And Chen Feng also joined the battle group that harvested their lives. And the system's voice kept ringing in his mind. Ding! The host successfully killed the Earth Marshal Triple Mirror Monster and gained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Ding! The war is gradually coming to an end. And in the end there is only one giant demon gorilla king left. Chin Feng stretched his waist, which was a little tired from the battle. He casually flew to the head of the giant demon ape king and stepped on his head with his feet. Aren't you arrogant? Why are you not arrogant anymore? How does it feel to be poisoned by me? Do you feel that your eyes are black and your head is blank? The giant demon gorilla king collapsed on the ground, breathing heavily and talking intermittently. Oh, it's you. At this moment, he thought of the scar on the back of his head. I wanted to lift my paw and touch the wound. I raised it slightly but put it down weakly. Chin Feng looked at the giant demon gorilla king, who was still insisting. But you are quite powerful. You managed to survive for so long under my poison. I admire you. But don't get excited. When you get excited or angry, your blood will surge up and it will speed up. The blood flow and toxins move faster in your body. Once you calm down, you may be able to survive for a few minutes. And I can talk to you slowly. Chin Feng changed his position on the body of the giant demon gorilla king, habitually crossing his legs, and his short and thin black legs dangled on the giant demon gorilla king's head. He seemed extraordinarily laid back and naughty. The giant demon gorilla king saw this, and was angry in his heart. He couldn't take a breath. His eyes rolled up, and he died. Chin Feng watched the heat in the body of the giant demon ape king disappear little by little, and couldn't help but shook his head with some regret. It's disappointing. I'm so unsatisfied that I'm going back to the west so soon. Alas, life is so difficult. The white tiger with a hanging forehead couldn't help but fell to the ground when he heard Chin Feng's words. While the glorious worker bees looked at their king with pride in their eyes, Chin Feng flew back to the hanging forehead white tiger and glanced at the glorious worker bees behind him. Clean up the battlefield. Bury all the corpses of the glorious worker bees. And let them rest in their graves. Yes. There were also tears in the eyes of the glorious worker bees although they would do it every time. What the king explained was different. There was a different feeling, as if their sacrifice was an honor. Then, Chin Feng looked at the hanging forehead white tiger who arrived next to him in time, with some gratitude and some doubts in his eyes. How did you find this place so accurately? The hanging forehead white tiger glanced at Chin Feng. Thanks to your glorious worker bees, you are really in tune with each other and they were able to find you accurately. However, when I arrived, I was still a step too late. Your troops suffered heavy losses, and you almost lost your life. Chin Feng looked at the hanging forehead white tiger, who was a little envious of him for having such a powerful subordinate. He laughed and waved his front foot. It's okay. It's okay. You came in time. If you hadn't arrived in time, I would have lost my life long ago. I am really grateful to you. Every time when I am in danger, you could arrive in time. The hanging forehead white tiger glanced at the somewhat sensational Chin Feng and couldn't help but shudder. I promise you that as long as you are in need, I will support you and help you unconditionally. I will not break my promise. The white tiger with hanging forehead paused. What are your plans next? Chin Feng was stunned for a moment and pondered for a while. Well, the mission has been completed. It's time to go to the Bloodthirst Hall to redeem the rewards and settle accounts with him. And after staying here for so long, it's time to return to the Blood Forest. The hanging forehead white tiger nodded. Today, the bloodthirsty hall is too powerful. It is not appropriate for you to confront them head-on now. You need to recharge your batteries and wait for the opportunity. 
if you don't take action, you will take them all down. Chin Fong looked at the hanging forehead white tiger with approval and raised his bee's feet to show his awesomeness. As I thought, when it's time to take action, I will definitely take action. Chin Fong paused and glanced at the hanging forehead white tiger. What about you? What to do next? The hanging forehead white tiger smiled. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I set your glory worker bee. And it's time for me to go back. If you still need my help, come to me again, and I will definitely help you. Then, he stood up gracefully and galloped away into the distance gracefully. Chin Fong looked at the retreating back of the white tiger with a hanging forehead, and there was a hint of complexity in his eyes. Although Chin Fong didn't know the purpose of the white tiger with a hanging forehead, why did it help him so much? But he knew that the white tiger with hanging forehead would not pose a threat to his life for the time being. By this time, the glorious worker bees had already cleared the battlefield. Chin Fong took a look at the forest, which had returned to calm and vibrant green. He could not tell that a fierce battle had just occurred here. Turning back and looking at the glorious worker bees, who were already prepared, they moved their front feet. Set off! Chin Feng's vibrating wings led the glorious worker bees to fly towards the bloodthirsty hall branch. Chapter 130 let him go. After Chin Fong killed the giant demon gorilla king and his men, he led a large number of glorious worker bees to the bloodthirsty hall branch to hand in the completed tasks and receive rewards. Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees forward in a mighty manner. Although the number of glorious worker bees was large, it did not affect the speed of forward movement at all. Flying, he arrived at the center of the monster beast. Chin Fong swung his front foot. The worker bees saw Chin Feng's gesture and stopped for an instant. Just like a car that braked. Chin Fong turned back and glanced at them. You guys need to rest here first. And I'll go to the monster center to investigate. Yes. The glorious worker bees landed on the leaves in an orderly manner and rested. While Chin Fong flew into the center of the monster with vibrating wings. Looking at Su Shi's unfamiliar sight. He couldn't help but feel a little emotional. In order to complete the mission this time. I really had a narrow escape. Chin Fong landed on a cave. He raised his head and looked at the bright sunshine. The dazzling sunlight hit Chin Feng's eyes. Chin Fong squinted his eyes and blocked the sunlight with his front feet. At this moment, a monster came out of the cave. Chin Fong took a closer look and saw that the outline of its back was familiar. He thought about it carefully in his mind. A flash of inspiration flashed through him, and he remembered the raging flame lion that had escaped. Chin Feng's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and he kept guessing in his heart. Since he was sent by the bloodthirsty hall to kill me, and he escaped from my hands, the news that the killing failed must have been spread by him. So the bloodthirsty hall issued a reward order for me to become the target of public criticism. Among the bloodthirsty hall, the only one who has a grudge against me and knows that I am the demon beast who went to complete the mission is Dianhu. Chin Feng's eyes were cold. You suddenly wanted to show your kindness to me. I knew you were not well-intentioned. I originally thought you just wanted to get the Ling Bao back. But I never thought you were so vicious that you actually put me to death. I will always settle this account with you. Of. Chin Fong looked at the crazy flame lion who had come out of the cave and walked towards the distance. He stopped the pace that he originally wanted to follow and kill him. If I go to kill him now, my whereabouts will be exposed. If I accidentally let him escape, he will go to the bloodthirsty hall to report the news. Then I will not get the resources, but it will also take a lot of effort. So let him survive for a while. If I meet him again next time, I will kill him. Chin Feng's eyes turned cold. He turned back and flew out of the monster center. The crazy flame lion seemed to feel something and turned back to look at his cave, only to feel a chill. It was as if I had just been wandering on the edge of life and death and was only one step away from entering the palace of hell. But he didn't see any monsters and he couldn't help but feel a little puzzled. Is it possible that the little black bee is still alive in this difficult situation surrounded by so many monsters? The crazy flame lion shook his head crazily. How is it possible? Even I can't guarantee to survive in that situation. Let alone a monster with a sixth level of spiritual martial arts. Even if he has men, he can't resist the attacks of all the monsters. What's more, if he survives, with his vengeful character, he will definitely come to me to settle the score. He lowered his head, looked at his healed body, puffed out his chest and chest, and continued to look like his proud self. There was no sense of frustration in not completing the task. Nor was he worried about losing his little friend. As for sadness, he always saw himself as a monster in his eyes. Chin Fong flew back to the team where the glorious worker bees were. 
It took a long time to calm down from the murderous intention caused by seeing the crazy flame lion. Move your front foot towards the glorious worker bees. Set off! The glorious worker bees looked at their king. Their faces gloomy and as cold as ice. They couldn't help but shrink their necks in fear and backed away. Not daring to ask what happened. There was no words all the way. And it didn't take long before we arrived at the branch of Bloodthirsty Hall. We completed the task within the stipulated time and arrived one day early. Perhaps the Bloodthirsty Hall was overconfident and gave them plenty of time. Chin Fong was actually quite grateful for their confidence so that he could give them a surprise. Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees back to the hive in the cliff cave to rest and prepare for tomorrow's battle. Chen Feng, who had not slept well in the past few days, was lying tiredly on the throne, holding the straw with his front feet, drinking the fresh royal jelly that had just been picked, humming a little tune in his mouth, feeling very comfortable inside. Time passed in minutes and seconds, and the night passed in peace, just like the calm before the storm. On this day, the sun rises in the east, and the sunshine is exceptionally bright. It is sometimes blocked by clouds, as if the sun and clouds in the sky are fighting, sometimes losing, sometimes winning. Chin Feng woke up from his sleepy state, rubbed his eyes with his front feet, and stretched again, but did not get up. He crossed his legs and hummed a tune, without any sense of nervousness about going to hand in the task. As if he had already, I forgot the important matter of handing in tasks and redeeming rewards. The glorious worker bees looked at their king's unhurried and leisurely attitude, and wanted to step forward to remind their king what day it was. He paced back and forth slowly, showing that the emperor was not in a hurry, but the eunuch was. Although the glorious worker bee was full of doubts, he rolled his eyes and thought about it. What kind of monster is our own king? He is our pride. He can turn defeat into victory in the face of many dangers. How could we forget how important today is? There must be other plans. The glorious worker bees felt relieved when they thought of this, and then lowered their heads and went about their work. Less than an hour before handing over the task, Chin Feng stood up from the throne and jumped down, looking at the glorious worker bees, who were all waiting for his orders. He grinned slightly. Come on! Give me my order and let's go! The eyes of the glorious worker bees shone with joy. Chin Li used the carrying function to carry most of the glorious worker bees to the bloodthirsty hall branch. Chin Feng flew forward slowly and leisurely all the way, and did not arrive at the bloodthirsty hall branch until the last moment of the mission. At this time, Diane who has been waiting here for a long time. And the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall are also looking into the distance and waiting. Diyin who was pacing in the cave, raising his head from time to time and looking into the distance. His heart was very complicated. And he didn't know whether he was looking forward to Chen Feng's arrival or hoping that he wouldn't be able to come on time. If he did not come, it might mean that he encountered other accidents and disappeared from this world. If he came, it means that he survived despite being surrounded. This fully illustrates that he couldn't help but admire his ability. But after all, he still looked forward to him disappearing from this world. The hand of time rotated quietly. And Yin who slowly stopped pacing, feeling relieved, he turned back and glanced at a lynx not far away, with a fierce light in his eyes. If you lie to me, I will tear you into pieces. Chapter 131 Return of the King 1 Chin Feng completed the mission and led the glorious worker bees back from the forest to the cave on the cliff in the ruins. They did not immediately redeem the rewards from the mission, but rested in the cave until the day of redemption. He rushed there immediately and led some of the glorious worker bees to set off until the last moment before redeeming the rewards. Di Yin Hu was anxiously waiting for Chen Feng's arrival at the bloodthirsty hall branch. Not far behind him, a monster stood respectfully. It was the lynx Qin Fei who escaped from Chen Feng. Qin Fei traveled day and night to find out the location of the bloodthirsty hall branch and came to report to Di Yin Hu. However, Diane Hu heard Qin Fei's narration and was doubtful. Diane Hu actually couldn't believe that Qin Feng could survive the encirclement and suppression of so many monsters. Moreover, according to Qin Fei's narration, there was a group of more powerful monsters. The beast looked at Qin Feng eagerly. Diane Hu looked into the distance. But there was no voice from Qin Feng. His heart jumped into his throat and returned to his stomach. He turned back, wanting to evacuate the bloodthirsty Tang monsters that were ambushing around and then settle the score with Qin Fei. At this moment, Qin Fei, who was standing far away from Dian Yifeng, was sweating from his nose and temples. He also knew the power of Bloodthirsty Hall, and was constantly worried in his heart. Little Black Bee obviously survived. How come he didn't come to redeem the mission reward? Could it be that he has given up on the reward this time? 
Impossible. With his character, he will definitely come. Could it be that on the way after I left? Another accident? This is impossible. He can kill such a powerful monster. How could he be delayed because of a small accident? Sheen Fei looked at Dianhu, who was about to give up waiting for the arrival of the little black bee. Shrunk his neck. And stepped forward bravely. Sir, there is still a little time. Why don't you wait a little longer? I saw with my own eyes that he survived the encirclement and suppression of many monsters and killed them. And I was there at the time. With this character, it will definitely come. Dian whose eyes widened. He exuded a fierce aura and looked at Qin Fei with a fierce look in his eyes. Okay, I will trust you again. If you lie to me again, you will be useless. Qin Fei secretly wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Thank you, sir, for giving me another chance. Dian who waved his claws, causing the monsters of the bloodthirsty hall to ambush again. At this moment, a buzzing sound sounded. Qin Fei's eyes flashed with surprise. And Dian who looked into the distance warily. I saw a small black dot in the distance. Moving slowly, from far to near. From the size of a sesame to the size of a peanut. Taking a closer look, it was Chen Feng. Chen Feng flew to a rock not far from Dianhu. And landed, with his legs crossed, his little wasp legs swaying. And they were particularly flat. Dianhu, are you surprised to see me? Do you really don't want to see me? Has this surprise for you turned into a shock? Dianhu's eyes narrowed. So what if it is? So what if it's not? Chin Feng looked at such a tyrannical Dianhu and smiled. He, without any trace of panic or nervousness in his eyes. It's not that good. I've already completed the task assigned to me by the Bloodthirsty Hall. I'm here to redeem the reward. But I think the task you gave me should be the most difficult level. The reward redeemed is shouldn't it be more than other tasks? Dianhu curled his lips and looked at Chin Feng contemptuously. Do you think you have come to our territory and you still have a chance to redeem the reward and leave here? The look in Chen Feng's eyes turned cold. Whether you can redeem the reward or whether you can leave is not your decision. Di Yanhu was so angry that his eyes were livid. I didn't expect you to be so arrogant and dare to say such things in the territory of other monsters. Chen Feng regained his playful expression. It's not the first day you met me. And it's not the first day I was so arrogant. Are you so surprised? Qin Fei looked at the two monster beasts that were facing each other tit for tat and snickered in his heart. At this time, the surroundings were a little too quiet. Chin Feng looked around and saw Qin Fei behind Dianhu at a glance. Hey, I was just looking for you, but I didn't expect you to come here. It seems that you told him that I was alive. Hearing Chin Feng's words, Qin Fei thought of the massacre again and couldn't help but shiver. Feeling chilled in his heart, Dianhu glanced at Qin Fei and didn't care. Chin Feng paused, and before Qin Fei could reply, he turned back to look at Dianhu. There must be a lot of monsters ambushing around here. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so quiet. Let them all come out. It would be tiring to ambush them. Dianhu looked at such smart diligence. A trace of murderous intent flashed in his eyes and immediately returned to normal. Now that he has spoken, come out. As soon as Dianhu finished speaking, all the monsters lying in ambush around him came out calmly. Dianhu's eyes were fixed on Chinfen, wanting to see his expression when facing these monster beasts surrounding him. However, he did not see the result he wanted. Chen Feng's face was full of innocence. And there was also some confidence in his innocence. Qin Fei looked at his expression and screamed secretly. He knew that Chen Feng would not fight an unprepared battle. Qin Fei looked around and saw that there were no monsters around. But there was always an ominous premonition lingering in his heart. He, he constantly has to be vigilant to prevent emergencies and situations from happening. Di Yanhu frowned feeling something was wrong and couldn't help but think. Is it possible that he wants to fight all the monsters here with his own strength? Why is he not afraid at all, but still feels a little confident? What is going on? Chin Feng shrugged indifferently and stretched. There are so many monsters. You really think highly of me. You actually sent out such a large force for a small spirit mirror monster. This makes me feel so embarrassed. Diana couldn't help but gnashed his teeth when he looked at such a shameless little black bee. It was as if the skills you fired with all your strength were penetrated into the cotton. No matter what tricks you used, he could take advantage of them, which couldn't help but make Dian Hu feel powerless. Chin Feng yawned. Are you really not going to redeem me for the mission reward? Are you really not regretting it? Dian Hu said nothing, but his resolute attitude was that he would definitely not exchange the mission reward for Chin Feng. Chin Feng glanced at Dian Hu. Okay, then I have no choice but to use force. 
Wen Yan who heard what Chen Feng said. He looked at Chen Feng warily. Chen Feng looked a little amused at the vigilant Di Yanhu and yawned again. Come out! I saw radiant worker bees suddenly appearing all around, filling the originally empty space. Di Yanhu was dumbfounded and stood aside in a daze. Qin Fei flinched. He knew that Chen Feng must have a conspiracy, but he didn't expect that he was waiting here. Chapter 132 Return of the King 2 Dianhu was ambushing many monsters around the cave, so he couldn't help but refuse to exchange the mission reward for Chen Feng, and was also preparing to kill Chen Feng here. But he never thought that Chen Feng would bring so many glorious worker bees. For a moment, he couldn't react. Chen Feng looked at Dianhu, who was standing aside blankly, and couldn't help but snicker. Are you surprised or surprised? How about I give you another gift? Di Yanhu's mind went blank, and he responded to Chen Feng stupidly. What gift? It wasn't until Di Yanhu answered that he realized why he had to follow his answer. He couldn't help but feel annoyed. It was to show his weakness, and to cover up the embarrassing situation just now. Di Yanhu popped out his chest and chest, and glanced at Chen Feng contemptuously. Chen Feng looked at Di Yanhu, who was desperate to save face and suffered, and covered his mouth with his front foot to hide the smile at the corner of his mouth and then cleared his throat. You can look outside the cave. I have surrounded your bloodthirsty hall branch. It turned out that when Chen Feng arrived at the bloodthirsty hall branch, he sent a group of Guangyao Gong Feng to surround the bloodthirsty hall so hard that not even a fly could let them fly out. Just to prevent Dian Hu from cheating and speaking. Counting. If Dian Hu kept his word and redeemed the mission rewards directly, these glorious worker bees would not surface to threaten them. When Dian Hu heard Chen Kuan's words, he almost fell to the ground. Little black bee, I didn't expect you to be so insidious and cunning. You would actually threaten me like this. Chin Feng curled his lips. I am cunning? No matter how cunning I am, how can you be as cunning as you? It was agreed at the beginning that as long as I complete the task, I will be rewarded. But now, you are thinking that I am easy to fool and bully. Right. You are taking advantage of me becoming a free labor force. Right. Or do you think I will stay in that forest forever? So you will deduct my mission reward? Chin Feng became more and more angry as he spoke. A cold light suddenly appeared in his eyes, and the temperature around him dropped. This not only made the glory worker bees and other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall around Chin Feng shiver. Di Yanhu was speechless and couldn't help but regret having offended Chin Feng, the god of plague. Although what Chin Feng said was exactly what Di Yanhu thought, Di Yanhu did not dare to admit it. If he admitted it, he would be a slap in the face. Chin Feng looked at Di Yanhu who was silent. Why didn't you say anything? Did you feel guilty or wrong by what I said? Now you see what to do. Dianhu looked at the glorious worker bees around him, and then at the crowd of bees outside the cave. He knew that if they fought at this time, it would be the bloodthirsty Hall who would lose. Maybe then, it would not be for Chen Feng, Ling Bao, but plundered all the Ling Bao. I just feel like I can't take a breath and feel uncomfortable. Finally, he sighed slowly and could only swallow the secret loss. Hey, I admit defeat and I will redeem the mission reward for you. Give me the mission list. Chin Feng stretched his waist. Isn't that right? If I had known this, why did I do it in the first place? If you had done this earlier, I wouldn't have threatened you with force. Isn't it good for everyone to be harmonious? Then, he slowly took out the task list and handed it into Dianhu's claws. Dianhu took the task order. Lai Hu, redeem him for a reward. Dianhu paused and looked at Chin Feng's unkind eyes. You must look carefully and don't miss anything. Chin Feng returned to his smiling appearance. And suddenly, he saw Qin Fei huddled in the corner behind Di Yanhu. Di Yanhu, how about I lend it to the person behind you? Di Yanhu looked at Chin Feng's resolute attitude and knew that he couldn't do it without friendship. But after all, the monster came to seek refuge with him. If he did this at this time, it would definitely chill the hearts of other monsters who took refuge in him. Blood Hall is not good. It turned out that his poor performance last time had already made the elders and master of the bloodthirsty hall dissatisfied. Can I change it? Chin Feng shook his head. What do you think? Why don't I help you analyze it? I estimate that this lynx has just taken refuge with you and has not really surrendered to the bloodthirsty hall. Before that, he had also taken refuge with others and was good at tricks and conspiracy. Why should you? Don't you think it's not worth it to ruin the future of the teacher academy for this kind of monster? Di Yanhu thought for a while and felt that Chin Feng was right. Then he falls into your hands. What are you going to do? Chin Feng's eyes were cold. I don't need to tell you what I'm going to do. But since you want to know, I might as well tell you. Of course, I will cut the monster into pieces if it offends me.
but I will leave it intact. Corpse. When Qin Fei heard Qin Feng's words, he became even more frightened. Di Yanhu sighed, glanced at Qin Fei, and closed his eyes. I pondered for a long time and thought to myself, after all, it is an insignificant monster. There is no point in turning against the little black bee now because of this nameless little monster. Qin Fei always stared at Di Yanhu's expression. Looking at the constantly changing expressions, Qin Fei was sometimes nervous, sometimes scared, and sometimes happy. At the last moment, Qin Fei knew that Dian Hu was going to hand him over, and he couldn't help but feel a secret hatred in his heart. He gritted his teeth and looked at Qin Feng, his eyes filled with hatred. The moment Dian Hu opened his eyes, he made a decision and glanced at Qin Fei. Qin Fei, you can go with peace of mind. The Bloodthirsty Hall will remember your kindness and make you a hero in the Bloodthirsty Hall. Turning back to look at Chen Feng, he gave orders to the other monsters in the Bloodthirsty Hall. Come on! Get him for me! Yes! All the monster beasts rushed towards Qin Fei and surrounded him. Qin Fei looked at the monsters around him, and with a cruel heart, he planned to release his skills. Chen Feng had dealt with Qin Fei so many times and knew what he had in mind. Teleport! He directly used teleportation skills to teleport in front of Qin Fei. The earth groans. Then, he used thunder to attack Anesthesia. Although Qin Fei knew the power of Chen Feng's skills, he still couldn't avoid it. The Anesthesia in the body has lost its ability to resist. The poison of innocence. Chen Feng watched Qin Fei lose the power to resist and slid the poisonous needle on his face, leaving a bloody mark. After that, he threw him to the glorious worker be behind him. He glanced at the monster beast surrounding Qin Fei with some contempt, then turned back to look at Dian Hu and gave him a haha. -ha. This Lynx has many tricks and tricks. So I'd better do it myself. Qin Feng glanced at Qin Fei again. At this time, Qin Fei had recovered from the thunder's anesthesia. And Qin Feng unleashed the thunder attack on Qin Fei. He gave the order to the glorious worker bees. As long as he wants to escape, show me your poisonous needle. If he wants to escape, just stab him. It will be fine if he dies. I won't blame you. Yes. Qin Fei looked at Dian Hu whose face was ashen at this time, raised his eyebrows, and smiled very thinly. Chapter 133, said within a set, Qin Feng came to the branch of Bloodthirsty Hall to redeem the mission reward. Under the coercion of force, Di Yin Hu temporarily compromised and exchanged the mission reward for Qin Feng. At the same time, he also handed over Qin Fei to Qin Feng. Qin Feng looked at Qin Fei who was trying to escape among the monsters of the Bloodthirsty Hall, and directly captured him himself. He also gave an order to the Guangyu worker bee, as long as Qin Fei escapes, he will be stabbed with a needle. At this time, the monsters from the Bloodthirsty Hall took the task list and brought out many spiritual treasures, and presented them to Qin Feng one by one. Qin Feng glanced at them and exchanged all these spiritual treasures for elixirs. Di Yanhu glanced at the unreasonable Qin Feng, gritting his teeth and hating in his heart. Little black bee, I remember today's shame. You must not fall into my hands in the future. Otherwise I will skin you, convulse you, and cut you into pieces. Chin Feng glanced at the bloodthirsty hall monsters who were not moving, then turned back and looked at Dian Hu again. Isn't it possible? Di Yin Hu glared at the bloodthirsty halls who were still stunned. Why don't you go quickly? What are you doing here? Are you waiting for me to get it? The monsters in the bloodthirsty hall shrank and shrank their necks when they saw Dian Hu's angry look. Yes. Then, he took the Ling Bao down. At this time, a monster walked tremblingly in front of Dian Hu. Report. Sir, the last mission is missing a pair of horns as proof. Dian Hu glanced at Chen Feng. Little black bee, this is the rule of our bloodthirsty hall after all. Please show us your horns so that we can give you all the rewards. Chen Feng sat on the big rock, with his legs crossed, and glanced at Qin Fei from time to time. After hearing Dian Hu's words, Chen Feng rolled his eyes and thought about it. Qin Fei, who was caught on the side, saw Chen Feng's with a cunning smile on his lips. He knew that Chen Feng must be holding back some bad ideas. Horns? What horns? What is the last mission? What rewards can be redeemed? Di Yin Hu looked at Chen Feng doubtfully. Don't tell me. You don't know what the last mission is? Chen Feng's front foot kept tapping the big stone he was sitting on. Do I have to know? Besides, it's been a long time and I've forgotten a little bit. Why don't you come and tell me? Di Yan Hu glanced at Chen Feng angrily, and his heart was beating a little, thinking to himself, Is it possible that he really forgot? Then I have to get back in the game, he said unwillingly. 
The last task is the key to completing all tasks. If you don't complete the last task, the previous tasks will be completed. But you will not get any rewards. Chen Feng pretended to be solemn on his face. Oh, is it so serious? What is the last mission? What is the mission reward? Dian Hu glanced at Chen Feng arrogantly, as if he was a head taller than Chen Feng at this time. The last task is to kill the bloodthirsty demon cow in the sixth level of Diwu and retrieve a pair of horns on his head. With your strength, it is a bit reluctant to kill the bloodthirsty demon cow again. So the mission reward is a small piece of high-level spiritual veins. Dian Hu would never admit that he just wanted to make Chen Feng angry and covet Chen Feng. So he showed off his high-level spiritual veins. Chen Feng's eyes lit up, then dimmed again. Dian Hu saw Chen Feng's expression and laughed wildly in his heart. If he hadn't been holding it in, his stomach would have cramped. Although you are actually very strong, you should also abide by the rules of the Bloodthirsty Hall. If you cannot hand over your pair of horns, you will not get all the mission rewards. Chen Feng glanced at Dian Hu sadly. Can't you really get all the rewards if you haven't completed the last mission? Is the last mission really a small section of high-level spiritual veins? How big is that small section of high-level spiritual veins? Dian Hu nodded proudly, and then compared it again. Chen Feng roughly knew how big this high-level spiritual vein was. Chen Feng pretended not to believe it again. Do you really have high-level spiritual veins here? Are you lying to me? In order to save his face, Dian Hu, the demonic beast from the bloodthirsty hall waved their front paws. They understood. After a while, they took out a sealed box and handed it to Dian Hu. Diana's eyes became even more smug, and he slowly opened the box. Before he saw the spiritual vein, a strong spiritual energy spurted out, making the monsters present feel comfortable all over. You can tell from the feeling that this is a small piece of high-level spiritual veins. Before the monsters could see the spiritual veins clearly, Diane who closed the box with a snap. Chen Feng nodded with satisfaction. Teleport. In an instant, he arrived in front of the fiery tiger. The earth groans. Dian who felt his body was anesthetized and lost all strength. He could not even hold the box containing the spiritual veins. Chen Feng hugged the box with his six B feet, used his teleportation skills, and returned to the original place. When Diane who reacted, he felt that the tiger's claws were empty. And when he saw Chen Feng holding the box on the stone, he couldn't help but be furious. Little Black Bee, is it possible that you want to snatch him away? Don't forget, our bloodthirsty hall is not a vegetarian. If you really want to snatch him away, we will definitely fight to the death. And you will definitely not be able to get a favor by then. Chen Feng slowly looked at the furious Di Yanhu. So what if you grab it? So what if you don't grab it? Besides, didn't you say that I can get high-level spiritual veins? Doesn't this belong to me in the first place? Dian Hu's face turned clear, white, and red. The premise is that you can kill the bloodthirsty demon cow and take out a pair of horns. Chen Feng narrowed his eyes slightly and grinned at Dian Hu. From the back of the big stone, he secretly took out a pair of horns that were many times larger than himself. Dian Hu was really dumbfounded now, feeling full of regret. It's over now. How can you show off your high-level spiritual veins? This time, it was Chen Feng's turn to be proud. How's it going? Is this it? Dian Hu's eyes tightened, and he looked at Chen Feng pretending to be calm, with a slight tremor in his voice. We won't know until we test it. Chen Feng didn't care, and threw the pair of horns to Dian Hu. Not long after, his men came back and whispered in his ears. Chen Feng knew the outcome by looking at Dian Hu's face. Come on! Give me other mission rewards. You are the leader monster in charge of the Bloodthirsty Hall branch. With so many eyes watching and ears listening, you shouldn't be able to keep your words. After all, if it is thrown out, it is like water that is thrown out and cannot be recovered. Dian Hu hung his head dejectedly and signaled with his eyes, asking his men to hand over all the mission rewards to Chen Feng. Not long after, all the elixirs were handed into the feet of the glorious worker bees. Chen Feng counted them and found that he was quite satisfied with the results. Chen Feng looked at the elixir in his hand, and his wild laughter spread throughout the cave of the Bloodthirst Hall, and then followed the air and reached the ears of the monsters in the Bloodthirst Hall. Chapter 134 Life is like a play. In order to save his face, Dian Hu showed off the only high-level spiritual vein in the Bloodthirsty Hall in front of Chen Feng. Unexpectedly, he fell into Chen Feng's conspiracy and lost not only his spiritual vein, but also a whole body. Approval of elixirs. Chin Feng got the spiritual veins and elixir he wanted. It was difficult to conceal Ren Shi's inner joy. Wild laughter rang out in the cave. He glanced at Dian Hu sarcastically. 
Life is really like a play. It all depends on acting. Then, Chen Feng slowly stood up and led all the glorious worker bees away. In an instant, he quickly evacuated the bloodthirsty hall branch. Dian Hu looked at Chen Feng's retreating figure and collapsed on the ground. The surrounding bloodthirsty hall monsters hurried forward to help him. As a result, before they could help him up, Dian Hu spurted out a mouthful of blood and fell unconscious. The monsters in the bloodthirsty hall panicked and hurriedly moved Dian Hu to the stone bed inside the cave. Each elixir was fed into his mouth for free. After a long time, Dian Hu slowly opened his eyes from his drowsiness. Looking at the top of the cave in a daze, his was slightly depressed. But he was constantly calculating in his heart. The loss this time is so great. How can I report it to the bloodthirsty hall without being punished? Dian Hu's eyes were hollow. And his body had a strong murderous aura. You could even hear the sound of his teeth gnashing in the quiet cave. Little Black Bee, if you play tricks on me like this, I will never let you go. Let's wait and see. Sooner or later, you will fall into my hands. When the time comes, I will make it impossible for you to live or die. Looking at the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall. Give me the order to call back all the bloodthirsty hall demonic beasts from all over the place to search for the little black bee's lair. Even if it takes a lot of trouble, you must find him for me. Once you find it, report it to me. Yes, sir. The demon beasts of the bloodthirsty hall received the order, went down to prepare, and acted quickly and methodically. And a bee hunting journey began. At this time, Jin Feng led a large number of glorious worker bees back home with a full load. Along the way, as long as the captured Qin Fei had the idea of escape, Chen Feng would release a thunder attack so that he could not escape. When he had no strength left to struggle anymore, Qin Fei knew that he had no hope of escape. He looked at the sky silently, feeling the dizziness in his mind. He knew that the toxin in Chen Feng's tail needle had already taken effect. Chen Feng looked at Qin Fei, who was drooping his head feebly, and laughed sarcastically. Why? Why don't you run away? You have enough strength. Just keep getting up and running. Qin Fei's eyes widened angrily, and he stared at Chin Feng fiercely. Chin Feng covered his mouth and snickered, knowing that its toxin was taking effect. As for why it lasted so long before the attack occurred, maybe it was because I was merciless, or maybe it was the lynx's own antibodies. In the face of death, no one could face it calmly. Qin Fei's face wrinkled into the shape of a bitter melon. Little black bee, can't you let me go? In fact, we have no grievances or grudges. Instead, you stole the spiritual treasure I worked so hard for and want to kill me. Don't you think are you guilty? Your bee feet have been stained with the blood of monsters. Aren't you afraid of having nightmares in the middle of the night? Do you dream that they come to you? Chin Feng's eyes were in a trance. With a touch of sadness. This is natural selection and survival of the fittest. Besides, who said we have no hatred? Don't forget who shouted those words at the flaming mountain pass. Making me an important target of attack. This is doomed. You and I cannot be friends. We will definitely fight to the death. Chin Fei sighed, knowing that he could not escape. Gradually, his head became more and more dizzy. His vision became dark. And his breathing became more and more rapid. Then, a feeling of sleepiness hit his heart. Chin Fei stopped struggling and let himself go. That feeling enveloped my whole body. Chin Fei tried his best to open his eyes, looked into the distance, and took one last look at the blue sky. Then he gradually closed his eyes, tilted his head, and the heat in his body gradually disappeared. Chin Feng looked at Chin Fei's last struggle with deep meaning in his eyes. He didn't know what Chin Fei was thinking at the last moment of his life. And he didn't know if he was afraid at that moment. What he knew was that if he fell even if he falls into Chin Fei's clutches, Chin Fei will not let him go. Chin Feng stopped looking at Chin Fei and signaled with his eyes, ordering the glorious worker bees to put him down and let him return to his hometown. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees and returned to the hive on the cliff soon. Chin Feng couldn't wait to let the glorious worker bees pile all their elixirs in front of him, especially the high-level spiritual vein. Chin Feng picked out some of the elixirs that were useful to him. Huh? Chin Feng saw two palm-sized Xiantian nine lotuses on the outermost side of these elixirs, and his heart was filled with joy. I didn't expect that bloodthirsty hall would have such a deep accumulation. It's exactly what I need. Before, Chin Feng simply glanced at it without really looking at it seriously. After Chin Feng looked at it like this, the two Xiantian nine lotuses hidden in the elixir surfaced. Maybe the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall didn't know how precious this elixir was. Or maybe it was a mistake that gave Chin Feng such a big gift. System, I want to use this Xiantian nine lotus. Ding! 
using the god level high grade elixir. She and Dion 9 Lotus succeeded. Hive plunder plus 1. Hive toxicity plus 1. The current integrity of the hive is 100%. Do you want to upgrade now? Upgrade. Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The estimated time is one day. Please pay attention to the host. Time flew by minute by minute. And the day passed in the blink of an eye. Chen Feng, who was leisurely drinking royal jelly in the hive, did not know that the ruins had been turned upside down. Ding! The hive has been upgraded successfully. The current hive level is level 29. Three Yuan Yuan pills will be rewarded, and three healing pills will be rewarded. Chin Feng couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. Hive level, 29. The host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items that need to be upgraded. Xian Tian Julian. Number of worker bees. Transfer cooling time is 15 hours. Hive plunder, 6 out of 10. Plunder the opponent's bloodline. Looking at the elixir needed to upgrade the hive. Chin Feng couldn't help but wailed in his heart. How can it be like this? My appetite is getting bigger and bigger. And I am addicted to swallowing the Xiantian 9 Lotus. How can I do this? Chin Feng watched the matter come to an end. And it was time to leave the ruins and return to the blood forest. The main hive is still there. But I don't know what happened to it. Chapter 135 Empty Nest Seeing the monsters around him that were hostile to him being eliminated step by step. Chin Feng felt that the crisis around him had almost been resolved. However, Chin Feng did not know that the strongman he killed was the son of an elder of the Demon King's palace. Chin Feng, who thought he had escaped the biggest crisis, did not know that a more terrifying crisis was quietly coming. Chin Feng returned to the hive on the cliff and upgraded the hive using the reward exchanged from the bloodthirsty hall Xiantian Nine Lotus. Chin Feng thought in his heart as he looked at the last Xiantian Nine Lotus in his hand, touched its petals, and stuffed it into the water drop space. I have to keep the Xiantian Nine Lotus. I can't fatten the hive. By then, I won't be able to afford this hive anymore. Chin Feng looked at his glorious worker bees and then around the hive. He suddenly felt a little emotional and felt that it was time to leave here. However, before leaving, there are still many things that need to be done and improving one's strength is the most important thing. Chin Feng distributed most of the remaining elixirs to the glorious worker bees to increase their strength. He took out a lot of Xuanya Ziajintan and Tianai Sanchikeo from someone's space and crazily stuffed them into his mouth one by one until the attribute panel stopped improving. System. I want to upgrade. Ding. The host has successfully upgraded. Please pay attention to the host. I saw the beehive moving, and all the spiritual energy in the world rushed into Chin Feng's body. Even the high-level spiritual veins in the box were about to move, as if they were about to break out of the box. Chin Feng only felt a tearing pain, washing all over his body, Chen Feng enjoyed the wonderful feeling of increased strength. When everything returned to calm, Chen Feng clicked on the attributes panel. Host, Chen Feng. Lin Wu Eightfold Mirror, 1 slash asterisk 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 asterisk. Teleportation, third level, anywhere within 100 meters of the host's body. Invisibility, limited by level. Time limit is 4 minutes. Secret technique, poison of the void, third level, after using the venom. Honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. The attack poison is enhanced by 22%, and the hit damage is reduced by 22%. After the hive was upgraded, Chen Feng decided to search for the spiritual treasures and elixirs from the monsters. Having made up his mind, Chen Feng immediately dispatched the glory worker bees to plunder the spiritual treasures and elixirs. Wherever he passed, there was a lot of noise. Because of the loud noise, he searched the ruins for the monsters in Chen Feng's bloodthirsty hall. The bees immediately found where Chen Feng was. Then, he reported it to Di Yenhu. After hearing the report from his subordinates, Di Yenhu was overjoyed and immediately led the monsters of the bloodthirsty hall to encircle and suppress Chen Feng. When I came to the edge of the cliff, looking at such a familiar cliff, I couldn't help but think of the scene of chasing Chen Feng. Di Yenhu looked under the high cliff that towered into the clouds and found that the clouds and mist had dissipated, but the bottom was still bottomless. He wondered if it was the same place as before. Then he thought about it and found that there were only yellow sand and forests. Volcanoes. And this cliff are the only scenery. Diane had turned around and looked back, finding the monster in this place. Is this here? The coquettish tiger came forward obsequiously and raised its claws. Yes. My lord. Diane had looked at the bottomless cliff again. Come on. Find a way for me to get down. After deliberation for a long time, we figured out that climbing down was the only way. When he reached the edge of the cliff, 
facing such a high cliff. Diane who couldn't help but feel his legs trembling and becoming weak. Then, he thought that if he went down first, he would definitely be attacked by the little black bee. And he would suffer a loss then. Still myself, Diane who rolled his eyes, took a look at the monsters behind him, and randomly selected two. You, you, get down. The two monster beasts retreated simultaneously, looking at Diane's sharp eyes. They couldn't help but be in a dilemma. If they went down, they would die. If they didn't go down, they would die. Simply, take a gamble. Maybe there would be a chance of survival if you go down. The two monsters tremblingly walked to the edge of the cliff, moving step by step. Diane had looked at the two monster beasts grinding away, with anger burning in his eyes. Trash, you are really worthless. Get down quickly. Don't let me kick you down. The two monsters could only bite the bullet and climb bit by bit from the cliff to the cave where Chin Fong was. From time to time, a few small stones would fall to the bottom of the cliff from their climbing steps, causing countless echoes, like circles of ripples echoing. They were so frightened that they almost fell off the cliff. After a long time, they successfully arrived at the cave, with the two monster beasts exploring the way. Diane had led many monster beasts behind and followed him down. Originally, he wanted to wait for the two monster beasts to finish exploring the way. However, Dian who wanted to find Chin Fong as soon as possible, surround him, and ask for his elixirs and high-level spiritual veins back. Diana glanced at the two monsters who were cowering aside, their legs still trembling. You are really useless. You can't do anything right. You won't have anything left after eating anything. What use do you have? He snorted coldly and continued to walk forward. After walking a short distance, he could see a huge hive, but the surroundings were surprisingly quiet. There was no buzzing sound of the glorious worker bees, and there were no small black bees. The sound made Diane who have a bad premonition in his heart. He immediately stepped forward and knocked the huge honeycomb to the ground with one palm of his palm. Due to the excessive force, the honeycomb was cut into pieces. Diane who really didn't expect that after receiving the news from his subordinates. He rushed over. But the nest was empty. Not even a bee shadow or bee scum was left. Diane who roared angrily and looked at his men with a fierce look. Where's the bee? All the demonic beasts in the bloodthirsty hall shrank and prostrated on the ground not daring to speak. Some monsters even slowly retreated. But if we retreat, we can only retreat to the edge of the cliff. At this time, Chin Fong brought many glory worker bees to surround the cave. The bloodthirsty hall monster standing on the edge of the cave immediately went to report to Dianhu. After hearing the news, Dianhu's head buzzed and he screamed secretly. He immediately ran to the entrance of the cave and looked at Chin Fong in front of him. With blood flowing out of anger, Little Black Bee, you are plotting against me again! Chin Fong shook his head, and then shook his front foot. Who is as powerful as you? Who gets hit every time? In fact, I have discovered a long time ago that you sent spies to check my lair. I just used the trick and lured you here. In fact, it is not my fault. Who made you so angry? You want to come to me? Monsters lose their minds when they are impulsive. And that's the case with you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have deceived you so easily. On the cliff, a battle between life and death begins. Chapter 136 Be Confident Chin Fong snatched the spirit treasure, and the demon beast sent by Dianhu to search for Chin Fong found their lair. So they reported it to Dianhu. Without any delay, Dianhu immediately led all the demon beasts in the bloodthirsty hall to surround Chin Fong. When he arrived at Chin Feng's lair, he didn't expect to fall into a trap. The Dianhu flew to the edge of the cave entrance. Looking outside the cave, Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees to surround the cave. Anger and annoyance intertwined in his heart. Little Black Bee, you are really cunning. Don't think I can't kill you like this. Chin Fong looked at Dianhu and rolled his eyes. Who told you not to understand the strategy? And no matter where I am, there are many monsters like you said this. However, I am still living here well. And those who said these words have entered palace of the King of Hell, reported to the King of Hell. No one was spared. Do you think you can survive? Hearing what Chin Fong said, Dianhu screamed angrily. If it weren't for the cliff in front of him, he would have slapped it. Little Black Bee, if you have the ability, come here and fight me for 300 rounds, hiding in the distance and constantly taunting me. What kind of ability is that? Chin Fong rolled his eyes, with a smile on his lips, looking at Dianhu treacherously. I won't go there. I won't go there. If you can, come here and beat me. Dianhu could only look at Chin Feng's expression, and could do nothing to him. 
he could only sulk silently and blow out bursts of hot air from his nostrils. Chin Fong looked at the slowly moving sun in the sky, put away the smile on his lips, and became less playful. It's almost time. Come on. Let's decide the winner quickly. I still have things to do. I don't have time to delay here with you. Wendy Yen Hu heard his words. His eyes widened angrily. And he vomited another mouthful of blood. Gradually, the thick breath coming out of his nostrils became thicker and thicker. Little Black Bee, it's not that we don't decide the outcome. You can see that you are so far away from me. How can we fight? Chen Feng smiled at Dianu. It's so far away. It's up to you how to fight. I'm not your military advisor. How can I give you advice? Don't forget that we are mortal enemies. If you don't take action or fight with me, I will. Dianu couldn't help but fell down, thinking to himself. How can this little black bee be so shameless? Isn't it possible that he doesn't feel ashamed? Doesn't he feel at all that it is shameful to do so? He didn't want to ask this. And if he did, he would be asking for trouble. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit me! Come on! Fight me! As soon as Dianhu said it, he felt that something was wrong with his words. Why did these words sound so much like what the little black bee said? He couldn't help but feel annoyed and felt that he had been led astray. When Chen Feng heard these words of Dianhu, the expression on his face became more and more strange, as if he was holding back laughter. Finally, he couldn't help it anymore, and he laughed in the air. He smiled and laughed. Chen Feng forgot that this was in the air. His body gradually lost strength, and he suddenly fell from the air to the bottom of the cliff. Dianhu looked at Chen Feng who suddenly disappeared and was stunned for several seconds. Then, a strange smile appeared on his face, and he thought to himself, this is to say that God can forgive you for doing evil. But you can't live for yourself. You don't want to fight hard. But you plan on me and laugh at me. Now there is no way. Just fall. I hope you will fall to the bottom and never come back again. Can't come down. The glory worker bees looked at Chin Feng who suddenly disappeared from the sky. They panicked inside, but pretended to be calm on the surface. They kept buzzing and looked down the cliff. Some of the glory worker bees even swooped down and went look for traces of Chin Feng. At this time, Chen Feng, who had fallen, felt the wind blowing on both sides and the dizziness on his head, and then realized that he had fallen. He quickly turned over in the air and controlled the speed of his fall. The vibrating wings flew upward. Chen Feng flew upwards and met the glorious worker bees who were looking for him. There was no blush on Chen Feng's face, but he did feel a little embarrassed inside. Perhaps I am the only one who can do such a powerful and explosive thing. I am the only bee in the world who fell off a cliff because of laughter. Another thought. It's not worth saying that I died because I fell off a cliff. Chin Feng stroked his forehead, looked at the glorious worker bees in front of him, and couldn't help but think about. However, with how much they admire me, this matter may make the glorious worker be proud for the rest of his life. The Guangya worker bees looked at Chin Feng who was in a daze and confusion. Chin Feng may have noticed their strange looks. So he cleared his throat, signaled with his eyes and folded his vibrating wings back to their original positions. It didn't take long for him to appear in front of Dianhu. In order to save his image, Chin Feng glanced at Dianhu proudly. Are you surprised and disappointed to see that I'm fine? I was just joking with you. Don't take it seriously. Dianhu looked at the real and fake Chin Feng in front of him, and didn't know which words to believe, and he didn't bother to talk nonsense with him. So he simply stopped worrying. Rock blast. I saw the earth rock tiger stomping its front feet. The cave trembled, and countless stones fell from the rock wall in the cave. Then, huge cone-shaped stones were formed from many stones. Diana roared, and the stones rushed towards Chin Feng and the Guangyi worker B. Chin Feng looked at the Dianhu who suddenly attacked them. Hey, strike first. That's useless. You don't have the advantage at all. Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to take advantage of the air, and kept dodging without even thinking about it. Chin Feng took another look at the glorious worker bees behind him and the content system transmitted the battle plan. Chin Feng swung his front foot and led a group of glory worker bees to swoop down. Teleport! Chin Feng disappeared in an instant. But the glory worker bees still rushed towards the bloodthirsty hall monsters in an orderly manner. Di Yen who looked at Chin Feng who had disappeared and knew that he was using his movement skills to attack him. He raised his ears and looked around warily. His eyes kept turning and looking around to prevent Chin Feng from suddenly coming and being unable to avoid him and was struck. In the past, he saw many monsters who were enemies of him died under the combo of his skills. So he was extra cautious. 
after being on guard for a long time. But before Chen Feng's skills arrived, Di Yinhu was filled with doubts. Huh? Where is the little black bee? Aren't you going to attack me? Why is there no shadow of the bee at this moment? Is it possible that he is scared and is scared by me? It's impossible. With his character, he will never be like this. Just when I thought of this, I heard a series of strange sounds not far behind me, accompanied by screams, constantly echoing in the cave. Diana turned around curiously and saw seven or eight of the bloodthirsty hall monsters falling to the ground. They had a lot of energy near their eyes and a little energy coming out. Chapter 137 Gaining a Sense of Presence Chin Fong led the Guangyi worker bees to surround the monsters of the bloodthirsty hall brought by Dian Hu, and used the system to tell the Guangyi worker bees his battle plan. Chin Fong divided the glory worker bees into three groups. Chin Fong led the first group to attack the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall. The other two groups of glory worker bees stayed behind. Chin Fong led the first group of glory worker bees to charge. Under this, the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall kept falling down. Chin Feng used teleportation skills, but Diane Hu was not attacked. What's going on? It turned out that when Chin Feng used the teleportation skill, he did not attack Diane Hu, who was always vigilant, but teleported behind Diane Hu. The earth groans. When a group of monsters saw him and had no time to alert other monsters, Chin Feng used thunder attacks to numb them. Xian Tian has no way. All the demonic beasts in the bloodthirsty hall felt their whole bodies lose strength due to anesthesia. Then, the sword blades rushed towards the unable to move. The screams of the demonic beasts in the bloodthirsty hall resounded continuously in the cave. Then, along with the screams and thumping sounds seemed to add wonderful notes to it. The poison of the void! Chin Feng didn't stop for a moment. The poisonous needle on his tail flashed with cold light, and he went straight to the monster beast closest to him. The monster's pupils kept dilating, and it forgot to dodge. All it heard was a puff sound, and the poisonous needle accurately pierced his head. Chin Feng succeeded and rushed towards another monster beside him. At this time, the other monster was already on guard. Countless demonic beasts from the bloodthirsty hall kept falling down in the cave. Blood splattered and dyed the cliff above the cave red. And the system's voice kept ringing in Chin Feng's mind. Ding! The host successfully killed the second level mirror monster of Diwu and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Ding! At this time, Tian Hu saw that Chin Feng who had killed many monsters in the bloodthirsty hall in the blink of an eye, was so neglectful of him that he did not attack him, but instead attacked the monsters behind him, without even giving him a look. Dianhu suddenly felt that he had lost his sense of existence. He roared and rushed towards Chin Feng. Chin Feng heard the roar and glanced at Dianhu, who was rushing over. He changed his attack on the monster and ignored it. Yan Hu turned around and pointed his butt and butt towards Yan Hu. When Dianhu saw Chin Feng being so sarcastic about him, he couldn't help but speed up his charge towards Chin Feng. The monsters on both sides quickly made way to make it easier for Di Yanhu to kill Chin Feng. At the moment when Di Yanhu was about to touch Chin Feng, Chin Feng patted his butt and butt and used teleportation skills to leave the place and return to his original place outside the cave. The first group of glorious worker bees killed some of the bloodthirsty hall monsters, saw their king, and returned to the team. Then, in a daze of the bloodthirsty hall monsters, they flapped their wings and left the battle circle. Return to the team. Chin Feng looked at the returning Guangya worker bees and took a rough inventory. Due to the tacit cooperation of the Guangya worker bees, there was not much loss even in the face of the monster beasts of Daojing. Chin Feng waved his bees' foot and let the first group of Guangya, the worker bees, take a back seat and rest for a while. Dian He failed to hit the target and returned to the edge of the cave entrance. He looked at Chin Feng at the front and gritted his teeth. Little black bee, can't you compete with me openly and openly? Are you afraid? Chin Feng answered without even looking at Dianhu. Cannot. Then, using his eyes as a signal, he led the second group of glory worker bees to charge. When the second group of glorious worker bees saw that it was their turn, they instantly cheered up and rushed towards the cave with full morale. Originally, they were attacked by the first group of glory worker bees and lost a lot of monsters. Faced with this wave of attacks, they immediately lost confidence and left no trace of the killed ones. Invisibility. Chin Feng knew that Dian Hu had already increased his vigilance. As long as he appeared in a certain place, he would come to attack. So he used the stealth skill. After that, he used teleportation skills and rushed towards the monsters of Bloodthirsty Hall. Dian Hu watched Chin Feng disappear again, still looking around with vigilance, in order to fight Chin Feng as quickly as possible. 
Dian He kept looking into the cave. As soon as Chen Feng appeared somewhere. Then he ran forward and intercepted Chen Feng. However, there was no trace of Chen Feng. Di Yin Hu turned back and looked outside the cave. Chen Feng, who used his stealth skills to hide in the dark, turned his head when he saw the vigilant Dian Hu. Knowing that the opportunity had come, he used the previous method of earth silence combined with Xian Tian Wudao and void poison to reap the bloodthirsty the screams and thumping sounds sounded in the cave as the demonic beasts took their lives. Di Yin Hu knew what happened as soon as he heard it and quickly turned back to look in the direction where the monsters fell. As a result, he did not see Chen Feng, nor was there any trace of him. One question after another appeared in Dian Hu's mind, and he stepped cautiously towards the direction where the monster beasts fell. The bloody aura emanating from the blood on the ground had squeezed out all the air in the cave. The smell of blood constantly filled Dian Hu's nostrils, as if reminding him of what had just happened. Little black bee, come out here. What's the use of hiding? Chin Feng saw Dian Hu slowly moving over, constantly flashing his presence, reminding Chin Feng to pay attention to him. However, Chin Feng ignored him and did not attack him, just because Chin Feng had another plan in his heart. Chin Feng successfully killed many monsters and felt that the time to become invisible was almost up. He immediately teleported back and slowly appeared in front of the team of glorious worker bees. The second group of glorious worker bees saw the figure of their king and left the battle circle with unsatisfied feelings and flew back to the team. Di Yin Hu looked around, seeing the mess around him and the number of monsters in the bloodthirsty hall that were constantly decreasing. He suddenly knew what Chin Feng had planned and thought to himself. This little black bee is so insidious and vicious. He must want to disintegrate my power and turn me into a polished commander. Then he will lead a swarm of glorious worker bees. Beat me and just go and keep me here. I can't sit still and wait for death. Why don't I also kill his men and lure him out? Anyway, I guess he will attack my men this time. Chin Feng glanced at Dian Hu, who was deep in thought, with a strange smile on his face. He signaled with his eyes and led the third group of glory worker bees in an okay charge. Chin Feng used his invisibility and teleportation skills to disappear. Di Yin Hu looked closely at the attacking glory worker bee. He ignored Chin Feng who disappeared from the spot. At this time, Chin Feng had already teleported behind Dian Hu. The earth groans. Di Yin Hu didn't expect that Chin Feng could attack him. He only felt electric currents flowing around his body and a sense of anesthesia spread throughout his body. Thinking to himself, My life is at an end. Chen Feng watched Di Yin Hu being hit. Then he showed his tail needle and pierced Di Yin Hu's head. Di Yin Hu heard the cold wind behind his head and didn't know what to do. Chapter 138 Smashing Oneself in the Foot Under the two charges of the glorious worker bees, the demon beasts of the bloodthirsty hall were defeated and launched a third charge. Originally, Di Yin Hu thought that in the third charge, Chin Feng would attack Bloodthirsty Hall's men like the previous two times. But he never thought that Chin Feng would act so unreasonably. Under Chin Feng's thunderous attack, Di Yin Hu felt numb all over his body. Chin Feng watched Di Yin Hu being hit. His eyes were cold. He showed his tail needle with a cold light and pierced Di Yin Hu's head. Di Yin Hu only felt the cold wind blowing at the back of his head. It was a little late, but it was so fast. The tail needle was close in an instant. At the critical moment, Dian Hu's anesthesia was gone. He immediately tilted his head and dodged to the side. After all, Dian Hu was the monster of Di Wu Jing. He has fought countless life and death battles and has rich experience. After dodging the attack, Dian Hu felt his body was a little weak and his spine felt chilly. Waves of fear came over his heart. He quietly wiped the cold sweat on his forehead. Small flames of anger burst out in his eyes. And he turned his head looked ahead angrily. His eyes were blood red and covered with bloodshot eyes. Little black bee, why don't you act according to common sense? Chin Feng rolled his eyes invisibly. Who will tell you before attacking? Are you overthinking it? Chin Feng subconsciously answered Di Yin Hu's words. After he finished speaking, he instantly felt something was wrong, secretly thinking that something was wrong. I fell into the trap. I really didn't expect Dian Hu to be smart sometimes. I saw Di Yin Hu's weird smile. Rock blast. Huge conical stones rushed towards Chin Feng. At such a close distance, Chin Feng could feel the sharp murderous aura and gusts of cold wind on the conical stones. Scraping my cheeks hurts. Chin Feng's reaction was not slow. When the rock was only a hair away from Chin Feng, he immediately used teleportation skills to leave the place. Dian Hu's skills were all nailed to the rock wall of the cave. Dian Hu kept looking around the cave to see if the little black bee had been hit and died under the rock. 
after looking around. I didn't see Chen Feng's shadow. And I was wondering, is it possible that even within such a short distance, he didn't suffer any harm from the attack? Diana couldn't help shouting loudly. Little Black Bee, are you dead? Are you still here? After shouting for a long time, there was only his own echo in the cave. But there was no answer. However, he still looked around vigilantly. He would not believe that Chen Feng had died under his own skills until he saw Chen Feng's body again. At this time, Chen Feng was not far away from Dian Hu and heard Dian Hu shout. Chen Feng rolled his eyes at him and did not respond to him at all, thinking to himself, If I answer, I will be a fool. I have already fallen into your trap once. How can I still respond to you stupidly? And I can't be satisfied without being shot again? This is called learning from every experience. Chen Feng quietly flapped his wings and flew towards Dian Hu and used the same method to attack Dian Hu again. Dian Hu felt the anesthesia all over his body. He knew that the little black bee had not risen, and he didn't know whether he was happy or sad. For the first time, Dian Hu felt that there was a monster that he could take so seriously and be so difficult to deal with. He especially wanted to have a hearty battle. However, this was a duel between life and death. If he lost, he would disappear forever. In this world, no matter what, Dian Hu couldn't gamble with his own life. Dian Hu had an experience, and he didn't panic anymore, and he avoided it according to the previous method. Turning around, he gave Chen Feng another skill. Rock shock. I saw the earth rock tiger stomping its front feet and roaring forward. The mixed sound waves were like waves of ripples. Chen Feng was hit by these ripples and took several steps back. There was a sway in the cave, followed by the earth rock tiger. A gap appeared from the ground on his two front legs. The cave is divided into two halves with rocks falling from the walls. After Diane who released the skill, he regretted it. When he released the skill, he forgot that he was in a cave. This skill could cause the cave to collapse at any time. If the cave collapsed, they would all be buried here. Chin Feng looked at the constantly shaking cave and thought to himself, What a stupid tiger! Don't you know that the rocks on the cliff are loose and will collapse if you attack? Chin Feng quickly used his teleportation skills to move outside the cave and shouted to the third group of radiant worker bees. Retracement. Although the glory worker bees did not encounter the location of their king, they heard the voice of their own king. So they withdrew from the encirclement regardless of it, and returned to the team. However, there were one or two glory worker bees who penetrated deeper. The enemy's interior was unable to evacuate from the encirclement, and was damaged in the cave. Chin Feng glanced at the glorious worker bees behind him, then turned right, and looked back at the cave. Under the skill of Dian Hu, Stones fell down in the cave, and gravel and big rocks gradually piled up at the entrance of the cave. The monsters in the cave wanted to leave the cave, and they kept they were running away in all directions. The desire to survive caused some monsters in the bloodthirsty hall to rush out of the cave. However, they forgot that they were on a cliff. Outside the cave was an abyss, screaming and falling. After entering the bottomless cliff, the screams resounded through the sky. The sound waves hit the rock wall and played echoes on the cliff like sad melodies. Those monsters that fell off the cliff were not as lucky as Qin Fei. There was only one result for falling under such a high cliff, and that was to fall into a pulp. The monsters in the cave heard the screams. They all gathered around the edge of the cave entrance. The stones in the cave were still falling down. It seemed like there was a rain of stones. They kept dodging the attacks. Think of a way. At this time, they no longer had the spirit they had when they came, and all they had was a deep sense of frustration. Even Dian Hu was the same. At this moment, they were already in a dilemma, and with Chen Feng watching eagerly outside the cave, they were surrounded by many dangers. Looking at such a scene, Dian Hu kept complaining to himself in his heart. The other bloodthirsty hall monsters could only look at Diana secretly, daring to be angry but afraid to speak. At this moment, their hearts must have been filled with complaints and even resentment towards Dian Hu. Chen Feng looked at Dian Hu who was in a dilemma, and couldn't help but feel relieved thinking to himself. What's this called? It's like shooting yourself in the foot. More and more stones piled up at the entrance of the cave, and they could only gradually retreat. At the critical moment, Dian Hu looked at Chen Feng and his eyes lit up. Little Black Bee, if you save us, we will give you all the treasures in the world. Chen Feng's eyes flashed when he looked at Dian Hu, but he was indifferent. Chapter 139 Tiger Bites Tiger Dian Hu and the monsters from the bloodthirsty hall were trapped in a cave on the cliff. In a dilemma, they had to ask Chin Feng for help, and offered attractive terms. Chin Feng looked at Dian Hu who had hope in his eyes. 
all the spiritual treasures in the Bloodthirsty Hall? Are you sure? You are not the leader of the Bloodthirsty Hall? How could you give me all the spiritual treasures in the Bloodthirsty Hall? Could it be that they are just the spiritual treasures from your Bloodthirsty Hall branch? Cold sweat broke out on Dian Hu's forehead. He knew that handing over the spirit treasure would be equivalent to betraying the Bloodthirsty Hall. When the time comes, he would become the target of the Bloodthirsty Hall. However, in the face of the disaster, who would care about those spiritual treasures that do not belong to them? Of course, their own lives are more important. Dian Hu quickly looked around. Under Chen Feng's charge, more than half of the monsters in the Bloodthirsty Hall had been lost. In this disaster, the monsters of Bloodthirsty Hall lost a small part. Looking at this small group of monsters, a hint of murderous intent flashed silently in Dian Hu's eyes. Do you agree with this? In the face of life and death, who wouldn't care about the things they can't get? At the same time, they all nodded in agreement. Seeing that they all agreed to do this, Dian Hu became even bolder with wisps of fierce light flashing in his eyes. After you get out of here, no one can reveal what happened today. Otherwise, don't blame me for being rude. They lowered their heads silently. Yes, sir. Then, Dian Ho looked back again. The space in the cave was getting smaller and smaller, and the back was completely buried by rocks. Dian Ho turned his head back, and the force of the falling rock gradually became smaller, but the entrance to the cave was almost sealed. However, thanks to the assistance of you skills. Otherwise they would have been buried in the cave. And the cave entrance would have been quickly sealed. Originally, Dian who also wanted to use his skills to break open the cave entrance and escape. However, it is estimated that before they can escape, the cave will be completely buried by huge rocks. Otherwise, he will be forced to ask for help. Yu Chin Feng. Chin Feng looked at the silent Dian who in the cave and silently guessed that maybe they were discussing. However, after a long time, there was no response from Dianhu. And he couldn't help but wonder, did he give up? Or maybe I was right. Anyway, Chin Feng had plenty of time to spend with him. Chin Feng felt a little tired from vibrating his wings in the air. So he led the glory worker bees and landed on the rock wall, quietly waiting for the results of their discussion. Dianhu looked at Chin Feng's location from the gap in the cave that was not completely sealed. It didn't matter. Fortunately, he was not frightened and fainted. Chin Feng has disappeared. Dian Hu looked around and found that he was not there. Cold sweat gradually broke out on his forehead. In order to maintain a majestic image in front of the remaining bloodthirsty hall demon beasts, he remained calm on the surface and calm in his heart. But he was extremely panicked. Little Black Bee, are you still there? Chin Feng heard Dian Hu's call and thought to himself. What's wrong? Chin Feng flapped his wings and flew outside the entrance of the cave, where the Dian Hu could see him. Two bees held their arms with their front legs and looked at the Dian Hu. What? Have you thought about it? Dian Hu nodded. As long as you rescue us, I will hand over all the spiritual treasures of the Bloodthirsty Hall to you. Chin Feng yawned. How do I know whether you are telling the truth or a lie? What if I rescue you and you don't admit it? Where can I go to reason with you? We have worked together so many times, and you have never said anything. It counts. How can I trust you? Dian's temples were dripping with cold sweat. Seeing that the falling stones did not stop, he couldn't help but look at Chin Feng anxiously. As long as you believe that I will give you the elixir, you will save us. Chin Feng nodded. Roughly the same. Dian Hu pondered for a few seconds. Then I'll give you the elixir from the Bloodthirsty Hall branch as a deposit first. Okay. Chin Feng shook his head. Even without you, I will go look for the elixir of your Bloodthirsty Hall branch and wipe out all your faces. Dian Hu looked at Chin Feng who was so shameless and dared not speak out in anger. After all, he now had someone to ask for. Chin Feng thought for a while. How about this? Just tell me where the bloodthirsty hall elixir is stored, and I will rescue you. Dian Hu rolled his eyes, opened his mouth, and was about to say something. But then he thought again. Little Black Bee is so cunning. Even at this moment, I can't trust him easily. Then, he looked at Chin Feng seriously. No, I told you. What if you don't save us? Chin Feng smashed his mouth. You see? We don't even have the most basic trust between us. You don't believe me. And I don't believe you. How could you let me save you? Dian Hu stared closely at the falling stones at the entrance of the cave, which was almost buried, and there was a trace of anxiety in his tone of voice. Then what do you think we should do? Apart from this method, I promise you everything else. Chin Feng rolled his eyes and showed a sinister smile in the corner that Dian Hu didn't see. Well, Let's do this. 
I have another way here. That is, I will only save you and save one monster. After all, I don't have that much energy. And I have to spend manpower, material resources, and financial resources. Since you don't tell me about the spiritual treasure position, I won't force it. As long as you can tell the winner. If the last monster wins, I will let him out. When Dian Hu said those words about betraying the bloodthirsty hall, he had murderous intentions towards them. Encouraged by Chen Feng's words, Dian Hu's murderous intentions became even stronger. This was equivalent to Chen Feng giving them it gave him a reason to kill other monsters, which made him a little eager to act. But on the surface, he was still serious. When the other monsters in the bloodthirsty hall heard these words, their hearts moved. When faced with life and death, how could they think of other things? As long as they could live, they would have the means and ability to think about other things. As a result, some monsters have already taken action. Chin Feng saw that their hearts had been stirred up and they had lost their ability to think. He felt secretly happy in his heart. He cleared his throat and said seriously, I can warn you not to use skills. After all, this cave can easily collapse. If you use skills, the consequences waiting for you will be death. Upon hearing this, the monsters in the bloodthirsty hall gave up the idea of using skills. And they fought with the most primitive methods. Monsters and monsters bite each other, completely using their bodies to fight. Because the space was too small, they occasionally bumped into the rock wall while fighting. However, they ignored the pain of the bump at all. At this time, they only had one idea in their hearts. That is, to become the final winner. Get out of here. Chapter 148 Tuft of Hair Dian Hu wanted Chen Feng to rescue them, but they did not trust each other. Dian Hu could not tell Chen Feng the location of the bloodthirsty hall elixir, and Chen Feng could not. Chen Feng could not believe them. After rescuing them, could they give yourself all the elixirs of the bloodthirsty hall? Faced with this disagreement, Chen Feng came up with another way, which was to let them fight each other and save the only victorious monster. However, because the cave rocks are too loose, they cannot use skills and can only use the most primitive way to duel. Fighting and striking, bloody and brutal, violent and cruel. Gradually, the fighting circle gradually expanded in the cave. Diane Hu, who originally only wanted to watch the battle, had no choice but to join the fighting circle because the space in the cave was too small. Diane Hu wanted to take advantage of this situation. It's impossible. If you want to get out of here alive, you must fight them. Chen Feng's wings vibrated listening to the sound of their fighting outside the cave and watching their figures coming and going from the gap at the cave entrance blocked by stones. Although Chen Feng didn't know who was the winner in the end, Chen Feng guessed that the final winner would definitely be Dian Hu. In the cave, Dian Hu also gave up using his skills and used his years of fighting experience to bite each other with them. Sometimes, he dodged to the side to avoid their attacks. However, he bumped into another monster. His body was knocked back and his buttocks and butt hit the monster's mouth. The monster's eyes were red with blood, and it tore off the flesh of its mouth without biting it. The pain caused Diane Hu to, ouch, twice and screamed out, which resounded throughout the cave, but it did not affect the battle of other monsters at all. If there was light in the cave at this time, Chen Feng would definitely be able to see a bunch of hair slowly floating in the sky above the cave along with the meat torn off by the monster beast. And then slowly, after falling, he was blown into the air by the heavy breaths of other monsters. After many twists and turns, he finally landed. Dian Hu lost the flesh on his buttocks and chest, which aroused his bloody nature. With a roar, he rushed into the fighting circle, rushed directly to the neck of the monster beast, opened his bloody mouth, and the tiger's mouth was sharp. He bit his teeth with all his strength, and the monster's neck broke with a click. Blood spurted out from the severed head and both ends of the body and blood splashed all over him. Then, they rushed towards other monsters. And the war continued. Chin Feng saw that the rock had sealed the entrance of the cave tightly without any gaps. Chin Feng touched his chin and shouted casually into the cave. Time is running out. You have to work harder. Now that the rock has sealed the entrance of the cave, the oxygen in the cave will definitely gradually shrink. If you continue to be unable to determine the winner, where you will all die. Although the shouts of killing were loud in the cave. Chen Feng's voice was extremely penetrating and directly passed into the ears of the monsters. Upon hearing this, the demonic beasts in the bloodthirsty hall stepped up their attacks. At this time, more and more demonic beasts in the cave fell down, and the space became larger and larger. This also gave Dian Hu the opportunity to use in the space. 
he stepped on the corpses of the fallen monster beasts, jumped up, and bit off the neck of one monster beast. At this time, Dianhu didn't know how many monsters he had killed, nor how many monsters were left in the cave. The only thought in his mind was, kill them all and escape. His whole body was covered in blood, and there was not a single piece of good flesh on his body, but all traces of bites. Sometimes, they have already killed their monsters. But in the darkness, the bloody information stimulates people's brains, and the sea of blood in front of them still bites their flesh relentlessly, knowing that all the flesh on their bodies will be taken away. After biting it, he attacked the next monster. The air in the cave has gradually become thinner. At this time, in addition to the Dianhu who is still standing in the cave panting and not falling, there are also several monsters whose eyes are also shining green in the cave. Maybe they're the eyes are the only light in this cave. Several monster beasts looked at each other with ferocious looks, and then rushed together and fought together. The battle ended quickly. In this bloody battle, Dianhu became the only winner. He had several new injuries on his body. The blood stained the hair all over his body. He didn't know whether it was because of the blood, one's own, or those of other monsters. At this time, the earth rock tiger in the cave was breathing heavily, and its four legs were shaking continuously. Finally, it could no longer hold up and collapsed on the ground. It could no longer exert any strength from its whole body, perhaps due to the thin air in the cave, or perhaps due to excessive blood loss. Waves of dizziness appeared in his head. If he was attacked again at this time, he would have no power to resist. Dianhu slowed down and called out toward the cave entrance in a hoarse voice. Chin Feng was outside the cave, holding a straw with his front feet and drinking comfortably from a jar of royal jelly taken out of the water drop space. The hissing sound echoed on the cliff. At this time, Chin Feng heard a faint call in the cave, so he put away the half-full can of royal jelly. He shouted unhurriedly into the cave. Is the battle over? Which monster is the last one left? When Dianhu heard Chin Feng's words, he couldn't help but feel a little angry, and his heart was full of panic. He thought in his heart, At this time, I am the only monster left in the cave. If the little black bee attacks me at this time, I will have no power to fight back. Could it be that I fell into his scheme again? Di Yin who suddenly remembered the scene of chasing Chin Feng on this cliff. He felt frightened and broke out in a layer of sweat. He kept praying silently in his heart. I hope the little black bee won't go back on old scores. And I hope he can save me at this critical moment. Chin Feng waited for a long time and didn't hear a reply. Feeling puzzled in his heart. Weren't they all buried here? The weak voice just now sounded so familiar. Could it be that Diane who was the last one to survive? But he only had one breath left. And then he used his last breath to call? Chin Feng cleared his throat again, and called with all his strength in order to prevent him from being heard inside the cave. Are there any monsters in there? The echo echoed above the cliff. Di Yen who came to his senses when he heard Chin Feng shouting again. He responded with all his strength. Yes, it's me. Just when Chin Feng thought he wouldn't answer, he heard the voice calling. Chin Feng looked at the glorious worker bees on the side and signaled with his eyes to ask them to move the stones away. The oxygen in the cave had almost been exhausted. Diane who was breathing heavily, and the feeling of suffocation spread from his mind to every part of his body. Chapter 141 Reaping the Benefits Chin Feng was contentedly outside the cave, waiting for the battle to end. The battle between the monsters and the bloodthirsty hall gradually reached a fever pitch. In the end, Jiang was still the best and Diane who became the final winner with his rich combat experience. After a battle, Diane who was already scarred. The oxygen in the cave was gradually exhausted, and Diane who gradually felt suffocated. His only hope at this time could only be pinned on Chin Feng. Outside the cave, Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to dig out the rocks at the entrance of the cave slowly, without any sense of urgency to save the monster beast. Diane who couldn't hold on any longer, and his brain was bulging on his forehead. Little black bee, can you hurry up? I'm in the cave, and it's hard to breathe. A weak voice entered Chin Feng's ears. Chin Feng ignored it, going in with his left ear and coming out with his right ear. However, he still answered Di Yanhu's question. The stone at the entrance of the cave is stuck. We are already working hard. Who told you to decide the winter so late that the entrance of the cave cannot be dug out? Although Di Yanhu could hear the sound of moving rocks at the entrance of the cave, he still had deep doubts about Chin Feng and suspected that he did not try his best to save himself. Thanks to the efforts of Guangyu worker bees, a small opening larger than a soybean was exposed above the cave entrance where rocks were piled up. It slowly turned into a cave opening the size of Chin Feng. 
a stream of bloody air flowed from that small opening. The spurting out of the hole not only caused Chen Feng, who was supervising the work of the glorious worker bees not far away, to frown and think to himself, Just how many monster bones are buried in the cave? How could the bloody atmosphere be so heavy? How on earth did they fight and shed so much blood? Chin Feng completely forgot about being the initiator. Suddenly, he slapped his forehead. He thought about how monsters without skills fought, and he couldn't help but feel a little uncomfortable in his stomach. The Dian who in the cave looked at the gleam of light emerging from the small mouth, like a light of hope. From the small hole, there were traces of fresh air seeping in, and the Dian who couldn't help but open his eyes wide. His mouth kept breathing the thin air. Dian who only felt a bloody breath accompanied by the fragrance of the air, breathed into his mouth, and then entered the trachea, and then peeled off the cocoons in the flesh of the body, filtered out the impurities in the air, and flowed into the limbs and bones. I couldn't help but feel a sense of relief all over my body, and it also cleared away the haze, fear and panic in my heart. Guiyan who felt relieved. He knew that Xiao Haifeng, the savior, was not lying. He had saved himself. Looking at the small hole, his heart was filled with complex emotions, and his eyes also exuded a complex light. Chen Feng ordered all the Guangyu worshippers to stay in place, and then got into the cave from the compact entrance. With a weak light from the entrance, he could clearly see the tragic situation in the cave. I saw a mess in the cave. The corpses of monster beasts covered the ground on the rocks. Blood stained the rock walls and every stone in the cave. Some corpses of monster beasts were even bitten until only a skeleton was left. There are still strands of blood dripping down on the skeleton. Looking at the mess, Chin Feng couldn't help but feel his stomach churn. He almost spit out all the honey he had just eaten. Chin Feng took a deep breath of air, but he never thought that the air in the cave was filled with the smell of blood and the smell of rock collapse. The heat afterwards. This unpleasant smell penetrated into Chin Feng's nostrils and mouth, irritating the delicate nasal cavity and trachea. Chin Feng couldn't help but cover his nose to prevent the invasion of air. Chin Feng looked inside the cave and looked around, but did not find Dian Hu. Dian Hu, where are you? How can I save you if I don't see you? Dian Hu tried his best to open his tired eyes and looked at the light standing at the entrance of the cave. There was a little black bee, like an angel with hope. The crystal clear wings behind it were illuminated by the light. Twinkles of light. Dian Hu's eyes were glistening with tears. This time, one of his feet had already stepped into the palace of hell. Who could face life and death calmly? Chin Feng thought to himself when he saw that no monsters responded. Is it possible that he has been buried here? In that case, I'd better go back. The smell here is so bad. I feel like my nose will be broken here. Chin Feng turned his head and headed towards the entrance of the cave. Just when Dian Hu was filled with emotion, he suddenly discovered that the light at the entrance of the cave was gone. So Dian Hu immediately looked towards the entrance of the cave. Seeing a scene that frightened Dian Hu, little black bee's body was blocked at the entrance of the cave and was about to leave. Di Yin who was dumbfounded and thought to himself, Little Black Bee, didn't you come to save me? Why did you suddenly leave again? Di Yin who quickly thought about it in his mind, and then realized that he didn't respond to the Little Black Bee, and the Little Black Bee couldn't find him, so he couldn't rescue him. Diane whose body was trembling slightly, and he used all his strength to shout towards the entrance of the cave. Little Black Bee, I'm here, come and save me. Chen Feng, who was just about to leave, heard the call again and couldn't help but feel helpless. He was stuck in the entrance of the cave, unable to enter, exit, or turn around. His face was full of embarrassment. Chin Feng not only sighed and got out of the cave, Dian who looked at Chin Feng who got out, feeling disappointed and mixed with anger. Chin Feng flapped his wings and flew out of the cave, took a few breaths of fresh air, and then got back in. Dian who saw Chin Feng getting in. There was a look of surprise in his eyes. Chin Feng called out again and Dian Hu didn't dare to delay and answered immediately. Chin Feng looked towards the place where the sound came from and found that Dian Hu was really miserable. His whole body was covered with bite marks and his whole body was stained with blood, especially on the butt and buttocks. A large piece of flesh was torn away and the bones were actually visible. When Chin Feng saw this, he thought to himself, How cruel is this monster? It's so scary that it can hurt it to this extent. Chin Feng couldn't help but shudder as he looked at the scars. This is how strong you are. You can survive such serious injuries. This can't help but make Chin Feng feel in awe. However, no matter how awe-inspiring he is to Dian Hu, he is also an old enemy and cannot become friends. Chin Feng flapped his wings and flew close to Dian Hu. 
circling him in a circle. You are so awesome! Diane who opened his tired eyes that were constantly fighting. Get me out quickly! Chin Fong sneered twice. Do you think it's possible? Don't forget what happened on this cliff. I still remember it fresh. Di Yin whose eyes widened, and he looked at Chin Fong unwillingly. You actually use tricks to deceive us. You are really a shameless little bee. Chen Feng glanced at Dianhu. Go with confidence. As he said that, he showed off his tail needle. Chapter 142, Kill You. Chen Feng led the glorious worker bees to dig a small hole outside the cave that could only accommodate a black bee. Chen Feng signaled with his eyes to leave all the glorious worker bees where they were before he entered a messy cave. Among the corpses, Dianhu was found. Dian who originally thought that Chen Feng was here to save him. But he never thought that Chen Feng would use intrigues and tricks to lay a dragnet to keep him here forever. Chen Feng looked at Dian Hu, with gleams of cold light in his eyes, and showed the poisonous needle with a cold light on its tail, about to pierce Dian Hu's head. Dian Hu's pupils tightened, and he shouted hurriedly, Wait a minute, little black bee, let's discuss this later. Chen Feng stopped his attacking movements and looked down at Dian Hu. Do you have any last words? Say it quickly. I don't have time to waste time here with you. Big beads of sweat broke out on Dianu's forehead. You said you went to all this trouble just to kill me? Don't you think it's a pity that you went through such a long circle? Chin Feng still covered his nose tightly. Oh, what do you say? Dianu felt slightly relieved when he saw that Chin Feng had no intention of attacking him for the time being. You designed us to kill each other, but you must have calculated it. I will survive in the end. If you don't get some benefits, how can you let me go? I guessed it right. Chen Feng looked at Di Yanhu with a half smile, and did not say that what he said was right or wrong. Just the slightly narrowed eyes revealed a hint of cunning and cunning. Seeing that Chen Feng did not deny what he said, Di Yanhu continued to speak smartly. Your purpose is just the hiding place of the bloodthirsty Hall's elixir. As long as you rescue me, I will tell you. Chen Feng narrowed his eyes slightly, and shot out streaks of cold light. Oh, in other words, I can't do it without you. Is it possible that without you, I won't ask other monsters? Instead, I will keep you. Maybe one day you will give me my secret if you poke it out. Why bother asking for trouble? Dian whose chest continued to rise and fall, and there were waves of suffocation in his mind, and his injured body trembled slightly. You said the opportunity is right in front of you, and you don't have to use it in vain. Right. If you wanted to kill me, you would have done it long ago, and you wouldn't have spent a long time with me here. Chen Feng looked at Dian Hu funny. Then I'll just do it now. Chen Feng showed off the poisonous needle on his tail and quickly pierced Dian Hu's head again. When the poisonous needles even touched the sticky hair on Dian Hu's head, Dian Hu shouted quickly. Etc. Chen Feng was like a car that suddenly braked and stopped in front of Dian Hu. Dian Hu's heart jumped into his throat and kept pounding. Chen Feng looked at Dian Hu impatiently. What happened again? Dian Hu looked at Chen Feng, who was full of murderous intent and knew that Chen Feng was not joking, but really wanted to kill him. Faced with the temptation of the bloodthirsty Hall's elixir, aren't you tempted at all? Chen Feng looked at Dian Hu who was so verbose, and silently stroked his forehead, not wanting to listen to his nonsense. He directly pierced the tail needle into Dian Hu's head. Dian Hu's pupils tightened, and he stood up from the ground with all his strength. You're so unwilling to let me go, so don't blame me for trying to kill you. Rock Blast Pieces of conical stones appeared in front of Dianhu and rushed towards Chin Feng. Chin Feng was standing directly opposite the entrance of the cave. Continuously dodging to the side, the conical stones rushed directly towards the stuck stones piled up at the entrance of the cave according to their original trajectory. Only a loud noise was heard as two rocks collided. The huge rocks smashed the rocks piled at the entrance of the cave into rubble. The glorious worker bees guarding outside the cave did not expect such an unexpected situation. Hurriedly dodged to the side but a few were still hit by the flying rocks, fainted directly, and fell into the cliff, their life and death unknown. Chin Feng's heart skipped a beat, and he screamed secretly. He saw a tremor in the cave, rocks falling from the rock wall, and some even passed by Chin Feng. Chin Feng secretly glanced at Dian Hu, who was already in a crazy state, and retreated towards the entrance of the cave while avoiding the falling rocks in the cave. All of this designed by Chin Feng was to give Dian Hu no chance of survival or escape. Chin Feng would have to watch Dian Hu being killed by his own hands, and would not be able to return to the bloodthirsty hall alive to report the news. It brought murderous intentions to him, and he wanted to kill him many times, and Dian Hu wanted to kill him many times. This monster must not stay in this world. 
In the blood-red eyes of the earth rock tiger, Chin Feng's retreating figure appeared, further stimulating his crazy consciousness. The four tiger legs made a gesture of digging at the rocks on the ground. And his body leaned down. And his two hind legs moved kick. His whole body was wrapped with energy. And he rushed towards Chin Feng. Diana paid no attention to the rock that hit him. And nothing could stop him from biting Chin Feng. It was as if all that fell beside him and on his body were romantic petals. Chin Feng only focused on avoiding the rocks and exiting the cave, forgetting the existence of the threat of the earth rock tiger. It wasn't until he heard the pat 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 sound of the dying tiger running on the rocks and the whistling of the wind that he realized the danger was coming. Diane who had already rushed in front of him and Chin Feng had no time to dodge. At the critical moment, Chin Feng used his defensive skills. Defense. The two front legs of the bee blocked the front of the bee's head, forming a transparent semi-spherical energy mask invisibly, covering Chin Feng's small figure. Diane whose head hit Chin Feng's energy mask, and the energies on both sides collided with each other. The energy fluctuations were like circles of water ripples on the lake surface caused by stones, spreading to all sides. Chin Feng was hit by the earth rock tiger and quickly retreated backwards. Gradually, he hit the opposite rock wall and fell down again. Part of the light dazzled the worker bees, whose eyes were quick and their feet were faster. They vibrated their wings and caught Chin Feng. Chin Feng saw that he was safe on the cliff and then slowed down his breathing. Turning back, he looked at Dianhu. At this time, Dianhu's head was a little dizzy due to the collision with Chin Feng. He did not let Chin Feng go because of this. And he swayed forward and continued to attack Chin Feng, who was caught by the glorious worker bees. However, Diane who had forgotten at this moment that this was on the cliff. The charge didn't matter. He rushed directly out of the classmates, looked at the little black bee close at hand, raised his tiger palm, and wanted to knock him down. He never thought that just as the tiger's palm was about to be raised, Diane who screamed and fell quickly, looking at the Diane who, who suddenly appeared in front of him. Chen Feng, who was supported by the glorious worker bees in the air, could not help but frown in fear. He thought that the Diane who had wings on its back and could chase him. Chapter 143 Demon King's Palace Chin Feng entered the cave and found the location of Dianhu. He unprincipledly used the strategy of Killing you while you are sick! When Dianhu was injured, he directly measured out his tail needle and killed him. However, he never thought that Dianhu would struggle in his dying moments and directly use his skills to break away the dense layers of stones piled at the entrance of the cave, accelerating the collapse of the cave. At this time, facing the stimulation of death, Dian who had lost his mind and rushed towards Chin Feng regardless, just to die with him. Dian who used the most primitive method to attack Chin Feng, with energy attached to his body. He crashed into Chin Feng and just sent Chin Feng out of the cave. Dian who, whose eyes were blood red, had only one thought in his mind, that is, to fight Chin Feng until death. He rushed out of the cave and attacked Chin Feng. Chin Feng was close at hand, but Dian who was powerless and could only let himself fall. Under the cliff, he fell into a pulp. Chin Feng looked at Dianhu who fell under the cliff and shook his head helplessly. He knew the result of Dianhu without going down to check. He was poisoned by his own bee venom and fell off the cliff again. Under this double pressure, under the circumstances, it is impossible for Dianhu to still survive in this world. Chin Feng calmed down, turned around, looked at the glory worker bees in front of him. And after a general sweep, he found that several more glory worker bees were damaged due to the wave of attacks by the dying tiger that broke through the cave. This made Chin Feng feel nervous, feeling distressed. Although the system can spawn a large number of worker bees every day, I still remember the embarrassment of having only two glorious worker bees by my side when I was surrounded by the giant demon gorilla king. Chin Feng turned back and took another look at the cave that exuded a strong smell of blood and contained numerous bones. Chin Feng's eyes darkened and he felt in a trance. We have different ways, and we don't want to conspire against each other. In this case, it was originally a matter of life and death. If Dian who hadn't had murderous intentions towards you, I would not have provoked your relationship in such a short period of time and let you kill each other. Part of it is your own desire to survive, which destined you to this ending. I hope you will not be my enemy again in the next life. Chin Feng closed his eyes silently, then suddenly opened them again, with complex light bursting out from his eyes. Xian Tian has no way. Several sharp rotating sword shadows rushed towards the cave. And the bang bang. Sound of the sword shadow colliding with the rocks could not help but cause the half-collapsed cave to collapse directly. And the layers of corpses in the cave disappeared. 
caught Chin Feng's eyes. Afterwards, Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees out of the buried cave on the cliff, flapped their wings, swooped up, rested for a night on the cliff, and then set off towards the exit of the ruins. Ever since the giant demon gorilla king disappeared from this world, the elders of the demon king palace have been waiting for the giant demon gorilla king to return from collecting elixirs. But there has been no news. This can't help but make the elders of the demon king palace suspicious. After so many years of mission experience, the elders of the demon king palace knew very well the character of the giant demon gorilla king. He would not be delayed on the road for so long. Something unexpected must have happened. So he sent a large number of his men to search for the ruins. Traces of the giant demon ape king. The men who were dispatched returned from the ruins not long after. Although they did not find the bodies of the giant demon gorilla king and many of his men, they did not make any progress. Because there were many monsters surrounding Chen Feng at that time. The fact that the giant demon ape king was chasing Chen Feng was known to all the beasts. Many monsters present at that time saw it. They were also because the giant demon ape king had such a powerful power. Fearing existence, he gave up the idea of encircling Chen Feng. At that time, they all felt a little regretful in their hearts. Such a good opportunity just passed by. It was like a well-cooked duck, and its eggs flew away. Anyone who left it would stamp their feet and beat their chests. But the premise is that you have the ability. If you have that destiny, you can get the reward from the Bloodthirsty Hall's reward order. Otherwise, everything is just talk. This wave of men sent by the elders of the Demon King's Hall came to report the news they got from the mouths of those monsters. At this time, in a huge cave in the Demon King's Palace, there was a giant demon gorilla kneeling tremblingly under the throne. I saw that this cave was spacious and huge, with abundant spiritual energy around it, as if it was inlaid with luxurious high-level spiritual veins, continuously providing them with spiritual nourishment. The rock wall of the cave is smooth without any trace of roughness as if it were carefully polished jade, which is spread in the cave. In such a large cave, there is only one bigger than the giant demon gorilla king. The giant demon gorilla emperor sat on the official throne. The throne beneath him was like a bed, bearing his weight without any burden. The huge giant demon gorilla is the elder of the demon king hall. He is different from other giant demon gorillas. He has dark purple hair growing all over his body, and his purple eyes are mixed with deep purple cold light. From time to time, there would be a hint of coldness. And at first glance, he was not someone to be trifled with. The elder of the demon king's palace was lying on the bed. His eyes slightly closed, as if he was taking a calm nap. The giant demon gorilla was kneeling under the throne, with small beads of sweat appearing on his forehead. He only dared to crawl on the ground, not daring to have the slightest intention of improving or disturbing the giant demon gorilla king's rest. The giant demon gorilla only felt that his limbs were slightly numb, but he did not dare to move and he knelt there without any complaints in his heart. I don't know how long it took. The elder of the demon king palace yawned, moved a little, opened his eyes slightly, woke up from his sleep, and saw a ray of light shooting out of his eyes. Slowly it fell on the giant demon gorilla kneeling under the throne. The giant demon gorilla felt a chill all over his body, and his body shivered even more violently. The elder of the demon king's hall slowly withdrew his gaze, and the sharp aura on his body. Only then, did the giant demon ape stop its trembling body? Tell me, how was your inquiring? The giant demon gorilla calmed down his breath and answered calmly, as if the monster he was afraid of just now was not him. Report, Elder, we went to find out this time that before disappearing, the giant demon gorilla king came into contact with a small black bee, and there was a fierce conflict. The elder of the demon king's hall raised his head slightly and glanced at the giant demon gorilla kneeling under the throne. Then does my child's disappearance have something to do with him? The giant demon gorilla felt like a light on his back. His body trembled, and his voice trembled slightly. Report. Elder, this is not yet certain. After hearing these words, the elder of the demon king's palace showed no expression on his face. Oh, get down. The giant demon gorilla felt as if he had received a pardon and immediately fled from the cave. The elder of the demon king's hall looked at the retreating figure of the giant demon gorilla and murmured silently. Little Black Bee, you successfully caught my attention. Chapter 144 Curiosity is a Disaster The elder of the Demon King's Hall sent his men to look for traces of the giant demon orangutan king. According to the reports of the returned men, the elder of the Demon King's Hall knew that the disappearance of the giant demon orangutan king was related to Chin Fong and might have disappeared in this place. World, ever since, 
Chen Feng's presence successfully attracted the attention of the elders of the Demon King's Hall. The giant demon gorilla left the cave of the elder of the Demon King's Hall, wiped the cold sweat from his forehead, took a long breath, and thought to himself, The elder's aura is really terrifying. I will never report for other monsters next time. I almost lost half my life this time. It's so uncomfortable. After the giant devil gorilla left, the elder of the Demon King's Palace closed his eyes again. He didn't know what he was thinking in his mind. His brows were sometimes furrowed, and sometimes he relaxed. After a long time, he slowly opened his eyes, and wisps of cold light shot out of them. Coming beast! I saw a giant demonic orangutan crawling on the ground. Elder, please give me your instructions. The elder of the Demon King Palace looked at a different monster coming to reply, and raised his eyebrows slightly. Pass my order and send some monster beasts to secretly surround and suppress the little black bees. Be sure to kill them in one strike in the ruins. Don't let any monsters know that this is the order issued by this elder. Yes, elder. The elder of the Demon King's Hall looked at the retreating figure of the giant demon gorilla with cold eyes. Little black bee, since the rules of the Demon King's Palace restrict me, I can't take action at will. Nor can I kill you personally. But the rules are dead and the monsters are alive. The rules don't say that I can't send monsters. Go ahead and kill you. The elder of the Demon King's Palace couldn't help but sneer when he thought of this and then closed his eyes. At this time, Chin Fong was still wandering slowly in the ruins, without any sense of urgency or anxiety to return to the blood forest. The sun above the yellow sand was not very hot, and it shone on the monster walking among the yellow sand. The beasts were so warm that they couldn't help but feel lazy. Chin Fong led the glorious worker bees to look at the position of the sun, and casually searched for the exit of the ruins among the endless stretches of yellow sand. At this moment, he didn't know that the elders of the Demon King's Hall had noticed his existence and were ready to attack, sending a large number of monsters to surround and suppress him. Even if he knew, he would not be afraid. On this day, there was a burst of dust, and a group of monster beasts came flying from a distance. Their huge bodies covered the sky and the sun, and they were covered with black hair, like giant black beasts that were moving. They their limbs kept hitting the yellow sand, and they ran forward in a different way from other monsters. They were the giant monsters sent by the elders of the Demon King's Palace. After receiving the order from the elders of the Demon King's Palace, the giant monster set off immediately, traveling day and night without any delay. Since the ruins were not very far from the Demon King's Palace, they arrived at the ruins every two days. Chen Feng, you saw the group of monster beasts in the distance. The group of monster beasts were coming towards him. Chen Feng immediately entered a defensive state and prepared his skills. As soon as they come close, they will attack him and the glory worker bees. Chin Fong guarantees you can catch them by surprise and cause them to lose part of their troops. The group of giant monster apes got closer and closer. And finally, they were very close. Chin Fong looked at them with a cold look in his eyes. These monster beasts made Chin Fong feel familiar and gave him a sense of crisis. In the end, unexpectedly, the giant monsters just glanced at Chin Fong in the air without any intention of attacking and flew past him first. Chin Feng originally thought that the group of monsters were coming towards him, but he never thought that they would ignore him as if they were familiar with him. Looking at the backs of the giant monsters going away, Chin Feng thought about food and wine in his heart. They must be related to the giant demon gorilla king that is chasing me, but they have no intention of attacking me. Why? Could it be that they don't know whether I killed the giant demon gorilla king? Or didn't they recognize me? Or maybe they had other purposes for coming to the ruins? Chin Feng tilted his head his mind filled with questions one after another. I always felt that the look the giant monsters gave before leaving was quite meaningful. In order to find out their purpose, Lin Feng looked at the entrance of the nearby ruins, touched his chin, and decided to stay here temporarily until he found out their intention before leaving. After the giant monsters left the area where Chin Feng was, they silently looked back at him. They didn't expect to encounter the little black bee not far from the entrance to the ruins. Originally, the leader of the giant demon apes wanted to have a fierce battle. But then he thought about it and remembered the instructions given by the elder of the demon king palace before leaving. No one should know. This is his order. So, he gave up this idea and led the giant monsters to continue running forward. When they approached Chin Fong, they just glanced at him and silently remembered his appearance. The giant monsters ran forward quickly, meeting up with the monsters who had previously investigated Chin Fong and discussing a plan to kill Xiao Haifeng. In the end, it was decided to lead the little black bee to the westernmost piece of yellow sand where there were no monsters, and then kill him. 
after discussing the battle plan. They quickly prepared and sent several monsters to stare at Chen Feng. In order to make a quick decision, the time to kill the little black bee is directly set for tomorrow. On this day, Hua Sha Street was still slightly damp, but it was completely evaporated by the sun that had just risen and shone on the earth. The warm sunshine swept away the coldness of the night. The giant monsters opened their eyes in unison and gathered directly in one place. The few monsters sent to supervise Chen Feng got Chen Feng's specific location. And then, they appeared in front of Chen Feng in a swaggering manner. However, just like when they first arrived, they ignored Chen Feng and headed directly towards the yellow sand to the west at a leisurely speed. Chen Feng looked at the giant demon apes who still ignored him, with doubts and curiosity in his heart, leading the glorious worker bees to follow them secretly. When the giant monsters saw Chen Feng leading the black glory worker bees to follow them, they felt secretly happy. They pretended not to notice, and continued to fly forward at a leisurely speed to ensure that Chen Feng could keep up. Them, after walking a distance, the giant monsters stopped and waited for Chen Feng's arrival. Chen Feng looked at the giant monsters that had stopped in the distance. His heart skipped a beat, and he screamed secretly. He instantly understood what kind of medicine the giant monsters were selling in their gourds, and thought to himself, These giant monsters did this on purpose to arouse my curiosity. Their purpose was to kill me. But why didn't they attack me when they first met? Chen Feng looked around, and found that there were no traces of monsters around. Is it possible that you want to kill me in a place where there are no monsters? Curiosity kills me. Chin Feng quickly stopped the brakes and retreated in the direction he came from. But he never thought that the way behind him was already blocked by giant monsters. Chapter 145 The Beast Blocks and Kills the Beast Out of curiosity, Chin Feng followed the giant orangutans. But what Chin Feng didn't know was that the giant orangutans had already discovered him. After walking a certain distance, they stopped and waited for Chin Feng's arrival. Chin Feng saw the giant demon apes not far away and knew that he had fallen into a trap. He wanted to retreat, but he never thought that he was already surrounded by the giant demon apes. You did it on purpose to attract me. Right. The leader of the giant monster apes nodded proudly. You can tell us honestly now. Is our giant demon gorilla king no longer in this world? Has he been killed by you? Chin Feng's eyes were cold. So what if it is? So what if it's not? Since you already have the result in your mind, why are you still asking me? The giant monsters looked at being surrounded by them without any fear and felt a little complicated. After all, their reputation was so great that ordinary monsters would be panicked and at a loss when they saw them surrounding them. Now that you have admitted it, it is your fault that we have turned our backs on you. Chen Feng smiled contemptuously. When have you shown mercy? As long as you believe in something, you will take it as your own and think it is yours. As long as you believe in an idea, you will never ask yourself, and you will only confirm that your own idea is correct. The giant monsters looked at each other, not knowing what to say, because no monsters had ever said such things to them. Chen Feng's words continued to impact their original thoughts. But despite this, they would not let Chen Feng go. The leader of the giant gorilla glanced at Chen Feng. Your idea is indeed very novel and unique. To be honest, I feel very sorry to kill you, but I can't help it. Who made you offend a monster that you shouldn't offend? If you have a next life, you must be reborn in a good child. Don't offend those you shouldn't offend again. These words of the giant giant demon gorilla leader revealed a lot of information, which made Chen Feng know that he had offended a big force. And this powerful force related to the giant giant demon gorilla king must be inseparable from the bloodthirsty hall. The leader of the giant demon apes shook his head regretfully and waved his front palms towards the surrounding giant demon apes. Come on. Charge me and kill the little black bee here. Yes. The giant monsters screamed to kill, and their morale increased sharply. However, the glorious worker bees are not to be outdone. They have experienced countless baptisms of blood. Whether it is combat experience or psychological quality, they are hundreds or a thousand times stronger than other monsters. They are not comparable to ordinary monsters. It is not a monster that cannot pick up the weapon in its hand and fight after being frightened twice. Chin Feng also moved his front foot. Come on. Kill the beast if the beast blocks it. Kill the king if the king blocks it. As long as the monster blocks our progress. I will kill him without leaving any blood. Yes. When the glorious worker bees heard the words of their king, they couldn't help but feel their blood surge up. With a wave of bravery and fearlessness surging in their hearts, they rushed directly towards the enemies blocking their way, leaving every inch of their skin stained with the enemy's blood. Chin Feng couldn't help but feel relieved when he saw such heroic glorious worker bees. The current glory worker bees, let alone their strength, 
are more than a head above average monsters in terms of teamfight coordination, psychological quality, and other aspects. They are indeed the glory worker bees I brought out. At this moment, Chen Fong completely forgot that these glorious worker bees of his were all created by the system. Chen Fong was inspired by the glorious worker bees beside him, and his blood boiled in his heart. So he flapped his wings and joined the fighting circle, attacking the giant monster apes. Xian Tian has no way. The sword shadows, with fierce momentum and power, attack the giant demon apes. Under Chen Feng's sudden attack, some of the pampered giant demon apes came upright and went away horizontally. Every time Chen Feng's sword charged, white knives went in and red knives came out. Blood was stained all over the yellow sand, and the smell of blood became even stronger under the sunlight. After Chen Feng killed an unknown number of giant demon apes, he met the leader of the giant demon apes. The same is true for the leader of the giant demon ape. Around him are scattered a layer of corpses of glorious worker bees. Chin Feng glanced at the corpses expressionlessly, and without saying a word, rushed towards the leader of the giant gorilla. The leader of the giant demon ape also knew that to capture the thief first. Capture the king. When he saw the little black bee rushing up, he swayed his body and rushed towards it. Teleport! Chin Feng flew a few steps and directly used the teleportation skill to leave the place. This made the leader of the giant demon gorilla lose the target of his attack. He was stunned for a few seconds and looked around warily. Although they found out about the conflict between the giant demon king and Chen Feng, they did not find out about all of Chen Feng's skills. Therefore, when both parties do not understand each other, they can only rely on their own abilities to test the other party and defeat the other party. Chen Feng teleported to the back of the giant monster leader's head. He particularly liked this area and always teleported here habitually. This was the biggest blind spot, and it was easy to kill the enemy. The earth groans. The giant giant demon gorilla leader only felt something strange on the back of his head. Before he could react, he felt anesthesia all over his body, like an electric shock, and he couldn't move. Taking this opportunity, Chin Feng felt pain in his tail, and the crystal liquid in his stomach formed a tail needle. Under the sun, Chin Feng shone with a cold light, and pierced it without even thinking about it. Chin Feng's idea is that no matter what, he will give you an injection first, and let the other person taste the power of his tail injection. So that he will not care about it, and think that he is easy to bully, and anyone can step on him. It was too late. But it was so fast. In the blink of an eye, it was only as short as a hair away from the scalp of the leader of the giant demon gorilla. The leader of the giant giant demon gorilla, who had recovered from the thunderous attack, felt the cold wind on the back of his head, and his spine felt chilly. He quickly lowered his head, trying to dodge the blow. However, it was still too late. The poisonous needle scratched the scalp of the leader of the giant demon gorilla. A long, thin line-like wound appeared on the scalp, and blood gradually oozed out. There was a blood mark on Chen Feng's tail needle, and the poison had quietly seeped into the scalp of the leader of the giant gorilla. The leader of the giant giant demon gorilla only felt a numbness on his scalp and lost consciousness. He didn't care much. After all, injuries were common. But it was also because of his indifference that he ruined his life. Maybe even if he cared. There was no chance of saving it. Chin Feng realized the benefits of taking a preemptive strike and immediately changed his offensive and continued to charge towards the leader of the giant gorilla. Chin Feng is like a cunning loach. You can't catch his head or tail. He comes and goes without a trace. This can't help but give the giant monster leader a headache because he is no target. We couldn't release our skills, so we could only kick and look around and go crazy. Chapter 146 Collision of Sparks after being hit for the first time, the leader of the giant giant demon gorilla had already strengthened his defenses, but he still couldn't avoid it and was hit by the anesthesia effect of the thunder attack. The leader of the giant monster gorilla wanted to escape from the fighting circle, so he stayed far away from Chin Feng. But Chin Feng was like a dogskin plaster. No matter how far away the leader of the giant monster gorilla was, Chin Feng could stick to him. He really used Chin Feng to nothing can be done. However, fortunately, since the tail sting on his scalp. The leader of the giant giant demon gorilla has not been hit by other tail stings. Otherwise, he would have fallen to the ground and died at this time. The leader of the giant monster gorilla was annoyed as he watched Chen Feng disappear and reappear. Every time he saw Chen Feng's figure, he was just about to release his skills. But in the end, Chen Feng disappeared in front of his eyes again. The leader of the giant giant demon gorilla felt his heart and liver trembling with anger but he had no choice but to prick up his ears and remain on guard. Thinking to himself, I can't just sit back and wait for death. 
I need to take the initiative. Otherwise, I will only be chased and beaten by the little black bee. Without the ability to fight back. The giant giant demon gorilla leader roared angrily and looked around with cold eyes. Desolate meteor hammer. A huge hammer made of energy appeared in front of the leader of the giant gorilla. The hammer was mixed with the whistling wind and with a fierce momentum. It kept wandering and rotating around the leader of the giant demon gorilla, drawing circular protective circles. As soon as Chen Feng teleported around the leader of the giant gorilla, a giant hammer came with a fierce sound of wind. Chen Feng's pupils tightened, and he quickly used his teleportation skills to leave the leader of the giant gorilla. Chen Feng, who was out of the attack range of the giant demon gorilla leader, turned his head and looked at his wings. They were swept by the fierce wind, and a cut was made on the very edge. Fortunately, Chin Feng reacted very quickly. Otherwise, his wings would have the wings will fall off his body due to the attack. Chin Feng felt a chill down his spine when he thought of this. Since black bees don't have sweat glands, otherwise his whole body would be soaked in cold sweat. Chin Feng turned back and looked at the leader of the giant gorilla who was protected by the giant hammer. His eyes flashed with cold light. However, the calm Chin Feng did not rush forward to attack again. Chin Feng circled around the leader of the giant gorilla. Circle, constantly observing his flaws. Seeing that Chin Feng had left his surroundings and was unable to attack him, the leader of the giant gorilla couldn't help but feel a little complacent and thought to himself, You can't attack me now. Then it's my turn to fight back. The giant giant demon gorilla leader sneered twice. Go. Then, with a loud congratulation, part of the giant hammer around him rushed towards Chin Feng, who was circling around him, while another part of the giant hammer was left behind to protect himself and prevent Chin Feng from using teleportation skills to sneak attack. Chin Feng glanced at the giant hammer that had come to attack him. Although the giant hammer was big, it was extremely fast, and its attack power was not weak. The legs were already close at hand, and Chin Feng had no choice but to use teleportation skills to leave the place. As soon as Chin Feng left, the giant hammer changed direction again and attacked his new location. Looking at the giant hammer that kept attacking me without leaving any room for breathing. I couldn't help but feel a little angry, thinking to myself, If the tiger doesn't show its power, you really think I'm a sick cat? Chin Feng's eyes condensed. Xian Tian has no way. Heavy and sharp sword shadows flew towards the huge hammer, in front of the giant hammer. These movies were as if they were small and dwarfed by the big one. There was no comparison at all. However, compared to the giant hammer, Chin Feng's sword shadow looks smaller, but its attack power is more concentrated and not weak at all. The two skills collided and sparked countless sparks, just like a beautiful firework, and no one was willing to be outdone. The sword shadow and the giant hammer collided together and then separated, separated and then collided with each other. Sometimes the giant hammer has the upper hand, and sometimes the sword shadow has the upper hand. It is impossible to tell who wins and who loses in a short period of time. Chin Feng took a peek at the leader of the giant gorilla. When the giant hammer and sword shadows collided with each other to attract the attention of the giant gorilla leader, he saw a flaw appeared above him. His eyes flashed, and he immediately used the teleportation skill came to the top of the leader of the giant gorilla. At this moment, the leader of the giant demon ape was completely focused on the two weapons formed by energy and constantly colliding with each other. He did not notice at all that Chin Feng had disappeared from the place and came to his side. Seeing that the giant hammer hit hard and gained the upper hand, Forcing the sword shadow to retreat far away. The nerves on my forehead jumped. Waves of excitement and joy surged into my heart. I concentrated even more. And the veins on my forehead slowly grew. The bulge seems to be pumping energy for its own giant hammer. Chin Feng took this opportunity to use his skills. The poison of the void. In order not to alert the snake. He directly showed his poisonous needle. Entered the flaw. And went straight to the back of his head. The leader of the giant monster gorilla was so focused that he didn't even notice the gleaming poisonous needle behind him. He only heard a squeaking sound. Chen Feng's poisonous needle penetrated deep into the back of the leader's head. When Chen Feng used his skill, it flew out. When the needle was inserted, one could not even see the exposed tail of the poisonous needle. So one could imagine how deeply it was pierced. The leader of the giant demon orangutan, who had already been hit by the poisonous needle, was pricked by Chen Feng's poisonous needle, which directly stimulated the toxins flowing in his body. The toxins attacked the city crazily, raging in his body, and it didn't take long for him to die. The attack hit the heart. The eyes of the leader of the giant demon gorilla were distracted for a while. He looked at the yellow sand, giant hammer, sword shadow, and even the dust in front of him, 
all with layers of double images. Gradually, after a few seconds, his eyesight turned black. Can't see clearly the scene in front of me. The giant giant demon gorilla leader looked forward with some unwillingness, roared angrily, and tried hard to open his tired eyes that could not see clearly. The light gathered in his eyes again, looked at Chen Feng, and murmured to himself, I'm not willing to give in. If it weren't for your dirty tricks, I wouldn't be under your control. The giant giant demon gorilla leader lowered his body and tried his best to support himself and prevent himself from falling. Desolate meteor hammer. The leader of the giant monster gorilla used all his strength to deliver one last blow, rushed towards Chen Feng, and fell straight to the ground with a plop. The system's voice sounded in Chen Feng's mind. Ding! The host successfully killed the second level mirror monster of Diwu and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Chin Feng looked at the unstoppable giant hammer and immediately wanted to retreat. He immediately used teleportation skills and left the place. Unexpectedly, the giant hammer actually locked onto Chin Feng. Wherever Chin Feng dodges, the huge hammer will follow. When Chin Feng had no choice but to fight hard, he could only fight head on. Xian Tian has no way. Chin Feng released countless sword shadows in succession. Facing the attack of the giant hammer, sparks flew everywhere, rolling up countless yellow sand. Gradually the dust settled, and the figure of the giant hammer appeared in the yellow sand. Chin Feng did not expect that the giant hammer would be attacked. The leader of the wild demon gorilla's dying struggle skills were so powerful that he still attacked Chin Feng with a giant hammer. Chapter 147 Shocking Moment On the yellow sand without any monsters in the west of the ruins, Chin Feng had a duel with the leader of the giant demon gorilla who designed to surround him. The leader of the giant demon gorilla, who had been poisoned by his own bee venom, had no power to resist. The only thing waiting for him was death. But he never thought that when he was dying, he struggled to make a blow. This blow was so dangerous that it killed Chin Feng. At this time, Chin Feng could no longer dodge. Looking at the oncoming giant hammer, Chin Feng could even feel the sharp wind on the giant hammer, which made his face hurt. Chin Feng knew that the power of this blow should not be underestimated. He gritted his teeth, straightened his chest and chest, closed his eyes tightly, and put his two front legs in front of his head. Defense. During Chen Feng's lifetime, a spherical, transparent mask was formed, and the giant hammer hit the mask firmly. The high degree of heat generated by the friction between the two skills could not help but make his feet turn red. There was a heartbreaking pain for a while, and he seemed to have lost consciousness. Chin Feng still gritted his teeth and persisted. He knew that if he could not withstand the blow, death would be waiting for him, and he would not let go or retreat no matter what. Under the consumption of the energy mask, the giant hammer gradually wore away, and the final impact became smaller and smaller. Slowly, the giant hammer in front of Chin Feng disappeared into the air. After the giant hammer disappeared, Chin Feng still maintained his original posture, and then landed straight on the yellow sand his whole body numb and unable to move. At this time, the system's voice came to Chen Feng's mind again. Ding! The host's health is below 20%. Deduct 30% of the host's royal jelly and activate the repair function. Ding! The repair function is activated. Please pay attention to the host. Chen Feng fell to the ground with his legs in the air. His only moving eye looked at the fighting monsters coming and going around him. His heart was hanging up and down, putting down and hanging up again for fear that they would accidentally step on him. I kept complaining about the glorious worker bees in my heart. Normally, things seem to be going well. But why don't they just go? At the critical moment, they didn't see their king fall to the ground. And they would be trampled by beasts if they weren't careful. Why didn't they know how to come and help them? There's a support. Chin Feng opened his mouth and wanted to remind his glorious worker bees. He felt that his throat was a little dry. During the battle just now, his throat was already smoking and he was extremely thirsty. How could he still shout? Even if he could shout, Chin Feng then thought about it, and couldn't call out. If he was exposed, and all the monsters came to attack him, who had no resistance, he would die unjustly. Really, whatever he was thinking about came to him. At this moment, a huge foot blocked the sunlight above Chin Feng's head, and brought Chin Feng back from his thoughts. As soon as Chin Feng saw that Xian Wu had fainted, a huge foot was placed on Chin Feng's body, and before it fell, Chin Feng's heart was in his throat. Fearing that he would fall like this, Chin Feng clicked on the properties panel and saw that the progress had reached 80%. He couldn't help but feel a little desperate, silently praying that the system would be repaired quickly. Then, staring closely at the huge sole of the foot, Chin Feng wanted to calm his pounding heart 
and took a deep breath through his nose. Before he was halfway through inhaling, he almost fainted from the poisonous gas emanating from his giant palm. Chin Feng quickly closed his breathing. It took a long time before he recovered. The giant palm slowly got closer and closer. Chin Feng's pupils tightened. And at the critical moment, when he was about to step on Chin Feng, the system's voice sounded. Ding! The host has successfully repaired it. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng quickly used his movable bee legs and used all his strength to roll to the side. Away from the huge palm. But he never thought that as soon as Chin Feng left, the giant palm evacuated from its position above Chin Feng's body and then fell on the yellow sand beside him. Chin Feng breathed in the fresh air and looked at the fallen giant demon gorilla beside him. He couldn't help but feel angry and calmed his frightened heart. He vowed never to bear this frightening moment again. Then, Chin Feng flapped his wings and stopped at the leader of the giant gorilla. He took a few breaths, raised his bee feet, and stepped on him a few more times in frustration, mumbling to himself, saying, It's your fault. I'm going to die. Why are you still struggling to die? What's the use? It almost cost me my life. I'll trample you to death for making you dishonest. Chin Feng's small arms and legs stepped on the giant giant gorilla leader's body without any force. And even the fur on the body did not shake. From a distance, it looked like there was a small black figure on the giant giant gorilla leader's body. A little bit of angrily jumping around. Something funny will make the monsters burst into laughter. At this time, the fighting monsters were not in any mood to watch the scene and the shouts of killing were still ringing in Chin Feng's ears. Chin Feng patted his butt in butt, and sat on the head of the leader of the giant gorilla who had returned to the west. He crossed his legs and watched the fierce battle in the distance. Stop fighting! Your leader has been killed by me! If you don't surrender quickly, if you resist again, don't blame me for killing you! The giant demon apes heard Chin Feng's words, and knew that their leader had been killed. They became panicked and their attacks became chaotic. The glorious worker bees took advantage of the leaderless and remaining giant demon apes, which was like a piece of loose sand, and surrounded them in their own circle. The giant demon ape, who faced no challenge, was charged by the glory worker bees, killing all of them without leaving a single piece of armor behind. The giant monsters continued to decrease, and it was not until the last monster fell on the yellow sand that the glorious worker bees returned to Chen Feng's side. At this time, corpses were piled up on the yellow sand, and the blood dyed the surrounding yellow sand blood red. The blood of the monster beasts continued to flow along the long and small ravines on the yellow sand. And under the sunlight under the irradiation, the bloody atmosphere overflowed. Chin Feng looked at the glorious worker bees in front of him, who had returned to the team, lying on the soft hair, and yawned. Dispose of the body, erase the traces, and don't leave any clues for the enemy to prevent their accomplices from coming to inquire. Yes! Guangyi worker bee who is already a veteran in this area, will take the initiative to deal with it without Chin Feng's instructions. Not long after, the glorious worker bees returned. Report to the king. Mission accomplished. Chin Feng nodded with satisfaction, stretched his body, vibrated his wings, and flew up. He signaled with his eyes to let the glorious worker bees clean up the body of the leader of the giant demon gorilla. The glorious worker bees raised their front feet and cleaned up the corpse in a short time. Chin Feng raised his head and looked at the warm sun in the sky. He turned his head, glanced at the glorious worker bees, who had all returned to the team, and waved his front foot. Set off! As a result, he led the glorious worker bees, and quickly marched towards the blood forest. Chapter 148 Demon King Hall Conference After Chen Feng killed the giant demon ape and the monster beasts, he headed towards the blood forest. Along the way, Chen Feng did not delay, nor did he become curious about anything. Within a few days, he returned to the blood forest where he had not seen him for a long time. After a tiring journey, Chin Feng returned to the misty peak and entered the mist. He took a deep breath of the air in the mist. The familiar humidity that could be felt with his eyes closed came to his heart. And he felt something in his heart. Waves of warmth. Chin Feng leisurely flapped his wings and flew back to the hive that was both familiar and unfamiliar to him. He couldn't help but sigh. Touching here and there always made him feel like he was home. Chin Feng jumped up and lay down on his comfortable, furry throne covered with tiger skin. I closed my eyes, pinched the straw with my front feet habitually, and drank the freshly picked royal jelly in big gulps. The fresh and familiar taste lingered in my mouth for a long time, and a sweetness lingered in my mouth. My heart blooms quietly. At this time, the elder of the Demon King's Hall 
was still waiting for the monsters he sent to report the good news of killing Chen Feng. He waited left and right. But no monsters came to report. The elder of the Demon King's palace was lying on his throne, counting the days in his mind. Feeling that time was almost up, he opened his purple eyes and looked at the entrance of the cave, feeling a bad feeling coming over him. Coming beast! Immediately send the monsters to find out what happened to the monsters sent out by this elder? The giant demon gorilla crawling under the throne felt a chill in the voice of the elder of the Demon King's palace. And there was also a sense of coercion in his body. He shrank and answered quickly in training. Yes, elder, we will definitely fulfill our mission. The giant monster gorilla rushed to the ruins. And Shin Feng had already left. He tried his best to inquire about the situation of the monsters. However, the location where they were fighting was too remote. And there were very few monsters. Knowing the situation at that time, he could in addition, Jin Feng has ordered the glorious worker bees to destroy the corpses and eliminate traces. At this time, there is no clue to find any traces of them. The giant demon ape sent out one signal after another without any sign of response. It was like sinking into the sea with no news. However, according to the giant demon amp's own judgment, it is estimated that the giant demon amp is already in danger. As a result, the giant demon ape sent some monsters to stay in the ruins continuing to search and wait for news about the missing monsters. The giant demon gorilla took away some of the monsters and returned to the demon king's hall to report to the elders of the demon king's hall who were waiting for his news. The giant demon gorilla came to the cave of the elder of the demon king's palace and knelt down under the throne. Report to the elders. There are no monsters in the ruins that have seen the giant monsters we sent out. And the signals sent out have not received any response. It is estimated that they have been completely wiped out. When the elder of the Demon King Palace heard the bad news, the veins on his forehead popped out. The color in his purple eyes became darker and darker, and pressure spread from his body. The giant demon gorilla under the oppressive throne was somewhat breathless. Okay, let's go down. Yes. The elder of the Demon King's Hall looked at the smooth stone surface at the top of the cave and the mirror smooth rock wall. His eyes reflected and emitted bursts of cold light. Little black bee, it seems that you will be fine if you don't drink the toast. So don't blame me for being rude to you. Demon King Hall meetings are held once a month to report on the recent situation. The elder of the Demon King's palace stood up from the spacious throne and led a group of giant monsters to the main hall of the Demon King's palace. At this time, many monsters had gathered here, and every monster was a powerful figure who dominated the area. Son, but at this moment, they are sitting here obediently and honestly, even if they are dissatisfied in their hearts. They don't dare to show it openly. You don't dare to show it on your cheeks. The sound of whispers echoed in every corner of the Demon King's palace. It was impossible to tell which voice was whose, nor what they said. Time passed by minute by second. And at this moment, the master of the Demon King's palace was leading his men, walking gracefully and coming in gracefully. The master of the Demon King's hall is a three-tailed fox. The master of the Demon King's hall is sitting on the throne in the middle in front of all the monsters. Has anything happened recently? The monsters looked at each other in confusion. The elder of the Demon King's Palace closed his eyes slightly and said nothing. The master of the Demon King's Palace looked around at the silent monsters. If there's nothing else to do, let's break up the meeting, he said trying to get up. At this moment, one of the elders of the Bloodthirsty Hall stood up and cupped his hands. Reporting to the palace master, there has been a little black bee recently, which has been extremely rampant. It has violated the rules of the Demon King Palace and has killed many monsters in the Bloodthirsty Hall. Please make the decision for us. The Palace Master. A trace of surprise flashed in the eyes of the Lord of the Demon King's Hall. And he thought to himself, Since the Demon King's Palace was established, no monsters have come to provoke them for a long time. The Demon King's Palace has a great reputation. They all know that the Demon King's Palace has a wide distribution range and is very powerful. They don't dare to have any monsters come to fight against it. Now, there are monsters coming to challenge our majesty. There are such bold monsters. Can't help but be a little surprised. Oh, the elder of the bloodthirsty hall started. And the other monsters saw that the master of the hall did not stop him. So they rushed to speak. The other bloodthirsty hall elders also followed closely. Hall master, please tell me. That little black wasp is really super rampant. It not only bloodbathed many of our monsters in the ruins but also took away many of our spiritual treasures, causing great damage to our bloodthirsty hall's vitality. I hope that the hall master can make the decision for us to redress our grievances. At this moment, 
the elder of the Demon King's palace opened his eyes, with a trace of sadness flashing in his eyes. Palace master, this elder's beloved son went deep into the ruins to pick the elixir. He was also killed by the little black bee. He suffered a lot of losses. Not a single monster survived. And the palace master knew everything. When the master of the Demon King's palace heard this, he touched his chin with interest. I will go investigate this matter. But without our order, no one is allowed to violate the rules of the Demon King's palace and send monsters to surround him. If I know that you have violated the rules of the Demon King's palace, I will let you guys have a taste of this palace master's methods. As he spoke, a fierce momentum emanated from his body, and he released his pressure on the monsters without reservation. The monster beasts only felt that their bodies were heavy. Their whole bodies were shivering with chills. Their eyes were turning black and they could only keep lowering their heads. Even the elders of the Demon King's Palace are no exception. Yes, I will obey the Palace Master's order. The Master of the Demon King's Palace snorted coldly, put away his pressure, and the aura on his body quietly dissipated. Then, he jumped down from the throne, led his men, and walked away calmly. Go. Chapter 149 Cold Eyes The elder of the Demon King's Palace found out that the disappearance of his beloved son was related to Chen Feng and it was very likely that he no longer existed in this world. However, due to the rules of the Demon King's Palace, he could not take action at will. So he sent out the monster, went to encircle and suppress Chen Feng, but had no faith at all. At the monthly meeting of the Demon King's Hall, the elders of the Demon King's Hall and some elders from the Bloodthirsty Hall framed Chen Feng. The Demon King's Hall has noticed Chen Feng's existence. Although the master of the Demon King's Palace gave a death order not to send monsters privately to surround Chen Feng, some monsters were really unwilling to do so, and still sent out a large number of monsters. The master of the Demon King's Hall was on top of the assembly, and left with a cold snort, leaving all the monsters and beasts looking at each other, not knowing what to do. The elder of the Demon King's Hall looked at the retreating figure of the hall master, with a deep look in his eyes. The fingertips of his forepaws hit the simple stone chair. In the quiet cave, it sounded particularly loud, as if knocking on the stone, into the hearts of all the monsters. The eyes of the monster beasts fell on the elder of the Demon King's Hall in an instant, with a hint of expectation, doubt, and prying in their eyes. One of the bloodthirsty Hall elders courageously took a step forward and raised his front paws. Elder, what do you think we should do? When the elder of the Demon King Hall heard the question, his eyes fell on the elder of the bloodthirsty Hall. His eyes narrowed slightly and his brows raised slightly. The elder of the bloodthirsty hall felt a chill down his spine and took two steps back. Only then did the feeling disappear. Only then did the elder of the demon king palace answer. Let's break up. So he stood up happily. After the demon king's hall meeting, the elders returned to their caves, reclining on the throne, closing their eyes and meditating. Coming beast! The eyes of the elder of the demon king's palace narrowed slightly. Go and inquire about the whereabouts of the little black bee. Yes. At this time, Chin Feng was lying on the throne, thinking constantly in his mind. Nowadays, there are more and more enemies, and their strength is getting stronger and stronger. It's time to improve our own strength. Chin Feng clicked on the attribute panel and looked at it. He had enough evolution points. System. I want to upgrade. The system determines that it will sound again after two seconds. Ding. The host has been upgraded successfully. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Feng only felt the surge of spiritual energy and the tearing pain all over his body, which never stopped for a moment. But Chin Feng was not afraid of these pains. He enjoyed the process of pain and the process of becoming stronger. The pain lasted for about a quarter of an hour before it stopped. Chin Feng couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. Every time he saw his strength improving, he felt an indescribable joy. Host, Chen Feng, Lin Wu 9 Mirrors, 1 slash asterisk 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 asterisk. Skill, Xiantian Wudao, 5th level, Xiantian Sword Shadow, has a 50% chance of paralyzing and paralyzing the target for 5 seconds. The earth groaned. Within 100 meters of the host's body, there is no difference in thunder attacks. The number of attacks is limited to 26, which is equal to the host's own level. Defense, 2nd level, pure defense skill. Defense power is equal to 60% of own strength. Teleportation, 4th level, anywhere within 1,000 meters of the host's body. Invisibility, limited by level. Time is 5 minutes. Secret technique, void poison, 4th level, after the venom is used. Honey can be absorbed and converted into venom. 
Attack poison is enhanced by 25%. And attack damage is reduced by 25%. Chin Feng saw that he had reached the ninth level of the Lin Wu Mirror. And maybe he could become a monster of the Earthly Martial Mirror in the near future. However, Chin Feng didn't know that he had been targeted. Not long after, the spies sent out by the Elders of the Demon King's Hall returned to the Cave of the Elders of the Demon King's Hall. The Elder of the Demon King's Palace sat upright on the throne. His dark purple eyes closed, covering the bursts of cold light in his eyes. His brows furrowed from time to time. It seemed like I had thought of something unsatisfactory. At this time, the giant demon gorilla came to report. He walked in lightly without making a sound. He looked at the elder, who was closing his eyes to rest. He couldn't help but hold his breath, and crawled under the throne. That's it. Quietly waiting for the elder of the demon king's palace to speak. After an unknown amount of time, the giant demon ape waited for his limbs to feel numb while lying on the ground. And then the elder of the demon king palace opened his deep purple eyes. His eyes narrowed slightly, as he looked at the giant demon gorilla below. Tell me what news you found out. The giant demon ape then opened his mouth and found that his throat was extremely thirsty, as if smoke was coming out. He slowly swallowed a few mouthfuls of saliva, and his throat became slightly moist, and he immediately raised his front palms. Report to the elders. The spies we sent out have discovered the location of Little Black Bee. Little Black Bee has escaped from the ruins and returned to the misty peak of the blood forest. That is his lair. What should we do next? Please let the elders decide. The elder of the Demon King's palace squinted his eyes, and an unknown light flashed in his eyes. The monster's spine was chilled. Its hairs were counting down, and it was dripping with cold sweat. The elder of the Demon King palace pondered for a long time, as if he had already made a plan in his mind. He glanced at the giant demon gorilla under the throne. The giant demon gorilla trembled slightly. Send some monsters to the misty peak of the blood forest to encircle and suppress the little black bees. Only success is allowed. No failure is allowed. And don't let other monsters know that this is my order. Yes. The giant demon ape received the order and immediately stood up. But he never thought that because he had been lying on the ground for too long. He got up too hard. Staggered. And fell to the ground again with a thud. The giant demon gorilla only felt pain in his back legs, showing an ugly grin. The elder of the demon king's hall heard the sudden sound made by the giant demon gorilla. His eyes flickered and opened, and his eyes were like lightning, shining on the giant demon gorilla. The giant demon gorilla felt the cold and unusually cold eyes fall on him, and his back stiffened. The grinning look was immediately fixed on his face, and the twisted facial muscles did not dare to move. The elder of the demon king palace saw that this was an accident, and frowned slightly, with a look of dissatisfaction flashing through his eyes. But he did not blame the giant demon gorilla for being rude, and slowly closed his cold eyes, feeling the cold gaze disappearing. The giant demon gorilla glanced at the elder of the demon king's palace. Seeing that his attention had left his body, he dared to stand up slowly. This time, he did not dare to be careless, and used he rubbed his aching and numb legs with his front palms and straightened up as quickly as a turtle. The giant demon gorilla moved its steps, and retreated quietly. After leaving the cave, it was discovered that cold sweat was dripping on its forehead, and the hair all over its body was wet and soaked, clinging tightly to its body, making it uncomfortable. The giant monsters immediately passed on the order, and the giant monsters got ready and headed to the blood forest to gather with the little black bees. Chapter 150 The Eve of War The elders of the Demon King's Palace got accurate information from the spies and learned that Chen Feng was in the blood forest. So he sent a large number of monsters to encircle and suppress him. The monsters were ready to go and headed to the blood forest in a mighty manner. At this time, Chin Feng did not know that the crisis had come. Nor did he know that a large number of monsters came to the blood forest just to kill him. And he was still holding the straw and drinking royal jelly happily. At this moment, a glorious worker bee flew into the hive and knelt down on one knee under Chin Feng's throne. Report to the king. The white tiger with hanging forehead came to ask for an audience. Chin Feng was stunned for a few seconds before he realized. If it hadn't been for the Diao forehead white tiger coming to find Chin Feng, Chin Feng would have almost forgotten about this monster that had repeatedly helped Chin Feng in times of crisis. At this moment, he didn't need to think about it to know that the Diao forehead white tiger was. Who? Quick! Take me to see him! Chin Feng immediately stood up and followed the glorious worker Bi who came to report to the white tiger. Not long after, the glory worker be led Chin Feng to fly out of the misty wind. Not far from the misty peak, the hanging-headed white tiger was looking elegantly into the distance, as if there was something charming in the distance. 
Chin Fong signaled with his eyes that the glory worker B should retreat. Then, he stopped next to the white tiger with a hanging forehead. How did you come? The white tiger eyebrows raised slightly. Your opening remarks are always the same. Can you use a new one next time? Chin Fong glanced at the white tiger with a hanging forehead. Somewhat dumbfounded. Seriously? You definitely didn't come here to tease me this time. You don't go to the Three Treasures Hall for anything. So tell me now. The hanging forehead white tiger looked at Chin Fong, who was quite anxious, with traces of curiosity in his eyes. Okay, let me tell you. Not long ago, I saw the men of the Elder of the Demon King's Hall wandering around the Misty Peak. Do you know? Chin Feng's eyes narrowed. A subordinate of the Elder of the Demon King's Palace? Chin Feng paused, pondered for a few seconds, and looked at the hanging forehead white tiger who had been staring at him. Really? A giant monster with black hair all over its body? The hanging forehead white tiger nodded. They have disappeared around here in the past two days. They probably went to bring in reinforcements. You have to be careful these days. Chin Fong nodded. The hanging forehead white tiger continued to ask. How did you offend them? Apart from the master of the Demon King's Palace. Are they the most difficult group of monsters to mess with in the Demon King's Palace? You are too powerful. You can offend the most powerful monsters accurately every time. Chin Fong scratched his head and could only smile awkwardly. The hanging forehead white tiger stood up and shook the dust off his body. I won't waste your time anymore. Go back and get ready. Then, he walked towards the distance. Chin Fong looked at the retreating figure of the white tiger with a hanging forehead and fluttered his wings to fly back to the hive. Chin Fong was lying on the throne, tapping the handle on the throne with his front foot habitually. From the water drop space, he took out the Xiantian Nine Lotus that was exchanged from the Bloodthirsty Hall branch in the ruins. System, I want to use this Xiantian Nine Lotus. The sound of the system sounded at lightning speed. Ding! Use the god-level high-grade elixir. Xiantian Nine Lotus is successful. Hive plunder plus one. Hive toxicity plus one. The current integrity of the hive is 100%. Do you want to upgrade now? Chin Fong said directly without blinking. Upgrade. After his calculations, the demon beast sent by the elders of the Demon King's Hall would still have two or three days to arrive here. B. Mion was not worried at all about being attacked during the hive upgrade period. So he upgraded boldly and confidently. The sound of the system sounded, interrupting Chin Feng's thoughts. Ding. The hive has been upgraded successfully. The estimated time is one day. Please pay attention to the host. Time flew by minute by minute. And the day passed in the blink of an eye. During this day, Chin Feng did not go anywhere, but drank royal jelly leisurely in the hive. One day later, the system's voice appeared in Chin Feng's mind again. Ding. The hive has been upgraded successfully. The current hive level is level 29. Three Yuan Yuan pills and three healing pills will be rewarded. I saw the hive shaking for a while and shrinking twice more. But the space inside the hive has doubled and is more spacious. In fact, it is not a problem for tens of thousands of glorious worker bees to live here. Chen Feng couldn't wait to open the attribute panel. Hive level, 29, the host level cannot be higher than the hive. Items required to be upgraded, Xiantian 9 Lotus. Number of worker bees. Transfer cooling time is 15 hours. Hive defense, 8 out of 10. Hive attack power, 7 out of 10. Hive invisibility, October 10th, invisibility time is limited by hive level. Hive toxicity, 10 20ths. Hive plunder, 7 out of 10, plunder the opponent's bloodline. Ability, carrying worker bees, can directly communicate with the hive for worker bee transmission. And the transmission speed increases with the level of the hive. Teleportation, the ability to teleport spiritual treasures through the air. Chin Fong looked around the hive, rolled his eyes, and thought about it. Then, he flapped his wings and flew out of the misty peak. Chin Fong flew to the core area of the blood forest and came to the forbidden area behind the Beast King's cave. Chin Fong stayed behind part of it, and the glorious worker bees took charge. Chen Fong flew close, and the glory worker bee discovered his traces in an instant, and immediately knelt on the ground and saluted his king. Chin Fong waved his front foot to signal them to get up, and then flew into the forbidden area. Chin Fong looked around and stopped in a hidden place overlapping trees. System. I want to establish coordinates here. Ding. The coordinates have been established. Please pay attention to the host. Chin Fong turned back and looked back. System. Move the hive here. The system judged it for two seconds and remembered it again. Ding. The hive transfer is starting. The transfer is successful. 
The cooling time is 15 hours. Please pay attention to the host. I saw a moderate trend suddenly appeared. In front of Chen Feng. Chen Feng was frightened and jumped to the side. Not being injured by the sudden appearance of the hive. Since there is a connection between the hive and the glorious worker bees. Chen Feng is not worried that the glorious worker bees will not be able to find their way home. Chen Feng fluttered his wings and looked at it from a distance. He found that the lush leaves completely blocked the hive. Chen Feng couldn't help but nodded with satisfaction. After that, he flapped his wings, flew out of the situation, and returned to the misty bee, waiting for the return of the other glorious worker bees. The sun gradually sets in the west, and all the glorious worker bees return. Chen Feng raised his front foot, tapped it slightly, and had a rough number in his mind. After clearing his throat, a loud voice echoed through the cave. All the glorious worker bees obeyed the order and were divided into three groups of worker bees. One group stayed here, outside the fog front, and surrounded the place heavily. If there is any situation, report to me. The remaining two groups follow me. I understand. Yes. As soon as Chen Feng finished speaking, the echoes of the glorious worker bees sounded one after another, and their echoes continued to echo in the cave. Wave after wave. Chapter 151 Everything is Ready Chin Feng moved the hive to a forbidden area. After that, Chin Feng divided the glory worker bees into three groups. He ambushed the first group of glory worker bees outside the misty peak, and then led the other glory worker bees back to the hive, waiting for those monsters. Once the beasts come, let them go and never return. Time passed by in minutes and seconds, and two days slipped through our fingers in the blink of an eye. During these two days, Chin Feng ordered the glory worker bees to build separate hives in the Misty Peak and asked three groups of glory worker bees to take turns to ambush outside the Misty Peak. Chin Feng came to the outskirts of the Blood Forest again and contacted the Little Hornet who was in charge of the shining worker bees on the outskirts of the Blood Forest. The star glory worker bees couldn't help but feel a little flattered when they saw their king suddenly arriving. There was a look of joy and surprise in their eyes. They thought that their king had forgotten their existence and ignored them. If it weren't for the elixirs, that he sent from time to time to increase their strength. Otherwise, the star glory worker bees would have long been saddened by the king's abandonment of them. Chin Feng crossed his legs and sat on the throne. He couldn't help but feel a little guilty when he looked at Little Hornet, who was kneeling under the throne with an excited look in his eyes. From the water drop space, he took out some of the elixir he didn't need and gave it to the glory worker bee behind him, asking him to give it to the Little Hornet as a little compensation. Looking at the elixir in his hand, Little Hornet's eyes filled with tears. He knew that they still existed in his heart. And his room had not forgotten them. When he thought of this, his heart became even more excited. And his voice also had infinite strength. King! What's the matter with you? But it depends on your command. Chin Feng touched Bee's chin and cleared his throat politely. This king has two purposes for coming here this time. One is that I have not seen you for a long time and come to express my condolences to you. The other is that there is something that you need to do. Little Hornet's eyes were full of passion. He remembered the days when he and Chen Feng traveled around. They were so happy and lively at that time. Now, the idle days have made them forget about the danger. It's time to experience. Experienced. Then, Little Hornet's eyes became firm. King, you said, as long as it is your command, we will go up the mountain of swords and go down into the sea of fire. We will do our best. Chen Feng had a slight smile in his eyes and couldn't help but shake his head. You don't have to go up mountains of swords and seas of fire. You just need to keep an eye on a group of monsters. If they come to the outskirts of the blood forest, if there is any movement, just come and report it. But don't let them find out. They are all high-level monsters. No matter what, you should be careful not to reveal your location. Yes, I will obey the king's order. Chin Feng stood up from the throne with satisfaction. As if he was about to leave, Little Wasp's eyes dimmed for a moment, and then returned to normal thinking to herself. My king has just arrived and is about to leave. He must be very busy on weekdays. He still thinks about us. How can we do our best for the king? Although we are a little reluctant to leave the king, we still have business matters. Chin Feng saw the flash of darkness in Little Hornet's eyes and felt a little unbearable. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Little Hornet, take me to visit the outskirts of the Blood Forest and tell me how the outskirts of the Blood Race Forest are doing now. Little Hornet's eyes were stunned for a while, and he couldn't react for a while. Chin Feng waited for a long time, but didn't wait for Little Hornet's reply. He couldn't help but feel a little puzzled. He glanced around and couldn't help but feel a little puzzled. 
he glanced around and smiled dumbly. A starlight worker beyond the side immediately bumped the little hornet with its elbow. Otherwise, the little hornet would definitely be upset in his heart for a long time. Only then did little hornet react. Slapped little yellow's head in annoyance. Hurriedly stepped forward, cupped his hands, and answered immediately. Yes, thank you for your gift. Chin Fong swung his front legs and let the little hornet lead the way. Chin Fong led several radiant worker bees and followed them with their wings vibrating. Looking at the harmonious scene outside the blood forest, I couldn't help but be secretly amazed. Everywhere I went, everyone surrendered. Not only that, as long as Chin Fong arrived at a place with monsters, they would all worship Chin Fong. Chin Fong couldn't help but look at the little hornet with curiosity. Why do they all know me? In my memory, they have never seen me. The little wasp scratched its head with its front foot in embarrassment. Report to the king. Every one of them has your portrait in the hands of the monsters. This was decided by the young men in private. Without your consent, we asked the king to punish them. Chin Fong felt a little moved in his heart. He didn't expect that the star glory worker bees he raised would do so. Chin Fong secretly wiped the wet corners of his eyes with his front feet. I don't mean to blame you. You have done a good job. I have not misjudged you. I am very relieved to leave the periphery of the blood forest to you. From now on, this place will be fully managed by you. I believe you will not let it go. I'm disappointed. Little Hornet led Chin Fong around almost the entire perimeter of the blood forest. Looking at the orderly surroundings of the blood forest, Chin Fong couldn't help but give Little Hornet a thumbs up in his heart. Even though bees don't have thumbs, because Chin Fong would be discovered by the Star Glory worker bees as soon as he entered the blood forest. He drew their portraits on the leaves and gave them to Little Wasp, who spread the portraits super efficiently. The entire periphery of the blood forest, as long as it is, as soon as the giant demon gorilla enters the blood forest, it will be discovered and reported to Chin Fong. After Chin Fong finished explaining everything, he led the glory worker bees and left the outskirts of the blood forest under the reluctant gaze of the little hornet. They flapped their wings and flew back to the hive. Whether it's the misty peak or the outskirts of the blood forest, everything is ready, just waiting for the giant demon aids to come and catch them all in one fell swoop. On this day, I saw monsters running around in the outer reaches of the blood forest, creating an unusual sensation. Chun Fong, who was enjoying the nourishment of his spiritual veins in the Beast King's cave, was sitting on the throne at the moment, holding the straw with his front feet and drinking royal jelly in big gulps. At this moment, a well-trained worker bee ran in and knelt on one knee under the throne. Report to the king. According to the information from the Star Glory worker bees, a group of giant demon apes have arrived at the outskirts of the blood forest. Chin Feng's eyes lit up, and he stood up from the throne excitedly. Everything was ready, and he was just waiting for them to get involved. How could Chin Feng not be excited? Tell Xingyu worker bees not to alert the enemy or act rashly. Afterwards, there was a pause, and just when the glorious worker bees thought that Chin Feng would not say anything and retreated, Chin Feng's voice came slowly. Let's go to Misty Peak with this king. Yes, king. Then, two glorious worker bees went to tell the little hornet Chin Feng's order. Chin Feng led a small group of glorious worker bees, vibrating their wings, and flew towards the Misty Peak. Chapter 152, Deep into the Orangutan's Cave Chin Feng contacted the shining worker bees on the outskirts of the blood forest and asked them to keep an eye on the activities outside the blood forest. He also lurked a large number of shining worker bees on the Misty Peak. Everything was ready. He was just waiting for the giant Mongolian demon ape to arrive and kill them. Stay here forever. At this time, Chin Fong got the news from the Star Yao worker bees that the giant monster gorilla had arrived at the outskirts of the blood forest. So he led some of the shinings to vibrate their wings and arrived at the subhive of the Misty Peak. Sitting leisurely on the throne, there was no sense of urgency like facing a powerful enemy. As soon as the general leader of the giant demon ape entered the blood forest, he looked at the scene around the blood forest with disdain and couldn't help but think in his heart. How could such a weak and backward area attract the attention of the elders? The elders must be making too much of a fuss. They are actually waging war in such a barren place. Turning back, he looked at the giant demon apes he led. I picked a monster here at random, and it is stronger than the highest level monster here. It seems that there is no need to play any tricks. Just start fighting. I will definitely beat them to pieces and scatter them. Run away and let the elders see what I can do. Ever since, he thought about leading his men directly towards Misty Peak. However, the giant demon ape general looked at the surrounding trees and felt a little worried. Among the vast trees, 
I couldn't help but wonder how I could find the Misty Peak. The giant demon ape general wandered around twice, in four directions, east, west, south, and north. But he couldn't tell which direction he was in. Suddenly, I had a flash of inspiration and an idea. Juan looked back at the giant monster gorilla behind him. Coming beast! Several demonic beasts immediately stepped forward and raised their front palms towards the giant demonic ape general. General! What are your orders? The giant giant demon gorilla general was not stupid. He was afraid of scaring away those low-level monsters. So he murmured in the ears of the giant giant demon gorilla. The giant monster heard his general's idea. And his huge head kept nodding. Indicating that he had received the order. After the giant giant demon gorilla general finished speaking. The giant giant demon gorilla immediately took action. Running in the four directions of east, west, south and north. Little Hornet, who was personally monitoring the giant demon apes, couldn't help but be a little surprised when he saw the scene. In order to find out their purpose, Little Hornet decided to go deep into the tiger's den to investigate in person. The monsters were chasing the giant monsters and fled in all directions. The Little Hornet followed behind a giant monster. In an instant, he understood what the giant monsters were doing. They were catching low-level monsters. Monsters? I just don't know what the plot is after they are captured. As a result, the little wasp flew not far in front of the giant gorilla, pretending to be sleeping. The giant demon gorilla looked at the monsters running away in all directions, and then saw that his hands were empty. He couldn't help but feel a little angry. He hit the ground with two huge palms. After venting his anger, the giant demon gorilla walked forward, happened to see the little hornet. The giant monster was secretly happy, secretly thinking that an opportunity had come, and quietly came closer. Seeing such a small wasp, he didn't know what to do. Simply, with a sudden thought, he stretched out two fingers on his giant palm and caught the little wasp in one fell swoop. However, he was afraid of hurting him, so he could only hold his finger stiff. At this time, the little hornet pretended to be dazed and woke up. Seeing that he was caught, he struggled in panic, but he could not break free from the clutches at all. The giant demon gorilla narrowed his eyes slightly as he looked at the struggling little wasp in his hand and couldn't help roaring. The little hornet pretended to be scared and shrank, not daring to move again. The giant demon ape said this. Don't struggle. We won't hurt you. Then, you held him and returned to the team. You caught a few monsters from the other giant monsters, but their bodies were shaking like a sieve, and you couldn't clearly identify the direction. The giant demon ape looked at General the giant demon amp's face and became more and more uneasy in his heart. He placed all his hopes on the little hornet. Seeing that he had captured such a tiny little wasp, the giant giant devil gorilla general couldn't help but glare at him. But it was better than nothing. So it was just a dead horse. Little hornet, do you know how to get to Misty Wind? After going deep into the tiger's den, the little hornet realized why they captured the monsters. It turned out to be to lead the way for them. The little hornet thought in her heart. I have given an order not to let us act rashly. Our goal is to prevent them from returning. So I should tell him how to get to Misty Peak. The little hornet rolled his eyes and made up his mind. His body pretended to be trembling slightly. And his voice also had a vibrato. If I tell you, will you let me go? When the giant demon gorilla heard this, he secretly thought that something was going on. And then nodded slightly. The little hornet pointed at the low-level monsters caught by the giant monsters. Can you let them go? I'll stay here and lead the way for you. The giant demon gorilla general signaled with his eyes. The giant demon gorilla immediately let go of his giant palm. And the released monsters immediately ran into the distance without looking back. The giant gorilla general looked at the little hornet. Go and lead the way. The little hornet pointed in a direction and led the giant monsters forward. When the sun was fading, little hornet finally led them to the location of Misty Peak. Little hornet glanced at general giant demon ape, pointed at the thick fog, indicating that it was Misty Peak and then turned back to look at giant demon ape general. The wild orangutan. Can you let me go now? The giant demon ape general rolled his eyes and shook his head. I can't let you go now. After all, you are also a bee. You know this place so well. If you go to report the news and let them run away, how can I fight with them? The little hornet heard these words and pretended to be listless. The giant demon ape general's eyes were cold and he paused. But a dead monster is the best at keeping secrets. So kill it. Little Hornet's eyes lit up when he heard the turning point, and then dim again, struggling continuously. The giant devil gorilla holding the little wasp received the order and couldn't bear to see such a small figure. However, he could not disobey the order and kept squeezing it with his fingers. 
Little Waz felt a sense of suffocation, spreading from the place where the giant demon ape clenched tightly to all parts of his body, and the joints in his body crackled. At this critical moment of life and death, he knew that he could not sit still and wait for death. At the critical moment, the little wasp's stomach tightened, and it showed its poisonous needle, detached from the two huge fingers, and pierced his fingertips. Then, regardless of success or failure, it went directly to the distance. Fly away! The giant monster gorilla received a blow from the little wasp, and only felt pain and numbness in his fingers. Seeing the little hornet run away, General Giant Monkey couldn't help but glared at him angrily, snorted coldly, and stopped chasing him. Chapter 153 Sneak Attack Little Hornet led the clueless giant monsters and found the location of Misty Peak. However, the giant monster general who originally promised to let Little Hornet find the way failed to keep his word and wanted to kill the little wasp, but he didn't expect him to escape. Seeing that a little wasp would not affect the overall situation, he stopped chasing him. As a result, General Giant Demon Abe set up camp in a cave not far from the outskirts of Misty Peak. He only had to wait until the next day to attack Misty Peak and kill the little black bee here. Chin Fong waited in the beehive of Misty Peak for a long time, until a jar of royal jelly entered his stomach. And then, he waited for the belated arrival of the giant monster apes. He originally thought that they would start a war as soon as they arrived, but he never expected that there would be no movement at all. Knowing yourself and the enemy, you can fight without danger. Chin Fong decided to go to find out their movements and plots. In order to better deal with emergencies and situations, Chin Fong raised his thin arms and legs, stretched his body, and shouted outside the hive, Come on, bee. Hearing the call of his king, a radiant worker bee immediately ran in and knelt on one knee under the throne. King, what are your orders? Chin Fong glanced at the glorious worker bee under the throne. His eyes slightly condensed. I am ordering all the glory worker bees to be vigilant and ready at all times. No rash action is allowed without my order. Don't let the glory worker bees lurking around be discovered by the giant monsters. Otherwise, everything you have done before will collapse and will fall into a dangerous situation. Yes, King. Chin Fong looked at the retreating figure of the glorious worker bee, then flapped his wings and flew out of the misty peak. Not long after, they arrived at the place where the giant gorilla was stationed. With the dim light, Chin Fong flew past the heavily patrolled giant monkey king and arrived at the innermost part of the cave, where the general led by the giant monkey king lived. I saw the giant demon ape general lying carelessly on a big rock inside. Chen Fong saw the stone covered with countless leaves and thought to himself, This guy really knows how to enjoy it. Flying closer, he saw the snoring and soundly sleeping giant demon ape general, and a trace of surprise flashed in his eyes. Originally, Chen Fong thought that many monsters sent by the elders of the demon king's palace had been destroyed in Chen Feng's hands. Therefore, he would hold a huge grudge against him. In order to kill him, he would send a wise and brave monster. Beast, but never thought of sending a brainless leader. Even so, Chin Fong did not relax his vigilance. Just in case this was a ploy to confuse him, when facing enemies, you must never look down upon them. At this moment, an idea flashed in Chin Feng's mind, and he thought of a plan. Looking at the tired giant demon ape, a cold light flashed in his eyes, and he sneered twice silently, and then he vibrated his wings, exited the cave. Chin Fong hurriedly returned to the hive, and sent a large number of radiant worker bees through the system to the misty peak. He looked at the darkness of the radiant worker bees in the cave and looked into the distance with extremely cold eyes. All worker bees listen. The voices of the glorious worker bees echoed throughout the cave. Exist. Chin Fong looked around. All glory worker bees are divided into five groups and will follow me to sneak attack on the enemy. Are you confident? The eyes of the glorious worker bees are firm and their hearts are full of passion. Have. Chen Fong heard the loud voice and nodded with satisfaction. Set off. Yes. The sound of buzzing sounded in the cave, then gradually disappeared and flew into the distance. Arriving outside the cave not far from Misty Peak, Chen Fong swung his front foot and all the glory worker bees stopped. Chen Fong secretly listened carefully at the entrance of the cave, only to hear loud snoring in the cave. There were only a few monster beasts patrolling in the cave. However, the eyes of those monster beasts drooped from time to time, and their heads turned to the side from time to time. As they walked away, Chin Fong knew that the sleepy insects were calling them. Chin Fong calculated the time in his mind. In about 20 seconds, he would be able to fly from the cave entrance into the cave. So, 
He used his eyes to indicate that he would start again in 30 seconds. Seeing that the glorious worker bees understood what he meant, they vibrated their wings and flew into the cave. Since the cave was very dark and most of the monsters had fallen asleep, Chin Fong was not worried at all that he would be discovered. He directly increased his speed to the limit and entered the innermost part of the cave. Chen Fong saw the giant demon gorilla general lying on his side on the stone, his tail kneel ready to attack. Chen Fong waited for the time to run out and rushed directly to the back of the giant gorilla's head. After all, the giant demon ape general is a demon beast of the earth martial mirror. Although he is sleeping soundly, his body has already developed the ability to perceive danger through years of combat experience. There are gusts of cold wind on the back of his head, mixed with the sound of buzz, buzz, sound. Before you woke up, your body was one step ahead of you and reacted, grunting directly to the side to avoid Chen Feng's attack. When Chen Feng saw such a scene, he couldn't help but be stunned for a second. The giant monster gorilla general. Chirp, chirp, chirp. He was still sleeping so soundly, with no intention of waking up. This made Chen Feng dumbfounded. The poisonous needle at the tail rushed towards the head of the giant monster gorilla general again with a cold light and it reached the top of his head in an instant with a sharp wind. I don't know if it was a coincidence or intentional. General Mang Meng sat up quickly, and the poisonous needle passed by his head without any harm. Chin Feng looked at the giant demon ape general sitting up, and was a little dumbfounded. His heart was beating fast in his chest, as if it was about to jump out of his throat. The giant demon ape general sat up without opening his eyes, and shouted loudly, Little Black Bee, don't attack this general. When Chin Feng heard these words, he couldn't help but take two steps back. He looked at the giant giant demon ape general defensively, and his body made an attack posture. As soon as the giant giant demon ape general made a move, he would take a preemptive strike and immediately fight with the giant giant demon ape general's fight. However, what was unexpected was that general giant demon ape did not wake up. After saying those words in his sleep, he lay down straight again. Jin Feng looked at the giant demon ape general lying down, feeling extremely depressed. After several unsuccessful attacks, Chin Feng panted and gave up the attack. At this time, the glory worker bees outside the cave also took action. They silently approached the sleeping giant monsters lying on the ground. Some of the giant orangutans did not even say a word under the attack of the glorious worker bees and stayed in their dreams forever. At this time, the few dozing giant orangutans heard the words in the cave. With a buzzing sound, he immediately woke up and looked around cautiously, shouting to the surroundings. Attention! There is a monster coming to attack! Quickly defend it! All the sleeping monsters, who heard the reminder from the giant demon ape immediately woke up. Those who could stand up immediately, and those who could wake up immediately woke up and entered a state of preparation for war. Chapter 154 The Prelude Sounds Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees to sneak attack on the tired giant monsters. However, when Chin Feng went deep into the cave, showed his tail needle with a cold light, and attacked the sleeping giant monster general. He was always beaten by him. Dodge accurately. Chin Feng was a little breathless and looked at the giant giant demon gorilla general, who was still sleeping soundly. He couldn't help but feel angry and thinking in his heart. How can this guy avoid attacks while he is asleep? And he has been attacked so many times and has no tendency to wake up. Is it so unfair for God to treat me like this? Chin Feng, who was resting on the edge of the stone bed, heard the shouts of killing outside and knew that the glorious worker bees had been exposed. He originally thought of giving a final blow, but if it failed, he would leave. However, at this moment, a giant orangutan hurriedly ran in. Chin Feng heard the footsteps at the entrance of the cave and immediately fluttered his wings from the edge of the bed and flew to the rock wall. The giant gorilla was too panicked and did not see Chin Feng flying up. Without even thinking, he ran up to the giant gorilla general, stretched out his two huge front paws, and kept pushing the giant gorilla anxiously. The thick arms of General Ape. General, wake up quickly. There are enemies coming for a sneak attack. In his day's sleep, the giant demon ape general heard a monster calling him and felt the force pushing him away from his arms. His eyes opened with a pop. And then he sat up straight. He stood up, calmed down for a while, and couldn't help but rub his eyes with his huge palms. Then he turned back and looked at the giant demon gorilla with wide eyes. You'd better report something to this general. Otherwise, if you disturb my sleep, I will kill you. Tell me, what's going on? Hearing the words of the giant demon ape general, the giant demon ape shrank twice before speaking tremblingly. Reporting to the general, 
There are enemy troops coming to attack. Now! Many brothers have been killed and injured. I hope the general will make a decision. When General Giant Demon Ape heard this, he couldn't help being furious. How dare they be so rampant? Tell me, General, what is the enemy's army like? Seeing the general's calm look, the giant monster's heart slowly dropped. Reporting to the general seems like a swarm of little black bees. When the giant demon ape general heard his return, he became even more angry, and his eyes seemed to be on fire. Little black bee, how dare you be so bold? You didn't go looking for him, but you dared to sneak attack on me. Let's go and follow me to deal with him. Yes. The giant demon ape couldn't help but be a little excited when he heard this. Chin Fong hit on the rock wall, looking at the retreating back of the giant gorilla general, with a helpless look in his eyes, thinking to himself, Is it possible that I attacked him so many times? He was always asleep and didn't notice it. How strange. How strange. Chin Fong flew down from the rock wall and muttered to himself, Now that they are all gathered at the entrance of the cave, it's time for me to go see what's going on. Chin Fong flapped his wings and flew towards the cave entrance as fast as he could. At this moment, a fierce fight was going on inside the cave entrance. The giant demon ape general has arrived at the entrance of the cave. Brothers, rush for me and kill them without leaving any trace behind. The giant monster apes heard the voice of their general and knew that the general was cheering for them. They couldn't help but become energetic. Their morale was greatly shaken and they attacked the glorious worker bees even more rapidly. Chin Fong looked at the glorious worker bees who were still fighting, stroked his forehead, and thought to himself, Since everything has been discovered, why don't you retreat? Why are you still fighting here so stupidly? You really haven't inherited any of my cleverness. Then, he looked at the distance between himself and the glorious worker bees in the cave. Teleport! He disappeared in place and returned to the team of glorious worker bees. When the glorious worker bees saw their king returning to the team, their eyes lit up. Retreat! Yes! King! I saw the glorious worker bees receding like the tide. And in an instant, they disappeared without a trace. When the giant demon ape general saw them disappearing in front of his eyes, he couldn't help but twist his nose in anger. He didn't expect that the little black bee was so cowardly and ran away directly. The giant giant monster gorilla general did not pursue it, but just cleaned up the mess after the battle. Although the giant monster apes were sneak attacked by the little black bee, the giant monster monkey general still did not take the little black bee seriously. He always thought in his heart that this was just a sneak attack when he was not paying attention. If he when you are prepared, it is not certain who will win. The giant giant demon gorilla general still follows his plan and will have a decisive battle with the little black bee at mist peak tomorrow, trying to kill the little black bee in one fell swoop in order to recharge his batteries. The giant giant demon gorilla general directly and boldly ordered all the giant giant demon apes to rest. Chin Fong led the glory worker bees back to the cave quickly and checked the casualties. Chin Fong knew in his heart that after this sneak attack, the giant monsters would definitely have a decisive battle tomorrow. So he ordered all the glory worker bees to rest in preparation for tomorrow. Of war. Overnight. Between turmoil and stability. It passed. On this day. Just after dawn. The sky was covered with dark clouds, and a thick black cloud piled above the head. The monsters were so pressed that they couldn't breathe, which seemed to indicate that something bad was coming. Chin Fong opened his sleepy eyes. His head was hit by the cold wind, and he woke up in an instant. He stretched, stood up from the throne gracefully, rubbed his sore back, and thought to himself, I'm not used to sleeping in other hives. Although I built it myself, other hives are not as comfortable as the main hive. I couldn't help but sigh. Suddenly, I had some doubts about how I spent that time in the ruins. Chin Fong knew that there was a fierce battle to be fought today. So he fluttered his wings and flew out of the misty peak. He looked at the sky in the distance, smiled dumbly, and talked to himself. The sky is so awesome. Could it be that he also knows that today is the beginning of a fierce battle? So he is cheering us on? Chin Fong looked around and saw that the giant monsters had not arrived yet. After that, he flew back to the hive and sat on the throne without wasting any more time. Come on, B. A glory worker B quickly ran in, without a trace of panic in his steps, and knelt down under the throne with his pen straight. Exist. Chin Fong glanced at the glorious worker B under the throne. He knew that with the temper of the giant demon ape general, the battle would definitely end today, and his eyes couldn't help but feel extremely cold. Pass my order to assemble all the glorious worker bees to prepare for battle at all times and pass the order to the little wasps on the outskirts of the blood forest. 
Tell them to dress up neatly. If the giant demon apes escape from the outskirts of the blood forest today, give them to me. Surround them heavily. Don't let a single monster pass. Let them stay here forever and not be able to go back to report the news. Yes. The glorious worker be received the order and immediately went down to prepare. Chapter 155 The Mysterious Disappearance Chin Fong led the glory worker bees to sneak attack on the giant demon bees. When they reacted, they immediately withdrew into the mist bees cave without any delay. It happened that Chin Fong and the giant giant demon ape general had a decisive battle on the second day. Chin Fong knew the importance of this battle. This battle was equivalent to a decisive battle. Either the giant giant demon ape general would die, or he would die. Chin Fong planned carefully and was quite confident in himself. However, the giant demon ape general did not take Chin Fong seriously at all, and his fate was doomed by underestimating the enemy. The glorious worker bees are all ready, just waiting for the arrival of the giant giant demon ape general and his men. At this moment, the giant demon ape general stood up lazily and ate the monster beasts that his men had hunted. He felt refreshed and his whole body was full of strength. Coming beast! A giant monster gorilla ran in in a hurry. General, what are your orders? The giant giant demon gorilla general glanced at the giant giant demon gorilla kneeling on one knee. Gather all the monsters and set off to conquer the little black bee. Yes. Not long after, the giant monsters gathered together and set off in a mighty manner. Miss Peak was very close and it wasn't long before we arrived. Chin Fong was lying in the hive, drinking royal jelly. A glory worker bee, who was guarding outside the misty peak, saw the arrival of the giant demon apes and flew into the hive with lightning speed making a loud voice. Report to the king. The giant apes have arrived. Chin Fong was startled when he heard the sound that suddenly appeared in the hive. He almost choked on the royal jelly he just drank into his mouth. And his little heart was beating thumpingly. Chin Fong calmed down and patted his undulating chest. Chest glared at the glorious worker bee. The Guangya worker bee, who was originally waiting for Chin Feng's order, was very puzzled when he didn't hear Wang's voice. He couldn't help but look up and met Chin Feng's eyes staring at him. When he saw Wang's eyes, the Guangyu worker be shrank in fear. Chin Feng cleared his somewhat uncomfortable throat. Don't be so rash next time. The glory worker be should look stable. The giant monsters are coming. What's the big deal? Are they here? Chin Feng's voice increased in volume. And the glorious worker be scratched his head and looked at his kingly appearance with a tight smile on his face. After a few seconds, he nodded. Chin Feng saw the smile hidden in the eyes of the glorious worker be and thought of what he had just said, feeling a little embarrassed in his heart. However, on the surface, he pretended to be serious, with a serious look on his face, just like the high-pitched singer just now, not myself. Pass my order, and all the glory worker bees in the caves will follow me to ambush around the Misty Peak, and keep the glory worker bees ambushing outside the Misty Peak ready at all times. Yes! The glorious worker bees immediately went to convey Chin Feng's order. Chin Feng returned to the throne, and drank a big sip of royal jelly. Then he was satisfied, chirped, vibrated his wings, flew out of the hive, and looked at the assembled glorious worker bees, explained a few words about the battle plan, and then he swung his front foot with great courage and flew into the fog. The giant demon ape general looked at the foggy mist peak in front of him. He didn't know that Chin Feng was already eyeing them with a mocking smile in his eyes. He glanced at the two giant orangutans behind him, and signaled with his eyes to let them go and investigate. The two giant monster apes showed no fear and walked straight into the Misty Peak. At this time, in the Misty Peak, Chin Fong had led many glory worker bees to ambush around them. As soon as the two giant monsters entered the Misty Peak, Chin Fong and the glory worker bees set their sights on them. Gradually, they went deeper and deeper into the mist. Chin Fong swung his front foot to dazzle the worker bees, forming two small encirclements. They silently arrived around the two giant orangutans. Before they could react, Chin Fong led the glory worker bees. All their tail needles came out, and they pierced the two giant monster apes, due to the fog blocking their sight, and their contempt for the little black bees. All the tail needles of the two giant demon apes were directed towards them. They had no power to resist. They only felt pain all over their body, sore and weak. Their heads were dizzy, and their vision went black. Without saying a word, they fell to the ground with two plops. The system's voice sounded in Chin Feng's mind. Ding! The host successfully killed the Diwu first level mirror monster and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Chin Feng saw the two giant orangutans lying on the ground 
and whispered twice into the ears of the glorious worker bees closest to him, asking them to clean up the corpses. Just like that, the two living monsters disappeared into the mist. The giant demon ape general was waiting on the left outside Misty Peak. The two monsters he sent in did not come out. He waited on the right and did not come out. He couldn't help but poked his head in confusion and looked into the fog. But there was still no sign of them. He lost patience in his eyes and turned to the two giant monsters behind him to let them enter the fog. Seeing that their companions had not come out, the two giant demon apes were a little afraid of the fog. So they walked forward cautiously and their figures gradually disappeared into the fog. They were deep in the fog. At this moment, they were on guard. They raised their ears, looked left and right, and observed the surrounding situation. However, they did not see anything unusual. They only felt that the fog was full of mystery. I don't know if it's their illusion, but they always feel that there are several pairs of eyes staring at them in the fog. So they are more alert to abnormalities. They were getting deeper and deeper into the fog. Chen Feng, who was hiding in the dark, saw that the time was almost up and led the glory worker bees directly towards the two monster beasts. A buzzing sound suddenly sounded in the ears of the two monster beasts. The two monster beasts were about to open their mouths to remind the generals outside that there was an enemy attack in the fog. But before they could make a sound, the glorious worker bees were slightly stunned. The wet tail needles were all stuck on their bodies. They opened their mouths, closed them again, opened them again, and wanted to shout. But no sound came out of their throats. Their whole bodies lost the strength to support them. And their eyelids were tired and fighting. Slowly, they fell he fell to the ground and closed his eyes forever. The system's voice sounded in Chen Feng's mind again. Ding! The host successfully killed the Diwu first level mirror monster and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Chin Feng still asked the glorious worker bees to clean up the corpses to prevent the enemy from discovering that they were ambushing them in the fog. The giant demon ape waiting outside the misty peak saw that the two monsters he had sent in still hadn't come out. And there was anger in his eyes as he thought to himself. What's going on with these monsters? Why didn't they come out to report the matter? Is there some delicious food inside that trapped their legs? Or was there an accident? The giant demon gorilla was a little embarrassed in his heart. Chapter 156 The Frightened Bird Chin Fong led the glory worker bees to lurk in the fog. Relying on his advantage in the fog, he knocked down all the monsters sent in by the giant demon ape general into the fog. This couldn't help but attract the attention of the giant demon ape general. The giant demon ape general looked at the heavy fog and didn't know what was going on, with those monster beasts. So, he looked at the subordinates behind him, hesitated a little, and waved his giant palm. Set off! He directly led a group of subordinates into the fog. As soon as I entered the fog, I felt as if my eyes were covered with hands. There was only a vast expanse of white in front of my eyes. It was difficult to distinguish the direction and things around me. It seemed that everything around me was out of my control. In such a dangerous situation, it was difficult for them to perform. The contempt in their eyes was no longer the same as before, but only solemnity and caution. After all, the giant demon ape general did not want to lose all the troops he brought with him. The little black wasp in my eyes. The giant demon ape general looked at the fog around him and thought to himself, It seems that those monster beasts are already in danger. He patted the two monsters next to him with his giant palm, letting them go ahead, and then walked forward step by step. Chin Fong heard the chaotic footsteps of the giant demon apes, and knew that their large army had all entered the fog. He twisted his head slightly, and whispered to the glory worker bee next to him. Pass an order for me, to all the glory worker bees to be on alert, and only carry out sneak attacks on them. As soon as they attack, we will retreat. If they don't attack, we will make sneak attacks until we force them out of the fog. Yes! After receiving Chen Feng's order, the glorious worker bees passed it on layer by layer. When the glorious worker bees finished passing it on, Chin Feng slapped his forehead and then thought about why he didn't use the system to transmit the order. Annoyance flashed in his eyes. Then, he no longer cared about anything and just stared at the heavy fog ahead. The outlines of the giant monsters gradually appeared in front of the glorious worker bees. The glorious worker bees were so nervous that they didn't even dare to breathe. Chin Feng and the Guangya worker bees were already on the defensive. With a buzz, sound and a buzzing, sound of their wings vibrating, they rushed towards the giant monster apes seeing the glorious worker bees that suddenly appeared in front of them. The giant monster gorilla suddenly panicked. The giant monster gorilla general looked at his subordinates, who were already panicking, and couldn't help but said angrily, and with hatred made of steel, cheer up and fight back against the enemy. 
after hearing the words of their general. The giant monsters seemed to have taken reassurance. Their hanging hearts fell to the ground. And they instantly had a backbone. The giant monsters no longer panicked. And directly fought against the glorious worker bees. However, the shining worker bees remembered their king's order. And when they saw the giant gorilla began to fight back, they retreated without a trace in an instant. The giant demon ape general looked at the glory worker bee that disappeared again before his eyes. He screamed angrily. He felt that there was a raging fire in his chest that was about to burn him up. He turned his head and looked at the place in the mist. Silhouettes of his men. They already had a tendency to retreat. Slowly moving backwards. Their outlines in the mist constantly shaking. The giant demon ape's copper bell-sized eyes were slightly focused. Keep moving forward. No one is allowed to retreat. If any monster retreats, he will be killed immediately. Yes. Although the giant monsters who were attacked were reluctant to watch the general cut off their intention to retreat, they had to bite the bullet and move forward reluctantly after receiving the order. Chin Fong looked at the glorious worker bees, who quickly retreated after a wave of attacks. He couldn't help but give them a thumbs up in his heart with admiration. The look in their eyes revealed a little bit of relief. Quite a bit like seeing him personally lead them. The soldiers who came out felt proud of their achievements. And there was a bit of pride in their eyes. Chin Fong shifted his gaze from the glory worker bees to the giant giant demon apes and saw that they still did not give up and move forward relentlessly. After panting and breathing for a few seconds, he directly led the glory worker bees to carry out the second wave of attacks. Although they were no longer panicked after the previous attack, they still couldn't resist the glory worker bees that came and went without a trace. During their sneak attack, one or two giant demon apes had fallen forever under the sneak attack of the glory worker bees. Just when the giant monsters were about to fight back, the radiant worker bees disappeared into the mist again. This happened for about six or seven times in a row. And the giant demon ape general also felt that he was powerless. The main reason was that he wanted to fight Chen Feng and the others. Who would have thought that they were so cunning? They would run away as soon as he beat them. And they would launch sneak attacks as soon as he took a break. It really makes the monster angry but also makes the monster helpless. The giant monster gorilla general slapped the ground with his huge palm. Then, as if he heard a movement, he immediately pricked up his ears and looked around vigilantly to find that Chin Feng and the others were not attacking. That was just my own temporary auditory hallucinations. Due to Chin Feng's continuous sneak attacks, these monsters have become frightened beasts. As long as there is any movement, they will become vigilant. At this time, a monster next to the giant monster gorilla took a cautious glance at his general and said tremblingly, General, why don't we retreat? The fog blocks our sight and we can't use our full strength at all. Moreover, the little black bees carry out sneak attacks from time to time and do not fight us head on. We are in a passive state. They are also at a disadvantage. So it is better to lead them outside and fight openly. The giant demon gorilla heard his words and felt that they made sense. He took a deep look at the heavy fog turned back, and looked at his subordinates again. Therefore, regardless of whether his subordinates could see it or not, he suddenly he waved his huge palms and commanded in a loud voice, All monsters obey the order and retreat. Yes! As soon as they heard their general's order, the giant monsters jumped for joy. They did not want to lose their lives in this heavy fog, nor did they want to be tortured like this. Chin Feng also heard the order from the giant demon ape general. He rolled his eyes and thought of it. Chin Feng wanted to make sure that they could not retreat even if they retreated. So he directly led the glorious worker bees to attack. And then retreated after the attack. The giant demon ape general was exhausted physically and mentally from being harassed by Chin Feng's glorious worker bees. And he thought angrily in his heart. Little black bee, don't be arrogant. You will feel better when I lead you out. In this way, while retreating, they were harassed by Chin Feng and other sneak attacks. And finally left the fog. The giant demon ape and the others also breathed a sigh of relief. Chapter 157 Ian reaches home. The giant demon ape general was deeply harassed by the sneak attacks of Chin Feng and the glory worker bees in the thick fog, and had to withdraw from the fog. However, during the process of their exit from the fog, Chin Feng still led the glory worker bees to harass them, until the heavy fog was withdrawn. The giant demon ape general looked around, and found that he was far away from the fog. He breathed a sigh of relief and turned back to look at the fog. The glory worker bees shrank back into the fog again, and he couldn't help but feel very angry. The giant demon ape general is constantly wandering around the misty peak. They are now in a dilemma. If they go in, they will be attacked by a sneak attack. When they come out, they can only wait for the little black bees to come out. 
because he was too angry. The anger in his chest couldn't go down or come up. So he couldn't help but curse at the heavy fog. Little black bee, come out here. You are hiding in the fog. What kind of skills do you have? Come out. If you have the skills, let's fight alone. Chen Feng, who was hiding in the mist, knew that there was no way he could hide here. However, Chin Feng looked at the giant demon gorilla general jumping around outside the mist, spitting with saliva, and his eyes flashed with cold light. The glorious worker bees saw that their king had no intention of leaving. So they followed him in the mist, gloating as they watched the giant demon gorilla general yelling curses outside the mist. Gradually, the giant demon ape general's mouth became dry as he cursed. He looked tiredly at the heavy fog, and there was still no sign of the little black bee. He felt like crying without tears. However, he was still unwilling to give in and signaled with his eyes, holding his own men. Go and stir up the little black bee for me. Who wants to stir it out? There will be a lot of rewards. Yes. All the monsters came in turn and cursed Chen Feng, who was in the fog, until they had no strength left in their bodies and could not provoke Chen Feng out. Chen Feng watched them exhausted from scolding and collapsed on the ground. He felt that the time was almost up. So he led the gory worker bees to fly out from the heavy fog and looked at the giant demon paralyzed on the ground with a smile in his eyes. Orangutans. The giant demon ape general looked around. He originally wanted to wait for a while to rest before going to the misty peak to provoke Chin Fong. However, he never expected that there was a buzzing sound in his ears. When he looked up, little black bees appeared in front of him. In front of me. I couldn't help but blush when I saw the little black bees in front of me. At this moment, General Giant Demon Ape still did not lose his contempt for them, even though he had fallen into Chen Feng's schemes many times, because there was an idea deeply ingrained in his heart. The little black bee can only play tricks. If I fight alone, the little black bee will definitely not be my opponent. When the giant monsters saw their old enemy in front of them, they jumped up from the ground regardless of the fatigue on their bodies and hearts, and looked at the glorious worker bees in front of them with vigilance. The loud voice of the giant demon ape general sounded, like a muffled thunder on the ground. Little Black Bee, you finally came out. I thought you would always be hiding in there, always using this layer of fog as your protection and umbrella, and not daring to show your face and accept our challenge. Chin Feng raised his eyebrows. A trace of disdain flashed in his eyes and complained in his heart. How could this giant gorilla be so brainless? After so many conspiracies and tricks, he still doesn't have a long memory. I really don't know what to say about him. Chin Feng hugged his arms with his front legs and looked at the giant demon ape general mockingly. You said you can't defeat us as a human. So why bother humiliating yourself here? When the giant demon ape general heard this, his chest rose and fell violently. Little black bee, you still dare to say that you are always plotting against me and you don't even dare to fight with us alone. Why do you have the face to show off in front of us? Chin Feng couldn't help but stroke his forehead, feeling a little admired by him. What kind of nonsense is this? How can you say it so confidently? I really can't understand his brain circuit. Chin Feng raised his head and looked at the giant demon ape general again. Don't you know that conspiracy is also part of strength? What's more, you don't have so many conspiracies. The fact that you have fallen into traps many times doesn't mean that you are incapable of fighting me alone. After Chin Feng finished speaking, he covered his mouth and snickered. He did not admit that he was deliberately angry with the giant demon ape general. General Giant Demon Ape heard the contempt and ridicule in Chen Feng's words, and couldn't help but burst into anger, and his anger rushed to his head. Little Black Bee, give me your life. After saying that, he shook his huge palm and rushed towards Chen Feng. Chen Feng looked at the giant gorilla general running towards him, and shook his head helplessly. Wait a minute, I want to give you a big gift. After hearing these words, the giant demon ape suddenly stopped like a car that was running at high speed, due to inertia. It slid forward a few steps before stopping, thinking a little puzzled in his heart. Is it possible that the little black bee gave in and wanted to bribe me with gift money? If he gives in now, I will not forgive him. I will cut him into pieces to avenge the teasing. He subconsciously followed Chen Feng's words. What gift? After saying this, I regretted it and kept wanting to slap myself in the mouth. What kind of monster is little black bee? You have to follow his instructions on what you do. Isn't this the same as being led by his nose? Waves of annoyance surged into my heart. But there was no way around it. So I simply waited quietly for Chin Feng's mysterious gift. With a trace of expectation in my eyes. With a smile in his eyes. Chin Feng moved his front foot. The giant monster gorilla general looked at Chin Feng's smile. 
there was always a cold feeling on his spine and a numb feeling on his scalp as if someone had plotted against him. When he saw Chen Feng's gesture, he secretly screamed, Be wary! He looked around and slowly stepped back. As soon as Chen Feng finished his gesture, the glory worker bees that were ambushing around the misty peak appeared in front of the giant monsters and surrounded them heavily. Chen Feng stared closely at the expression of the giant monster gorilla general and couldn't help but think when he saw his actions like this. How did this monster survive in such a dangerous environment? It stands to reason that the competition in the Demon King's palace relies more on brain power than other environments. Without intelligence, you will definitely not be able to survive in such an environment. However, if you only have hands, why do you seem to have only courage and no strategy? The giant demon ape general looked around and found that he had been tricked again. His eyes darkened. Even so, he did not admit that there would be brave and resourceful monsters in this wild little forest. Chin Feng looked at the giant gorilla with disbelieving eyes. How is it? Are you surprised or surprised? Is this gift substantial enough? The giant demon ape general heard the mockery in Chin Feng's words. And anger rushed to his forehead again. And he suddenly lost his mind. Little black bee, don't think that because you have so many monsters ambushing around you. I'm afraid of you. It's not certain who will win. Chapter 158 The Mute Eats Coptus Chinensis When the giant demon ape was exhausted and yelling angrily, Chin Feng led the glorious worker bees and flew out of the fog. Just when the extremely angry general the giant demon ape rushed towards Chin Feng and wanted to attack Chin Feng, Chin Feng stopped. His steps were to give the giant demon ape general a surprise. The giant giant demon ape general was deceived and looked at Chin Feng with some curiosity. Chin Feng waved his front foot and directly asked the glory worker bees, who were ambushing around to come out and gave this big gift to the giant giant demon ape general. General Giant Demon Ape saw that he had fallen into Chin Feng's conspiracy again, and couldn't help but secretly complain about Chin Feng's cunningness. However, under the stimulation of Chin Feng's words, he lost his mind directly, regardless of whether he was at a disadvantage at this moment. Next, he rushed directly towards Chin Feng. Little Black Bee, take your life. Fire Blast. I saw huge flames forming a spiral shape, with a blue fire core in the center, heavily wrapped in yellow and red flames exuding a hot breath, making the monsters feel a scorching heat when they get close. Feel. Chin Feng looked at the huge fireballs and his heart tightened. Just looking at the surface, he knew how powerful these fireballs were. Spread out. Spread out quickly. The glorious worker bees heard Chin Feng's order and quickly dispersed to both sides. A few glorious worker bees were unable to dodge and could only open their huge bee eyes. The huge fireball was reflected in their eyes and they merged with the fireball. In an instant, they turned into ashes and dissipated in the forest. After burning, a stream of the smell of burnt food appeared in the air, and it was very pungent. Those huge fireballs followed the original trackball and rushed into the fog. The flames collided with the fog, making a stabbing sound, as if they were going to ignite all the fog. The mist was burned by the flames and continued to surge until the flames gradually shrank and disappeared into the air. Chin Feng looked at the heavy fog again and felt that it had become a lot thinner. Chin Feng wiped the non-existent cold sweat on his forehead and thought to himself. It seems that the existence of General Giant Monkey is a threat. We must get rid of him first. By then, those minions will not be a problem. Chin Feng made up his mind. And his eyes became colder when he looked at the giant demon ape general. He motioned to the glory worker bees next to him with his eyes. Telling them to hold back the giant monsters and leave the general to him. Perhaps it was because of the spiritual connection. Chin Feng only needed to look at him and the glorious worker bees next to him knew what he meant. Chin Feng turned around and looked at the giant monster apes. Come on! After hearing Chin Feng's order, the glorious worker bees immediately rushed towards the ranks of the giant monsters in a dense mass of darkness. And the buzzing sound resounded throughout the sky. Chin Feng watched the glory worker bees around him rushing towards the enemy, and then rushed towards the giant demon ape general without any worries. Teleport. The giant monster gorilla general did not pay any attention to the other glorious worker bees. He kept staring at Chin Feng. But he never thought that Chin Feng suddenly disappeared from the place. This time, the giant monster gorilla general was completely confused. He stared blankly at the place where Chin Feng had just stayed. And then looked around vigilantly. Looking for Chin Feng's figure. Chin Feng teleported behind the giant gorilla general and looked at the entire patch of black hair on the back of the giant gorilla's head. The earth groans. There was a buzzing sound in the ears of the giant monster gorilla general. He did not realize that Chin Feng was behind his head. He only felt a numbness all over his body. 
and the thought of giving up rose from his heart. The feeling of powerlessness filled him. Whole body. The poison of the void. The cold needle on Shen Feng's tail flashed with light. Even though these skills are combined to seduce countless monsters, they are still cautiously on guard. The giant monster gorilla general only felt the cold wind on the back of his head. At the critical moment, hope rose in his heart again. The effect of anesthesia had also disappeared. At this moment, Chen Feng's poisonous needle had touched the giant monster gorilla general's hair. The giant demon ape general can even feel the chill in the air now. Cold sweat broke out on the forehead of the giant demon ape general. And his huge head quickly ducked to the side. Because the head was too huge. No matter how fast he evaded, he couldn't dodge at all. Chin Feng brought a highly poisonous tail needle and scratched it across the scalp of the giant monster gorilla general. The toxin from Chin Feng's tail needle instantly penetrated the skin of the giant demon ape general. His scalp became numb, and he lost consciousness. After receiving an attack, the giant demon ape general became furious. The veins on his forehead jumped, and his eyes became blood red. As if covered in blood, as soon as she looked at him, it was as if she had entered a vast ocean of blood. Chin Feng wanted to use his teleportation skills and return to the original place. Looking at the giant demon ape general, who had been poisoned by his own poison, he knew that he would definitely die. It was only a matter of time. Chin Feng raised his head and looked at the sky. Half of the sun's body had already been hidden under the parallel line of the forest. Night would come soon. If night came, it would be difficult to catch them once they escaped. And it would be easy for them to return to the Demon King's palace. Report the news. Chin Feng thought secretly in his heart. It's time to make a quick decision. So, the second charge was launched. The giant monster gorilla general was tricked by Chin Feng. But he would not stay there and be beaten stupidly. Chin Feng descended on the back of his head again. And the giant demon ape general was already prepared. After all, he was also a demon beast of the earth martial mirror. He had experienced countless large and small wars. And he was already very smart and experienced in battles. Otherwise, he would it is impossible that he only suffered a slight flesh wound in that attack. If it were not for the toxin, the giant demon ape general would have been a difficult monster to deal with. The giant demon ape general's vigilance was highly heightened. As soon as Chen Feng came behind him, he noticed it and moved directly to the rear, using only his own skills. Fire blast! Chen Feng didn't expect general giant demon ape to react so quickly. At such a close distance, Chen Feng couldn't dodge or use blocking skills. Although Chin Feng looked at the huge fireball and his mind went blank, he still made an immediate decision. He reacted and used teleportation skills to escape the fireball attack. However, there were still little sparks on it. The sparks fell on the hair and turned into a black spot. The burning pain hit Chin Feng's whole body. In order not to show weakness in front of the enemy, Chin Feng gritted his teeth and forcefully hold on. It really feels like a mute eating Coptus Chinensis and having difficulty speaking and even more like breaking his teeth and swallowing it into his own belly. Several huge fireballs from the giant demon apes followed their original trajectory and rushed towards the group of monster beasts. After all, fireballs have no spirituality. Regardless of whether the giant demon apes are fighting, they are still attacking. The glorious worker bees were unable to dodge, and were reduced to ashes under the burning fireball, with screams one after another. The giant demon ape general was originally very excited when he saw Chin Feng being injured under the fireball. But when he heard the screams and looked back, his face turned pale. Chapter 159, Diverting Trouble to the East When the giant demon ape general was thirsty, Chin Feng led the glory worker bees to fly out from the heavy fog. He really didn't talk about it for more than a few words. In just a few words, the two sides had a fierce, okay of fighting. Under Chin Feng's consecutive sneak attack, the giant demon ape general suffered some flesh injuries on his head. But the toxin from Chin Feng's tail needle seeped into it. When Chin Feng wanted to charge again, he never thought that when he came, when he got behind the always brainless giant monkey general, he was discovered by the vigilant general giant monkey. And the giant monkey general launched a counterattack. Chin Feng was scratched by the sparks thrown by the huge fireball. But he was not seriously injured and was still capable of fighting. The fireball followed its original trajectory and rushed into the group of monster beasts. Both sides suffered heavy casualties. When the giant demon gorilla general saw that his fireball had not hurt Chin Feng, how much did it do? But he burned his men to ashes, and the rage burning in his heart seemed to burn him in. Just like the skills he released, the giant demon gorilla general's eyes were blood red, and the expression on his face was ferocious. Although he was heartbroken to see that he had lost many of his men, 
the opponent originally had more troops than he did. But due to his own skills, he lost a lot of health. This is really a loss-making business. It really hurts the enemy a thousand times and damages oneself 800. But the giant demon ape general was unwilling to give in. He faced Chen Feng regardless and unleashed his skills again. The fireball carried scorching heat and headed straight for Chen Feng. Seeing the huge fireball flying towards him, Chen Feng rolled his eyes and had an idea in his mind. Then, he vibrated his wings, dodged left and right, and directly avoided his attack. But the monsters behind him suffered, and both sides suffered a lot more casualties. Chen Feng thought for a moment and then called the system in his mind. System, help me deliver the message and order all the glorious worker bees to quietly retreat behind the giant monsters. But don't stop fighting with the giant monsters. Always pay attention to the trajectory of the fireball and avoid the fireballs. Attack! Don't let the fireball touch you! The system took two seconds to determine before it sounded in Chen Feng's mind. Ding! The message is being transmitted. Please pay attention to the host. After a few seconds, the system sound sounded again. Ding! The message has been transmitted. Please pay attention to the host. Chen Feng quietly looked around and found that almost all the glory worker bees had followed Chen Feng's instructions and left the blind spots in their field of vision. As soon as the fireball attacked, they could get away immediately. Chin Feng couldn't help but nodded with satisfaction, praising his brilliant worker B's ability to do things. Then, he looked at the giant demon ape general provocatively, and gave him a disdainful expression. Using his front foot, shaking from side to side, the meaning is very obvious. It is saying, you can't do it. The giant demon ape general saw a series of Chin Feng's actions, and was so angry that he slapped his chest with two huge palms and kept roaring at Chen Feng. Chen Feng looked at the roaring giant demon gorilla general and made another grimace. His contempt palpable. This time, the giant demon gorilla was aroused. He originally had some scruples, but now he unleashed his skills on Chen Feng and scrupulously. Chen Feng vibrated his wings, constantly drawing huge circles around the giant monster gorilla general, sometimes flying up, sometimes falling flying with an undetectable trajectory. However, if you look closely, you will know that Chen Feng is flying. The trajectories are all relatively close to the giant monster apes that are fighting the glory worker bees. When Chen Feng saw the fireball arriving, he immediately vibrated his wings and dodged left and right to avoid even a trace of the fireball sparks contaminating his body. What's more, the huge fireball couldn't get close to him at all. As soon as Chen Feng dodged, the glorious worker bees also saw the fireball in front of their king and immediately scattered away, leaving behind the confused giant monsters. They, your mind is filled with questions one after another, constantly looking at the glorious worker bees that have risen into the sky inexplicably. At this moment, the huge fireballs hit the giant monsters, who were staying there stupidly one after another. They had no chance to escape, so they were directly hit by the huge fireballs. The flames burned on their bodies. The flames were covered in red, as if they were celebrating the next victory. It was printed in the eyes of the monsters, which was particularly beautiful. In this way, Chen Feng continued to attract fireballs to the men of the giant demon ape general. At first, the giant monster general turned a deaf ear to the screams around him, thinking it was the screams of the enemy troops on both sides. Moreover, he himself had lost his mind and had no time to think about these complicated issues. Not only that, he believed that it would not be a good thing if he could replace Chen Feng's glorious worker bees with his own men and continue to consume the opponent's troops. Therefore, he did not take it to heart and was not aware of Chen Feng's plan. Intention. After a long time, he was also a little exhausted. He panted and stared at Chen Feng, who was still wandering around in the sky. He lost his mind and slowly returned to his original position. He looked around again and found that the giant monsters around him had already I couldn't help but feel shocked when I lost most of it. The giant monster gorilla general couldn't see the traces of burning flames on the ground. And slowly he began to guess. In order not to scare the snake, the giant monster gorilla general released another skill of his. This time, the giant demon ape general stared closely at Chen Feng's movements with his big copper bell-like eyes, missing any clues. The result was just as he had guessed. The giant demon ape general looked at the giant demon apes behind Chen Feng who were hit by his skills and perished in the sea of fire. And his heart ached. The giant demon ape general looked at the leisurely Chen Feng. A mouthful of blood stuck in his throat. The giant demon ape general took a breath and looked at Chen Feng's talking eyes again, as if to say, Why don't you continue? Just keep going. I won't suffer anyway. 
The giant demon ape general became even more angry. His blood-red eyes seemed to be dazzling from their sockets. And there seemed to be cracks in the corners of his eyes. Little Black Bee, are you plotting against me again? Did you use this move to consume most of my troops? Chin Fong rolled his eyes helplessly, thinking to himself. You're asking me this if it's not a clear question. In fact, you asked me. Do you think I will answer it? But for the sake of being so pitiful, I will let you be a clear monster. So, he cleared his throat and said loudly. Of course. Isn't this an obvious problem? Almost all monsters can see it. Can't you? The giant demon gorilla felt very aggrieved. He wanted to attack. But he hurt his own men. The consequences of not attacking were that he was a knife and I was a fish. And he had no choice but to be slaughtered by the beast. This could not help but hurt him badly. Brain. Chapter 160 Escape The giant monster gorilla general once again fell into Chin Feng's conspiracy. The skills he released did not hurt Chin Feng at all but consumed most of his troops. Chin Feng's glorious worker bees were also unscathed. This is really shocking. Shoot yourself in the foot. The giant monster gorilla general heard the words from Chin Feng's mouth that could anger the beast to death. But he didn't spit out a mouthful of old blood and died of anger. At this time, he was already in a dilemma. Attacking no. 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 For a moment, I don't know what to do. Chin Feng's eyes were fixed on every move of the giant gorilla from beginning to end. Just when he was thinking of a solution and was a little dazed, Chin Feng used teleportation skills to come to his side and used the anesthesia effect to give him a needle. The giant demon ape general realized that he was anesthetized all over his body before he reacted, facing Chin Feng's poisonous needle. When the anesthesia effect was partially weakened, his body instinctively moved to the side, but Chin Feng's tail needle still brought out the poisonous needle. There was a shallow trace of blood. The giant demon ape general always felt that these actions were familiar, but he couldn't remember them for a while. Suddenly, an idea flashed, and he thought of the night when Xiao Haifeng led the light attackers in a sneak attack. His whole body was agitated, and there was speculation in his heart. When he was woken up that night, he only had a sense of urgency to avoid being attacked. The giant demon ape general subconsciously touched the scar on his scalp with his huge palm. From the numb scalp, a little bit of blood seeped out and stained his palm. He raised his head slightly and saw then Chin Feng return to where he was. Little Black Bee, let me ask you a question. Chin Feng felt a little puzzled when he saw that the giant demon ape general showed no intention of attacking him after being injured. Isn't this in line with his character? Then you said that he was attacked and should have been furious. It seems that he really has unanswerable questions in his heart. Chin Feng nodded slightly. Okay, if you have any questions, Ask me. The giant demon ape general paused. The night I first arrived here, you led the glory worker bees to sneak attack. Did you assassinate me deeply? Chen Feng couldn't help but feel funny. Yuan Feng thought he could ask some valuable questions. But he never expected that he would ask this question. The world was still a little confused. I attacked him, but he was really unconscious. How did he avoid it? Is it a coincidence? There can't be so many coincidences. If there are so many coincidences, then it is really his part of the strength. Chin Feng raised his forehead. So what if it is? So what if it's not? The giant demon ape general heard a hint of the charm and had a definite answer in his heart. However, he was still secretly surprised. Suddenly, his face became serious. At this moment, he had realized how big a mistake he had made. Underestimating the enemy made him completely defeated. At this time, he understood the power of Chin Feng. A little black bee who could move freely among the enemy without being discovered by the enemy was still very powerful no matter how he grew up in a weak area. Ever since, he had the heart to retreat. After all, the green hills are still there, and he is not afraid of being burned out. Ten years later, when he comes back, he will still be a monster that wants to be fooled. By then, maybe he can kill Chin Feng with his own hands. However, after calming down, General Giant Demon Amp felt his head feel dizzy and swollen. General Giant Demon Amp took a deep look at Chin Feng and quietly backed away. Chin's eyes never left the Giant Demon Gorilla General for a moment. Seeing the Giant Gorilla General's retreating steps, he knew what his intentions were, and carelessly touched his chin. Do you think it's still too late for you to escape now? Chin Feng's words were like a talisman that instantly froze the figure of the Giant Monster Gorilla General. The Giant Monster Gorilla General was breathing heavily, and his vision went black for a while. But he still spoke stubbornly and stubbornly. How will you know if you don't try? The giant demon ape general looked around 
and saw the remaining giant demon apes. His eyes were hard, and his heart was filled with anger. All the monsters obey the order and protect this general from breaking out of the siege. As long as this general does not die, you will surely have your glory and wealth in the future. After hearing the promise of the giant giant demon ape general, the giant giant demon apes, who originally wanted to escape by themselves, felt shaken in their hearts. So they became determined and said in unison, Swear to the death to defend the general and break out of the siege. The giant demon ape general nodded with some satisfaction when he heard this, looked around, and rushed directly to the weakest point, which was the direction outside the blood forest. Chin Fong looked at the crazy giant monsters and shook his head helplessly. With a wave of his bee foot, the radiant worker bees from other directions rushed towards the giant monsters. As time went by, the encirclement circle became smaller and smaller. At this time, the giant demon ape general felt weak all over. His vision was a little dark, and his limbs were a little unruly. His huge body was swaying weakly from side to side in the breeze. The giant demon apes saw that their general was acting strangely. The two giant demon apes at the far edge of the general carefully used their giant palms, as big as cattail fans, to help the shaking general. They did not want the general to be upset. If they die here, if the giant demon ape general stays here forever, how can their promise be fulfilled? Under the continuous onslaught of the giant giant demon apes, the glory worker bees gradually opened a small gap. Several men with the giant giant demon amp general took this opportunity to directly break out of the siege of the glory worker bees. But the remaining the giant monsters were not so lucky. Seeing that his general had fled, he suddenly lost his backbone and ran around in panic. Breaking out of the encirclement was originally the result of their joint efforts. However, the coach escaped with a few giant monsters. The remaining ones, who did not escape may not be able to break through the encirclement of the glorious worker bees even if they get together and attack, let alone them. In panic, they ran in all directions to attack, unable to break away from the glorious worker bees that surrounded them. Chin Fong looked coldly at the fearful and fearful giant monster apes surrounded by the glorious worker bees, as if looking at individual ants in his eyes. Kill them all, leaving no one behind. The giant demon apes heard Chen Feng's order. Their wails filled the world and they rampaged even more. When they heard their loud noise, their brains couldn't help but feel a little pain, and they vibrated their wings directly and rushed towards the giant. The wild apes. Chen Feng's speed soared to the limit, and coupled with the combo of skills, it didn't take long for the giant monsters in the encirclement to fall directly to Chen Feng's skills. The system's voice sounded in Chen Feng's mind. Ding! The host successfully killed the Diwu first level mirror monster, and obtained evolution points asterisk 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 dot. Ding.